because what was shot down was a plasma cannon, not a nuclear weapon. But if you think about it carefully, there seems to be nothing wrong with it. It is true that the plasma cannon will not explode, but the target that is hit may explode. How many magic props are there in the mansion of a Grand Duke? It is normal for these magic props to explode when they are impacted by a powerful energy flow, it is also normal for them to explode at the same time with such momentum. And because most of the air on the plasma cannon's shooting trajectory is burned by the high heat plasma flow, the air will naturally replenish from other places. As for the ashes of the mansion that was also melted, it is also reasonable to follow the trajectory of the air burnt back and up because it is light and spreads outwards under the force. As for the final mushroom-shaped crown, it was the result of Hui Jin losing the restraint of other forces and naturally drifting outward. In short, seeing the power of the plasma cannon exploding in the landlord plane for the first time, Lin was also taken aback. The only good news is that, unlike nuclear weapons, plasma cannons have a distance of dozens of times that damage from blasts, high temperatures and radiation dust can spread out. That is to say, in Lin's detection of Grand Duke Frias' mansion in front of him, apart from the target building and the people and things in it, the people around him were at most disgraced by the dust. As for the Grand Duke's mansion, there is only a big pit left, the depth of which is unknown for the time being. Although the nobles did not have the same detection methods as Lin www.mtlnovel.com, they at least saw the towering fungi form cloud and the deafening explosion. Even if they didn't see the deep crater under the bombardment of the Grand Duke's mansion, they didn't think that mansion could still remain intact, let alone the deaths and injuries inside. No matter how hard a Grand Duke's mansion is, it is impossible to build it as a fortress. Under attack of this level of strategic magic, no structure would hold out except for a war fortress or a magic tower. It means that strategic level magic is classified as a forbidden spell in the evaluation of the Magician's Association, and it is especially taboo to use it against civilians. This is the most important item in the agreement signed by the Nobles and the Magician's Association in the past. So can we use this reason for magicians to use strategic magic in areas where civilians gather to force the Magician's Association into the game? Many Nobles are thinking about such a problem. Although there are still many people who are worried about whether this attack may go wrong and hurt places other than the mansion of Grand Duke Frias. For example, those whose residences are near the Grand Duke's residence. But most people hold the attitude that it has nothing to do with them, thinking about their own interests. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1441, God Came. However, in the next moment, the nobles who thought that the matter had nothing to do with them tremblingly thought that if every attack of those metal monsters in the sky was of the same level as the thunder that bombarded the Grand Duke's mansion. Doesn't it mean that this magician can use it easily and in large quantities, this kind of magic should be classified as a forbidden spell. Forbidden spells belong to the positive list in the Association of Magicians. Those who are not clearly included in the scope of forbidden spells have to go through cumbersome procedures for certification. Moreover, the magician who invented this powerful magic must be willing to hand over the relevant knowledge and cooperate with the association. Not all powerful magic is listed as a forbidden spell. This is also the countermeasure of the magician's association against the request of the nobles. The determination of forbidden spells as well as the issue of accountability for using forbidden spells without authorization, are mainly aimed at those magicians who have no influence and low strength. The apparent reason is to limit their learning opportunities and timing of use, so as to prevent magicians from over-expanding and taking it as evil, and they cannot be held accountable afterwards. As for the real reason, the nobles wished that all the magicians would die, leaving only obedient and foolish people in the world just obediently obey their rule. How can it be possible to spread powerful magic everywhere? If you really met the kind of magician who cast powerful attack magic and drank it as water, how stupid would it be to dare to point fingers in front of him? Or even provoke each other? Is this tired? While trembling, most people felt fortunate that they were not on the opposite side of that magician. At least he didn't stand over it blatantly. 
and those who chased after Grand Duke Frias and threw gloves at the magician excitedly, now all regret it and don't know what to do. But he was embarrassed and walked to the center of the meeting hall in a bright light, and picked up the one that belonged to him from the piles of gloves thrown away. How flamboyant she was before, how embarrassing she is now. As the other party, Grand Duke Frias did not respond at all. Just when everyone thought that this old man passed out standing up, he suddenly burst into excitement. Shouting hysterically, he rushed in the direction of a magician with all his teeth and claws. The huge half-kneeling metal monster casually stretched out its hand and stopped the Grand Duke. For an ordinary person with a little knowledge of martial arts, not to mention dealing with a leader-level robot equivalent to an elemental lord, even if they only use the outstretched hand of Storm Chong as a metal wall, Grand Duke Frias cannot penetrate it. It wasn't that Storm Chong Chong didn't want to slap this crazy little old man to death. Not only was the magician silent, but also because he had stronger enemies to face. A warning message was transmitted into the communication channel of the 29th Fleet. Accompanied by the warning, the hovering fleet in the sky suffered explosion damage of varying sizes. Enemy attack. Storm Chong Chong doesn't care if it will damage this human building after standing up. The next moment he received the warning, he stood up. Facing the sky, fold your arms together in front of you in a protective position. Stretch your legs apart and stand firm. A lot of support frames popped up from the calf, and they grabbed the ground back and forth to make themselves stand more stable and firm. The robots in the courtyard were not idle either. Some made scaffolding, some made shields, and some made spears. Several leader-level meches jumped into the air with the help of their companions, all in order to block the meteor figure accompanied by the loud whistling sound. However, the spear was deflected, the shield was smashed through, and all the robots blocking the way were blown away by the meteorite-like attack. This offensive broke through the outer wall of the Empire's meeting hall all the way, and hit Feng Jiukang, who was in a defensive posture. The result is no surprise, just wear it. Storm Forever, the leader-level robot, is powerless to resist. What landed was a figure hiding behind a huge kite-shaped shield. She exuded dazzling golden light all over her body, and slowly pushed the giant shield in her hand to the ground, revealing her sacred true face. She is not like ordinary people's cognition, the defender acts as a heavy armor to protect herself firmly. Instead, this one only wears chain mail, with armor protection in key areas. All the skills are on the giant shield in his hand. She didn't even like wearing a helmet, because that face with its strong lines was more intimidating. A pair of eyes seemed to be burning with white brilliance, and whenever she turned her head or moved, the white blaze would always leave traces in the air. When she stares at people, her sharp gaze can penetrate into people's hearts even more, causing those who are not strong enough to directly die of fear. The comer is none other than the most recognized by the Midi, the Lord of Guardians, Apollos. As soon as she appeared, she stared straight at a magician and said coldly, Mortal, you have crossed the line. Without waiting for someone to respond, the bat and immortal Storm Chong Chong grabbed the broken arm and swung it to the head of the Guardian Lord. Cursed, do you know that this hurts? Although robots are not carbon-based creatures, their original Earth elemental spirits are also not ordinary creatures. But for the five senses that humans have, robots have simulated cognition. For example, the circuit is blocked due to damage to the body, or the originally operable body cannot be driven smoothly. These abnormal phenomena have corresponding feelings to the robot. After all, a robot is not a robot driven by programming language and mechanical structure in the conventional sense. They do have souls. Moreover, after attacking the three elemental planes of wind, water, and fire, it has been proved that even if their bodies are damaged, as long as they have enough materials, they can still be resurrected with the help of fire. And also keep all the memories. In the past, this was the elemental lord registered with the spirit of the element, who had such a privilege. Now all the robots have the ability to save memory, which makes the robots even harder to build than in the era of the earth elemental elves. 
The elemental elves are a special group that refuses to obey the sky, the earth, and the gods. After the earth elemental spirits became robots, their symptoms became more serious. So don't say that the person who came is the Lord of Guardians, even if all the good gods appear, the robots will dare to charge. Win or not? Of course, the record of the long-term storm did not bring any harm to Apollos. The Guardian Lord didn't even turn her head to look, she just stared at Lin with piercing eyes. Outside the window, the 29th fleet in the sky burst into flames from time to time, sparsely. Compared to the number of fleets, that little explosion was not as good as some battleship-class robots, because the design of the self-reformation was poor, and the plasma coil overheated caused more explosions. It's just the robot's own problem, and they are all designed with fire extinguishing and insurance measures to prevent or remedy it. And those explosions in twos and threes can only be a good thing done by the Guardian Lord's subordinates. There are nine heroic spirits under the Guardian Lord, and there are countless heroic spirits under him. Some people also said that the nine highest ones have reached the rank of subordinate gods, anyway, they are the ones who are not worthless against ordinary weak gods. The tens of thousands of heroic spirits are considered strong by the standards of ordinary people, but they may be powerless against a new species like robots that have never been seen before. Not to mention the battleship level robots, each of which is basically equivalent to the existence of the leader level. That is to say, there should only be those nine horsemen under the Lord Guardian's command. And they didn't appear here, they are probably dealing with the robot fleet in the sky. As for the Lord, he didn't focus on the fleet that was still firing cannons in the sky, but on himself. Lin quickly judged the current situation and summed it up like this. Seeing that his blow was fruitless, and at the same time, the remnants of the robots in the courtyard almost demolished the front wall of the large meeting room, and the robots surrounded the Guardian Lord as if they were facing a formidable enemy. Storm Chong Chong asked, Sir, do you want to send reinforcements? Lin looked around. Although the aristocratic gentlemen still had the expression of watching a show and eating melons, they also added a bit of worry. It seems that everyone is holding on, not afraid of being swept to the tail of the typhoon. The Empress, who was a few steps away from her, had the same expression. No, this is not a place to fight. Just concentrate on your original goal. Lin said. He could also see clearly that there was still a big gap between the robots and the gods. No matter how much they come, they are just cannon fodder. Storm Changju also knew it well, although he had participated in the battle with Pei Junsibo, the of the Earth elemental world. But that little who couldn't even stand up to the kingdom of God is not the same as the powerful in front of him. So after getting someone's order, Storm Changju said nothing and all the other leader-level robots withdrew from the conference hall of the Karlsruhe Empire. After tidying up the wreckage and igniting the thrusters, they returned to the 29th fleet. It is impossible to stop the fleet bombardment with the nine heroic spirits under Apollos alone, but they can still cause some small troubles. So the long return of the storm is to stop such things and reduce the loss of the fleet. At least the shelling cannot be interrupted. On the other side, Lin really didn't want to fight this fight. So he said, His Majesty Apollos came to the world, and when he met a mortal, he said that I had crossed the line. I don't know which line I crossed. Aren't you clear yet? The Guardian Lord said coldly. Hearing such an answer, so and so is extremely annoyed. If it is clear, I still need to ask. It's not a roundworm in someone else's stomach. If you guess right, you won't get a prize, and if you guess wrong, you will be scolded. But the chance of guessing wrong is far greater than the possibility of guessing right, that is to say, people who ask such questions are simply here to quarrel. Even if I spend money to buy a bag of jerky to coax a dog, I don't want to coax such a person. God is the same. Someone www.mtlnovel.com who was inexplicably angry also said coldly, This is a war and I am the party that was declared war. What I do is to respond to others and give him what he wants. It's just a war. Where is the line crossed? 
even if this is war, what are they doing? Although it was not stated explicitly, the they mentioned by the Guardian should refer to the summoned robot fleet. For all things that are not locally produced in MIDI, this elder has an innate sense of disgust. So there is such an attitude, it is not surprising. But if you hate it, you hate it, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. Is it because someone? Yushin doesn't like it, so you don't use robots if you want to fight? Lin sneered, and said, A nobleman declares war on a magician, how many people can I pull out to form an army? Even a hundred dogs are enough. Either summon elemental creatures or undead, these are the normal methods of magicians. Don't tell me that you are so blind that you can't see their roots, they are just a group of earth elemental elves. Everyone does this kind of thing, and I am not the only one. Besides, it is not impossible to use the dead instead of them to fight but I'm not sure I can control it well so that there won't be a natural disaster of the undead. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1442, Bad Guys Die From Talking Too Much In Jin Yang's Tian Long Babu, Jimazai can use the foundation of the small non-phase kung fu to display all the 72 unique skills of Shaolin the so-called, not the actual performance. But in fact, the so-called mastery of one method is mastery of 10,000 methods here. It does not mean that Jimazai is really like Bodhidharma. After following a lich for so long, is it really possible that Lin knows nothing about undead magic? In line with the thinking of there are no evil skills and props, there are only evil people, Lin does not reject learning undead magic. All things of knowledge, whether it is magic or science, have the so-called by analogy. When solving problems, I also pay attention to inspiration. No one knows when a seemingly irrelevant knowledge point will become the key to solving a certain problem. So Lin learned undead magic. I dare not say how well I learned, or how proficient I am. But summoning a few skeletons to dance is not a problem. If you use your current self to cast undead magic with all your strength for the purpose of fighting a war, what kind of consequences will it cause, a certain traveler really can't figure it out. The biggest possibility is that the undead army he summoned is vulnerable and unable to fight against a Grand Duke of the Empire. Lin, who didn't intend to lose this battle, of course resorted to a more sure method, the robot army. Regarding the questioning of the Guardian Lord, someone can be regarded as seriously expressing his thoughts. Although the tone is not very friendly, the attitude is not very sincere. Of course, Apollos cannot be persuaded in a few words. She raised the kite-shaped giant shield inserted on the ground, and approached someone step by step, and at the same time said sharply, what others are doing does not mean that this thing is correct. What's more, what are they doing? This is massacre, brutal massacre. Still not ordering them to stop and return to the world they should be in. This is a lost place, not a place where outsiders can be unrestrained. This is a pointed target, and someone gets angry when they hear it. Regardless of whether the elder in front of him intends to target him, Lin still couldn't help but sneered, Massacre? Fight until there is no one left in the family, fight to the end without stopping, and fight to the end of the territory. Only one person. This is the oath spoken by the Grand Duke who declared war on me. I am not massacring, I am killing the enemy. If you have the courage to become my enemy, but do not have the courage to die, do you think that I he deserves to be bullied, not to fight back when beaten, not to fight back when scolded? Have you ever wondered how many innocent people live on that land? Lin interrupted the words of the Guardian Lord, and said with a sneer, Innocent? Ha! Huh. There are no innocent people in the world. At most, those stupid words didn't come from their mouths. But a nobleman who can't lift his shoulders or hands, why should he be innocent? Challenge me. It's not because he has an army in his hand and has a territory behind him. No matter what order he gives, he can always fulfill his wish. Why is that? A certain person became more and more angry. In this evil feudal era, with a bit of power the size of a feather in his hands, he thought he could pierce the sky. 
All of them are extremely flamboyant. Trying every means to go back to my hometown, not only is it too dangerous to stay here, but also because this kind of villain holding a chicken feather as an arrow is a universal phenomenon. It doesn't matter if you can't see it, they are a privileged class of 800 people, they are nobles. Lin continued angrily, because I am used to being enslaved and ordered, no matter whether the words of those big people are good or bad, those innocent people will numbly carry out them. What is this for? Just because when others are held accountable when it comes time, they can easily say that those evil orders were given by someone else, not what they wanted, and that the responsibility is not on me. Is that so? Wrong, wrong. Lin shouted. When it comes to someone who rises up, it seems that Chen Wei wants to express his long-standing grievances, but Chen Wei is also stepping forward without fear. Also said. The greatest evil in the world is not doing evil things, but ignoring the occurrence of evil. The former only harms one or two people, while the latter harms a country and a society. Inaction does not mean that they will follow innocent touch, but even more jerk. And the most stupid evil in this world is not to do harm to others but to protect the unjust indiscriminately. So, please, idiot, why are you standing in front of me? Even though he was pointed at his nose and scolded, Apollos did not show any signs of getting angry. She still stubbornly insisted on her own ideas, saying, it is your mistake to bully the weak. Puchi smiled, and Lin said, wars are requested by others. It is their own problem that they are wrong. Today I am not bullying the weak. Is it possible that I have to tie my hands and let them bully and kill? Or it is said that they are very powerful, so I can only use my very strength to fight fairly. I can't appeal if I lose. What a joke. As a nobleman, with the territory behind him, he is not the one who declares war on a magician it's me. After laughing, Lin's face became serious, and he said seriously, May I ask this great majesty who lives in the sky? If I really stood still today and let others bully me, you would still stand in front of me protect me. Without waiting for an answer, Lin continued, Weakness is not an excuse to act willfully. Could it be that because one party is weak, the wrong thing becomes right, and the other party's right thing also becomes wrong? What's more, that person is a Grand Duke of the Empire, being weak is never the evaluation that others would give to such a person. You talk too much nonsense, Apollos commented. At the same time, raise the shield and prepare secretly. After hearing this, Lin smiled again, and said, Sorry, it's my fault. Bad guys die because they talk too much. I know the truth, but I just can't help it. But this time Lin couldn't continue talking, nor could he continue laughing. A negligence, the huge shield that must appear with the figure of the Guardian Master in countless legends, was photographed on his face. This time, solidly. Before the flash technique could be activated, someone was sent flying and dizzy. Fortunately, the protection of the Suan robe was still there, blocking most of the force. Otherwise, this time someone's brains will be painted all over the halls of the Karlsruhe Empire. Although he did not die, minor injuries were inevitable. Fortunately, the teeth did not fall out, and the bridge of the nose was not broken. Lin stood up pressed his nose with one hand, and blew out the blood in his nose. He didn't care about the unlucky nobles behind him who were implicated by being photographed flying, fell down, and lived and died. Lin stared at the attacking god, and his mind was not about why the flashing spell was not activated, but how to save his life. The gap between his powerful divine power and his own, the hit just now revealed too much information. In the final analysis, one sentence, to finish. But not to the point of despair. But the nobles finally realized that they couldn't stand watching the show, and when this place was about to become a battlefield between the Guardian Lord and the Magician, everyone began to flee in a panic. It's just a battle of a powerful divine power level, and its cognition is too far away from them. How far to run is the safe distance, no one has a bottom line. So some people just found a bunker to hide 
ready to continue watching the show. This kind of drama that is rarely seen in a hundred years, if you miss it this time, you may never encounter it in your next life. The other group, who were afraid of trouble and death, had long since fled. It's just that they didn't think that if the Guardian Lord really let go of his hands and feet, the entire Imperial city of New Cain would be destroyed in a matter of minutes. Where else can they escape? Apollos did not continue to pursue after the first blow because she felt the resistance from the basalt robe. Without breaking through this from another world, she couldn't really hurt that magician. So the Guardian Lord is also thinking. The silence of the battle lasted only a moment. Lin brushed his hand across his waist, touched a box of sword pills with his fingertips, and said at the same time, Actually, I really don't want to fight with you in this kind of place. But it seems that you won't let me go easily. Of course, I can't let you go to find trouble with the fleet. While speaking, the box cut on someone's fingertips began to change, stretching forward and backward continuously, and returning to the shape of a sword again. The body of the sword is as tall as a person, the hilt is longer than the arm, and the blade is thick and wide, with a single edge. The most special thing is the patterns on the sword body, which are quite different from those of Khan and the Wheel of Time. If I really want to say, there is a little more of a strange divinity, and it is similar to the divinity of the Guardian Lord. If this is taken out, no one will doubt that it is the artifact of the Guardian Lord. Those nobles who were bold and hid to watch the theater might not understand, but how could Apollos not see it? That divine power that does not belong to him, but is similar but obviously different, will appear on a sword, which makes the guardian baffled. Lin Hung held up the sword body and hilt, which was taller than his whole body, and said, Before you do what you want, let me say one last thing. Although I don't know why you and the Lord of Justice parted ways, but I can probably guess the reason. Justice that does not aim at protection is just an excuse for violence. Similarly, protection that does not take justice as its core is just an accomplice to evil. Your Majesty, you are not its worth being so intimidating. As soon as he finished speaking www.mtlnovel.com Lin immediately swung the saber and turned around. At the moment when he had gained enough momentum, Lin Yuma stepped forward and lowered his waist, flashing a man with a knife in the blind corner behind the Guardian Lord's side. The blade reaches the body, but it is only between the fingers. Although such a combat skill is surprising, it is not unprecedented in the Battle of Apollos in his life. The Kung Fu on his shield has already been trained to be able to deal with any situation. Without a set of combo skills, if she is overwhelmed, it is impossible to break through the defense of the Guardian Lord. So in the face of the magician's offensive, Apollos simply took a big step forward, twisted his waist, turned around, and parried the blow. The sharpness of the box cut, Apollos was very clear in the age of mortals, because the Dark Army at that time included almost all box cut weapons. Even if the Devil King falls, the Devil King's inheritance will be divided up by those daring rebels. But her current shield is not only strong, but also has a divinity with the will of protection attached to it. In the past, it was enough to kill a god, but it couldn't cut through her rock-like will. Apollos never doubted. But the soft sound of metal and iron clashing gave Apollos a thought he had never had before, what happened? Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1443, Round 1 the reason why gods, evil gods, and abyssal lords are difficult to deal with is because they do not exist alone, but are inextricably linked with one or some worlds and rules. Therefore, in order to completely destroy the opponent, or reduce the difficulty of the battle, how to cut off their communication with the outside world is very important. Or tie them and the things they are connected to, and destroy them all in one go. This is why, in order to truly complete the slaughter of the gods, the kingdom of God must be destroyed together. As long as there is a trace of remnants left, the gods may use it to revive. Under such a premise, someone's night starry sky is a very useful domain magic. Like the battle against the abyss dragon god not long ago, the night starry sky directly blocked the attention from the abyss, 
and it was only after that that he could achieve such results. But against the Guardian Lord, this trick is useless. Because Midi is her home field, as long as she steps on the ground, she can get unlimited power and support. The starry sky at night is like covering a radio broadcasting program with a metal mesh, blocking the transmission of radio waves, and the radio can only make a rustling sound. But if the sound source of the radio is transmitted through the physical line of a cable, the metal mesh that blocks the radio waves will not play any role. The Guardian Lord belongs to the latter. To deal with such an opponent, Lin certainly does not have any plans. If he was really at a loss, let alone talking about it for a long time, he might have run away long ago. God can't catch up. The anti-power magic that I and Fen researched together is the best method. Don't look at someone who is secretive and does not intend to make this technology public. But the reality is that if you don't use it now, you probably won't have a chance to use it in the future. Against the Lord of Guardians who are recognized as the strongest, still want to hide their cards to save their lives? You may not be able to save your life by flipping out the whole cards, so hide your hair. So I'm using it. Don't look at the previous fight against the Abyss Dragon God which was extremely thrilling, and was suppressed and beaten most of the time. That's because it was the first time meeting with the Abyss Dragon God. Someone was completely unprepared and faced an enemy he had never seen before. Because it is necessary to analyze the opponent's divine power and power during the battle, when someone is distracted and multi-purpose, someone is not directly killed, but just a thrilling fight, which is enough to prove Lin's dodging skills and escape ability. Guardian Lord, this is an old acquaintance. Maybe the friendship is not deep, but we have met a few times. It was these few opportunities that allowed Lin to have the divine power information of the Guardian Lord in his hands. So in spare time, it is a normal operation to use redundant computing power to crack it. As the saying goes, you sweat more in peacetime and bleed less in wartime. It was an accident, but it was actually not that unexpected. Lin just happened to use the previous results when he met the Lord of Guardians. Coupled with the cooperation of the box cut, a Zanma saber with anti-guarding power as the core and embodied in the power of the sword is formed. If you use it to chop other people or other things, it is just a very sharp heavy weapon. But if it is to deal with the Guardian Lord, it is a very targeted special weapon. Especially the point of nullifying the opponent's power is something that other weapons cannot do. According to the naming logic of Marvel Iron Man Tony Stark, this box cut can be directly called the Anti-Guard Box Cut. That's right, it's a good name, right? Because one move was successful, someone was shouting excitedly in his consciousness with the weapon in his hand. It's just a matter of cheering loudly in reality. Maybe it was too complacent, so extreme joy begets sorrow. Another shield greeted his face. Even if he put the anti-guard box in front of him in time, Lin was still sent flying, killing and maiming many people. The thought in my mind is, why does this guy only shoot faces? Is it against someone else's face? Although the opponent's divine power can be nullified, Apollo's physical fitness and martial arts will not disappear because of this, and his fighting awareness is even more top-notch. For a ruthless man who survived the post-Dark Age and was killed from countless corpses, fighting in adversity is commonplace. How could she shake her mind just because of a small loss, so she fought back immediately? Lin was completely overwhelmed by this shot, but he also put away his newly emerged complacency. Even if the opponent's divine power can be restrained, the title of the strongest man in front of him is not for fun. Apollo still has a great advantage in all aspects. Ignoring those aristocrats running away with their heads in their hands, Lin spent some time paying attention to the daring emperor His Majesty who was a man of art. Once again, all his vision was blocked by the decoration on the shield. But this time, Lin Kei didn't just sit back and watch the face-slapping thing happen for the third time. Instead, he leaned down and kicked the lower edge of the shield with his legs, changing the direction of the Guardian Lord's shield attack. At the same time, the saber-shaped anti-guard boxer was thrown from above to behind like a windmill, and then swung in a big circle from bottom to top. 
even the hard slate ground could not stop the power of the boxer. The huge saber hit the crooked shield from below, and Apollos was lifted into the sky. With both feet off the ground, the guardian lord who was picked up was not panicked at all. In her previous battles, it was not that she had never encountered such a powerful enemy with a huge body and strange strength. It is not entirely possible for him to stand firmly on the ground and carry the opponent's attack like a city wall. Rather than standing still like a mountain, she is better at controlling the rhythm of the battle and controlling all the actions of the enemy and the enemy. Even if she is picked up, she still has a set of coping methods. With his right hand without a shield, he threw out a soul shackle. The chains on the shackles can ensure that the enemy and the enemy are fixed together and can only fight within a certain range. This is her little known method, because most of the enemies don't need her to pay so much attention now. Being able to launch raids twice before was also an initial manifestation of this ability. Now that the soul shackles appear, it means that the battle can only be terminated when one of the parties dies, or when she admits defeat. The latter, however, has not yet happened. Even though the thrown shackles were not fixed on the enemy, they brought Apollos' figure out of the physical inertia, and approached the magician against the trend. Of course, it is impossible for Lin to let any more shackles appear on his body. Shrunk up, subtly changed the center of gravity of the body, so that the anti-guard box cut was swung at a faster speed. At the same time, the chains and shackles that blocked the attack with a single sword, also carried unparalleled power, and went straight to the exposed head of the Guardian Lord. Apollos will not be too big to use his forehead to take the attack hard. At the moment before the blade was added to her body, she shrank behind the shield, fixed her hands, and took the blow from the huge kite-shaped shield. This also caused her to be sent flying for the second time, falling further away. After a short fight, Lin was sure that the strange shackles did not have the function of locking the enemy and automatically chasing them. Fortunately, it also made him more vigilant. The purer the ability of the artifact, the higher its upper limit of ability, that is to say, if it is really handcuffed, it will only be more difficult to break free. Take a deep breath, remobilize the strength in your body, and try to squeeze out the unused potential. Although it is said that the Saber Saber does not need to be swung entirely by arm strength, but if you want to swing faster and cut harder, you have to have enough strength in order to get more favorable results. With the in front of him who is good at using shields, it's useless to fight dexterity. There has always been only one way to deal with a heavily armored soldier, smash her open. Taking a second breath, Lin began to move forward in small steps. Swing the anti-guard box and cut it around the waist for a circle, circle the top of the head for the second circle, and turn around like a hammer throw for the third circle. The speed is getting faster and faster with each lap, and the power is also more powerful with each lap. When it was the third lap, there were almost no complete figures and sword shadows, leaving only the sound of the blade cutting through the wind. In the fourth lap without Apollos' expected counterattack, the magician in front of him reappeared in an unexpected position, and the saber slashed from an unexpected angle. This time, he slashed at the guardian lord's shield not from any blind spot, but from the front, without sixty years of armor. Is it a sheep attack or a frontal attack? Although there was a moment of hesitation, Apollos' movements were not slowed down by half a beat. She held the kite-shaped shield with both hands, kept her feet firmly on the ground, and took the blow forcefully. The sound of gold and iron striking like a gong, as well as the solid feeling from his hand, made Apollos confirm one thing. I don't know why my divine power seems to have disappeared, so that the opponent's weapon hits my shield directly. And the momentum has not diminished, the huge impact will go through the shield and directly hurt the body. Apollos took a step back, letting go of the impact. It was also this step back that allowed the kite-shaped shield in his hand to avoid the fate of being smashed in half by the saber. As a handy love shield, the material of the kite-shaped shield is definitely not ordinary steel. Instead, it is made of various rare materials by the skillful hands of dwarf craftsmen. But no matter what materials in the world, 
it is useless to compete with the Zyoki clan. Although the kite-shaped shield escaped the fate of being smashed in half, it left a clearly visible knife mark in the center of the shield. This kind of record www.mtlnovel.com is also because a certain magician is not good at fighting skills, so after most of the power is released by the Guardian Lord, it becomes a shock wave and disperses towards the left and right sides. As long as you can concentrate your skillful energy, even if you don't cut off the shield, you still have to make the in front of you take a few steps back. However, the divergent shock wave did not disappear silently. Instead, before the power dissipated, he wreaked havoc on the surrounding nobles who were unwilling to leave. Although people have almost run away, there are still some people who don't believe in evil, so some people die, some people are injured, some people are lucky, and they watched a good show again. A magician who was exhausted used the flash technique to distance himself, and couldn't help but said, Your Majesty retreated, why did you retreat? The person behind you is not worthy of your protection? So I want to ask, what is your standard for protecting people? Does it depend on your mood? Today you are in a good mood, so you are not allowed to kill even one cockroach and ant, are you in a good mood or not? The soul shackles on the right arm reappeared, and the chains were scattered on the ground. Magicians are too easy to cause accidents, especially the people in front of them. Apollos raised the threat of the magician in front of him to the highest level, and said coldly, You talk too much nonsense. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1444, 3 Holy Light Gathered One person and one fought again. However, the division between humans and gods is not just the various unreasonable effects brought about by divine power. Apollos is not a who sits high on the throne and has never done anything for hundreds of years. She gained the reputation of being the strongest in the lost land by fighting against the Lord of the Abyss, against the Lord of Elements, and against visitors from other worlds. Even though the divine power was suppressed, the shield still danced vigorously, parrying one attack after another. And instead of using brute force to block hard, but using various unloading techniques to minimize the damage. The right hand shackle is waiting for the opportunity to come out. Lock the neck, lock the hands, lock the waist, lock the feet, the size of the shackles will change according to the position, any lock will do. No matter how bad it was, the chain attack made the magician have to guard against it. The combat method seems to be based on defense and containment, but in fact, as long as one is caught with a chance, every move is enough to generate a deadly combo. Lin's combat method is also simple, that is, the whole body is spinning like a top, and the anti-guard box cuts out large and small circles like a windmill. Cooperating with the movement method of the flash technique, attacks are often launched from unexpected positions. Sometimes people think that they are still accumulating power, but in the next instant the object changes position, and the attack is imminent. Sometimes I think that my block is just right and I can make a combo and counter-attack the opponent, but I didn't expect that everything will be empty as soon as the move is released. The magician's offensive is erratic in advance and retreat, unpredictable. Apollos was able to hold on steadily, in fact, he did his best. Moreover, there are shackles and chains as an offensive, which restricts a part of the range of action, which prevents the magician from fully displaying it. However, in this seemingly stalemate situation, Lin did not appear anxious. In fact, if he wasn't afraid of his intentions being discovered, he would have wanted to save trouble, and instead of jumping so much, he would have just slammed his sword on the shield of the Guardian Lord. The martial arts of Apollos, the Lord of Guardians, are all on that shield, this sentence seems to be a bit wrong now. At least the Kung Fu of the chain in one hand is not so rare that it can be ignored. But the chain is only auxiliary after all, and the focus is still on the shield. In other words, that shield is the strongest part of Apollos. If the strongest link is taken away, doesn't it mean that the Guardian Lord is no longer a concern? Lin's idea now is to abolish that shield. If the divine power is unobstructed, Apollos can get a steady stream of support from the lost land, 
and Lin will never have such an idea. But the current situation is that the divine power is restrained by the anti-guard box cut, and Apollos does not look like he has entered the invincible state of infinite protection, if he simply fights for weapon materials, there is no box cut opponent in the world. And this is the first battle. In other words, this may be a one-of-a-kind opportunity. You must know that there are many tactics that can only be regarded as clever strategies. After using it once, if you want the enemy to be fooled again, you can only hope that the opponent is so stupid that it can't be any more stupid. Lin didn't want to bet on whether Apollos IQ was up to standard, so he could only do his best in this opportunity. Hit it again and again. Faced with such an offensive, Apollos didn't think much, she just defended steadily. Or even if she sensed the intention behind the magician, could she still give up her defense? This is an upright conspiracy. But no matter how much he used the unloading technique, every attack of the saber on the shield still left damage. Even trying to disperse these attacks on the position of the shield, it is of no avail. In addition to the cut marks left by the saber, in Apollos' hand, the strange shock force was the main source of damage making the shield's material structure extremely fragile. Not surprisingly, the giant kite-shaped shield that Apollos loved disintegrated in another slash with all his strength by the magician. Like glass hit by a huge force, it shattered to the ground with a crisp sound. Lin didn't take advantage of the victory to pursue, but retreated a certain distance, and looked at the in front of him proudly. Thinking about the question of whether to kill or not to kill. Gods can be slaughtered, and even gods can be slaughtered from time to time. In a good mood or in a bad mood, you can kill and relieve boredom. But the Guardian Master is definitely not in the ranks of this arbitrary killing. As the most powerful firewall in Midi, Apollos is registered in Midi, and it is not an exaggeration to say that he is his own son. If such a is slaughtered by himself, Lin can't even imagine what chain reaction will happen in the future. Therefore, we can only hope to knock down the strongest link of the opponent, so that he will retreat in spite of difficulties. But as has been repeatedly emphasized in the past, people can choose when to start a war, but they cannot decide when to stop. For the war to end, the other party must have the intention to stop, and both are indispensable, or if one of the parties is completely wiped out, the war will naturally stop. Wishful thinking by either party will only lead to disappointment in the end. This is also someone who didn't hang up for three seconds with a smug expression. When he watched the Guardian Master untie the remaining strap of the shield in his hand, he raised his hand to grab it, and the second support shield fell from the sky and fell firmly into his hand. That is a square arc-shaped tower shield that is even bigger than the previous kite-shaped shield. Without lifting it, the tall and strong body of Apollos can be completely covered. Move slightly left and right, and you can block most of someone's attack angles, unless you attack from behind every time. But doing so is tantamount to a magician limiting his main focus. With such a giant shield, Apollos can still flexibly operate it with one hand. So she was not in a hurry, firmly fixed the shield her left arm, and checked it carefully. Such an action, on the contrary, can bring more pressure to the opponent. Seeing this, Lin couldn't help but said, as for it. It can only be said that someone's emotional management is not yet in the realm of not changing his face when a mountain collapses in front of him. I can spend it with you like this. In contrast, Apollos is more aware of his own advantages, so he doesn't care about this small defeat in front of him. All right. I still remember that when I watched a movie before time travel, I would cheer for the character of the US team. But when such a person stands opposite him, he will only feel so sad that he wants to die. Do you spend it regardless? Even if his body has undergone transformation and evolution, it is no longer the old weak physique. But do you think too much about a man who fights for endurance? But if you think about it seriously, isn't this also your purpose? better than letting it harass the droid fleet. As long as he can drag the fleet to complete the combat objectives, he will be considered a victory, and the battle with the Guardian Lord is not important. Although the emotion management and expression management were out of balance before, 
this time Lin Kei didn't show the joy of the successful trick. Still frowning in embarrassment, he continued to swing the anti-guard box that was longer and heavier than himself, and rushed towards the guardian master. Apollos also seemed to be unaware of someone's purpose, and was brought into the rhythm of delaying time, focusing on preparing to block the sword attack from the magician. This is because she also noticed something wrong with the saber-chopping knife. If it was not parried with a shield and cut to the body, it would be cut and broken without any discussion. However, the second round did not start after all. After only turning around, Lin stepped back vigilantly. Because just now, the robot fleet was smashed into two big gaps. The two big gaps are compared to the level of fireworks set off by the nine heroic spirits of the Guardian Lord. The record of blowing up several warships at once is proud. But the size of the two gaps is not the same, but one big and one small. The existence that created these two gaps did not continue to wreak havoc in the fleet, but fell to the ground, behind the Guardian Lord. A man and a woman came, Albrecht, the Lord of Justice, and Vita, the Lord of Life, two powerful divine powers descended. And they are not the kind of peaceful dresses to meet believers, but armed postures with full armor. As soon as the three powerful divine powers stood together, their divine powers began to entangle with each other, and there was a faint resonance phenomenon. But the three gods are very restrained, restraining their own divine power, rather than letting it go. It's not that they are worried about the impact of the divine power entering the entangled state, it's just that one of them is particularly upset. Seeing the two powerful gods blatantly sneaking into the lost land and still appearing in his sight, Apollos wished he could turn around and slap the shields on the faces of the two gods. The three lords of holy light gathered together. Before confirming the other party's intentions, Lin certainly wouldn't be so impulsive as to kill them directly and force everyone to become enemies. There is such a certainty, because the three people are not in the same heart, Lin has no doubt that the three people's teamwork is really at the level of destroying heaven and earth. Based on this alone, once the two newcomers intend to do something, Apollos will definitely stay out of the matter, and even greet the two old comrades with their shields backhandedly. Although the Lord of Justice appeared fully armed, the sword was still in the scabbard and had not been drawn out. The spearhead on the spear stick of the Lord of Life is still covered with a dragon skin sheath. Both of them are just a gesture of preparing for war, not starting a war. The appearance of Albrecht did not look like asking for a crime. Instead, he looked happy, clapped his hands, and said, although I don't really like the arguments you mentioned about me. But the part about scolding this stubborn rock is really enjoyable to hear. I really can't agree more. Although I don't think it is possible for you to stand shoulder to shoulder with me www.mtlnovel.com to fight against the Lord of Guardians. But I am very grateful to the Palace of Justice that you agree with my remarks. Someone started the business bragging mode. Oh, use honorifics. I thought you would think that you have the right to be on an equal footing with us. In fact, you can achieve such results, and you are indeed qualified. No OR demon can abolish her a shield. The Lord of Justice seems to be talking about a that has nothing to do with him. In fact, the two gods were close comrades in arms, and even after they became gods, they formed the church together. Although they parted ways later, how could such a relationship be broken at will? And the world is very unfair. In interpersonal communication, people with money and power are polite to others, that is called humility, and it is called corporal courtesy. If the other party takes it seriously, it's just ignorance. Of course, it is impossible for Lin to take this kind of flattery, with unknown intentions behind his back, seriously. He seriously replied, if I didn't take that step, it means that I just look up at you from a lower level of life. How can I say that I can stand shoulder to shoulder with you? I am more interested in the two are you here to try to persuade a fight, or to fight. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1445, Surprise Vita the Lord of Life, is very beautiful, but her personality is cold and she doesn't like to laugh very much. 
Compared with Fen's glamorous beauty with a hint of evil, this goddess is upright and dignified, and she can be seen from a distance without daring to play with her. Fen and this Lord of Life have also met several times by chance, and even almost obtained the status of a voter. But Fern refused, she subconsciously rejected everything related to God. Of course, it was impossible for Lin to persuade her to restrain herself or change her attitude. In fact, killing the gods without seeing them was already a huge improvement for this original lich, and Lin couldn't ask for more. However, Fern's perception of the Lord of Life is not bad, she always refers to it as the little sister with facial paralysis. To use a certain characteristic nickname affectionately is enough to prove that Fern remembers this person or this god. Fern doesn't deliberately look down on or despise a person or god, because she doesn't take it to heart. Someone asked, or appeared in front of her, at most she asked one, who? Ignoring hurts more than contempt. In short, the goddess of life, who had caught the eyes of a certain lich, frowned for a rare question. In fact, she herself didn't understand why she appeared here. It is impossible to fight. If there was a fight, my younger brother would be the first to turn his face, even if he said he came to help her, it would be useless. This is not the first time such a thing has happened, so Vita is very sure of Apollos' attitude. Advice? What do you want to advise? Persuading Apollos to stop? If this brother listens to the persuasion, he will save a lot of troubles in his life. At least the ability to heal injuries and save others will not be refined to the level it is today. Persuade that magician? A magician who dares to challenge the gods can be persuaded with a few words? He didn't see the opponent's eagerness to try, as if as long as he nodded from his side, he would rush forward to fight three against one. The dog's rush to eat is not so obvious. It's just things that Vita can see clearly, those two guys who are men in their bones don't understand like they are blind. One was as stubborn as a donkey, and the other had to sit in the front row to watch the excitement, lest the performers would not notice him. Conclusion, a bunch of kids. Unaware of her status in the heart of a certain goddess, she was secretly lowered to the level of a follower. The Lord of Justice looked at a certain magician provocatively and said, Magician, I admit that you have the strength to fight against the gods. But with one against three, wouldn't it be too arrogant? Of course, the Lord of Justice will not fail to see someone's itchy hands. And she appeared here, not because she wanted to help Apollos, or to see her jokes, but because Albrecht wanted to meet the magician. As for why you want to meet and what to do when you see them, we will wait until you see them. What decides everything depends on the attitude of the magician. Facing the arrogant remarks that criticized him for one on three, Lin did not show much fear. Insert the anti-guardian boxer on the ground in front of him, and stick a boxer sword pellet on each index finger of his left and right hands from his waist. The powerful divine power on the table, except for the master of the eight powers, the divine power of the other gods has been deciphered by himself. Anti-power magic can be used against gods at any time. After all, these are potential opponents, and their temples and churches are the best to find, and it is easy to find samples of divine power. Of course, it is impossible for a certain cross-traveler to die imminently, so they hold Buddha's feet temporarily. The reason why it is impossible to target the masters of the eight powers is because the divine powers of these eight are unique and pure. Compared with other divine powers, which are arranged and combined with eight powers, the master of the eight powers only masters a single power. Moreover, there is no such thing as mutual generation and mutual restraint among the eight kinds of powers, so naturally there is no way to counter them. With specific inverse power equations. It has also been operated once before, and an anti-guard box cut has been achieved through the box cut then it is certainly not difficult at all to do it a second time or a third time. And because the shape of the sword to be changed this time is not as large as the Zanbadeo, the time for changing is saved a lot. The box-cut sword pill in the left hand has become the form of a Roman short sword, and it is not a straight blade, but a gourd shape with a little curvature. This is an anti-justice cut against Albrecht. 
the sword pill in the right hand becomes a rapier for stabbing. Metallic rose-shaped round suba and flower on the front of the hilt. The vine ornament guard adorns this anti-life box. The left and right swords both revealed divine powers similar to those of justice and life, but completely different. Among them, Vita felt the deepest, and the word natural enemy even popped up in her mind. In the concept of the other two, there is no natural enemy, ah. The anti-divine power series is not a completely opposite concept, or a restraint relationship similar to that of the five elements, but a key to unlock. What makes divine power special is its ability to virally assimilate infection. As long as the number of foundations of divine power is greater, the speed of its infection and assimilation will be faster. The anti-divine power is that key. To undo the power bound by divine power and restore it to its original lively and chaotic state will lose the characteristics of divine power. Theoretically, the anti-divine power formula can also come to erode the body of the gods. But it seems that high temperature can evaporate water, make it dissipate, and reduce the volume of water. However, the same effect on the sealed tank will not just reduce the total amount of water in various forms, because the water vapor has no place to escape, and it is all trapped in the sealed tank. As soon as the heat is removed, the conditions in the sealed jar slowly return to normal. Therefore, in order for the anti-power equation to have a specific effect on the body of the god, it is necessary to knock out a hole in the airtight jar first, that is, to cut a sword at the opponent's body with a box cutter. As long as this sword is cut for real, at least it will be a serious injury to take off, and it will not be capped. It's just that the weapon is forged and forged. It's really not that someone's head gets hot. He holds a sword in each of his left and right hands, bites another one in his mouth, and rushes up to meet the three gods. If you really do that, how can it be, brain damage, two words can describe it. The two who just appeared were only threatening, not hostile. The most troublesome thing was the Lord Guardian who was looking left and right, struggling to deal with the magician first or the other couple. The heart of death is not diminished. And watching the magician on the opposite side create two highly targeted weapons without saying a word, the Lord of Justice sighed and said, It seems that I still underestimate you, this is how you use one against three the source of courage. So you choose to fight? It is impossible to allow the Lord of Justice to set the tone of the matter, Lin said conservatively, No, maybe I just want to say that no matter who comes, I am sure to bite him hard. So don't think of me as a bug that can be needed at will. The so-called military confrontation can only be established on the premise that they can destroy each other. It's just wishful thinking to arm yourself as a porcupine and expect those meat-eating animals to know how to deter when they see you. Porcupines may scare off many low-level hunters. But in front of the real top hunters, the porcupine is just a troublesome prey to handle. But a military confrontation is just a military confrontation, not a formal declaration of war. Although he got angry with the Guardian Master, he didn't have any fatal conflicts with the other two. It is better not to fight, but not to fight. I just responded to a Grand Duke's declaration of war and then summoned the robot fleet to bombard him. Based on the territory of a Grand Duke, the scattered population adds up, and the casualties are at most over a million, which shouldn't be too much. There are also old and weak women and children. All right. Why do you think that there is nothing wrong with the three of them teaming up to beat yourself up when you think about it seriously? Someone is ashamed. However, this embarrassment did not show on his face because with the three box cuts of the anti-divine power series, the next battle would either be impossible, or it would most likely be the last battle of this life. Someone who has no time to hurt the spring and autumn is facing three powerful gods alone. This is really a situation that has never been imagined before. In order to prevent things from slipping in the worst direction, after showing your fangs, you should show kindness and moderation. It's just that, as a keyboard warrior who can drive people into the sky, it's a bit difficult for Lin to handle the lines of carrots and sticks well. This kind of hard and soft diplomatic rhetoric is not what I am good at. 
When this certain person was struggling with how to speak next, a sudden accident interrupted all thinking. The opening front of the anti-life box cut did not take any part of the life Lord Vita's body, but Lin's own left hand. The moment the warning sign flashed through his mind, Lin subconsciously cut off the left hand that was holding the anti-justice box cut off at the wrist. The blood sprayed from the severed wrist only had time to spill a few drops before someone controlled the muscles to contract and stop the bleeding. As for the left palm that fell to the ground, a white light originating from divine power was shining on the back of the hand. That is the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, which belongs to the mark of the elect. Although the bleeding at the severed wrist was stopped, and even though the pain from the wrist was severed, the feeling before that still really hit my nerves. Lin looked dissatisfied in a certain direction, the figure hidden in the shadows. There are four people in the legendary team that used to crusade against the Dark Legion. All three have shown up, the fourth is still far away. Are you giving up my voter status? Small cover. Kei Yin, the goddess of gold coins, appeared from the corner where someone was staring at her with an aggrieved face. I thought our cooperation was very pleasant. I like you very much. Putting away the displeasure on his face, Lin said helplessly, Your Majesty, I don't hate you. I even think that you will be the most compatible with me www.mtlnovel.com but no matter what, this is not a reason for me to be willing to be controlled. Lin Ban held up his broken wrist. Although the bleeding had stopped, the wound was not considered healed, so the section of muscle and bone still looked terrible. Although I don't want to use that sentence that is very temperamental, but at this time I still want to say, I can't help my fate. What happened just now was that the holy emblem of the gold coin goddess on the back of his left hand started to make trouble. The divine power belonging to Kei Yin inexplicably received a lot of support, rushed out of the imprint range of the holy emblem, and began to spread towards other parts of the body. Would it be a good thing to be occupied by divine power? Lin didn't want to use his own body for experiments, and he didn't care whether Kei Yin's purpose of doing so was to control himself. Anyway, there is nothing wrong with being careful at this sensitive timing. So someone decisively cut off his left hand. Koi Meruro. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1446, Disappearing Target. Someone's self-mutilation made him know clearly that today's battle cannot continue no matter what. Even if Apollos doesn't stop, he doesn't have the ability to continue to fight her. Before, I attacked more and defended less, it was due to the way the enemy and the enemy fought, not because I was really strong enough to suppress the opponent. Without hands, of course he couldn't afford to chop a saber. The anti-guard box cut is not the type of saber. Trying to break through the defense of the Guardian Lord is simply delusional. Therefore, it is completely meaningless to change the anti-guard box into a one-handed sword. Although his body has been demonized, regeneration of severed limbs is not included in the ability list. This is not the case with wound healing. How many cells have to proliferate to regenerate a lost limb? But if you take the broken palm back and connect it, you can recover quickly. Such trivial things as bone and flesh and blood vessels can be treated as wounds. With the specificity of this physical body, Lin didn't even need to control it himself. The half-palm approached, and the connection would happen automatically. But Lin didn't do that. Although Kei Yin's divine power retracted into the holy emblem mark, Lin still fired a fireball, burning his severed left palm and the blood that had been sprayed out before. An old topic using a part of the target's body mysteriously, the curse cast is hard to guard against. A certain traveler doesn't want to leave any clues behind. On the contrary, such behavior really angered the goddess of gold coins. Never seen before, she walked to the front in a military uniform. Angry eyes asked, Magician, you really want to sever ties with me? Aren't you afraid that I will nullify all your deeds? With a half-smile, Lin asked jokingly, Oh, are you willing? Your Majesty Kei Yin. There are two types of political affairs in the world. One is to implement it with a strong hand, which may harm the interests of most people in the short term, 
but it is a good thing for long-term development, and it is even something that has to be done. One is to follow the trend and conform to the interests of the vast majority of people. The former is prone to the problem of personal death and political interest. As long as the executor is gone, everything he has promoted will quickly return to its original appearance as if it had been loaded with spring. Nothing was left except a chicken feather. The most common situation in the latter is that if the pusher is not toiled to death, or is kicked aside by vested interests, the whole situation is completely accepted. In order to obtain maximum benefits, even monopoly benefits, those who already have considerable strength will of course want to dominate everything, instead of being a small citizen at the mercy of others. I don't dare to talk about knowledge, but what Lin promotes and arranges is in the interest of everyone. Are people or gods who have tasted the sweetness willing to give up the benefits that have been tasted? Lin didn't believe it at all. That's why he dared to confidently ask the goddess in front of him, which made Kei Yin angry. Unless forced to, it is really impossible for the goddess of gold coins to give up the implementation of the bank. Kei Yin thought of his former self, who was a marginal among the weaker gods, and it would not be surprising when he fell to the altar. But now, even the Lord of Wealth, one of the eight powers, wants to come and grab food from him. If it hadn't been for a polis move, he would have been under the control of that big fat man. If he voluntarily gave up on the bank, believe it or not, that fat man would squat in the next second, occupying himself and refusing to leave. The competition among the gods is far more cruel than mortals can imagine. For Lin, the advantage of following the trend to promote something is that it doesn't take much effort. Even if you let go of the banking business and don't have your own helm, wouldn't the bank develop on its own? Although I have plans for this nascent financial business, I have personally experienced the horror of letting a financial monster be born. But for a person who is not a finance and economics major, Lin can't guarantee that the direction he controls is correct, which is good for most people. Perhaps it would be a better choice to let development go and walk out of Midi's own financial path. Therefore, Lin did not hesitate to give up his voter status. Of course I don't regret it. It's definitely not a lazy cancer attack, and I feel disgusted by being a consultant and doing social work. However, Apollos on the side was slightly dissatisfied with the goddess of gold coins intervening and staged a drama that seemed to have nothing to do with her. She can defeat that magician without the help of her friends. Especially when the other party cut off a hand. The guardian lord himself will not feel any guilt of bullying the weak. Because she is standing in the position of a protector, as long as it is the evil party, no matter what tragic situation the other party falls into, she will come forward to attack the other party. Although he doesn't care whether the battle is fair, but because of his personality, Apollos will not use any despicable means. At least when those companions who were not on the same front attracted the attention of the magician, she didn't plan to take the opportunity to sneak attack. But she couldn't have been watching the show all the time. The strange shaped metal monsters in the sky are still roaring, the land is being melted inch by inch, and countless lives are disappearing at the same time. The Guardian Lord must stop all of this, this is her duty and mission. The soul shackles on his right hand fell heavily to the ground, and the slightly flicked chains made harsh metal friction sounds. As if telling others, the owner of the chains became more and more impatient. Lin could still feel such a hint. He tilted his head, gave a rather fake commercial smile, and said, Continue. Before he finished speaking, the shackles flew towards a magician. Lin raised his left arm, which was missing a palm, to block it and those non-gold and non-iron shackles made of unknown material tightly clasped someone's left forearm. Without the burden of the palm, the bare wrist should be easy to break free. But the fact is that Lin's forearm was tightly bound by shackles, and he couldn't follow the direction to pull his arm out of the shackle ring. This is certainly not an undeclared war, or a sneak attack. I was already in the middle of a battle, and I didn't concentrate on being hit by someone, who else could I cry about? Besides, the fact that the handcuffs went so smoothly was probably the result of someone releasing the water. 
Lin wanted to try the effectiveness of this pair of shackles. This is the most direct way to understand an ability. With the condition of his left hand and his confidence in the flashing technique, he has the confidence to give it a try. It was only after he was handcuffed that Lin once again confirmed that he should not be too confident in his life. This pair of shackles is not as simple as I imagined. Because it is not the physical body, but the soul in a certain concept. It may be that the main concept is protection, and the concept of bloody battle, unstoppable death, don't let the enemy overstep and other concepts. In short, at the moment of being handcuffed, Lin felt that he was captured from the depths of his soul. In order to break free from the shackles on his arms, Lin also tried to use the flash technique to move his arms away from their original position in space. However, the result was that the shackles moved with the flash, as if it was a whole with itself. Compared with being shackled by this pair of shackles, what is even more frustrating is that Apollos can follow the chains and instantly bully the locked object. Before Lin could figure out what was going on here, the thickened giant shield slapped him in the face again. Will you chop off your own hand again? Such thoughts flashed through his mind, Lin still replaced the anti-life box cut in his right hand with the anti-guard box cut, and stood in front of him again. Although he couldn't completely block the shot, the anti-guard formula still worked, completely removing the divine power from the shield hit. The rest of the impact was blocked by the power of the Suan Wu robe. Even so, it still caused someone to be shot out by the shield of the Guardian Lord like a bouncy ball, and then pulled back by the soul shackles. Lin tried to use the anti-guard box to cut off the chain part of the soul shackles. Without much effort, the chain melted when it touched the blade, splitting into two. Both ends of the chain also fell to the ground. But after the blade passed, the broken chains were joined together again. The effect of restricting people's movement range, as well as the ability to teleport the Guardian Lord to one side again and again remain unchanged. Coupled with the unchanging but effective shield slapping face, Lin has a brand new experience of the four words stalking. It's just that the defense of the Suan Wu robe is not so easy to break through. Every shield attack by Apollos seemed to be powerful, but in the end it only left negligible damage on someone. It is more serious than scratching the skin. After being photographed like this several times, Lin laughed. Amidst the laughter, he even spat out the mouthful of blood from loose teeth and bleeding gums. This laughter also made the Guardian Master stop his attack. She looked at the magician in front of her sternly, as if she could cut off that thin neck with just one hand. She said, Crazy, mortal. If I'm really crazy, I can't tell you the correct answer. In fact, I'm just curious, Great Guardian, what is your purpose for finding me? A question that was asked knowingly, and Apollos became angry when he heard it. She instinctively wanted to slap this guy in the face again, but the next moment, she also sensed that something was wrong. The nine people who had followed him for a long time came to him with shields. Shouldn't they stop those monster attacks in the sky? I don't need their help to deal with this magician. No one's help is needed. And in the sky. Originally, it was only from the corner of my eye. But in order to confirm, Apollos turned his head, looking at the blue and clear sky from the gap in the broken conference hall www.mtlnovel.com The torrent of metal that covered the sky before seemed fake, leaving no trace. The team of metal monsters, retreated. She didn't notice that the magician in front of her gave an order to retreat, or that this person showed any signs of surrender. Then the remaining possibility. It can only be, that cruel answer. Lin was still smiling. But the sourness in his mouth made him grit his teeth and gasped. With the basalt robe for self-defense, he escaped the fate of being smashed into meat paste by the shield of the Guardian Lord. But there are no major injuries, minor injuries are inevitable, and the accumulation of those minor injuries has also caused someone to suffer an injury like being greeted by a street gangster. But Lin still said proudly, failed to protect those who are not worthy of protection, are you planning to take revenge now? Use this method of revenge after the fact to intimidate those potential enemies not to act recklessly. 
Your Majesty, what do you think? Can it be counted in the concept of protection? If so, then every time you have to wait for a bunch of dead people to take action, then what are dead people in your heart? Change Source App Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1447, Good God's Choice The concept of Marvel's Avengers is actually the meaning of the law. Made a mistake, so punished. People should not break the law lightly if they are afraid of punishment afterwards. However, losses must occur in the process, that is, property damage or personal injury caused by criminal acts. Even if it is repaired after the fact, the damage has already been done. This kind of legal punishment is not to educate people, to take precautions, so that losses and injuries will not happen. That's why some people say that the law is the lower limit of morality. This approach of only pursuing the lower limit is a helpless choice in the dangerous environment of Marvel. But is it the only choice for the Guardian Lord Apollos? The good and evil camps of the Lost Gods are generally divided by whether the concepts they represent are positive or negative. However, this division method is not accurate. It cannot explain that some negative concepts belong to the camp of good gods, and some positive concepts are mixed up with abyss evil gods. Although such confusion occurs, it is usually the lesser known gods. Its own base of believers is not much, so it is easy to be skewed by the behavior of believers. According to a traveler's observation and analysis of the lost gods, it can be said that those who pursue the upper limit of the concept can probably be classified into the camp of good gods. Interestingly, the classification of good and evil does not mean that the former will bring favorable results, while the latter will definitely cause losses. Sometimes the advantages and disadvantages are reversed, and the difference is that there are more or less people. Therefore, even the evil camp or the evil gods of the abyss have a belief foundation, so it is not possible to have no believers. At most, this kind of people believe secretly. As the saying goes in my hometown, there are people in the business of killing people, but no one in the business of losing money. So here comes the problem. What about the quest of the Guardian Lord? Can she accept revenge as a means of protection? If you accept it, then there is nothing to consider, the arm should be chopped off. Anyway, the palm has already been chopped off, so it's nothing to chop off more. Then oil the solace of your feet and run away. If you can still be caught up like this, then let's play it like flying a kite and see who is impatient first. The feud has grown, why don't you run away and wait to be slapped in the face with a shield until you die? However, judging from the disintegration of the shackles and chains, Apollos should not pursue the bottom line. She even showed her back nonchalantly, and stared viciously at the other three gods who were also in the real world, until the scalp of the other three gods became numb. It is very troublesome for the gods to be in the mortal world. But the most troublesome level should still come from the attention of the Guardian Lord. How did the name of the strongest in the Lost Land come from? It was the result of beating one blind intruder after another, and beating them alive. Similarly, it is also very troublesome for the descending gods to leave the Lost Land. But if you are going back to your own kingdom of God, the level of trouble will plummet. As long as no one deliberately obstructs them, as long as they think about it, they will appear in their home the next moment. Therefore, Albrecht, the Lord of Justice, gave a certain magician a meaningful look, and then left. Vita, the Lord of Life, doesn't have any thoughts about Midi, but there is still a guest waiting in her home. And that person may become a villain at any time. The Goddess of Gold Coins, Kayin, wanted to talk to Apollos more, but it was obviously not a good time. She also wants to keep the magician, but Apollos 100% does not allow her real body to stay longer, so she can only think of a way afterwards. After the Guardian Lord confirmed that there was no longer any threat in the sky, she never set her eyes on the magician again. No matter how dissatisfied she is with this outsider, she cannot deny that there is a considerable support force behind him, such as the 25 world trees. The world tree cannot be touched by oneself, and there is no reason to touch it, 
and it even needs to be supported in reverse. But she didn't want to do something against her will, so she simply ignored it. After watching the three true gods leave without leaving any trace behind, Apollos whistled loudly. Her favorite horse chariot, pulled by two eight-legged heavenly horses, fell from the sky. The horse chariot did not stop at all. At the moment when he was separated from Apollos, the guardian lord clasped his hands, and the whole person rolled into the driver's seat. At the same time, the two celestial horses scrambled and opened a wormhole similar to the Einstein-Rosen bridge directly in front of them. Another flash, as if being sucked into a wormhole, even its divine body and car disappeared on the spot. As soon as the old man left, the nine heroic spirits holding the shield didn't make any more expressions, or showed some emotion towards the magician in front of them. They just bent their knees and leaped, but they also jumped out of the rocket's escape velocity from gravity, and disappeared into the sky. Lin didn't bother to criticize such a group of people who came and went suddenly. After all, they are gods, how can gods care about people's feelings, let alone such foolish behavior as saying something before leaving? After all those high and mighty beings were gone, and although it hadn't been turned into ruins, the Karlsruhe Empire Hall was still a mess, and some people came out of their hiding places. In fact, the nobles who survived to the end are not because they have a strong gossip and courage. It was just because they missed the opportunity to escape, and they didn't dare to show up in the subsequent conflicts, so they could only hide and shiver. In addition to these fearful nobles looking at a certain magician, the elves who belonged to various world trees and assisted in handling the banking business of the goddess of gold coins also came out of hiding. Their expressions did not have the fear of nobles, but a wonderful expression under the influence of psychological factors such as surprise, curiosity and admiration. They thought that this magician was very good at fighting. To be able to make friends with the 25 world tree majesties, it is impossible to fight. Among the elemental elves, there is a different name of the master of the four elements. The elves are aware of it, but everyone thinks that it is more due to external forces than their own strength. There are many elves with itchy hands who want to find this magician to practice their hands, and they will always meet one or two requests out of ten. But the rogue nature of the flash technique makes most people feel powerless when facing this mage as an opponent. Now that he survived alone against the Guardian Lord, and under the watchful eyes of the other three members of the legendary team, all the elves refreshed their understanding of this magician. It's just that the previous battles were completely beyond their level, and they were not even qualified to be cannon fodder. So the elves hid and waited for the result of the battle. When the gods left, they came out one by one. Leading the charge is Miriam the Scarlet Blade Master, Blade made of Unitrassel the Elder. Lin saw the elves appearing, still wearing elves' holy robes, looking like they were about to fight. Before they spoke, he said first, You are here too. Fortunately, none of you jumped out just now, otherwise I really dare not say what the result will be. There was contempt in the words, but none of the elves got angry, because it was indeed the truth. Even Miriam, an extraordinary being among the elves, has the confidence to deal with a of weaker power and guarantees that she will not die. But against the Lord of Guardians, I really don't have that much confidence, to survive. It's just that Lin didn't talk much to the elves, even though the elves should be very concerned about the future of their banking business after they parted ways with the Goddess of Gold Coins. Because this is also what the World Trees care about. Lin turned his head to look at the group of nobles who had survived the catastrophe, and under their terrified, uneasy and puzzled eyes, they walked towards the pile of gloves on the ground that had miraculously not been destroyed. And with a smile, he used his only remaining right hand to gather it together. It's just that in the eyes of the nobles, that smile not only has malicious intentions, but also clearly says I want to make trouble written on their faces. That pile of gloves was thrown down by someone who pointed at his nose. This challenge is quite formal and humiliating in nature. According to the rules, if the challenged picks up the gloves, then the duel is established. But the establishment of a duel does not mean that you can fight randomly. The reason for the challenge, and the purpose and stakes, 
if any, of the duel must be publicly stated. Then the two sides discuss a fair duel method, which will be held openly under the auspices of the emperor or high-ranking nobles, and let everyone witness. Grand Duke Frias declared war on a magician before, which is definitely unfair and bullying. But who knows, the magician turned around and made a big move, not only summoning the elemental spirits to fight, but even the guardian master. At the beginning of the war between the magician and the guardian lord, the Grand Duke had already been framed out by the nobles he had befriended, and fled this right and wrong place. Regardless of whether his territory was blown away by the pile of metal monsters in the sky, the loss of the mansion in the imperial capital alone was enough for him to cry and faint. But the guardian masters all came forward to find the magician in front of him in order to stop the group of metal monsters in the sky. Then the attack on the territory of the Grand Duke of Frias couldn't be fake. If the Grand Duke died in the commotion just now www.mtlnovel.com maybe he could still leave a sympathetic posthumous reputation, and then be forgotten. If the Grand Duke survived, the rest of his life would probably be worse than death. Several nobles present thought so. But before that, what the magician wants to do is what the nobles care about. Lin hugged a pile of gloves with his severed left wrist, and said to the nobles present, I want you to tell those who threw the gloves to me. First, I remember who they are. Second, give them three days decide the method, time and place of the duel. As long as it is not too outrageous, such as going to his grandson or great-grandson to wrestle in a hundred years, then I will agree. But if there is no way to decide within three days, then I will I will find them one by one according to my method. Remember, these words must be passed on, because I also remember who you are. If you understand, leave. Immediately, all the nobles nodded their heads. After getting the promise, they left calmly. It's just that the more you walk, the faster you walk. In the end, not to mention rolling and crawling, but it's almost the same. After seeing off the group of nobles, Lin turned his head and said to the elves, let's go back to the guest house first. The follow-up matters are actually not too much trouble. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1448, Commotion In March 736 of the Aram calendar, several articles on the forum detonated this virtual space that connects all lost places. I remember I used to be guarding the magic tower that rushed up the traffic. Overnight, I became an island guard. There are several articles like this, and the authors are all tower owners of the magic tower. They used their own angles and writing styles to describe the doomsday thunder that ravaged the land and everything on it like a downpour. The natural disaster storm didn't last long, but the result was quite terrifying. The land is gone. What was once a mountain has become a sea. What was once a plain, with endless farmland, has become a sea. What was once a lush forest has become a sea. Even once busy ports or towns have become seas. The trees and plants that used to grow on the land, the wild beasts and monsters running around, or the living people one after another, all disappeared with the land. No one would naively think that these people or creatures migrated to live elsewhere because that time is too late. However, the descriptions of the magic tower owners are only the beginning. Countless requests for missing persons. There are also many sentimental articles that claim that their former home has become a vast ocean, and they can't go back even if they want to go back. There are even very few articles that witnessed the thunder that melted the land. And death is probably only a few steps away from the author. These people were all lucky hiding in the range of the magic tower, or crossing some invisible boundaries. When the news spread in the conference hall of the Karlsruhe Empire that the Grand Duke Frias declared war on a magician, everyone realized that the territory of the Grand Duke who had declared war was gone. Not being stripped of titles, not being occupied by neighboring nobles, nor being occupied by enemies, but actually lost. The land level is gone. Also because of the seaside, the sea water flooded back, turning the former scope of the Grand Duke's territory into an ocean. And not only the territory directly under the Grand Duke, 
but also the subtitle territories he entrusted, the same situation. Then what caused all this was a metal monster capable of emitting thunder, and the witnesses were all the people in the imperial city of New Cain. Including dignitaries and ordinary people, even lower untouchables or foreign businessmen, adventurers and mercenaries. People in the whole country are telling the same thing in unison, and it is difficult for outsiders not to believe it. Because there are too many witnesses, there is no point to question. The only question is, where did those metal monsters floating in the sky come from? Finally, there is the most exciting piece of news, the magician had a fight with the Lord of Guardians, and he survived. The witnesses are a bunch of nobles from the Empire. They didn't have the slightest intention to conceal the news, and even spread it widely to the outside world. Especially to warn the children in the family that no one can provoke the magician. Because of that battle, many people watched the beginning, and some even persisted until the end. Although it is not the end of whoever defeats whom, facing A with a powerful sequence of divine power, it is almost a miraculous result that the magician can survive. Furthermore, because of the battle between the magician and the guardian lord, too many families have handled the funeral of the head of the family, and started large or small civil strife over the issue of succession. The tragic situation of these families is also the aftermath and evidence left by that battle. No one can pretend to be blind, let alone be a part of it. In short, let alone a person who can dig a Grand Duke's territory into an ocean with one order, and even fight with the main body of the Guardian, let alone pay attention to it, just avoid it for fear of being too late. All conspiracies and calculations have also been suspended. In the face of absolute strength, crushing all conspiracies is not a big problem. And no one wants to be the one to be crushed. Even the Empress, supported by the magician, has become more subtle in her position. After all, the adulterous relationship between the two has long been known to the public, and the nobles also regarded this relationship as a handle, hiding it and waiting for a suitable opportunity. Now they dare not move, and no one dares to stand up. No one dared to bet that the magician would act recklessly regardless of the consequences, and no one could afford the consequences of the magician going crazy. But it is impossible to turn around and change positions to curry favor with that empress. Instead of going through the relationship with the empress, it's better to go to the magician directly. But it's the point of view that was avoided before, no one wants to touch that one, because they don't have effective checks and balances in their hands. It is impossible for such a person to accept the solicitation of nobles, and no noble dares to solicit. What the nobles need is a dog that can bite people, not a master to take home as a sacrifice. So is it a stumbling block to overthrow what the one is pushing recently? Then find a way to invite the great out and let him get out of the empire as soon as possible. Change source app. The nobles thought it all together, and the best way was to speed up the magician's plan. Fortunately, the bank said that the dominance is in the hands of the goddess of gold coins. Although the magician is the chosen one of the goddess, he does the same things as other elves, and is not particularly prominent or has the power to control. Everyone even heard that that person lost his identity as a voter. This news is not surprising at all. Anyone with a little background in family inheritance knows the relationship between the goddess of gold coins and the three holy lights. One side is a comrade in arms, the other side is a servant it is obvious which side a normal person will choose to support. Gods are no exception. As for the constitutional matter, that matter was to take the emperor's power above the ground and put the power in the hands of the nobles. Although there is an additional law as a nominal constraint, and an additional lower council has been set up, and some members of the parliament have come out to raise their hands in favor, but the power of the emperor is gone and the magician who is very close to the empress can still turn the world upside down. Seem to be able to. But thinking about it from another angle, as long as the empress legally hands over the power in her hands, even if she clings to that magician, she won't be able to make it to heaven. This is very important. On the contrary, the nobles now have to worry about whether the empress will simply stop the constitutional work and rely on the strength of the magician to clean up all the nobles. 
No, the Grand Duke is gone. Grand Duke Frias is still alive, as are his wife and children. The Grand Duke's mansion in the Imperial City of New Cain was destroyed. That's right, a bottomless pit was left at the scene, as if it could lead directly to the abyss. But because the incident happened during the day, the members of the Grand Duke's family went out to participate in social banquets hosted by others. So the only ones that disappeared along with the Grand Duke's mansion were some servants and the minor nobles who had served the Grand Duke's family for a long time. The properties of Grand Duke Frias are basically intact everywhere. The strongholds contained in various important towns, as well as related manpower. Those are lucrative industries, and capable people. Backed by the Grand Duke's prestige, in the Karlsruhe Empire, their family was always the one who ate meat and soup. But the Grand Duke is gone. In a real sense, everything is gone, including land and people. Whether it is the excellent Duke's Guard, or the territorial background that can be recruited to form several legions at any time, all are gone. Agricultural output, mineral output, taxation, these are also gone. Even if he insists on the ocean that was originally the territory of the Grand Duke of Frias, it is still his territory. The Grand Duke also has no one to organize fishing and generate income. Strictly speaking, such a person is no longer qualified to be called a nobleman, at most he is a wealthy businessman. Yes, after losing the territory and its population, although the title of Grand Duke has not been removed, can he still be considered a Grand Duke? It's not that the down-and-out nobles have no one to lend a helping hand. Because as long as the title is still there, with the qualifications to rule a certain territory, there will naturally be people who are interested in relying on these conditions to do some tricks. But now, many nobles remembered what the magician said in the meeting hall. When the territory and population are all gone, will the noble lineage and long-term connections still exist? At least at the moment when Grand Duke Frias was jumping up and down, no one planned to respond to his request and target the magician who was beaten by the Guardian Lord until he lost a hand. It was as if that little bit of disability made that magician victorious. No nobleman wants to test this with his wealth. Especially in front of him was a hapless guy who gambled with his wealth. Although he was not yet at the point of going bankrupt, it was not far away. Not only was the battle of vengeance that Grand Duke Frias was trying to provoke hopeless, but the originally negotiated marriages were also suspended. Some commercial cooperations were interrupted whether they were in negotiation or in progress, especially grain trading and iron ore trading. It means that the territory is gone, the people are gone, even if the food is not produced, no one will buy it from others and eat it. The same is true of those minerals. Therefore, a considerable part of the business cooperation was interrupted, not because the other party looked down on the remaining Grand Duke Frias, but simply because there was no demand. There are also some political opponents of the Grand Duke of Frias who are secretly colluding to deprive, it should be said to cancel the title of Grand Duke of Frias. Even though they have no territory, they can also be granted noble titles, but there are many nobles with false titles who have no territory in the empire. But the Grand Duke has the title of princes who are responsible for guarding the land, which is different from ordinary nobles. Therefore, the proposals of those political opponents who fell into trouble can only be said to be just right, and no one can find a fault. But after the death of the tiger, the prestige is at www.mtlnovel.com The nobles still maintain a certain degree of respect for Grand Duke Frias. Those who are not snobbish will beat the opponent into civilians on the spot and turn a blind eye. On the one hand, it is also because the Grand Duke still has reservations about the property outside the territory, and everyone is looking for a way to divide it up, trying to let themselves or their family swallow as much profit as possible, or take over peacefully. With the current strength of Grand Duke Frias, he can't keep so many benefits. Giving a little to others is due righteousness whether voluntary or involuntary. With the example of the Grand Duke in front, everyone's attitude towards the Emperor of course has to be cautious. Thanks to the Constitution, the matter of taking over power from the Emperor was originally promoted by the magician. 
everyone enthusiastically and spared no effort to support and act, and the magician couldn't say no to it. So the status quo of the Karlsruhe Empire is a bit unpredictable. Everyone faintly rejected a certain magician and the empress who was connected with that magician. But for the things promoted by the magician, it is like a horse with wings. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1449, Messenger of Justice Compared with the turmoil of the outside world, the people in the center of the storm were unbelievably quiet. Originally, Lindu made good use of the excuse of breaking his left hand, and turned down some irrelevant invitations. Even the invitation of the big man in person can block a few tricks. The broken hand can be seen as long as the eyes are not blind. It's perfectly appropriate to use it as an excuse. But what is surprising is that, in addition to following the elves who came to the Karlsruhe Empire to promote banking business, the officials responsible for receiving distinguished guests from the guest house came to greet and ask an otaku who didn't go out if he had any needs. Besides, it was so quiet that it was like a scene from a horror movie. The things of the elves are easy to solve. Anyway, the banking business is being promoted as usual. For the sake of her believers, the goddess of gold coins can't stop it, and it's impossible to abandon them, who already have financial knowledge. It is not a big deal for someone to give up his voter status. Lin was just planning for the world tree, finding a in one of the links, and making a plan. It's like when someone travels to a shopping mall before, the company sends an executive to a subsidiary to lead the implementation of a certain plan. Now that the plan has been pushed forward smoothly, and this Jaogwen had some conflicts with the subsidiary, it would be fine to transfer him back. In this way, the plan is still proceeding smoothly, and that point of conflict will not continue to exist for Tad on the table. This can also be regarded as a happy event. Even if the current development of the bank is interrupted in retaliation by Kay Yin, Brutus, the Lord of Wealth, one of the eight powers, will definitely take over immediately. Although it was known after the fact, the news that the Lord of Wealth was defeated by the Goddess of Gold Coins and the Lord of Guardians still reached someone's ears. It's just that Kay Yin didn't mention it, so Lin pretended not to know. It's over anyway. Lin doesn't care and doesn't care whether the bank is dominated by the goddess of gold coins or the lord of wealth, as long as there is a to recommend it. As for why he didn't go directly to the lord of wealth, but a fringe who was about to be forgotten. The reason is also obvious. For Brutus, who ranks among the most powerful gods, the banking business is just a bonus to her, and she may not be actively operating. Even if the person who came to the door was holding the signboard of the world tree, it was the same everywhere. But the emerging and useful banking business is like a lifeline to Kay Yin. If he doesn't get it right, he may be gone tomorrow. So she couldn't help but not actively operate. The Lord of Wealth is like the rich landlord Lao Cai, who doesn't have to do anything, just collect rent and don't have to worry about life and enjoyment. To find this kind of person to cooperate with an unprecedented project, it takes a lot of words to convince the other party. So it's only natural for someone to find a gold coin goddess with a better strategy. Now things are on track. Even if Lin does not continue to push, those people or gods who have tasted the sweetness will definitely be reluctant to give up. Therefore, there is no need for anyone to worry about the development of the bank. You only need to worry about whether it will go wrong. But, so what if it goes awry? Parents who care about their children's upbringing really won't raise a failed child? At best, the chances are relatively low, and this kind of thing cannot be guaranteed. For Lin, the important thing is to promote the elements that may become the ninth power for the world trees. It doesn't matter whether it's done in his hands or not, those big bosses don't care about this kind of issue. In short, the elves continued to promote the development of the bank with peace of mind, and then slandered a certain magician in their hearts and thought of a new way to be lazy. When the boss opened his mouth, the subordinates broke their legs, not only in the hometown, but also in the lost place. Of course, a certain great time-traveling crowd is not aware of it. Even if he knew what the elves thought of him, 
he wouldn't care about it, at most he would just smile, and even be proud of it. Calling your boss an asshole, as long as you beat a worker, you will have such experience. But who wouldn't want to sit in that seat? It's a completely different matter. The elves knew someone's thoughts, and also received instructions from the elders they served, and proceeded in an orderly manner according to the original plan. I didn't come back to continue to disturb someone. In fact, the progress of the banking business in the Karlsruhe Empire has reached this point, and someone can already retire. Leave the follow-up work to others, or let it develop naturally, and return to the holy city of Estelai. It's just that the matter of constitutional monarchy was inserted sideways. Of course, Lin couldn't just walk away, at least he had to make a paragraph. However, in this matter, Lin did not hold the initiative. All the dominance lies with the Empress and the many nobles who deal with her. As the most important supporter and proposer of the Empress, if someone came to be ruthless and leave without saying goodbye, that person would probably go crazy enough to commit suicide in the holy city, so find someone to do his best. Never overestimate Allegria's sanity. In a fit of anger, she is determined to promote the establishment of a constitutional monarchy and is ready to push the royal family and the aristocratic class into a bottomless abyss. How can such a woman be a silent and forbearing weak woman? That person is doing these things with ill intentions. But all along, it was the Empress who took the initiative to contact someone. At most, Lin would send a message through a deacon sent by the royal family, waiting for a response from the other side. Regardless of the fact that the Empress is marginalized, in fact she has a lot to do in a day. In short, busy. It's not just some formulaic etiquette process, at least she has a junior title of Earl of Azores, and she has a prosperous port under her control. To manage this territory well, it takes a lot of effort. There is no whole empire to run, so let's run a small territory. The smallness here is only relative to the size of the empire. If it is placed elsewhere, it is not a problem to be regarded as a city-state. It is conceivable that there are many affairs in the territory. If you are determined to run the business well instead of delegating power to others to take care of it, then you are not too busy to fly. Therefore, since the battle with the Guardian Lord, after the Empress was taken away by her guards, Lin had no chance to see that beauty. Using the flash technique to scare people is also a way. But it's still the same old problem, it's not polite to do so, and it's easy to become no friend when applied to friends. Lin could only wait patiently, maybe the Empress was busy dealing with those nobles. Lin didn't believe it. His battle with the Guardian Lord was seen by everyone, and those who were good at hearing the wind would have no reaction at all. If my thinking is correct, judging from the fact that the Empress did not come to her door, it means that the negotiation on her side is quite smooth, so I don't have to cry to myself about those vile old men bullying her. This is a good thing. As the saying goes, no news is good news. I thought I would be bored to death before I got a response from the Empress. I can only pass the time with some projects that have been started before but have not yet produced results. An unexpected guest arrives. A chubby Pandaren dressed in clothes that was no taller than his waist came over. The exposed black and white coat color is very obvious, especially the two eyes. Even if Lin was killed, he would not mistake his hometown for a national treasure. In fact, Lin didn't expect to see pandas in Midi, because he hadn't seen them anywhere else. But this panda is no ordinary animal. I won't mention the situation in my hometown, at least in Midi, ordinary animals don't know how to wear clothes. The national treasure in front of him is not only wearing clothes, but also wearing a rather eye-catching white and green robe. And this robe is not of the magician type in terms of form but a form of religious church clothing. The magician's robe is characterized by a small cape. On the back of the small shawl, there will be a magician's exclusive coat of arms, which is similar to a nobleman's personal mark used for letters and flags. A religious robe characterized by an open, sleeveless veil. The hem of the kimono usually goes past the waist, and it is also possible to reach the knee or even touch the ground. 
The key point is that there will be the holy emblem of the gods served by the wearer on it, so as to mark which this servant belongs to. Of course, there is no doubt that such sacrificial cloaks have been blessed by the gods. Because of this, not all small characters who have a little relationship with the church can wear this suit. And the panda in front of him, who acts like a human being, wears a holy emblem that he just met not long ago and is not a member of the powerful divine power sequence that he is acquainted with Albrecht, the Lord of Justice. For some reason, Lin suddenly had an image of the chubby little pandaren in front of him, posing in a sailor moon pose, shouting I will punish you instead of the moon. With a shiver, he quickly got rid of that beautiful picture. Lin looked at the little guest brought in by the servants of the guest house. Lin, who originally didn't intend to get in touch with unrelated people, knew that the visitor was an envoy from the Church of the Three Holy Lights after being notified, so Lin still had someone bring him in. But before the meeting, someone did not expect to meet a national treasure. After seeing the magician wearing the iconic black robe and small shawl, the little Pandaren hurriedly performed a brief ceremony for a priest, and said, Good day, Mr. Tripwood Magician, I am Bibi, a servant who serves the Lord of Justice. Good day, devout ones. Lin simply replied with a salute. After inviting people to be seated, look at them carefully. By the way, need something to drink. Now the timing of the Karlsruhe Empire is late autumn www.mtlnovel.com The pace of winter is coming quietly. Compared with the previous few days, today's weather is a bit cooler. People with poor physique may not be able to adapt to this sudden change. But, don't be afraid of that fur. Lin thought so. It's okay, as long as it's hot. He said slowly, word by word. Lin also asked the servant of the guest house to bring a cup of hot milk. Drinking animal milk is considered a very luxurious enjoyment among nobles. Because the preservation of milk is not as long as alcohol, it is easy to go rancid. If the little nobles are not rich enough, they really can't afford this kind of drink. Lin is considered to have borrowed the royal family's favor to get this kind of treatment. As for the gameplay of directly asking the nanny to drink the human milk, it is out of the scope of the discussion. Looking at the Pandaren sitting in the living room, those short legs didn't have much room to bend, lying flat on the sofa. He carefully held the porcelain that was so exquisite that he hadn't seen it anywhere else, and while blowing on the hot milk, he sipped it with satisfaction. Someone has an incredible feeling. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1450 Competition for Nascent Concepts Orcs like Pandaren are generally considered to be closer to beasts in nature, but they just have some human characteristics. However, according to Finn's research on physiological characteristics, the results are quite different. Beastmen are based on human beings, mixed with the characteristics of beasts. As for the source and method of the research object, Lynn didn't want to know at all. In short, some habits and characteristics of orcs in speaking and doing things are similar to humans, but they are different because they are not humans after all. There are many kinds of orcs in Lost and Scattered, they can be regarded as a minority. But don't underestimate the orcs because of this, they are like human beings with the qualities and characteristics of wild beasts, and then multiply the effect by two. Although it is not enough to fly into the sky and drill into the ground, it is not a problem to fight ten human fighters one by one. Coupled with the historical factors of the Karlsruhe Empire, that is, if you want to become an aristocrat in your early years, you need to form cliques and enclose land. Although there is no land to enclose in recent years, there is always a shortage of talents, whether it is brains, effort, or makeup. This makes the orcs, a minority but capable race, quite popular. Unless some orc tribes are really rebellious, refuse to accept anyone, and cause trouble everywhere, they will be wiped out by local or neighboring lords and squires. Talk about the identity of the Pandaren in front of you. After Lin got the news of the visit from the envoy of the Church of the Three Holy Lights, he thought that what he would meet would be the priest of the Lord of Life, but he did not expect that the person who came was the Lord of Justice. 
Now that the Guardian Lord and the other two have split up, and the three holy lights exist in name only, there are only two systems of clergy left in the Church, namely justice and life. The Lord of Guardians did not reinvent the wheel either. Now anyone who can recite the oath of the Guardian can be regarded as a follower of the Guardian Lord. As for whether to receive divine spells and divine favors, it depends entirely on the degree of piety of the prayer. This is consistent with other gods. The belief of the Guardian Lord is completely voluntary by the believers, rather than being actively spread by the Church. This makes the Knights and believers of the Guardian Lord like a mess. But there is no strong and powerful organization to maintain it, and the belief has never been broken. This has puzzled many people. It can only be attributed to the fact that the title of the Guardian Lord, the most powerful man in the land, is too loud. Now that the Iron Triangle of the Church of the Three Holy Lights is missing one, the remaining two systems have not collapsed because of this, but the division of labor is more concise and clear. Generally speaking, the life system is responsible for Wen, and the justice system is responsible for Wu. But this classification is not absolute. The priests of the Lord of Life are all fierce men who can split tigers and leopards, and open mountains and rocks. The reason why they don't show their strength often is that people rely more on their ability to cast life magic, and other people don't want to offend them. Back to the Pandaren in front of him, Lin couldn't judge how high the force value was. But judging from the other party's clothing, at least they didn't come here to fight. Besides, Pandaren belonged to the branch of Bearmen. Adult Bearmen were at least 2 meters tall and weighed more than 100 kilograms. They were complete heavyweight players. No matter how one looks at the Pandaren Bibi in front of her, she is a minor. That is to say, in the Three Holy Lights, the Lord of Justice represented by force sent an envoy who did not conform to his established impression. Don't know why? Watching the Pandaren finish the hot drink in his hand, he let out a long breath of satisfaction. Lin opened his mouth and said, Then respected pious sir, I don't know why you came to visit. Although I guessed in my heart that the other party didn't come to find trouble, I still couldn't guess what the purpose was. So Lin asked directly why he came. Most orcs are not good at words, and the time travelers from a certain former fat house are also not good at clichés, so Lin doesn't abuse himself or others. When it came to business, the Pandaren in front of them seemed to have bright eyes, and the small eyeballs that were originally buried in the dark circles were as big as copper bells, and said excitedly, Bibi heard what your excellency said before. If you say, guarding that does not focus on justice is just an accomplice of the wicked, justice that does not aim at protecting is just senseless violence. This is so true. So his majesty wants to know. It's Bibi who wants to know how to implement the justice in your excellency's mind. The Pandaren behaved a little awkwardly because of his tongue twisting. But he still managed to finish the sentence. Seeing this kind of action, Lin just thought it was funny, and said, I know what you're here for, so I don't need to deliberately lie and do something that I'm not good at. It's not a big deal to tell you what I think, let's discuss it together let's talk. There is no such thing as a correct answer to such a matter. The embarrassment that nothing was exposed but a positive response, let the Pandaren get rid of the original shyness. Staring at someone with piercing eyes, wanting to know what the person in front of him will say. Lin didn't play tricks and said, before I answer your question, let me ask you a few questions. When you see a villain trying to kill a weak person, what do you do? Pandaren Bibi said without hesitation, down with that bad guy and protect the weak. Oh, good choice. And when an eagle swoops down to hunt a rabbit, would you do the same thing? Although the scene is very similar, Bibi only feels that the answer seems to be impossible to copy directly. He tentatively said cautiously, Should I also protect that rabbit? Lin asked again, But if you protect the rabbit, what will you do if the eagle starves to death because it didn't hunt the rabbit? Yeah, what should I do? Bibi scratched her head with her paws. There is no way to generalize the execution of justice. Regarding this issue, I don't think it is something I can say. 
because it is related to the core beliefs of the Lord of Justice, and the piety and understanding of every believer of His Majesty and I don't think that discussing these is something that one wants to know. Bibi could still hear the polite refusal at the front. This made him a little disappointed. But the turning point later made him tilt his head and look at a certain magician with wise eyes that were completely out of his age. With just one glance, Lin knew that today's meeting was not simple. Because that has touched the divine warning signal set by someone. That is to say, behind the Pandaren, there is concern from that majesty. The origin of this attention is not without reason. It has to start with the current religious situation in Lost Land. The reason why the secular monarchy launched a war against religion 200 years ago was that the theocracy kept invading and seizing the rights that belonged to the nobles. And the instigator of everything is the Church of the Three Holy Lights of Albrecht, the Lord of Justice. The result of that war was that the Guardian Lord broke up with the other two, and the theocratic regime was defeated by the secular kingship. Not only has one corner of the Iron Triangle of the Three Holy Lights collapsed, but since the Lord of Life has irreplaceable functions, the defeated Lord of Justice has become the weakest link among the Three Holy Lights. There were many causes of that war and many mistakes. The most fatal point to the Lord of Justice is that there are too many evil deeds that are committed in the name of justice, and they are still full of evil deeds throughout the war. To this day, although the Lord of Justice can be regarded as relieved, his momentum is not as strong as before. If she hadn't been squatting in the same pit with the Lord of Life, she would have been kicked out of the sequence of powerful divine power long ago. However, whether it is a man or a god, those who are below want to climb up, those who have fallen want to climb back. In Lin's guess, this should be the purpose of the black hand behind the panda man in front of him. It was such a coincidence that in the blueprint for the future that he had planned, there was indeed a place for this elder. It's just that I don't know how to hook up with this big boss, and this incident in my imagination can only be regarded as an addition. Whether I do it or not will not affect the overall situation, so Lin has not acted. Unexpectedly, the elder actually sent someone on his own initiative. So Lin tentatively asked, what your majesty wants must be something else. If you guess wrong, let's talk about it. Pand Aaron Bibi asked, then, does your majesty the mage think that the laws that the empire is promoting may become part of his majesty L? The speaking voice was smooth and somewhat urgent. It's not at all like the slow and stumbling way of speaking of the Pandaren before. Lin smiled and thought, is it because that person was in a hurry, so he went off to ask questions in person? In fact, as early as when the Empress promulgated the Constitution, at the same time promoted the election of members, and formed the next parliament, this wave only caused waves between the common people and the nobles in the Karlsruhe Empire which inevitably affected the lost gods. When Lin handed the olive branch to the Church of the Gods in the imperial city of New Cain, it even touched the dark and unpredictable perception of the gods. With the help of the bank, the goddess of gold coins has a rhythm of rushing upwards from the weaker divine power. This is a phenomenon that has never existed since the formation of the gods was roughly finalized seven or eight hundred years ago. The driving force behind it is the magician. So does this unprecedented constitution, which will be spread in the Karlsruhe Empire, have the same function? This is one thing that the gods care about. It's just that the thing looks good, and no dares to jump on it without thinking and grab it. For the gods, taking new things to expand their concept is a matter that must be very careful. Not everything new is good for you. This is like a bowl of noodles in clear soup, you you reading www. Yuyuganshu.com adding salt will make it salty, adding chili will make it spicy, and adding sugar will make it sweet, if you add rat droppings, the whole bowl will be ruined. The thing in front of me has just sprouted, and no is sure whether it is a tonic or a poisonous weed, and no one dares to act rashly. What if this is the magician's foundation to become a god? If you want to destroy or it, you must win him. Then not long ago, the Lord of Guardians retreated out of hatred. Don't talk about gang fights and the like. There is only one prize, either none, or all of them. Under the premise of not knowing whether it is good or bad, 
no would be willing to be the first bird. If it took a little longer, a certain group of gods formed an offensive and defensive alliance under the exchange of interests, and perhaps they could cause some trouble for the magician and the concept of law. But right now, only the Lord of Justice was the first to come forward and sent an envoy to ask him face to face. However, facing such an inquiry, Lin just smiled and said, No, no one can become the God of Law. In other words, whoever sits in that position deserves to die. She kills herself the same. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1451, Dharma Protector what a terrible thing it is for the law to become God. Take someone's hometown, the most legendary and mythical, and clearly written law as an example the Ten Commandments of Moses. The third commandment in its KV translation is. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you will labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. In no case shall you work on this day neither you nor your sons and daughters, your servants, your animals, or the strangers in your cities. If there is a in the Ten Commandments, then the entire country and society in the European and American Catholic countries that claim to be advanced societies will have to go to in the era before someone travels. The Ten Commandments are written in black and white, do six breaks and one break, 996 is what God said. What is the two-day weekly rest, three-day weekly rest, Shift system, shift system, all policies for the welfare of workers are evil and crooked. It should be hit. 007 is too ruthless, but 006 is in line with God's will. This is simply the gospel of the bosses who are used to it, and it has God's endorsement. Those who disobey will be killed by a thunderbolt, whether they are afraid or not. In fact, in any country ruled by law in my hometown, Although the constitution is the foundation of a country's rule of law, it still leaves room for revision. At most, the threshold is relatively high, making it impossible for people to change it casually. Likewise, the laws of the lost lands are not set in stone. Perhaps the Pandaren Bibi didn't have a clear understanding of this, but for the Lord of Justice who existed seven or eight hundred years ago, she has witnessed the process of social changes in lost land. It is normal for different backgrounds and regions to have different laws. What's more, the law before today was chaotic and arbitrary. Strong lords can follow what they say, but weak lords don't care what they say. Simply put, the law does not have such a high status, it is just a part of the lord's ruling means. However, once the constitution advocated by someone comes out, coupled with the power given to parliament to make laws, it will virtually increase the force of the law. And the power of belief and will is actually a certain trend of people's hearts, and this subtle and silent change has made the gods think about it. As for the fact that the law should change with the social background, after Lin Yi mentioned it, he asked, if you want to achieve it with the law, then it is possible to only focus on the big concept of the law and let the provisions change according to local conditions. Without affecting your own body? If so, is this a good thing or a bad thing for a god? When asked such a question, although the Pandaren Bibi didn't quite understand most of it, his performance froze for a while before returning to normal. This is the one behind the scenes, who must have sensed the disadvantages of becoming the god of law. Lin thought so. The concept of gods is a simple two or three words. But how to explain this concept will take a lot of words. Therefore, no matter which has its own law code. This law code records the most core doctrine, that is, the attitude of the gods, which cannot be changed without authorization. However, in the process of spreading faith, it is the responsibility of bishops and priests to interpret the teachings in the code. The monks and believers who are further down have no right to explain. They are at most spreading beliefs. But even so, it is still unavoidable to bring some subjective ideas of the communicators in the process of dissemination. Faith will be taken astray, mostly at this stage. If the content of the code itself changes frequently, what impact will it have? That picture was so beautiful that Albrecht, who was sitting in the kingdom of God, couldn't imagine it. 
presumably such a will be windy and thundering all day long, the earth will shake and the mountains will shake, and there will be no peace. Suddenly a shiver. Is this really bad? Pandaren Bibi asked. Although he also felt that from what he just said, it didn't sound too good. But with his experience, he didn't understand what was wrong. Regarding the matter of the height of the gods, even those who know it may not understand the seriousness of it, let alone those who are not very clear. So Lin was not surprised at Bibi's question. But of course he has another point of view that is more straightforward, which can explain the disadvantages of the law becoming God. Said, don't talk about the text, let alone change it. Have you ever thought about how the nobles will react if the law becomes a god? Pand Aaron Bibi couldn't figure it out, tilted his head and asked, what will happen? Using whiteboard techniques, Lin drew a bunch of simple little figures with the words people written on them. On top of the little portrait, a more delicate portrait was drawn, with the words nobleman written on it. As if thinking of something, Lin asked, Can you read, Bibi? The Pandaren nodded. Lin Xian thought, It seems that the education of the church is still very powerful. Although I don't know how old Bibi is, it's not unusual for a young orc to be able to read and write. Lin explained, one of the reasons why the nobles would go to war with the church in the past was because the church began to invade the ruling power of the nobles in order to promote their beliefs. They even tried to override the nobles, and even the nobles ruled together. In addition to the two small groups drawn by the original whiteboard pen technique, Lin drew a small figure in monk costume, and let him fight with the small figure of the nobleman. The monk statue still wants to step on the nobleman and stand on top of him. Immediately afterwards, a group of noble figures appeared again, and they joined forces to beat away the monk figures. After the statue of the monk was beaten away, Lin made another book-like image on the top, and continued, The current situation is that I hope that there is a set of laws that both the people and the nobles are willing to abide by, so as to constrain but what would happen if the law made a god, or if some appropriated the concept of the law. In the minifigure controlled by someone, the topmost book turned into a monk holding a book. Pand Aaron Bibi looked at such a structure diagram, recalled the animation he had just seen, and said cautiously, would the nobles kick the book away? As soon as the words were finished, under Lin's control, the nobles really rose up and united with the people at the bottom to expel the laws of becoming gods again. Lin said, that's right, this kind of thing is the most likely to happen. Because the first thing the nobles want to guarantee is their own ruling power, and they don't allow others to get involved, even if it's the gods who extend their hands. It was only used as a code of conduct. The law has transformed itself into an existence that can command them, how can the nobles tolerate such a thing? Even if the does not touch the red line of the nobles, it is wrong for her to stay in that position. The dispute between theocracy and secular government seems to be easier to understand than the previous reason. After all, the discrepancy between the two sides is obvious. Although backed by powerful divine power, no noble would dare to discriminate against the messenger of the Lord of Justice, but the mentality of guarding makes it easy to distinguish. Pand Aaron Bibi said distressedly, What should I do if this is the case, there is no place for His Majesty Al to stay. It's not that there is no position, it just depends on your majesty's willingness. Lin said with a smile. At the same time, restore the original minifigures to the three-level type, that is, the highest law, the second noble, and the lowest public. The Pandaren was puzzled, and his eyes widened again. He stared until he almost saw the whites of his eyes. Scary. Of course, Lin didn't need others to deliberately ask and said directly, we don't use the law to achieve ourselves, and even want to suppress other gods or people to steal the law as a chance to become a god. The position of the Lord of Justice should be on the same level as the nobles. To support the law is to protect the law. Dharma Protector God Bibi's eyes lit up. That mysterious feeling appeared around again. Lin guessed that maybe the one in the sky had increased his attention. Continued there are several advantages to doing this. For the nobles, 
they can sit on an equal footing with the gods instead of being overridden, and the conflict will be reduced. Even because of doing so, it is like raising their own social status, in order to accept the theocracy and reintegrate into the regime. But what I value most is the establishment of public confidence in doing so. Looking at the Pandaren who showed a puzzled expression again, Lin smiled and said, This set of laws was not made by me or a few specific people, but by the representatives of the people, that is, the parliament and the nobles. Only in this way can we ensure that both parties are willing to abide by, and unite to punish those who do not comply. But for ordinary people who have not personally participated in all links, why should they obey this set of laws and believe that what the law stipulates will be done? Back home in the pre-Qin period, even if the reform of the Shang dynasty cost thousands of dollars to buy horse bones to prove its faith, wouldn't it be necessary to lose ground? I really think that ordinary people are stupid and do whatever the boss says. It's not a matter of a day or two to be obsessed with the folk customs. However, the game of buying horse bones with thousands of gold can be used in the pre-Qin era of simple folk customs. You can buy a lot of horse bones if you put them in a lost place, but if the common people don't dump people, they still don't dump them. Therefore, in order to gain the trust of the people of lost land, Lin planned to start with faith. Said, although the enactment of the law allows ordinary people to have the opportunity to participate indirectly, but after all, there is a layer of separation. Then the question of whether the law can treat everyone fairly and justly will definitely become a problem for the vast majority of people in the early stage of the reform. Worried about? Then, as the guardian of the law, the Lord of Justice can increase people's confidence and make the reform more smooth. The cake painting is very beautiful, but in fact the Pandaren Bibi choked. He hesitated and said, but in this case, let His Majesty Al be in the same position as those nobles. Okay. The Pandaren's small head only felt that doing so was presumptuous. However, allowing the Pandaren to ask such questions www.mtlnovel.com is probably because the person behind him doesn't understand if this is good for him. Don't just help others and let others take advantage of it, but you don't even get a hair. Regarding this petty worry, Lin chuckled and said, no matter how much the nobles took precautions, the faith in the lost land has never been cut off. This is not only because of the existence of gods, but also because of the needs of the people's hearts. But the belief in the gods has spread so far, and the pattern is roughly fixed. As long as there are no major events, there will probably not be any major changes. If we can take advantage of the power of the secular regime, will it help the spread of the belief? Bibi nodded like a pounding garlic. I don't know if it was him who nodded, or the person behind him. Lin used the water mirror screen to display the content of the constitution of the Karlsruhe Empire, focusing on the project of separation of powers, and said, Your Majesty thinks in which part of the new power structure you are most likely to intervene. Lin the person who spoke has been subconsciously changed to the one in the sky. Bibi, the Pandaren, also didn't look as timid and cautious as before. After thinking for a while, he stretched out his paw and clicked on the big project Judicial Power. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1452, Way of God Lin said, in the past, the lord of a locality took care of all matters in the territory and could decide with one word. It can be said that he gathered all the powers in one body. Now the constitution has three powers and the executive power belongs to the cabinet that can be formed. The upper parliament, that is, is still in the hands of the nobles. Legislation depends on the votes of the members of the lower parliament. Although they are only puppets in the hands of the nobles in name, the power is actually in their hands. Only the judicial, there is no proper arrangement yet. The Pandaren said excitedly, so, let the judicial power be handed over to His Majesty Al. The excited tone sounded as if the matter had already been completed. Putting judicial power in the hands of a god? Don't be stupid, if you really want to do that, even if you don't die just after having a movie with the Guardian Lord, those old men in the Empire will fight you hard. Even if the whole thing is not pornographic, 
it will change from a British transformation to a French transformation, and there will be a vigorous bug fate. So facing the Pandaren's high emotions, Lin poured a bucket of cold water on it, shook his head and said, of course not. A single blow made Bibi's emotions languid on the spot. However, the atmosphere around him became chaotic and sharp, it seemed that the person behind him was on the verge of going crazy. Lin didn't let people think about it, and said directly, it is impossible to cut off the power belonging to the empire and hand it over to the gods. Those nobles will definitely resist desperately. Unless there is another holy war, the church has to be able to win and conquer the empire. But this is definitely the worst way. Is there a good way? Bibi asked. At the same time, the surrounding atmosphere is more peaceful. Yes, of course. And I have already suggested that you do it, but most people are not willing to cooperate. The part that someone meant was that he once mentioned to the Empress to contact the Church of the Gods and ask them to send representatives to elect members. The Church has accepted the olive branch given by the Empress, but the development of the matter is not exactly as someone imagined. The Church has indeed provided a lot of help to the representatives sent by the Empress to run for parliamentarians, which has allowed the Empress's power to grow by leaps and bounds, and even other nobles have some criticisms. But if they want people from the church to enter the parliamentary system, their performance is much more cautious. The door was open, but no one had yet stepped over the threshold. Everyone was afraid that there might be some kind of trap hidden behind the door, and as many as they entered, they would be trapped to death. At the level of the underage Pandaren in front of him, nine out of ten are not aware of this matter. Lin didn't bother to do science in person or waited for the person behind him to do science, and said, it's not that I don't understand. You feel that joining the parliament is like being subservient and wronged. But have you ever thought about the right to speak? There are many things, standing outside the door and shouting is not the same as standing inside the door. Seeing the panda man tilting his head in deep thought again, Lin knew that even if the one in front of him didn't understand, the one behind him did. So it goes on. Outside the door, as long as the door is closed, it's useless to yell out your throat, unless you smash the door. But once you smash the door, breaking the ban, you can't shout anything. But inside the door, everyone has a tacit understanding, let's discuss it. Maybe the first time is not satisfactory, but if we can discuss the second or third time, maybe everyone will give in and things will be different. If you don't even have a chance to speak, how can you fight for what you want? What you want? Unless you have the ability to smash through doors and knock everyone down. Doing this will allow His Majesty Al to hold the judicial power in his hands. Bibi asked again. Lin shook his head and said, This is not to divide any power, unless the Lord of Justice is willing to join the Karlsruhe Empire and become a part of the Empire, this kind of thing is possible. Since such a premise cannot be achieved, then we will settle for the next best thing, as long as we have the right to speak in the new framework. Change Source App In order to achieve this, there must be members of the church in the parliament. But they do not use the status of bishops or priests to serve as members. Instead, they first become members of the empire as citizens, and at the same time they have members of the church. The position of a bishop or a priest Anyway, there is no rule that members of parliament are not allowed to work part-time. Then the first step is to persuade the upper and lower councils to agree to set up a court, or court of justice, or whatever the name is. But try not to look like it has something to do with the church. Then select appropriate talents to study the newly enacted law as a trial the basis of the crime, rather than depending on the mood of the Lord to determine the sentence of the criminal. At this moment, the Pandaren interjected excitedly, can we take the judicial power here? A certain traveler was speechless for a while, covered his head and said, brother, there is no need to rob. This can be robbed. The so-called high mountains and flowing water are smooth and silent. If you do things so rough, you can't be a bandit. If you want me to say, you want to dividing the power from the lords, 
it is inevitable that the lords of various places will have conflicts at the beginning. But this matter is easy to solve, and it will be fine if the members of their family can take care of it. Lin Bian said while counting with his fingers, a family is so big, the head of the family may not have time to deal with trivial matters all day long. If something big happens, then probably don't do other serious things, just busy with one thing. So this kind of division will not cause too much opposition. Because when the status is higher and the things that a person can handle are limited, they will decentralize power to other trusted people, and then control the supervision method and final decision. We it's just a culture of entrusting such a relationship. Then for those territories that are understaffed, the empire's parliament will send some scholars to help, and the salary will be paid by the central government. This is not too much. And these scholars who are well educated in law can be the second sons of some nobles, or they can be members of the church. The idlers inside, it's okay. But the most interesting part is here. The so-called no comparison, there is no harm. As long as the people in the church are not too bad, they only engage in some evil deeds of using power for personal gain, praising the high and trampling the low. If others do it, there will be compare. If you compare more, you will gain fame. At that time, who doesn't want the court in their own land to be presided over by a fair and just person? Even if you can't urge others to turn the court over to the church, you can also make other people who are not churches restrain themselves and don't do things too ugly. Yes Bar. Then, the most important point. Lin pretended to be mysterious, leaned forward and said in a low voice, although the election of members of the parliament is open to all churches, your majesty thinks which church is the most suitable for running this matter. There is no deity in Midi who takes fairness and justice as concepts. Because all the gods came from thousands of years ago, in the post-dark age after the death of the demon king, they were achieved by exterminating the dark army, so the concept of achieving gods is mostly mixed with the attribute of fighting. The on the table that is closest to the needs of justice is really the Lord of Justice. So this old man was already in someone's schemes, but he never found a chance to drag her into the water. Until today, the elder himself delivered it to his door. Lin felt complacent, and before Bibi asked another question, he answered the first question we met today. Said, at the beginning, didn't you want to ask how to draw the line of justice? I can't answer this question. But if you are willing to join the court system, then things will be very simple. How about the law? According to the regulations, you should uphold your original intentions, don't abuse or indulge, and treat everyone equally. In this way, even if you don't deliberately spread your beliefs, the name of the righteous Lord of Dharma Guardians among the Three Holy Lights will definitely be deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. The Pandaren were not confused by the saying that faith can go deep into people's hearts, but asked hesitantly, is it okay to use the laws established by human beings as the criterion? If a ridiculous law is made, like the right of the first night and so on, I have to do it too. Looking at the easy to spoken appearance of the Panda population, is this His Majesty's end in person? Lin smiled and said, why not? It's not very accurate to say that the first night is a girl's first night. In fact, when the people get married, the Lord has the right to enjoy the woman's body first. So it doesn't matter whether the Lord is 70 years old or 80 years old. As long as someone gets married, he must be urged to implement this power. Even if the Lord is only 20 years old, if 30 or 40 couples are sent to marry at the same time in one day, I believe that the next day he can find the heir of the Lord. The error of this law is that the Lord can choose to implement it or not according to his own wishes. But such a thing is not worthy of being called a law. The human parliament dares to formulate such a law, as a guardian god, it should treat people equally and demand thorough implementation. If it can be implemented in this way, no noble lord would dare to insist that the absurd law of the right to the first night must exist. Even if you are very talented when you are young, can you still expect to live to a hundred years old? A certain magician spoke plausibly, and the Pandaren were dumbfounded. At the end, there was a long silence, 
I don't know if it was Bibi or the black hand behind, scratched his head with his paw, and said, You can still do this. Hee <laughs> hee, except for the exclusion items expressly stipulated in the law, it should be treated equally regardless of high or low, and strictly enforced, so that it has meaning. If there is a choice, whoever has to abide by it and whoever doesn't www.mtlnovel.com you can decide whatever you want, so it's not a mess. But. The Pandaren seemed to want to refute something, but he was clumsy. Of course, Lin was not a roundworm in the other party's stomach, and knew what he wanted to ask. But when it comes to this, there are still some things that I can't complain about, so I commented, speaking of which, I think your ideas need to be changed. Don't always see good things and want to put them in your pockets for fear of flying yes. Let me tell you, will the entire Pope's state and the kingdom of God on earth really help spread the faith? Even if the entire lost land is unified, can it really cut off the belief of other gods? How is this different from the Dark Age when the Demon King came? Besides, you don't even think about it. If you get such a powerful church organization, you will really establish the earth. In the Kingdom of God, are the people in the church or the God in heaven taking the most advantage? After criticizing for a while, Lin finally came to a conclusion and said, I think that your memory of being human is still very recent, and those sycophants who are close to you are all human, so I don't know what your identity is. What does a need most? Is it a strong church organization, or more people's belief in themselves? Help me, I have no problem with your emotions, but it's okay to be a god. Think about yourself what exactly do you want? Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1453, Follow the Imperial Decree. Then what do you want? The Pandaman asked unpreparedly, and the person who was talking nonsense was stunned, and then he said with a wicked smile, What I want is to dismantle the noble and privileged class, and let them all go to hell. This is what I promised the Empress to do. Yes, I admit that I have bad intentions. So, is your majesty going to give up? It is a good thing that a constitutional monarchy is a good thing. A certain big crossing is concerned about the country and the people. The Karlsruhe Empire is about Lin shit. His tax was spent on himself. In his eyes, this is an experimental place where no one will care about his parents. The Empress held her breath and said that she would tear it down. It would be very polite for someone with the same hatred not to summon the robot fleet, just like the territory of Grand Duke Frias to hollow it out. However, Lin knew the Empress's original wish without asking, and she definitely didn't want to toss the entire empire into it. What she had to deal with was the group of bad old men who had oppressed her for nearly ten years. So when several things came together, Lin just came up with such a method. A certain magician admitted without any concealment, but it made the Pandaren stiffen, and his stupid and cute face suddenly became full of mixed feelings. After thinking for a long time, he asked again, can the privileged class be eliminated by doing this? Lin scolded with a smile, it's a good idea. In the future, there will definitely be people who are good at drilling, adapting to the new system, and becoming a new privileged class, referred to as the new rich. Now the group of people in high positions will also have more power than others. The chance to adapt to the new system. But it is undeniable that in the process of transformation, some people will be eliminated and some more people will be added, and the overall situation will change. As long as there is a change, it is an opportunity. It is the opportunity for the Empress to stand up, and it is also Your Majesty who intervenes opportunity. If you miss this time, no one will know where the next time will be. The half-statement, half-threat words made Bibi, the Pandaren, fold his arms and meditate in a posture that didn't match his age. Looking at this little round body, acting like a little adult, Lin just finds it interesting. If it wasn't too impolite to reach out and rub someone abruptly, I'm afraid I'd have to experience the taste of sucking a panda today. But I don't know if Bibi is a male or a female, and the orcs can't be treated as ordinary beasts. It would be too embarrassing if something was wrong. In the end, 
Bibi didn't ask any tricky questions. He regained his innocence, and talked about the world he saw with his simple mind. That sharp and frightening will never appeared again. It is estimated that the old man hid back to his own kingdom of God, thinking about some evil idea. Without the boss who appeared from time to time to scare people, Lin Li had to chat casually with Bibi, focusing on the life in the church. Is it good or bad, what are the interesting things, and what are the bad things? Half Lord, Half Lord, let the Pandaren speak out. Someone's evil idea was to abduct a national treasure and bring it home. Even if you can't smoke, you will feel better when you look at it every day. Anyway, there are enough people in the family to eat and eat, even a dragon, so it doesn't matter if there is an extra big belly. But such an idea never came true. Bibi's life in the Church of the Three Holy Lights was not bad, and she didn't want to move for a moment. Lin didn't speak rashly. Otherwise, according to his guess, if he really said what he said, it is estimated that the elder behind Bibi will rush to send him over. There is no human rights in the land of obscurity, it is not a casual talk, it really has no human rights. Those who are a bit powerful, the people below are like goods, rushing around, no one cares. After sending away the national treasure level envoy of justice, things seemed to be gathering together, and the empress envoy appeared again. This time I came to convey the order of the empress to meet, about tomorrow morning. Generally speaking, if you make an appointment at night, it is a private meeting, and you want to do something like that. If you make an appointment in the morning, there will be some business, and after the business is done, you will do some other things along the way. In short, Allegria has been suppressed for nearly ten years, and these days are very open, as if to make up for those ridiculous years. It's just that this time, the Empress's attitude is completely different from the past. The location is not in the Emerald Palace, the Summer Palace exclusively for the Empress Trist, but in the apse of the palace in the Imperial City of New Cain. I heard that the Empress's husband, Prince Thomas, has been under house arrest to an unknown corner. It is estimated that in the future, it will be proposed to slip away during the holidays to show that this person is still alive. It seems that the downfall of Grand Duke Frias has a more serious and faster impact than someone imagined. However, Lin, who doesn't have his own information channels, doesn't quite understand the more detailed matters. But the Empress's attitude was lukewarm. Unlike before, he was so enthusiastic that he couldn't help it before finishing the business. This girl was originally a big Lala character, once she was in power, she couldn't control the nobles outside, big and small, and the people around her. Even if there are some insiders and outsiders in it, she is still the emperor who can judge life and death on the bright side. So the style of acting is unscrupulous. As for her little friends in the past, whether they were all handled by her, they are still dead set today. This kind of words, someone really can't ask. But today's battle is different. When we meet, we will hold the battle with a few big boxes. Led by the waiter, a certain magician entered the study with a confused face. Five waitresses stood by the wall, two from the left and three from the right, and the one who brought him in joined the less crowded side. Allegria sat at the desk and was busy signing some documents. And helping her was the mixed-race C-clan female Calamus who looked much more normal. It was supposed to be a very beautiful scenery, looking at the Karlsruhe Empire-style aristocratic low-cut costumes, each with a pattern, full of flowers, it is dizzying to see. But this slightly depressing atmosphere does not give birth to a little bit of charming heart. As soon as Lin showed up, the Empress put down the quill in her hand, and the calamus next to her rubbed her wrist tenderly. Allegria pointed to the large boxes on the ground and said, Let's have a look. Yin opened the box, and Lin was immediately blinded by the light effect inside. Just look at the box full of bright spars of various colors and the gaps in the stack are filled with the newly baked key and coins in the empire. And these crystals are not low-level power magic stones, at least they are all blue heart level. There are also several of the highest purple grade. But what is more dazzling is the color-changing spar other than the seven-color power magic stone. 
These crystals are bigger than a human head and revolve like a vortex inside. Not only can they emit light by themselves, but they also exude a sense of oppressive oppression from time to time. They are the famous dragon demon crystals. This is not something that was dug out by digging out the head of some subspecies of dragon. This must be a very serious dragon crystal produced by Dragon Island. And they are all above adult body, without that kind of dysplasia, they are used to make up the number. The largest one among them, almost a single dragon crystal, filled a mouthful of the box, and it still emitted black light from itself. I don't know if this thing is rare, but just looking at it, I don't think it's a good thing. Although magic stones and magic crystals also contain powers, the reason why they are treated separately by the lost people is not only because of the different sources of the two, but also because the uses and characteristics of the two are slightly different. The former is produced in the mine. Except for the strangeness of the purple grade, magic stones of other grades can be regarded as the natural battery of the real estate. The latter was dug out from the monster, and it was contaminated with some characteristics of the original beast owner, as well as the resentment before death. So in use, there will be more taboos. But even if there are taboos, a dragon magic crystal with such a large size still looks quite bluffing. At least a certain magician who thought he was well informed took a look and couldn't take his eyes off. This is. Lin finally remembered to ask, and was not confused by the big and weird dragon magic crystal. Life money. The Empress said with disdain. Whose life will I buy? Lin certainly didn't think that this was the Empress who wanted to assassinate herself. If there was such a need, she would do it as soon as she asked, no need for compensation. In the struggle between nobles, sometimes killing people is really not the best way. Killing one at random may cause other people to hug each other, making things more difficult to deal with. Even if she used framing to gain her reputation, the Empress never thought of using assassination. Sure enough, the answer wasn't that shabby technique. Allegria said, it's my blind relatives who threw gloves at you. This is the money they collected for their lives. Oh, it's them. Throwing a dragon scale that he was playing with in his hand back into the box, Lin said in a relaxed tone, they weren't the only ones who threw gloves at me at that time. No one else moved. Although this matter should not be in the hands of the Empress, it should be those people who came to the door by themselves. But since the Empress is fairly well informed, it doesn't hurt to ask. It so happened that Allegria really knew the answer to this matter. She said, those little nobles who followed suit are actually vassals of Grand Duke Frias, and they were brought to the Imperial meeting to gather numbers and build courage. If you poach the Grand Duke, their family's territory will also disappear. What else can you do to deal with your challenge? If you want to die, they don't care. Poor thing. A certain person pretended to be sympathetic and compassionate, and said something indifferent, but he didn't feel relieved anymore. Walking to the side of the Empress, she propped her broken hand on the table, and with her index finger bent on the other side, raised Allegria's pointed chin, slightly lifting her pretty face. Lin just looked down and looked at each other, and said, Then we. Although it wasn't a gesture of throwing away, the Empress still moved her face away and even shifted her gaze to the side. Said, the bank is on the right track, your work here is over. Now that it's over www.mtlnovel.com, then go back. Don't stay. How? Looking directly at the magician with question marks on his face again, the Empress said firmly, the things you promote will continue without any discount. But for the sake of reassuring them, you can't stay any longer. And in those things, and part of it is my reward for you. This is the Empress who used herself as a bargaining chip, what kind of conditions did she trade with other old men, right? As for what was traded behind the scenes, Lin didn't care too much. Anyway, it doesn't look like he's playing rabbit and dog cooking, and he can take a sum of money to go, so he should be lucky. Stepping back a few steps, Lin still kept smiling but the flame in his heart was quickly extinguished. This is the ending that has long been expected, but it is not known when it will happen. 
Think about it too, how could such a woman be qualified to have? Lin waved his hand, bowed in a big salute, and said, I would like to obey the imperial decree. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1454, Maternal Choice The departure of a certain magician is just like the characteristics of his flashing technique. Suddenly disappeared without a trace. As a reward for those large boxes on the ground, he only took away the largest and most valuable black dragon magic crystal. Because that person said that only the black dragon crystal has research value, and the other things are useless, and there is no way to get rid of them. Therefore, it is left to the Empress as a fund for the future operation of the members of the Empress camp. Generally speaking, the two broke up peacefully without delay. Looking at the vacant seats, Allegria waved his hand and told the waiters to leave the study. But she grabbed the high clan girl Calamus, hugged her into her arms, and hugged her tightly. He buried his face in Calamus's chest and rubbed it to his heart's content, leaving only the red hair outside and a crown made of silver thread. Allegria complained, what a heartless man. Why doesn't your majesty let him stay? If you ask, that one would be willing to come. Calamus said weakly. In the previous encounter, although the wounds on the body have been carefully taken care of by the Bishop of Life, there is no trace left, but the wounds in the heart are not so easy to heal. As a result, her temperament was very different from before, and she became much timid. The other members of the royal family, including Prince Beer, all returned to their respective territories to lie on their stomachs. Because they danced happily before, they threw the gloves at the magician as a challenge. But now he is in a state of anxiety all day long, for fear of being approached by that person. So the members of the royal family united and asked the empress to come forward to resolve this matter. In addition to paying enough goods to make them vomit blood, one of the conditions is not to set foot in the imperial city of New Cain for life. Although Prince Beer did not attend the imperial meeting, he certainly did not have the opportunity to challenge the magician. But the prince's movements are also included in the transactions between the empress and other members of the royal family. So the child in his early ten years was escorted back to his territory by a group of uncles and cousins to take care of him. The reason why the prince caused trouble everywhere in the past was actually the result of connivance by many people. Now that those conniving people stop, can a ten-year-old child go to heaven? Is the royal blood really so precious? Joke. In the eyes of big shots of the same class, a fart boy is still a fart boy. It is estimated that the lonely tower in Prince Beer's own territory is the only place where he will stay for the rest of his life. This is also because the female brother doesn't want to get his hands dirty, let alone give the other party a good time. To be tortured alive is more uncomfortable than to be dead. In exchange, that magician must leave the empire. Of course, those who were lobbyists implicitly asked the empress to poison that person to avoid future troubles. But no one dared to say such words, for fear that the empress would raise her mouth, and no one could stop the magician from getting mad. If she didn't say it clearly, the empress was happy to play dumb. No one with a normal mind would do such a thing of self-destruction of the city wall. Allegria understands very well that now she mostly takes advantage of that man's influence. The title of emperor is not as easy to use as that one's evil name. But when it comes to tying that person by your side, not to mention, I mentioned it casually before, but was decisively rejected. And all the signs after that showed that Allegria understood that she couldn't keep that man. No one wants to dangle a sword over their head and never know when it will fall. Bold and careful as an empress is no exception. After knowing that that person has enough troops, he can destroy the power of a grand duke in a short time. Its own strength is enough to rival the Lord of Guardians. The Empress knew that such a man was beyond her control. Since I can't keep it, I can't control it, and the person has his own intentions, how long can I keep him with the pleasure in bed? As for money, power, and so on, that person never cared about it at all. That means there's no way to bribe him with these things. Separation is a foregone conclusion. Of course, 
Allegria must find a way that is most beneficial to him to end this relationship. First of all, you can't make trouble. This backer still needs to be protected. But you can't let the other party stay in the empire, the mood of other people still needs to be taken care of. Not to mention that this can also be used as a condition to exchange things or power in the hands of others. After worrying for a long time, Allegria realized that with that person's personality and thinking, it would be better to just talk about this kind of thing directly. If that person has another opinion, discuss it later. That's why I had the summons last night and the request just now. With the man's shrewdness, he couldn't fail to see what the best way to handle the situation was. It's just that I didn't expect that I agreed so readily without any hesitation. Even the speed of walking seems to be impatient. Thinking of this, Allegria felt as if there was a breath in his chest, depressed. Suddenly, there was a rush of anger in the abdomen, and a nausea, the empress stared, covered her mouth, and waved her other hand indiscriminately. Sitting in the empress' arms, the calamus who was hugged like a doll immediately jumped up. Picking up the spittoon at the side, she came to the empress. Allegria almost buried his face in the spittoon and retched a few times, but he didn't vomit anything. With a push of the bowl, the calamus was placed down casually, then he took out a silk handkerchief and gently wiped the corners of the empress's mouth. The empress, who was retching for a while, didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Instead, she looked happy, hugged her stomach with her hands, and looked at her with loving eyes. Calamus frowned slightly, showing a little distress. Said, Your Majesty, don't you tell him. This question made Allegria feel as if his hair was fried. Although he didn't jump up, he stared at those beautiful eyes, raised his brows, and said, Who do I tell? Who do I need to tell? I've slept with so many men, how do I know who to tell? Realizing that I was getting too excited, I almost scared my best friend. Allegria took a few deep breaths, calmed down and said, It doesn't matter who the father of this child is. The most important point is that he is my child. He is a child that many, many people would never want to see. Is also the treasure that I have to bet everything on to protect. Although the Karlsruhe Empire took virtuous sons to inherit the family business, there is still a difference between closeness and closeness. As we all know, the Empress has no offspring, that's why the members of the royal family jumped up and down. If the Empress had a child, regardless of gender, as long as she had no congenital defects and did nothing stupid, there would be no major problem in succeeding to the throne in the future. That's why Allegria said that quite a few people would not like to see this child, and that's why he needs more protection. Although he was taken aback, Calamus certainly understood this truth. She murmured in bits and pieces, there are many men, but this period of time is not that complicated. But such trivial matters are not the focus of the discussion. For the Empress's consideration, Calamus continued to suggest, Your Majesty, if you are worried about this child, the presence of the magician is the best protection. And as long as he is there, maybe you don't have to give up the power that belongs to the Emperor. What about the Constitution? Wouldn't it be good for the Prince to inherit the complete Empire? At such thoughts, the Empress also shook her head without hesitation. She had already thought through related matters. Now explain it to my best friend, and clarify my thoughts again by the way. Said, that person once said that what he is going to do, once it starts, there is no way to turn back. Think about it now, if you tell everyone that there is no need to elect members, and the parliament does not need to be formed, everything will continue as usual. Even if there is that person suppressed by force, how long can it be suppressed? People see too much, and their minds become wild, and it is difficult to control their minds. Therefore, the rulers from ancient times to the present have always talked about fooling the people, not because they really look down on the people, but because they really hope that the people are stupid enough to obediently obey their rule. However, the method of establishing a constitutional monarchy, seeing that the power of the emperor is about to be divided into the hands of the people, calling a stop at this time, 
even if it does not cause public anger, will definitely bury resentment in the hearts of the people. Even if it is suppressed for a while, when it erupts in the future, it will definitely be more violent. The Empress is not the kind of character who cares about the flood after death, so she is unwilling to make a choice with sequelae. Besides, Calamus can't understand, or can't see through, Allegria himself doesn't know. She said, even if you don't think about others, just say that person. When I said that I would avenge you and Lisa, it didn't take long for him to come up with such a method. You think this will be a slap on the head, is it just something I came up with? Even if the general idea is okay, but are those clear laws? He has been preparing these things for a long time, and even if I don't ask, he may have other ways to implement them. It's just that sometimes I may stand on the opposite side of him, try to stop all this, and then lament my own powerlessness. Speaking of this, Calamus shook his nose and complained dissatisfiedly, he is so capable, if he really wants to avenge Lisa, why doesn't he do it directly? Prince Beer can safely return to his territory, which makes Calamus slightly dissatisfied. But this matter is also related to the attitude of the Empress, so it is not easy to say it directly. Allegria comforted, it's not his fault www.mtlnovel.com Even if I knew he had such abilities, I didn't want him to make a move. Only killing a few leaders is not good for the general situation. Help can't change anything. What he has to do is the real earth-shaking change. Don't look at the emperor's power as if it has become smaller. In fact, as long as he knows how to operate, it is still almost the same as the past. Power will not disappear out of thin air, just it's just a different way to appear elsewhere. What about the others? Everyone's conditions are the same. Calamus questioned. The Empress explained, that's right, everyone's conditions are the same. It can be said that the future political situation will be controlled by smart people. But doing so will allow a group of ignorant fools to get out of the core of power except for their family background. This kind of person is not good at doing business, slows down and is a disservice to help. Without such fools, things will not easily go to extremes. Allegria hugged her belly pitifully, looked down at the child who was still quite a while away from birth, and said, He is my child, and I am willing to give him the best. But how much does he have? I can't guarantee how smart he can learn. If he is smart enough, he can play with the new structure of the future empire. If he is not smart enough, the new structure can also ensure the emperor's honor to the greatest extent. No worries about life. I don't have the ability to create an iron bucket for him, this is the best I can do. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1455, Where is Home? Things far away in the Karlsruhe Empire have nothing to do with the holy city of Estelai. In addition to using teleportation magic, it is possible to reach the Guana Empire and the Holy City located in the north-central part of the Lost Continent by sending people across most of the Lost Land at the other end. In terms of the route, it is longer than the Silk Road in my hometown in the western regions. While there are forums for messaging, forums do not yet have full dialogue capabilities. What's more, although someone brought this thing to Midi, he himself doesn't like to use it very much. The premise of internet addiction is that there are things you are interested in on the internet. For a traveler who has experienced the entertainment industry in his hometown, the entertainment of MIDI is really hard to describe in words. It's like people who are used to big fish and big meat see the porridge and side dishes, and just eat enough. Is it possible that they still expect to eat Hesse like they used to? Going back to the home of the holy city of Estelai, even if you come back from the distant Karlsruhe Empire, using the flashing technique to come and go, the word boat and car is insulated from someone. But to be honest, the home in the holy city does not give someone the feeling of home. Speaking of which, after coming to Lost Land, I followed the teacher to learn the knowledge that this magical side world should possess during the first period of time, and then I kept taking some low-end but troublesome tasks that no one would like to do to save money. Under the inherent land thinking of my compatriots in my hometown, 
I finally took down the Tower of the Great Sage. Although there is no permanent property right, at least I can guarantee that I can live until I die, and I just let my apprentices or descendants ask for blessings. I thought it would be my home in Lost Land, but I didn't expect to meet bad neighbors after living there for a few years, and planned to open a passage leading to at the door of my house. No, they were all scared and ran away. After that, it was several years of wandering, and it was not until this city where magicians gathered that they settled down again. A simple calculation shows that after I came to Lost Land, I spent more than three quarters of my time wandering. And it was forced, not because I like this kind of life. It would be too bizarre to let people from my hometown hear about my own experience, excluding the magic side. Probably no one would believe that a fat house would suddenly become a donkey friend. However, is the home of the holy city of Estelai really a home? There is no computer, no internet, no dazzling games and animations. There are no eight major arts, although I am a layman who pays more attention to the item of movie. In short, Midi is so boring that it explodes. Back to the days of academic research to the death. That kind of life of drinking and playing with women, singing and singing every night is really not to my liking. Neither the liver nor the waist. Although his body has been transformed, those key parts are not made of iron. Yin Jian, who had ground an iron pestle into embroidery needles, was in front of him, so a certain person really didn't dare to make trouble. So after returning to the holy city, Lin threw the black dragon magic crystal, which was about the size of a small refrigerator, in the living room, and ran to a hill in the suburbs. There is a cliff on the side of the mountain, and the front is an endless sea of trees. Gloomy and gloomy, it swayed with the wind, making sparse sounds. Birds chirping from time to time form a unique sound of nature. This is the game location of Izio's small group, and it is also the location where the reluctant girl fell off the cliff. Now Marlene's tomb is nearby, small and lonely. It's only been a few months, maybe because of spring here is full of vitality. If you don't look at the tombstone, you can't see the location of the tomb, it's just a small mound. Thinking of the girl who died for no reason, someone who thought he had a heart of stone felt a little bit reluctant. Reluctant to be optimistic and happy, she has not really seen the beauty of this world, and she will sleep here forever. Sometimes people are just that mean. If that girl swears a few words viciously after being conjured up, someone will just take it as human nature. After a while, you will forget about each other. But she doesn't scold, cry or make trouble, which makes people feel pity. Speaking of which, no matter where I am, I never feel like a home. Is it because I don't have a real family? It's just, other people's children are fun, but your own, that's the reincarnation of the magic star. Think about those friends who have both children and happy families before time traveling. They check in and show off from time to time, as if they are living a happy life. But as long as the child makes a fuss, the world will be turned upside down. It sounds like there are sweets and bitters, but because they love the sweet side, they endure the bitter part. Can you bear it? A certain person thinks that it is too early to marry a wife, have children, and buy a house no matter before or after time travel. It is to take advantage of the ignorance when I was young, to deal with things in one go, and to survive the initial period of hardship with the vigor of youth. If the husband and wife can spend this period of time hand in hand, there probably won't be any major changes in the future. Not to mention the problems between husband and wife, if you live for 30 or 40 years before you get married for the sake of getting married, and have children for the sake of having children, then don't mention the bullshit. There is no ghost emotion here, everything is a profit transaction. Who has ever seen an old couple in their 70s and 80s living like a first love? That's all drama. The better acting is surprising, and the content is full of satire on current events and reflections on the present. Almost went straight to the martial arts drama. Classification can range from normal to restricted, and even banned because it is too pornographic. I have never seen that kind of inside and outside, 
harmonious and happy. I have never seen it before. Maybe it's just my lack of knowledge. The saying that life is like a play is not something that is felt in the heart and feels emotionally. This is the truth. There are too many sighs, but there is not a word. Hugh Mention Marlene's grave, it is said that the tombstone is not like a tombstone. Just put a stone there, right as a mark. There are no inscriptions, no inscriptions. This is how children like them die without a father or a mother. I don't know where it came from, so I don't need anyone to know where it's going. Lynn agreed to adopt a group of people, whether it was long or short. During this period of time, Marlene was not the only doll who left. Someone took care of their affairs. In other places, a roll of straw mats paired with a mass grave would be considered an excellent treatment. Most of them were just thrown on the side of the road, left to be eaten by wild dogs and rotted with maggots. Thinking of what happened to them, I miss where I came from. There may be many unsatisfactory things in my hometown, but it is not difficult to live. Even if it is just a child, there are still basic social welfare policies to support it. But the lost ground is too dangerous, and it is difficult to live. Even if you reach your own level, do you dare to wander around? Not to mention the guardian lord, there is someone beside me who can't afford to offend. No, she appeared again. A certain person was just chanting, wearing a four-spirit costume, and Fen in red sat beside her. Originally sitting on the ground, with his hands propped behind his back, he was in a comfortable posture. As a result, someone grabbed his left hand and almost lost his balance and fell to the ground. Fern stared at the bare wrist and said, Why did it break again? Where is the again? This is the first time I have lost my hand. From time to time, you make yourself look like a human and a ghost, so I should praise you for only breaking one hand this time, which is considered progress. Hearing this sour voice, someone lost even the courage to refute. What should I say? It's the kind of feeling that you go home after doing something bad, and do things carefully, for fear of showing your flaws, being caught by your parents, and being beaten up. Hey! No, this mentality is wrong. Why should I risk a guilty conscience? This business trip to the South, I am innocent. Nonsense. Innocent. On a business trip, all the tricycles were stepped on. If you want to say that you are innocent in this way, you will go to with your tongue pulled out after death. It's just that the men are unmarried and the women are unmarried, and everyone has a tacit understanding of playing their own way. The petty and old-fashioned thinking before is no good. Lin took a few deep breaths, corrected his mentality, and took a few steps towards the scumbag's ambition. Fern is still the same as before, Yan. So gorgeous that strangers should not get close to them. Even if she looks like a little girl, she looks heroic and extraordinary, which makes people feel dependable. This is by no means seeing someone with a big heart, so I want to try the weight and compete with the previous few. It is said that I have mastered it before. After returning from a business trip, has she grown up again? While thinking wildly, the lifted left hand was pulled in front of Fern again. She closed her eyes and rubbed gently, chanting the mantra, which had already been revised to the point of flying, and chanted a healing technique that no one except Fen could understand. This appearance is no stranger to her days. Usually, if there is a serious injury or ailment, it will be a cure if you come to this original lich. As long as the injury is not weird, there is nothing that cannot be cured. In the past, regardless of myself, because of the eight kinds of powers pouring into my body, my life became skinny. Or the whole body is not stable just like a Valakai Tesvara or Peacock spreading its arms with a flick of the hand, these are not purely physical injuries. Therefore, Fen Zi was not good, and Lin never blamed anyone. Anyway, judging from the results, those problems were finally resolved. This time I chopped off my palm, but the reason why I didn't take it to heart at all was because it was considered a minor injury in Fern's eyes. For a lich who is proficient in resurrection, how difficult is it to regenerate limbs? 
but it is this kind of thing that everyone thinks is not difficult www.mtlnovel.com Fen has hit a wall. Seeing that the time for Finn to cast spells continued to lengthen, it seemed that there was no end. If there is a person who has been cut in half, at this moment, the lower body can grow out of the upper body, and the upper body can grow out of the lower body, turning into two whole people, but my wrist doesn't respond at all. Fen, who stopped her hand, seemed not to believe in evil, and cut off another part of the healed wrist with a single swing of the knife. He slapped a guy who was yelling and stopped the annoying noise. Even so, the palm still can't regenerate, it's just that the blood bubbles keep coming from the broken section. After two unsuccessful attempts, Fern finally stopped, and asked with a frown, What's the matter with your hand? Why do I feel that there is a strange force preventing the magic from taking effect? I just chopped it myself. Lin blew on the broken wrist, as if doing so would relieve the pain, and at the same time described the situation at that time. Although there is no oil or vinegar, it is inevitable that some subjective thoughts are mixed in. Of course, Fen is not a little girl, she gnashes her teeth when she hears bad guys, and holds her face like a nymphomaniac when she hears good guys. She listened carefully, thinking about possible problems. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1456, Box Cut Mystery Solution When he heard that someone had cut the broken palm himself, Fern interjected and asked, Did you cut it with a box? But Khan didn't have such damage, right? If you used the Wheel of the Moon, you wouldn't be here at all. The power of the Time Wheel has been verified with the Draco Lich by Ching Long. Even Fen doesn't want to experience the power of the Time Wheel to wipe out the superior ability from the causal level. Lin Kei didn't hide his secrets, and let Fen study the Time Wheel. This is of course carried out with the consent of the Year Wheel. However, the magic part is easy to solve and the most critical part is the sands of time. So far, Fern has not been able to find a proper way to resist its power. That's why she paid attention to which weapon the person in front of her cut off her left palm with. Lin replied, of course it's not the time wheel. At that time, my left hand was anti-justice box cutting, and my right hand was anti-life box cutting. When the holy emblem of the gods on the back of my left hand made a mischief, I waved my right hand just like that, ah, ah. The two who realized it looked at each other, and Fen threw her hand angrily, and said, Why don't you wipe your neck? I just took out the skill of being a headless horseman to review. Someone rubbed his face resentfully with his only remaining right hand. It turned out that he was acting as a demon. Conclusion, the left hand is hopeless. It is impossible to restore the left palm until a means other than treatment is found. The original Lich made such a judgment that someone wanted to forge an iron hook for his hand. If you add wooden legs, a parrot on your shoulder, big and small eyes and missing front teeth, then the pirate appearance will be complete. You can go back to the Karlsruhe Empire to carry out the great cause of robbing houses. But just think about it. It's a matter of taste and it's called self-abuse if you want to make yourself into that dignified appearance. After knowing that his left palm was hopeless, Lin couldn't say how disappointed he was. Because there are many alternatives to magic, with his current strength, there will be no inconvenience in life. Don't you see all kinds of film and television works in my hometown, those tall superpowers or mutants don't use superpowers to show off in life, as if they are just street punks juggling. Anyway, all of them are cripples who can't walk or lift their hands, and use superpowers to do everything for them. Regardless of the mentality of those people. I am really crippled, so using magic to do it for me is the right thing to do. It's just that before a habit is formed, magic is still not as easy to use as one's own hands. So Lin put this thought on the boxers who are the culprits. After that battle, the anti-guardian, anti-justice, and anti-life three boxes changed back to Jian Wan. Although it deformed back and forth, a lot of stored energy was wasted. But now that they can be replenished through the dimensional gaps from time to time with the flash technique, that waste is nothing. 
The only thing that keeps a fixed appearance is Khan and the Time Wheel. Khan is a panacea that can be used against anyone. Because the Time Wheel needs to be connected with the sands of time, it cannot be changed arbitrarily. But the anti-god weapons did not meet the targeted gods, and compared with ordinary weapons, they were much stronger and sharper. When there is no target to target, they feel that it is not as easy to use as the sword pill form, so they changed back. For Lin, hanging out in that posture was like talking about those three powerful gods all day long. Even those who were originally friendly would become enemies, let alone the one who was already unhappy with him, it is not impossible to find him to practice every day. So let the boxers make up their minds. Lifting the box, with the position they are attached to him now, nothing in his mind can escape their detection. Someone's thoughts are known at once. It's just that a certain time traveler doesn't have any dark thoughts to hide, and they also tacitly keep their secrets. With the flashing technique at his side, Lin is now like the mother and father of the boxers. Offending no one will offend such a person, so the relationship between Lin and the others is still very harmonious. This is also very simple with the needs of the scorpions, that is, to walk around, to see everywhere, to have someone to talk to to make them feel that they are still alive, and that is enough. And someone's idea is to get a prosthetic. The whole rigid wooden hand is not enough, iron hooks and so on, it's just a mouthful. My real idea is to get an all-rounder like a Swiss knife. Take the idea of the Thunderbolt series, that is Yunbiao Suanja. Ordinary hands that seem to be wearing gloves can be turned into iron fans, swords, shields, claws, guns in wartime, and armor can be transformed into a fantasy weapon that completely ignores the relationship between mass and volume. During the period of following the drama, this strange weapon was more attractive than other more gorgeous weapons. If it wasn't for his age and experience, if he was still a sophomore in middle school, he would have been thinking about destroying his hands all day long, trying to find a way to equip himself with such a pair of super all-round hands. However, there are no such useful prosthetics in the real world, and even if there were, it would not be for me, a small person like Shendu. So that thought, just like the thought after watching a lot of movies, dramas, and literary works, why why is in my heart. But after crossing over, to a magical world, his hand was chopped off again, and he has the conditions and materials to do it. So should we do it or not? To Lin's surprise, the cooperation between the boxers was higher than expected. I thought you guys just wanted to change weapons? In fact, it is just that type, which best suits the needs of human beings and our specialties, so as to fulfill our wishes. If there are other needs, we can also cooperate. How about changing into a chastity belt? Hoop that naughty little thing of yours. It's just that we don't like being strapped down, so you might not be able to wear pants in the future. Leaving aside the question of whether they knew something they didn't know, like the idea that the lich next to them didn't say, they had such an idea. Without further ado, someone twisted out the dazed box-cut sword pill, and threw it viciously into the sea of trees outside the cliff. What? Fen, who had no mind-reading skills, asked suspiciously as she looked at someone's performance. It's nothing. There's a making an out of the ordinary suggestion, and I'll let it go out and calm down. Any good ideas for your hands? Research anti-anti-life powers. Sister, that's enough. The endless gameplay that predicts and predicts is not what I pursue. After thinking for a while, Lin said, I plan to replace my left palm with the box cut and make it into a prosthesis. Is it feasible? Will they work together? Fern also looked at the boxes with preconceived notions. After all, the weapons of the boxer clan are too famous. And apart from weapons, I have never heard of the box cut changing into anything else, not even armor. The enthusiasm of the boxers has been mentioned, the problem now is how to make a prosthetic hand that can move like a normal person. The simplest option is to let the box cut prosthetic hand change according to someone's ideas. But if it is necessary to simulate the movements of normal people, the amount of change is huge, 
and the consumption will be unimaginable. Lin can't guarantee whether or not Xiaoqi can obtain enough energy to support the change only by supplementing the interval of the flashing technique. Besides, there are still some problems that have not been solved with this option. For example, the senses of the hands are conveyed to one's own consciousness through box cutting? Or find a way to connect the nerves and directly transmit the feeling to the brain? The second method is to imitate the mechanical structure of the robot, relying on the hydraulic pump to control the joint flexion and extension. Although the inside of the box cutter cannot be lubricated with oil, there are always other ways to solve it. And the problem, as with the previous method, is how the feel is delivered correctly. The third method is to gather nano worms. It seems that it has nothing to do with the box cut, and directly ask Hefkin for help. In this way, the nerve endings at the wrist can be directly connected, making this prosthetic limb the same as a real limb, and solving the problem of transmission of the five senses. But nanoworms are not independent, everything is under the control of Hefkin. Comparing them with almost no ambitions, Lin's trust in the former elemental lord has not reached the level of the former element lords. If she is turned into a prosthetic limb and becomes a part of his body, will there be other hidden dangers, Lin really can't guarantee that there will be no. The one who is willing to separate the body and stay by someone's side already has a utilitarian purpose. If there is a deeper request, what else can Lin give? Don't ask God when the time comes, it's easy to send God away. The fourth option is to make the box cut into a left-hand prosthesis with a bionic structure. Including bones, muscles, nerves, blood vessels, lymph, etc., all of which are directly composed of molecules. That is, bionic prosthetics that do not go deep into the cellular level. With bones and muscles, the movement of the hand is not a problem, and there is no need to rely on the box to change from moment to moment. With nerves, sensations can be transmitted. There are circulatory systems such as blood vessels and lymph, which help the left-hand prosthesis to be integrated with the body. The advantage of doing this is obvious, and it is the closest to the habit of biological activities. The only thing to consider is whether or not this kind of level change can be achieved. As for the benefit of the prosthetic being a box cut, which can be changed into armor or weapons at will, there is no need to mention it. It shouldn't be a big problem to get the claws of Wolverine out. So, okay. Then do it. After the thought was settled, a box of sword pills separated from Lin's waist belt. It happened that the wrist section was cut open by Fen. Although the bleeding was stopped by muscle contraction, the wound hadn't healed yet, and yellowish transparent pus was bubbling. Put the box cut sword pills on the wound and they began to sprout and grow. Starting from Jianwan, various organizations formed at the same time, and expanded their scope outward. After a while, Lin's left hand reappeared on his left wrist as if intact. Its recovery speed is a little slower than that of other forms of the box cuts www.mtlnovel.com Lin tried to grasp the five fingers, and made a few flexible movements of the fingers. Seeing this, Fern asked curiously, how, do you feel it? Of course Fern didn't know what was going on between someone and everyone, but he could see the whole process. If there is a change in the mechanical structure, she still dare not say a few words. However, the box cut is a change in the bionic structure, and she, who was born as a necromancer, has the most say, so she is naturally curious about the results of this change in the box cut. Lin Gang wanted to answer, but he just grabbed it with his left hand and grabbed it towards the majestic mountain beside him. He suddenly said with a voice, Ah, this is the touch of the human body. It turns out that this is such a beautiful thing. By the way, do you feel it? It's too late, so fast. Fen slapped someone half a foot away with a big slap. The former demon king gritted his teeth and asked, How? Does this make you feel? I couldn't see if half of my face was swollen, but I definitely didn't feel it. Lin complained, Sister, I can't replace my face with a box cut, so don't try it. Then change your head. Please remember the first domain name of this book. 
Chapter 1457, The Idea of Weaponization Xiaokyakshuan Ji hurt someone and received a slap in the face. Maybe it's because the Shakari are not ordinary creatures, and their likes and dislikes are also different from ordinary people. So when someone threatens to use his left hand to pick up Stinky or something in retaliation, Xiaoki Xianji reminded indifferently, everyone feels connected, if you pick up with me, it means you touched yourself. Want to hurt each other like this? So someone is defeated. Fern went back. According to her own statement, the Bishop of Life is busy. If she hadn't seen a magician come back after a long absence, and threw a very eye-catching thing actually, the black dragon magic crystal at home, she wouldn't have spent all this time coming to this cliff to look at the sea of trees and people along the way. Lin hasn't left yet. Because he was aware of the matter of taking the casket as his hand, he thought hastily. After all, Zayaki is not an unconscious dead thing, so it is necessary to make three chapters of the law to agree on their respective behaviors. But just like in the case of picking up dog shit, the values of the scorpion family are different from that of humans, and many behaviors are not cared at all by the scorpion. For example, hand washing, scrubbing, and picking. In short, there is a saying in Zayaki Suanja, if you can accept it, I can accept it. Someone just wanted to ask the others, do they all have the same personality? Or is someone being sloppy again? He didn't pick and choose, he just found a box cut sword pellet and planted it in his hand, and then met a top quality one. Since Zayoki put on an appearance of no taboos, Lin didn't pay too much attention to it. Anyway, I don't want to chop off my left hand again, so it's better to go back and review the design and function problems. Using the box cut as a prosthetic, Lin is certainly not satisfied with normal hand movements. Yinbiao Suanja itself is a strange weapon, even if the box cut Suanja didn't want to make so many changes, at least some functions should be thought out in advance. In an emergency, you won't be in a hurry and rush to find a solution. With so many boxes in hand, it is unnecessary for the left-handed Suanja to be able to change various weapons and armors like the authentic Thunderbolt. According to the ideas of the boxers, everyone lined up to change various forms to play. The reason why I didn't do that is because someone doesn't want to carry a bunch of weapons on their back like Musa Shivo Benke in his hometown of Niben. Besides, people claim to collect thousands of weapons, but in fact, it is said that there are only seven of them that are often carried on their bodies. If the boxers really change according to their own ideas, wouldn't someone have to carry hundreds of weapons on their backs? Regardless of cutting a bunch of boxes on the back of the body, if there is really so much weight, there is no need to fight, and it may even be difficult to move normally. Since iron fans, knives, swords, spears, and armor all have boxes waiting to be changed, then Suanji can only maintain the shape of the hand. But that doesn't mean it can't be changed. For example, it is not a problem to temporarily change a screwdriver with a motor to rotate itself. What do you mean no? Do you have a choice? Just suppressing a certain box in my consciousness, Suanja Wazi turned me into an indescribable mushroom-shaped thing, claiming that I want to satisfy five women at once. Lin failed to bring up the courage to hold it in his arms, but just raised his hands flat to distance himself. Fortunately, Fen had already taken a step ahead, otherwise the scene was so beautiful that he didn't know how to explain it. It's worse than sausage hands. Picking up the time wheel with his right hand, he wanted to test to see if the time wheel could only cut off the possessed object without hurting the main body. As for the consequences of the test failure, Lin didn't care anymore. Faced with this real threat that he didn't intend to discuss, Xiaoqi Xianji quickly gave up. Change back to the original obediently. But that just made Lin switch ears to Khan and rethink the pros and cons of cutting off his hand again. Back to the original story. The biggest advantage of using box cut as a prosthesis should be that the left hand is really invulnerable. It doesn't matter whether it's grabbing the blade with bare hands, blocking an arrow with bare hands, pulling out a tiger's teeth, or fighting a lion's claw, as long as you don't catch the difference. 
but as a magician, I only use the box as an iron lump. Don't talk about complaining, even I can't stand it. So still have to add some magic effects. It seems to glow when it is charged, or it will burst into flames when it swings its fists, and it will fire a shotgun from the palm and a laser from five fingers. The wolverine's claw has already been mentioned, and the hidden blade of the assassin may be able to smuggle in for a while, so it doesn't take up the quota for other changes. While thinking wildly, a picture flashed in someone's mind. It was in the third episode of the movie Thor, the multifunctional haircut and shaving kit in the hands of the old man of the Lee family. Not to mention cutting hair, it can be used as a torture tool, right? Didn't look at Soul that strong man who called his father and mother. At this time, I think of the classic memory of childhood, which is also one of the romances of otaku. Immediately, Lin was full of pride, holding his left arm with his right hand, and facing the setting sun with his left hand straight ahead, he shouted, Vajra flying fist. And then, nothing happened. Box cut Suanja, the fist can fly out to beat people, but also can fly back by itself. Such a weapon is too psychedelic. It's better if I use the sword pill form to fly and drill randomly. Well, being taught to be human. Someone is speechless. Lin was thinking wildly, and they simply freed themselves from someone's belt and thought wildly together. For a while on this cliff halfway up the mountain, it was like a group of demons dancing wildly. The flight trajectories of the box cuts rendered colorful and strange colors in the air, wrapping a certain magician in it. If you look at it from a distance, it looks a bit like an outsider. If anyone wants to go forward and try it, the flying ones are all box-cut sword pills, hundreds of them. With their current abilities, as long as they can be eliminated physically, there is no opponent they cannot defeat. It can be said that in this state, Lin doesn't have to bother to think about his own safety. It is impossible for even a mosquito to fly in, let alone any assassin who can break through such a protective circle. Suddenly a thought popped into his mind, Lin looked up at the sea of trees that seemed to be burning. The afterglow of the setting sun inexplicably faded people's fighting spirit to nothing. The concept of working at sunrise and resting at sunset seems to be deeply rooted in my mind. Ah, I'm hungry. It's time for dinner. The two big girls at home have kept their own food. According to the number of people in the family, it should be right to prepare more. At this time, we should not be afraid of waste, just afraid of not having enough food. It's not a small family, it's petty. And myself, it's just a matter of many bowls, so it's not a big deal. It's not like pulling a hump's hump for every meal. If it doesn't work, let's go and inspect the food of the little guys. There are many people there and the children are all developing, so there is no need to worry about cooking too much food and not being able to finish it. There are always a few starved ghost reincarnated full-time sweeping food tables. That way, when someone showed up at the dinner table, it didn't make much of a splash. The older girl with black hair and brown skin obediently added a pair of bowls for her teacher. Someone's position is still on the throne. Talking with everyone at the dinner table, there is no unfamiliarity or enthusiasm that has not been seen for several months. It was as if they had never left before, and they were talking about fairly common topics, without any nourishment. To say that the most excited one is Leonardo, that young man. It means that in Uzov, he stayed in the technology guild, and that fart boy Ezio ate and lived with those children, and he would not even show up at the dinner table with the old black dragon Augustus. Leonardo didn't seem to be having a very comfortable life in this environment where the yin was flourishing and the yang was declining. Although it doesn't matter whether it's Fern, the two girls, or Fern's apprentice, or the Marquis of Baran, they are not bossy and arrogant, but they are all internal diehards. If it doesn't go according to their wishes, these people don't make noise or make trouble, just stare quietly. If the skin is thinner, it will be directly pierced by the eyes. Thinking about it, Leonardo's face skinning skills have not yet been practiced well, so he can't bear people staring at him like this. 
The dinner in the main house is now prepared by the people brought by the Marquis. The Queen who used to dine alone in the room, now also learns to eat with everyone in the restaurant, but Kaya must be by her side. If that close friend was missing, and Baozun took a sip and ran back to his room, her teacher's words wouldn't matter. It's just that Fern doesn't care about such trivial matters, and she doesn't even care about her apprentices. If the Marquis didn't take the initiative to ask for advice, it would be as if she had forgotten that there was such an apprentice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Fern is relieved, and the Marquis of Baran is also relieved, which is good for both of them. Besides, the backer of the Marquis of Balan is the extraordinary person of the former Grand Duke. To put it bluntly, when the granddaughter dies of old age, the grandfather might still be alive and kicking. As long as the old man doesn't kick his legs for a day, few people in this world would dare to provoke the Marquis. So, it doesn't matter much if you have attainments in magic. You don't need to be like those low-level adventurers, if you don't learn enough, you may die in a remote corner one day. The cook of the Marquis's family was well trained by the two girls. Midi's traditional food is either roasted or stewed in a big pot, at most it uses more or less spices. But this level of culinary skills is a failure in the eyes of the heirs of a foodie empire. If only I and the two apprentices were there, then maybe I would let them ruin it. But there is Fen who has a mouth that has been spoiled, and she will ruin the life of anyone who dares to spoil her mouth. Under the influence of the former demon king, the cook of the Marquis's family improved by leaps and bounds. I heard they have changed a few dials. Every time half of the old cooks are replaced, the former Grand Duke who was deprived of his title will send a group of new cooks www.mtlnovel.com and the ones that are replaced are not only used by the Grand Duke himself, but also some royal chefs who entered the palace. I ate the specialties of Karlsruhe Empire for nearly three months in a row, but I was still confused. It is because of the sea and heavy humidity that the taste is much heavier. And more seafood that can't be eaten elsewhere. But with this feature, I got tired of eating it in the first few days. The rest of the day is just a meal. Some people don't care about what they can eat. When I first came to Midi, as long as the soup was not rancid and the meat was not rotten, I had eaten all kinds of flavors. If I didn't eat it, I would starve, so there was really nothing to worry about. So after returning to the holy city, this long lost meal is to eat someone's body and feel comfortable. Especially when a lot of chili is added, the taste is not comparable to that of ordinary heavy salty. It was sweating and snot again, but it just didn't feel the same. When he was full of wine and food, someone burped beautifully. Go back to your own little world and have a good night's sleep. In the days of the Karlsruhe Empire, it was hard work day and night. You need to rest for a while. But he didn't know that outside the door of his attic room, there were several pairs of sad eyes looking in. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1458, Holy City Influence the news that a certain magician had returned to the holy city of Estelai could be said to reach the ears of all those who cared or didn't care at an extremely fast speed. For a man who can fight against the guardian master, slaughter a large duke's territory, and even dig up the land, everyone still doesn't believe much. It's just that people from all walks of life in the Karlsruhe Empire have testified, and all kinds of weird rumors are flying all over the sky. If others say that they don't believe it, all kinds of evidence will be smashed down. Among the people who provided evidence, there were even the tower owners of the magic tower. If you still don't believe it, go and practice with those tower owners yourself. There must be elements of exaggeration in these news, and the news of Midi does not have that kind of impartial and true report. But as long as half of it is true, it means that the magician will not only not be able to offend, but also try his best to win him over. However, everyone remained silent for the first time, with the idea of checking the direction of the wind. In fact, it is not surprising to think so. In history, there are too many people who have endured for a long time and showed all kinds of kindness, but changed suddenly, with completely different personalities and attitudes from the past. Therefore, 
just because a magician was easy to talk before, it doesn't mean that he is also easy to talk after showing his fangs. If someone who doesn't have a good eye moves forward, is so unlucky, and meets a person who intends to take revenge on the society, then next year's day will be his own death day. No one wants to have such an encounter. But there is always a beginning to everything. The first batch of people who came to find someone were of course those who had a good friendship in the past. I think I have never offended someone, so there is a high probability that I will not be retaliated or angered. The great magician Caban Bay is the closest, and he has also given great support to someone to stay in the holy city, an old friend who is also a teacher and a friend. Not to mention that Lin's current status in mathematics was established at Kabam Bayi Academy. Although he has stepped out of the first-line mathematics teaching recently, there are also Finn's life courses in Kabam Bay Academy, and the relationship between the two parties is still quite good. So the old magician was the first to go to the door. In addition to his own concern, there are many magicians in the holy city who also care about it. Many of these people were close friends of the great magician Caban Bay, or powerful figures in the holy city. They have nothing to do with the person in question, so of course they can only ask Caban to come out for an interview. Therefore, the old magician has shouldered the expectations of quite a few people. Magicians are not bound by the territory like the nobles. They are free, and they can afford to say, advance can be attacked, retreat can be defended. So the idea of the magicians is very simple, they just want to know the plan of that one. If the price is not high, it is not unacceptable for everyone to maintain peaceful coexistence, or even join him. After all, the mathematician has a great reputation, and there is no evil behavior that both people and gods are angry with. Nominal surrender is nothing to a magician who pays attention to practical benefits. Everyone gathered in the holy city of Estelai, didn't they mean the same thing? If the asking price is too harsh, no one can afford it, and at most they will go far away. Maybe there will be people who are unwilling to be oppressed and gather together to fight hard, and the victory or defeat is another matter. Facing the question from the old magician who was kind to him, Lin did not hide his thoughts at all. That is to study magic and live in peace. Such an unbelievable reason for outsiders, the magicians believed it. Not for anything else, just because this is the choice many magicians would make. The reason why most of these people can't realize such a dream is because they don't have enough funds for magic research. So they have to come forward to find money or make money, hoping to realize the financial freedom of the lost version. Not all magicians are greedy for power, the more powerful the magician is, the more so. For this kind of people, if their own strength is strong, then money and power will follow, and these things are just accessories. If one's own strength is not up to the mark, no matter how much money one earns, one will lose one's position or be dragged down. This kind of reasoning, is correct in the world of Midi, a world full of personal power. In this world, there is no such thing as the so-called saying that no matter how high your martial arts are, you are no match for a bullet, if you can fight ten men, you may not be able to fight an army. In my hometown, power represents everything, and in my hometown, strength represents everything. The great magician Caban Bay left. Except for the affairs of the college, he was so busy all day long that it was very impressive to find someone to talk to. Don't expect the old man to stay long and chat nonsense. After getting the answer he wanted, the restless old magician left. He also needs to spend time replying to those magicians who are also concerned about this matter, and there are different ways of responding according to their closeness. As for whether those people believe it, it is not the old magician's business. At least seeing this side today, the great mage Caban Bay confirmed one thing. Although he has the title of great magician and has dropped a lot of training due to the academy's affairs in recent years, even if he is at his peak, he will not want to challenge this person in front of him. Of course, this is not a combat power analyzer, which can tell the difference in strength between the enemy and ourselves at a glance. It's not a sixth sense, you can tell whether the opponent is a dragon or a worm just by feeling. 
If you want to know a man's financial resources in your hometown, of course you need to look at clothing, watches, leather shoes and other foreign objects. These foreign objects are of reference value most of the time. Although it is not ruled out that there are people who love vanity, so they have swollen faces to pretend to be fat, or they are obviously rich, but they like to dress like beggars. In Midi, especially the group of magicians, there is no behavior of slapping a swollen face to pretend to be fat. Because the equipment is for life-saving, no matter how good it is, it cannot be overstated. The quality of equipment is also a part of strength. If they met each other, the magic shield enchantment used to protect their lives would be completely destroyed by the strange metal ball flying all over the sky in the blink of an eye. It is enough to trust the character of that magician if they didn't run away directly. Although as long as the magic stone on the equipment is replaced, one's magic shield can be resupported, but those metal are not consumed. There are still hundreds of them, and although the flight left an obvious and strange trajectory, it is impossible to predict its movement. It doesn't look like it is controlled by humans, and there is no law in it. Just looking at this hand, the great magician Caban Bay gave up the idea of competing with the person in front of him. I can't afford to hurt you. The magic stones that need to be replaced are not Hanjao level cheap goods, and it is enough for him to feel distressed if he just explodes one. Of course, all this was just an accident. The box cut sword pills were having fun, and the old magician broke in. After seeing off the old magician who came to visit, after a few days of quietness, another aggressive old man was ushered in. If I made a list of the noble people I met and ranked them in order, this old man would definitely be number one. He transferred the Grand Duke title to his son, and also handed over all his subordinate titles, but the actual authority is no less than Ricardo Carvi. The old man didn't look cautious at all, he sat on the sofa in the living room with a big horse, staring at someone until his back felt cold. I don't know whether he learned this kung fu from the women in his own family, or the group of women learned it from him. As for the guard knights who were no longer the duke's guard, but reorganized into the first militia regiment, stood in a row behind the old man. In terms of momentum, it is full of momentum. It makes someone want to complain, whose militia looks more vigorous than the top regular army. Although he thinks that his skin is like a city wall, it is not a problem to carry a few star destroyer cannons. But Lin Kei is not used to staring at an old man to see who will laugh first. So Lin took the lead and said, Old man, you didn't come all this way to keep an eye on me and make me unable to do anything. I'm very busy. Someone said in his heart, pretending to be busy. Since the old man doesn't have any titles, he can no longer be called adult. Although in the eyes of ordinary people, anyone who is a member of the nobility can call it that, but I still care about the correctness of such a small place. In fact, you can use the Your Excellency, which was originally only for dignitaries but is now widely used, this kind of honorific which has nothing to do with status. But the old man has seen enough flattery on the surface and criticism and swearing behind the scenes all his life, so he doesn't want to hear such snobbish honorifics after retirement. But to be able to call this old man by his name directly, he must be at least the same age. If the juniors like Lin dare to be presumptuous, Baozun will turn his face and deny anyone in minutes. So Lin used the title of old man, and the old man seemed very satisfied, and asked others to follow suit. Fortunately, someone didn't use Laffy yet. It means that there is no Buddha in Midi, so I probably wouldn't accept such a title. Lin thought so. Facing the magician's questioning, the old man abruptly relaxed his tense face, cracked a smile, and said, How about it, lend me a soldier. We will share it equally after we beat all the lands. Lin didn't even think about it, and directly refused, No. That's the power of destruction, not the power of rule. If the old man wants to destroy something, just tell me, and make sure they won't see the sun tomorrow. But I want to counting on a group of non-human guys to rule the places that have been taken down, I can guarantee that in the end, you will wish that you directly destroyed those places in the first place. Oh, 
why do you say that? Could it be that they are a new race from the abyss? Ricardo Carvey asked. Lin shook his head and said, no. They were originally earth elemental spirits, but now they look like they have been transformed by me. Earth elemental spirits are worse than demons. The old man sighed. That's right. Although demons are synonymous with chaos www.mtlnovel.com, humans are still useful to demons. The belief of human beings can become the king of the evil of the abyss. Human flesh and blood is the best food and sacrifice for demons. Human greedy souls are the best medium of exchange in the abyss. It can be said that whether people are alive or dead, they are useful resources for demons. Therefore, when it comes to dealing with human beings, demons will not exhaust their resources. But elemental elves don't need any of that at all. Humans are useless to elemental elves. And this so-called useless is a terrible thing, which means that no matter what the elemental elves do to humans, they will not take it to heart. Even if it is dead, it will not be a pity. It's just that in the past, elemental elves had to have corresponding sacrifices to replace their bodies and wills when they came to lost land. And these things are expendable. When exhausted, the elemental spirits will be forcibly repatriated. But, the robot fleet combined with the transmission method of the WAP engine seems to have broken the inherent limitations of the elemental elves. No wonder it attracted the attention of the Guardian Lord. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1459, Digging a Pit Dignifiedly Although Ricardo Carvey doesn't know how to summon elemental spirits, as a lord and a high-ranking nobleman, he often deals with elemental spirits. Sometimes I pray for good weather, and I also borrow the abilities of the elemental elves. Not to mention the use of the elemental spirit's combat power to attack the enemy in war. Therefore, he has a deep understanding of the temperament of the elemental elves. To put it simply, there are only eight words, distorting the facts and breaking the promise. The distorted facts are because the elemental elves are more keen to find loopholes in the text than the demons, to misinterpret the original intention of the summoner. As for the untruthful statement, it was just a comment made by those summoners who did not fulfill their wishes in a fit of anger. The elemental elves still talk about credibility, speaking in a way they understand. So those mages who are good at summoning elemental spirit magic, rather than saying that they are good at summoning elemental spirits, it is better to say that they know how to deal with elemental spirits. If you want to use the elemental spirits to achieve your goals, the trick is to make simple and understandable requirements to reduce the possibility of being misinterpreted. For example, as agreed between a certain person and the robots, for him to conquer the outland five times. Maybe such a request will be misinterpreted as ordering five times, but at least the number is clear and cannot be bargained afterwards. Therefore, Lin was very careful when giving instructions. If he had to finish the explanation at one time, he could not add one by one, or try to explain his orders clearer. Such an approach can easily be interpreted extensively. The old man is so old and has so much knowledge, it is not uncommon to see teams of magicians and adventurers who are tossed to death by the behavior of the elemental elves. So as soon as Lin mentioned the origin of the robot, he gave up those unrealistic ideas. Anyway, that sentence was just a talk from the beginning. As an introduction, try to see if there are other possibilities. Now that he knew the source of that power, Ricardo Carvey was curious about another question. Why? Lin probably guessed what the old man wanted to ask in three simple words. It's nothing more than how he hooked up with the robot fleet, and whether he has a chance to get a piece of the pie. He roughly talked about the transformation of the earth element creature into a robot, and then swept the entire earth element plane. Although those few battles were skipped, but the old man knew that someone had managed an elemental plane without making a sound. Of course, the key point is that during the process of transforming into a robot, the Earth Elemental Elves promised to fight five times for themselves in the Outland. And this is the reason why he can command the robot fleet to bomb the Grand Duke of Karlsruhe Empire. So, how many more attacks like that can you command? The old man asked seemingly casually. 
but from the flash of light in his eyes, Lin guessed that this should be his most concerned issue. I counted with my fingers. Lin said, not counting those scattered individual calls, requiring the entire army of the robot fleet to dispatch, and conquering the plane of the wind element is counted as one round. After that, the troops will be divided into three places, and one will be stationed on the plane of the wind element. This squadron should not account for the number of times. But the other two teams attacked the water elemental plane and the fire elemental plane respectively, and they also occupied once each. Then this time they attacked the Grand Duke of Frias. I still have 143 chances to summon a single fleet like the attack on the Grand Duke of Frias. Conservative calculations, at least 100 or more are no problem. He doesn't hide the limit of his abilities at all just like a big country in his hometown doesn't hide the number of nuclear weapons. The meaning is to tell others that I have a way to wipe the ground with nuclear weapons, so don't jump forward if you have nothing to do. As long as the exact quantity and location are not mentioned, this deterrent is full. Only those small countries need to cover up the problems they have or do not have, because they are afraid of being preemptively suppressed or exposing the fact that they are not capable of counter-retaliation, anti-anti-retaliation, or anti-anti-anti-retaliation. For others, at first glance, this ability of a certain magician has its limit. This is a good thing. However, if you think about it carefully, you will understand that this number of times is just a joke. How can there be more than a hundred Grand Dukes to consume these times? If you take a smaller territory, people can't use a smaller amount to achieve the same goal. Even if the determination is exhausted, who will rank first? Who ranks second, third, or even 143rd, and used up all the opportunities available to this magician? Everyone would want to use other people's lives and territories to consume instead of using their own. Then no one will be willing to stand out and be a martyr who burns himself and illuminates others. The old man thought to himself, it's better to directly regard this magician as being able to summon robot fleets infinitely, so as to formulate tactics against him. If there is a chance to use up the opponent's trump card, no one will risk their life and family to provoke this person. This sliver of hope has virtually weakened the fighting spirit of many potential opponents. As long as they are not forced to jump over the wall, no one is willing to deal with this person. In fact, for Lin, if more than a hundred Grand Duke and King level fiefdoms were to cause trouble, instead of wasting more than a hundred chances, it would be better to directly fire a Star Destroyer into the core of the Earth. Anyway, when so many people are targeting me, Mitty probably won't be able to live anymore, so it doesn't make sense to me whether this planet continues to exist. As for doing so, will it cause resistance from the Guardian Lord and even the World Tree? Well we will talk about it later. Someone's evil thoughts, of course, were not spoken. In fact, even if it is said, I am afraid that we must first explain what the Star Destroyer canon is before people will be scared. Regardless of whether someone's explanation alone can make others understand the power of the Star Destroyer, in fact, even Lin is not sure that the Star Destroyer can really exert its due power. After all, this is a world with individual power, and there are gods. Those who ignore the rules of physics are too unreasonable and opinionated, and sometimes they really think about whether science really has limits. At least the science and science fiction I know has limits. Or you can start looking for yourself, let yourself know where the path of science beyond these limits is. The old man asked some more questions about the robot fleet and Lin explained them one by one with the perfunctory attitude of explaining thermal weapons to primitive people. I thought that no matter how I explained it, others would not be able to understand it, but I didn't expect the old man to say that he understood. I just don't know if this understanding is true or false. But when Lin thought about it carefully, although the knowledge on the technology side was different from the foundation on the magic side, it wasn't that there was no overlap at all. Is it okay to use knowledge from the magic side to understand the robot fleet? They are still earth elemental elves, proper magical creatures. So Lin also put away his contempt, and once again changed his notion that he belonged to the time-traveling people, 
but he didn't know what he was arrogant about. In terms of facts, the current robot fleet is not enough to fight with high-end combat power. There are only enough numbers, and they can't be finished in a while. Bombarding the Grand Duke of Frias took advantage of this. He dragged Apollos by himself, and the nine heroic spirits under the Lord of Guardians were not strong enough to stop the bombardment of all the robot fleets. Before they blew up the entire fleet, the Grand Duchy was wiped out. Taking this opportunity to think carefully, Lin realized that the lower limit of the robot fleet's strength is above the lost ground, but the upper limit of its strength is lower than those of the truly high-end combat power. If I really want to say an advantage, that is the quantity is enough. There are more than 1 million battleship class robots, and there are 350 million robots at all levels. Maybe even if all the adventurers and troops in the Lost Land are put together, there is still not such a number. Not to mention the question of which single lord or country can stand up to a battle with robots. But it's still the fact that even the best weapons have to be used to cause damage. If the bearer does not want to use the weapon, no damage is done despite the threat. He thought he knew the character of the magician in front of him, but the old man came here to ask so many questions, but he was actually just thinking about whether he and the empire behind him had the opportunity to borrow such power. I never thought that this man would one day launch a war of conquest or destruction towards Quanfandi. Just like the man's own evaluation, that power can be used to destroy, but it cannot be conquered. In addition to the matter of the robot fleet, the old man has another focus of concern when he comes over, and that is the constitutional monarchy that rose in the Karlsruhe Empire. He took out a magic stone, unfolded the water mirror screen, and the words on it were the two public constitutions and royal laws. As the drafter of the bill, Gabrish Tripwood's name is extremely resounding among the people who care about this matter. As for whether it is a good name or a bad name, it is another matter. What the old man wanted was for Lin to explain what he couldn't understand. Although Ricardo Carvey is a warrior, he is not illiterate, so of course he can understand the above text. But the law should not only look at the surface, but also look at the intention, the things behind it, and even the impact it will cause. These things www.ntlnovel.com even if the author doesn't fully understand, at least they will know more than others. Whether those ideas are right or wrong is another matter. It is quite normal that the results of many things are different from what you think. Of course, Lin didn't hide his secrets, but he wasn't optimistic that this set would sprout in the Guana Empire. Simply put, the current Guana Empire does not have the same soil as the Karlsruhe Empire, most commoners identify with the ruling class and feel that they are doing a good job, and there is no need to change anything. But whether such a concept will take root and sprout and grow suddenly at some point in the future, Lin can't guarantee it. However, after listening to Lin's explanation, the old man gained a deeper understanding, but still frowning. Said, although such a system disperses the power in the hands of us nobles, it should be a good thing for the empire as a whole. Let's not discuss whether this is suitable for the empire. Why do I think there is a big pit behind it? It's the same as you dig in the back of a bank. Once you do it, it's like jumping into a hole and you can't get out. Hey, want to know? The old man nodded, pretending to be innocent. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1460, Endless Fun Referring to the item of separation of powers, Lincia said, the main premise that the nobles can still control all the power is that the councillors elected from their territories are puppets in their hands. The function of these councillors is only to give common people a chance to participate it is a reference target for the strength competition between different nobles. But, these are all human beings, are they really so obedient? The old man and the current emperor are the lords, and the nobles and commoners are used to obeying, and you are also used to this environment. But who can guarantee that there will be no mediocre people in the future? Someone's words flashed through Ricardo Carvey's mind like thunder and lightning, making him sober in an instant. Of course, the Guana Empire also had examples of weak masters and strong ministers. 
the old man can even cite a few examples that happened around him. The reason why the Empress of the Karlsruhe Empire gave up the power in her hands was not because the master was weak and the subjects were strong. But others naively think that such a situation will never happen to them. Big Pit The kind that kills The old man who gave up his title is still a member of the aristocratic class in essence and roots, how could he not consider his own class? But no matter how you think about it, as long as this matter starts, unless you destroy everything and start over, the ending is inevitable. The only good thing is that this matter was not carried out in the Guana Empire, and it seems to have nothing to do with it. However, the old man who has been up and down for a long time can't understand that the Karlsruhe Empire has begun. As long as the end is not terrible, this matter will spread outward. As long as people are ambitious and want to make progress, that kind of thinking will definitely be praised and even implemented. I and that old partner who became the emperor can use their own means to suppress, but there will always be a day when they cannot be suppressed. Looking at the worried expression on the old man's face, it seems that he will have a heart attack or stroke in the next second. In order not to let him collapse in this room and harm himself, Lin comforted, old man, don't worry. Even if the old nobles go down, there will be a group of new nobles. Maybe these new nobles don't have the privileges on the surface, but after a while to be nourished or to live a poor life is still the ability of a person who has seen life. This has not changed from the past to the future. At most, the rules of the game are more complicated, and the gameplay is different from the past. In fact, what someone said is a typical example of reporting good news but not bad news. Just like the stock market in my former hometown, some people make money in the bull market, and some people make money in the bear market. The difference is that when the general environment is good, even pigs can fly as long as they stand in the air. No matter how much you shout that everyone is equal, the fact is that people are different from each other. But these things are not in a hurry. The highest state of Lin's deception is that I only tell the truth, but I don't tell the whole truth. That nine truth one false gameplay is still inferior. But the old man who was the Grand Duke in front of him is obviously different from those Grand Dukes of the same rank in the Karlsruhe Empire. For the latter, they are all involved in the constitutional monarchy promoted by the Karlsruhe Empire, and they are easily blinded by vested interests. Ricardo Carvi is barely half of the parties involved. Although he is also a nobleman, the Guana Empire has not yet implemented such a system. The advantage of this is that he can use the standpoint of a bystander to think more neutrally about the pros and cons of things. And with this thought, he thought about many things that a certain magician hadn't said. Even things that the person didn't think of, the old man can deduce a thing or two based on his own experience. So Lin could only smile awkwardly when he saw those eyes full of distrust, which obviously looked like he was looking at an idiot. The old man asked again, since you started the matter, is there any way to prevent it? Except for the method of killing whoever shows up. I don't need you to tell me about this. There is no nobleman who can't. It's easy. Someone replied bluntly, but only got the old man's glare, saying, you're playing tricks on me. It's not fooling people, it's really simple. The four basic needs of people are food, clothing, housing, and transportation. If you have nothing to eat, you just have enough to eat, and you have to wear warm clothes, and you have to have a tile to shelter you from the wind and rain. Okay. In a small way, it is the road of carriages and horses, in a big way, it is the freedom to go wherever you want. As long as these four items are met, the rest of the yelling can only be regarded as moaning for nothing looking for trouble. This is understandable, right? The old man nodded. Lin said, if any item is missing, or if any item is poorly done, at most it is a comment that life is hard. But no matter how hard life is, life can still be passed. People are so tenacious, I can agree. The old man still nodded. Lin continued, that's what I said, but there is one thing that is different, and that is food. If you can't even meet the most basic food and clothing, you can't just muddle along, 
but you will starve to death. So it is death anyway. Well, it's normal for people to rebel and seek a better life. Anyway, whether they died of starvation or failed rebellion, the outcome is the same for these people. Although the matter was related to rebellion, it was quite unpleasant to the old nobleman's ears, but Ricardo Carvi still had to admit that what a certain magician said was true. Well, the solution will come out. People are lazy. When life is good, no one wants to toss it. The same is true when life is hard. Unless it is really the day when they are about to starve to death, and no one will help them. Forced so they have to jump out on their own and grab those who have. Once this stage is reached, anything is possible. That is to say, as long as everyone is not hungry enough to be unbearable, if you want to toss about which method to use to govern a territory or a country, it is entirely an internal issue of the ruling class, and has nothing to do with the common people. Don't look at the tricks I designed. Power is dispersed, and no matter what kind of system it is, the minority rules the majority, the difference lies in the rules of the game. There is no saying in MIDI that changing the soup does not change the medicine, but this is the case. When good people come, any system can flourish, when bad people come, any system can be destroyed. There is no good or bad system, it is about people. The old man still had a bitter look on his face, and asked directly, what is the purpose of you doing this? Still the same old saying, someone said with a smirk, down with all privileged classes. The old man pointed at a magician with trembling fingers and said, don't you think magicians are also part of the privileged class? No no no, the magician seems to be self-contained, but in fact it is only the magic tower. Where does the magician break the law, and the local lord will not catch or kill it? There is only that kind of magic that is too powerful master, the lord can't deal with it privately, so he will report it to the magician's association and demand a fair treatment. In this way, it is true that only the tower owner is treated differently. Regarding the old man's feelings, Lin shook his index finger and said, No, 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 even if the offender is the tower owner of a magic tower, a capable lord like you, even if you come forward in person, you will not hand over the prisoner to the association. The nobles attack towers. The difference is that the mage association has a trick, and the casualties on the tower attack will be less than most nobles. Besides, the bottom line that the magician's association sticks to is that after the incident, the magic tower cannot become a trophy for the nobles, but must be returned to the association for disposal. As long as this bottom line is not touched, where have you seen the branch for the magician? Has the nobleman died of injustice? We are still not cared by our parents and not loved by our mothers. If our ability is low, then everyone will call and beat us. After thinking about it seriously, the old man couldn't ignore the facts, nodded and said, that's true. However, nodding in approval does not mean that he can accept it in his heart. However, the elderly are not concerned about whether magicians belong to the privileged class or not, but that under the general trend in the future, the class they belong to will be eliminated. Lin doesn't need to read minds at this moment, and he doesn't need to rely on box cutting, so he can probably guess what the old man is worrying about. To be honest, this one was just worrying about himself, and instead of hitting the table, Lin felt that the old man was quite restrained. Based on his own thinking and the old man's standpoint, it would be reasonable for him to draw his sword and kill himself. So the reason for not doing it, is it because I have a good friendship, so I am reluctant to teach myself, or is my own strength already understood to a level that makes people dread it? Someone is thinking. This is something to be happy about. Finally, it is no longer a position where a dog wants to step on it. The old man finally drifted away. If it wasn't for his guards, he wouldn't know where he was going. His granddaughter expressed considerable concern. Under the influence of the Marquis of Baran over the past few years, she finally didn't look like she was scared everywhere when she first came here and hid from everyone she saw. At that time, except for Kaya who had a way to pull her, whoever appeared in her line of sight could make the girl hide away without a trace. 
if there are exceptions, it is probably the grey cat Hardy and the three kittens, those little guys who are not human can get close to the marquee. Today's changes are visible to everyone. Except for men who are still treated in the same way, other women can already jump up and down in front of the marquee without causing the marquee to overreact. The biggest contributor to this is none other than the former Demon King and former Lich. Respected by many women as elder sister, that handsome and heroic figure that kills both men and women, not to mention a girl with a spring in her arms, even a young woman who has given birth will be tempted by her. Its strength is even more astonishing. Not to mention the Dark Age thousands of years ago, even those who sit and talk about Taoism today are all the great priests and bishops of life in the Church of the Three Holy Lights. With such a role model in front of her and her own teacher, no matter what the original intention of the Marquis of Balin was, she worked hard to learn. Not only learning magic, but also learning her teacher's sitting, lying, walking, posture, and demeanor. Maybe she hasn't learned a ten thousandth of her teacher's skills www.mtlnovel.com but self-confidence is gradually built up, and she is no longer the one who was surprised in the past. One of the most direct manifestations is knowing how to ask for warmth, especially for the grandfather who cares about him. In the past, greetings would make that silly grandpa happy for a long time. But today it was quite abnormal. The old man seemed to be out of his mind and no one paid much attention to him. This made the Marquis of Baran quite worried. However, there is no so-called soul collection in Midi, and the Marquis hasn't learned any lessons related to souls, so of course she doesn't know how to help her grandfather. In the end, I just sent the old man to the custom-made high-end car that is not afraid of collisions, and told the old man's guards to be careful in everything. Of course, it is impossible to let the elderly in this state drive by themselves. In short, whatever the granddaughter tells, the people below will follow. A well-behaved appearance must make people think that the status and status of the two are reversed. A certain magician looked at everything with a smile, complacent. Destroying people's three views is the same as bombarding other people's territories, it makes people feel happy. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1461, Sign With two people leading the way, Lin Ben thought that his family's family would be full of traffic and streams. Unexpectedly, everything was silent, except for the vendors who regularly delivered vegetables and fresh meat, they could run away from mice at other times. But without these meaningless greetings, Lin certainly wouldn't complain, and was even happy to see it. After resting for several days, he had already found some problems, so he focused his attention on the black dragon magic crystal brought back from the Karlsruhe Empire. Before the research, Lin also went to ask the old black dragon at home, Augustus, for advice. It's just that when talking about the source of the dragon demon crystal, Dragon Island is unavoidable. Maybe it's because Long Island's attitude towards old dragons like it is not friendly, anyway. Augustus doesn't want to admit that he has something to do with Long Island. But it is very concerned about the situation on Long Island. This is because they don't know what old Augustus's real name is, otherwise Lin would have been inquiring about this black dragon on Dragon Island long ago. Speaking of the dragon crystal, even as a dragon, Augustus couldn't recognize the origin of the black dragon crystal. And judging from its size, the owner of the dragon crystal is not an ordinary dragon clan, at least he is an ancient dragon, and may even be a member of the ancients. The title of Old One is not limited to a specific race, but creatures that have survived from a certain era can be given this title. For example, the two ancients in the world tree, Yutra Hill and Fasnas. And that time is at least 100,000 years away from now. Some people think that the lost land before that era was a lifeless dead land. But in a certain period, countless species broke out and began to multiply, and created today's lost land. The ancients are the living history from the time when there was no written history to the present. It is also the original occupant of Midi, the origin of all life. Of course, not all of those ancients survived to the present age. 
at least the world trees of the same period as the ancients of the two world trees have become the resources for the promotion of other world trees, or the sharp weapons in the hands of other races. But according to what the old black dragon Augustus said, the source of the dragon magic crystal is more likely to be from the dragon race in the outer world, that is, the first generation of ancients. This is not to say that the owner of this dragon crystal is like Adam or even the dragon family. Rather, like the Zayaki clan, a group enters the lost world at the same time, and starts to multiply from this point, not necessarily only one male and one female. The difference is that Sakari have no sex, and there is no such thing as mating. Their number is decreasing, and it can even be said to be on the verge of extinction. However, the Dragon Clan has grown into one of the most powerful fighting races in Midi. Although the number is not as high as humans or other species of Homo sapiens, it should be possible to gather together and destroy a mysterious place once. As a Dragon Clan from the outer world, its image is actually quite different from that of the Midi Dragon Clan. It's like the Abyss Dragon that Lin once saw, maybe because it's not the main body, but just a clone formed from a sacrifice. Its image is not at all like the Dragon Clan in my cognition, and it is not an exaggeration to say that it is the alien in the Thulha myth. But such a creature would be regarded as a dragon, and the reason why Augustus was able to make so many judgments was because the Dragon Crystal contained the inherited knowledge belonging to the Dragon Clan. There are two sources of dragon inheritance. One is brought by beating a mother's womb. As long as the strength reaches a certain level, the corresponding knowledge will be unlocked. There is no need to go through practice, and you will naturally understand what is contained in knowledge. But if you want to use it proficiently and develop many changes, you still need to work your own. It's just that most dragons live by their talents. After all, they don't need to work hard, and they are born to stand at the top of the food chain in Lost Land. Another source of dragon inheritance is to plunder the dragon crystals of other dragons. The reason why red dragons are red dragons, black dragons are black dragons, golden dragons are golden dragons, and silver dragons are silver dragons is because they have only one growth path in their natural inheritance. In the case of mixed species, the parental mother is the main one. It is impossible for a gold and silver dragon, or a baby of a red and black striped dragon to appear. However, ancient dragons that can live for more than 500 years, as superhumans in the dragon clan, most of them will break away from their original forms and develop towards strange appearances. Some see it as some sort of throwback phenomenon. But in fact, the dragon clan is very clear that this is a crooked path that has robbed the growth roots of other dragon species. For example, the second ancient shadow dragon that someone fought on Dragon Island. The difference between it and the first shadow dragon, apart from the size, is actually slightly different in appearance. Such as ear wings, such as mouth shape, such as sharp claws on wings. This means that although the ancient shadow dragon is based on the inheritance of shadow dragons, it should also have the characteristics of one or even a variety of other dragon species. In short, if the dragon clan wants to seize the inheritance root of other dragon species, they have to rely on seizing the dragon crystals of other dragon species. That's why, Augustus would say that the black, outrageously large thing is the dragon crystal. Because it can detect the dragon inheritance that does not belong to the black dragon. It's just that the old black dragon is not interested in this new inheritance. Considering its situation, even if it gets a new inheritance, nothing can be changed, and its life has entered the last period. If it had been more than a hundred years earlier, before it suffered such serious injuries, this dragon crystal might still have some effect on it. Now, it's just a useless treasure, referred to as waste. In any case, after confirming that the object in his hand was the dragon demon crystal, Lin began a series of tests. I am especially interested in the inheritance of the dragon clan that Augustus said, and I always want to extract that part of the knowledge to see what kind of method it is. And this project is like deciphering and translating at the same time. Since there is no reference for comparison, only Mongolian ones can be used all the way, resulting in slow analysis progress. 
When Turing cracked the Enigma machine, there is another sentence high. Lao Xi can be compared. Don't look at the black dragon beside him, in fact, Augustus himself can't tell what the inheritance it got is all about. Anyway, when you are old, you will naturally know, who would think about why. Therefore, in analyzing the progress of the dragon crystal, Augustus was not helpful at all. It's frustrating to keep doing something that doesn't work. So Lin picked and picked again and found some projects to do. Most of the old and unfinished projects are actually out of date for me now. So a considerable part is directly cut off. Instead, he went to the south for a trip and fought many battles, knowing that he had a lot of problems that needed to be improved. The focus these days is on that. There is no need to worry about someone's diligence. Just interrupt from time to time, just give some bad ideas. On the contrary, the enthusiasm of the robot is quite unusual. Hefkin spent the whole day trying to figure out how to deal with the gods based on their route. How would Lin answer this kind of question that he didn't even have an answer to? Of course, if you can drag it, you can drag it, and if you can push it, you can push it. It's just that no matter how many times I said I don't know, Hefkin still persisted in asking. The Queen of the Hive believes that someone's ignorance may be true ignorance, but it is also true that they have not thought about the answer seriously, so they are forcing someone to use their brains. Hefkin's thinking, was true. But anyway, Lin didn't want to find the right answer. The number of robots is already unsolvable. If they are allowed to find a simple path to kill the gods, with the advantages of technology, they will be able to undergo a major replacement in a short time. When the time comes, it will be truly invincible, and someone will feel like shooting a stone at their own foot. Power without containment ultimately either destroys itself or destroys itself. This kind of thing is not necessary. It's easy to talk about the box cut, without the flash surgery milk, they will become an alarm clock that runs out of light batteries every minute, and the second hand is extremely difficult to even pull. So fierce to fierce, but with the ability of salted egg Superman, Wei's trip does not exceed three minutes. Robots can't deal with the gods if they can't deal with them. Anyway, I don't want to start a war with the whole group of gods. Just bullying weak people who are also human beings, the status quo of robots is enough. If it really raises the level of warfare to the level where every battle is a god, then run away. Someone thought. And his own strength is serious. Don't look at the trip to the south, the record is brilliant, in fact, most of them are played by the boxers. If you really let yourself fight these few games with bare hands, it is still a matter of whether you can come back alive. As for Fen next to her, the former demon king and former lich, her strength seems to be bottomless, but in fact she is not without weaknesses. Of course, this weakness is not in strength, but in spirit. It's okay to poke less, the dragon has reverse scales, and it will anger you if you touch it. Speaking of which, there are many and complicated things at hand, but there is no main axis. If you want to say which things are important and which things are not important, score them in order, that is, everything is not important. It's okay to do it, or not to do it. Just when the tired Otaku character was about to get out of his bones again, a rush of sirens rang out. Most people had never heard such a sound, and for a while the whole mansion was filled with chaos. Even Fen, who was planning to go out and go to Caban Bay Academy to discuss the relationship between bacteria and viruses with a group of life priests, stopped in his tracks. It was not the first time that she and the two big girls heard this siren. The previous echo sounded because someone was comparing and looking for the possible position of the solar system from the star map that he had pieced together from miscellaneous things. Then the night starry sky took shape, and the strength of the whole person improved by leaps and bounds. What is it for this time? It was the first time that the two big girls, who had been so busy all day, appeared in someone's field of vision together outside the meal time. However, Lin was not busy teasing these two girls, but focused on the star map room, which is also the center of the purple magic stone system in the mansion, 
and read the information about the siren. Seeing Fen's appearance, without further ado, Lin tore off a box-cut sword pellet from the bead chain around his waist and threw it to Fen. Pointing to the ear, said at the same time, put it on the ear, do me a favor. What's the matter? Fern asked, moving the box closer to her ear. Just when the two got close enough, the box cut hopped onto Fern's ear, changing its appearance at the same time. It takes the form of a headset that wraps around the pinna, and someone's voice comes from it. A series of data flowed into his consciousness. Change source app. Lin said, catch the dragon. Catch the dragon. Catch the nether dragon. After finishing speaking, someone disappeared in a flash. Fern followed. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1462, Trace The first accurate information about the nether dragon came years ago. At that time, I had come to the holy city of Estelai. While observing the stars, I accidentally discovered an abnormal space distortion in the sky. Things like space distortion actually happen quite often, but most people don't notice it. Because such a phenomenon will not cause any physical damage to the human body, and it cannot be observed purely with the naked eye. It's like a river flowing from west to east. Water can flow straight through the river, even if the river has a few bends along the way, the water still flows in the general direction from west to east. The water will not stop flowing just because the river turns. Although the human body is not a liquid, from the high-level concept of space, a human is not a fixed shape. Another more intuitive example is through the bending of the mirror surface, so that the people in the mirror appear different heights, short, fat and thin. No matter how the mirror is bent, a person is still a person, with hands and feet, and will not become two, nor will it become two halves. However, such space distortion can be discovered through side observation of third-party phenomena, and then proved through mathematical verification. And the first time I discovered the whereabouts of the nether dragon, I just discovered the space distortion left by it after it passed by. And at the beginning, I didn't think that this was a footprint left by some kind of creature. At that time, I had no idea about the dragon of the nether. Not to mention whether it is a legendary creature, in fact, in the legends widely circulated in the Lost Land, there is surprisingly little news about the nether dragon. Most people have no idea what this is. When it was discovered for the second time, it was speculated whether the space distortion phenomenon would be a legendary creature like the dragon of the nether whose existence could not be confirmed. So as soon as someone saw the trail, he immediately chased after him. Because I can't observe with the naked eye, I don't know what I should look at. It is said to be catching up, but in fact, it is just chasing after the new space distortion phenomenon one after another, and it is half a beat along the way. If it is said that the distribution of these new space distortions is disordered and random, then I may still wonder whether this is a natural phenomenon unique to Midi. Just like the ebb and flow of sea water. As for the situation on the Earth, I can't observe it myself, and no scientist has published such a paper, so naturally I don't know if the same phenomenon exists on the Earth. But in fact, when chasing, the space distortion phenomenon has a certain trajectory, and there is a tendency that the distance is getting farther and farther. It was as if some living thing realized it was being pursued, so it ran away faster and faster. This made Lin realize for the first time that there must be some kind of will behind these space distortion phenomena. It is not necessarily a living creature with strict definitions and life characteristics in the world I am in. Will want to chase the nether dragon, the reason comes from the irresponsible speech of a certain world tree. Lin has already confirmed that none of the different worlds connected by the world trees belong to the earth. Then why did I travel from the earth to the lost land? According to the World Tree, it is possible to bring things from other worlds to the Lost Land. In addition to the World Tree, the Nether Dragon is another possibility. Since it can bring itself here, it can theoretically send itself back. So Lin wanted to gamble on the possibility. Then the first step is to capture the Nether Dragon, 
or at least get a chance to communicate with him face to face. The record of the second experience, of course, Lin also did some research afterwards, and gained some experience from it. The most precious thing is to capture a trace of evidence that is suspected to be the footprint of the Nether Dragon. If he can be sure that it is indeed the footprint of the Nether Dragon, then he can stop chasing the space distortion phenomenon and try to find the annoying dragon. If everything is slow, you will always be chasing. The third time, this time, the footprints of the nether dragon triggered an alarm reminder set by someone. As a matter of course, Lin started the capture plan he had made before. Although it is said to be a plan, the content is mostly based on improvisation. After all, my understanding of the nether dragon is still quite shallow, and I haven't obtained much substantive evidence, so I can't figure out how many targeted methods. What's more, this is to capture, not to kill. Think about Zhao Yun's ability to enter and exit seven times in Chang Banpo. The biggest reason is that Cao Cao loves talents and can't bear to shoot random arrows at him. He just wants to capture this fierce general alive and subdue him under his tent. This made Chang Shan Zhao Zilong's reputation. If arrows had been allowed to be released from the beginning, Liu Buletin would have become a porcupine too. In short, catching is more troublesome than killing. But this time there were hundreds more cuts than the previous one, and Lin even directly asked Fen to help, which greatly increased someone's confidence in the success of the capture. If this lineup can't catch a hare, it is really a crime other than war. After the alarm sounded and Finn was contacted, Lin flashed into the sky. Immediately, all the box-cut sword pills were released, scattered around, at least 10 kilometers away. Without relying on external objects, Lin usually has a complete monitoring range of the surrounding environment with a radius of 50 meters. It can be expanded to a range of nearly 1 kilometer at most, but doing so will involve most of my computing power and attention. Increasing the monitoring range by 1 meter does not only consume 1 50th of the basic increase in energy. You should know that the monitoring range is the range of a sphere, not a linear or circular area. In the open space, the detection range is of course increased, after all, there are fewer shelters that may take up computing power. The scattered Sakakiri sword pellets can act as temporary arcane eyes. In the past, the communication between the scorpions could only rely on the contact with each other, or at least stay within a very close distance, so that the scorpion's consciousness could communicate. However, since the rise of someone's forum, the programming language has entered the mysterious world, and Khan has come into contact with first-hand information from someone's consciousness, the way of communication among them has of course been updated. The most obvious point is the communication distance. It's like originally only using Bluetooth for matching. Once the module is replaced, it can be directly connected to the satellite remotely. Therefore, the scattered boxes can not only be used as the eyes of the arcane to monitor the environment, but also can send back the detection content in real time, and integrate it at con. The most important thing is that multiple boxes can be directly triangulated which is more than a star and a half for the improvement of space monitoring capabilities. The purpose of finding Fen, in addition to acting as a second thug at critical moments, can also become a second detection center in the early stage. Let the originally spherical detection range centered on Lin become a spindle-shaped range. If it is farther away, it becomes a barbell shape, which will cause a dead spot in detection. Therefore, although the two of them flash forward alternately in the air, they still keep within a certain distance. Coupled with the sprinkled box-cut sword pellets, the farthest point of surveillance is a hundred kilometers away. If such a distance were placed on the ground, it would be unimaginably far away. But once it is moved into the air, a hundred kilometers is like a distance within reach, and the range that can be seen is farther than a hundred kilometers. But no matter which one they are, they can provide the most basic computing power. Coupled with the existence of Lin and Fen who are equivalent to human-shaped calculators, the detection range has also expanded a lot compared to last time. This time the speed of following the footsteps of the Nether Dragon was much faster than the previous time. And with more participants, 
there are more directions to focus on at the same time. Although each additional focus point may disperse some computing power. But in the current situation of redundant computing power, doing this kind of thing will not delay the business. Fortunately, Lin agreed to broaden the scope of the box cutter's attention, and they really gave back some data that they hadn't noticed before. To put it bluntly, it is the phenomenon of diffraction. Diffraction is a characteristic of waves. Wave creatures. This was a thought that suddenly flashed into someone's mind, an idea that was extremely inconsistent with his common sense. In my hometown, all theories without sufficient evidence were regarded as false. Therefore, the world is material, scientific, and rational. There are no ghosts, no gods, and no invisible and unmeasurable existence. The saying that there are gods in the sky is just a belief about people's hearts. Faith is reliable and unreliable. How did those scammers succeed? Didn't they rely on the same method as preaching to brainwash people into stupidity? But in MIDI, there are ghosts, gods, demons, and all kinds of unreasonable things. The source of these strange things is usually not from the local land, but from the world of higher dimensions. This kind of common sense has also formed a habit for someone. Whenever you see something you don't understand, just toss in the high dimensional direction, and if you are lucky, you will find a match. But this time, it was an eye opening. If you want to explain the situation in front of you, you have to search in reverse. Volatility is also one of the characteristics of the low dimensional world where high dimensional creatures exist. That's right. However, behind the observed waveform this time, there is no complex mathematical model involving dimensional parameters. Complicating things are the other directions. When something has the characteristics of a wave, and the wave is strong enough to interfere with real matter in turn, it will behave like the suspected creature in front of it. It's quite the same reason that the subwoofer is turned on to the loudest, and the house is shaken to the point where small stones are rustling. At the beginning, Lin still thought about the quantum realm, but he was not familiar with it. Although relying on the boxers, there are means of observation, but it is not comprehensive after all. At least not sure if there is another self-contained world and creatures in that field, and how the creatures there should behave. Is it related to the phenomenon I have observed now? But no quantum is big enough to smash people to death www.mtlnovel.com But since the opponent's tail is caught, there is no reason to give up tracking. After thinking about the direction, Lin launched the flashing technique towards the unprecedented world. When the eyes are familiar with the new world, the goal is a beautiful picture scroll. This picture scroll is super huge, colorful, and changing. And I am also a person in the painting, in the painting, but looking at the painting. This feeling is very strange, even a little nausea, nausea. Breaking into the high dimensional world as a low dimensional creature, it is easy to be overwhelmed by redundant information from the outside world. In the past, those messages had to be reduced in dimension before they could be understood by themselves. However, I have also gone through several upgrades and this situation has also improved. It is no longer necessary to use dimensionality reduction methods to delete and modify information obtained from the outside world, and one can understand things in the high-dimensional world. However, it was the first time for him to forcibly reduce his dimension and enter a world lower than MIDI. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1463, Track Two-dimensional lost land, don't think that such a world will be simpler. Under the same information carrying capacity, such a world is more complicated. Because it's like cutting the original world into countless planes, and then overlapping them all at once. Some boxes followed, some didn't. Fern remains in the original world, serving as a return anchor. When a certain person doesn't want to escape, and he doesn't even know where he should escape, then he can't cry even if he wants to. The complexity of the two-dimensional world is not lower than that of the three-dimensional world. In other words, this is because I am not used to it. The higher the dimension of the world, the more information will be displayed even in the same position. 
These messages are invisible or incomprehensible in the original world. If ordinary people try to understand, they will either go crazy or have their heads blown. So the fastest way to adapt to the high-dimensional world is to ignore the extra information. But entering the two-dimensional world is a very different situation. The world with the same amount of information has suddenly changed the way it is presented. If you can't find an appropriate angle to see the world, you will still be driven crazy by the scene of this new world. This feeling is like in mathematics, it is also from 1 plus 2 plus 3 to 10, and I am used to the arrangement of 10 numbers and 9 plus signs. If you suddenly take out a quick calculation formula, although it represents the same thing and can get the same answer, the feeling presented in front of you is different. The former is long, but intuitive, and knows what it's doing. The latter is short, but after turning a few corners, it is a different way of thinking. At first glance, it's not necessarily clear what this is doing. In fact, the two different formulas are different in terms of language logic, expressing different things. At least when used to talk to the original Snake King and the current colonial ship class imaginary number, it will be used to understand two different meanings. Someone who came to the two-dimensional world has this feeling. Everything I see and come into contact with has compressed a lot of information inside. But after entering such a world, the footprints of the target I want to track are much clearer than before. Originally, one could only trace the nether dragon from various signs such as the phenomenon of space distortion and the abnormal environmental information records regarded as footprints. But entering the two-dimensional world, what you can see is not only the footprints, but also the traces of the suspected void dragon. It's like tracking a car. What used to be just tire marks, is now the tail lights. Such a result certainly made Lin very excited, and also confirmed that his method was correct. But still can't catch up? The most important factor lies in its fluctuating characteristics, flickering. What is the reason for this phenomenon, Lin couldn't find out for a while. In the process of tracking, Lin also communicated with Ziki, and communicated with Fen through Ziki. It's just that in this extremely urgent moment, no one has the opportunity to sit down and calculate which mathematical formula can be applied to the phenomenon in front of them, or which physical theory is in line with it. However, there is one thing that all participants agree on, that is, the target is still in a lower dimensional world. But which one it is? No one can be sure. The low-dimensional world is not a place that one can enter after reducing one's own dimension. It is also a three-dimensional lost land, as well as a lost land belonging to the main plane, and the four elemental realms of the secondary plane. Those who are complete, broken, and strange are countless. But after all, it is chasing something. So someone didn't worry too much so he tossed himself vigorously towards the trace of the target. Drop. Just drop again. Leaving the time wheel and half of the box cut sword pill as anchors, Lin thought of a way to squeeze himself into the one-dimensional world. No wonder those great gods and angels, every time they come to the world, it is extremely difficult, and they look like they will die after they come. This matter is really not easy. If he can chase the target in the gap between dimensions, he can still maintain his original shape. Anyway, the dimensional gap is a chaotic area, and if it can withstand it without being torn apart, it can maintain its own appearance. But if he wanted to track the nether dragon, he had to enter the world at the same position as the target. Otherwise, the collected information will have to go through several layers of conversion before it is what you need. Whether or not information will be lost during the conversion process is not discussed. If you really have the spare time to convert and verify the data, you don't have to worry so much. What's more, after entering the dimension reduction state, my own computing power consumption has increased dramatically, and there is no time to do unnecessary things. The same is true for the Xiaokuti Jian Wans. Although they don't need cons with enhanced computing power, if they are weaker in computing, they will not be able to maintain themselves in the low-dimensional world. Therefore, those who can follow Lin are all specially selected boxes. 
It is precisely because there is no time and uncertainty that I have to choose a difficult but most promising method to achieve the goal. What is it like to enter a one-dimensional world? To be honest, I didn't feel anything. Because in this world, one's own body can be regarded as existing, and it does not exist anymore. The non-existence is because the individual has no hands, no feet, no eyes, no tongue, and of course no feeling. Some are just their own consciousness, knowing that they still exist. Is the nether dragon in this world? The answer to this question is yes and no. Judging from the feedback data from various sources, the trace of the nether dragon is more obvious, but it is not yet to the extent of fully revealing its individuality. And the result of tracking is like the situation in the tortoise and hare paradox. The tortoise is in front, the hare is behind, and both move forward at the same time. When the hare arrives at the original location of the tortoise, the tortoise has already advanced to the next location. Repeatedly, the rabbit will never catch up with the tortoise. In this linear one-dimensional world, there is simply no way to look at it with the general rules of physics. However, if it is inferred from the mathematical formula, the greatest possibility is that it is still in the next world. As usual, this time leave con and half of the box cut as the anchor. Lin didn't even think about it, so he planned to reduce his dimension again and enter the next level of the world according to the previous method. It's just that this time it's not as easy as the previous two times. In fact, whether it is three down two, or two down one, it is more difficult every time. However, the increase in difficulty is still within the expected range. But this time I have to go down from one dimension. Actually, I don't know what it can be reduced to. Anyway, according to the previous method, first project yourself into the target world, and then find a way to squeeze into the projection. As for whether it is reasonable or not, it is no longer considered. Traveling to a magical world by oneself is the biggest unreasonable point. Since this kind of thing is possible, what is impossible? Besides, not all physical theories that have not been verified by evidence are based on one principle. That is, as long as there is no error in the mathematical calculation, then the theory is reasonable. If the evidence is found and falsified, it only shows that there is still a lack of thoughtfulness, and it is not an error in mathematical calculations. So after getting the projection formula, Lin executed it without hesitation. I don't care if this thing is reversible, and whether I can come back from that place. It means that I keep throwing out the anchor point positioning, just to ensure that I can return. But is such an action useful? It's too late to think about this kind of thing. Flash Dimensionality Reduction Lost Land Main Plane After someone left the main plane, the target to be tracked suddenly accelerated the speed of escape. Although only half of the Xiaqijian Wan and Fen remained on the main plane, they have not cut off contact with the other half of Xiaqi and Lin. It is still possible to continue chasing and surrounding the Nether Dragon. But this speed suddenly increased again. Every time a target appears, it is almost at the edge of the detection range. If the reaction is not fast enough, the following action will be slower, and the target may be lost. This troublesome situation didn't last long, and Fen suddenly cut off contact with Lin. Even some of the box cuts have also lost contact. At the same time, the target in the pursuit no longer appeared. Thinking that the other party had escaped the detection range of his tracking, Fen stopped redundant calculations with Siaki, who stayed on the main plane, and spread them out. It took a second to strengthen the detection mode, and found that there were no footprints left. This means that the target did not reappear elsewhere after the last haunt Fen had observed disappeared. Immediately, a bad feeling came over her heart, and Fen began to contact other people to confirm the situation. Only then did I know what happened from the consciousness of Suiwulan, Khan, and other Shakeri Kenmara who followed someone. And it wasn't just Fen who lost contact with that person in the last batch of boxes. The other boxes also seemed to have lost their companions. This is something they have never experienced in their lives. In the past, perhaps they could not be contacted as long as they were beyond a certain distance from each other. 
but you will still know who is there and who is not. Although this feeling is not very accurate, it is always a basis for reference. Now it's as if that feeling has been forcibly cut off, and suddenly it can't be sensed. Fern didn't just wait around and wait for things to change. She immediately pressed the ring of fire on the ring finger of her left hand, and traced backwards the location of the only ring on someone's hand. But the feedback is only a hazy feeling, not the data that can be used by Blink. This is something that has never happened before. Even the dullest person would feel something was wrong, and Fern was not one of them. She immediately flashed to the subplane tower built by someone in the dimensional gap www.mtlnovel.com As long as the tower does not fall down, it is enough to prove that the person is still alive. If he died, even if there were spirits from the world trees to keep the subplane tower from falling down, there would definitely be other signs. At least it is impossible for the tower to maintain its complete appearance. However, as soon as he appeared on the first floor of the subplane tower, the strange situation he saw made Finn not sure what was going on with that person. Normally, even if Lin is in a sleeping state, the operation of the subplane tower will maintain a certain level. Just like the breathing and heartbeat of a person, it does not stop breathing and heartbeat because of sleeping. But the subplane tower is now quiet. The flow of energy in the tower stopped the energy conversion device on the top of the tower did not continue to operate, and even the light source for lighting in the tower that was supposed to be in an eternal state was extinguished. Fortunately, the position of the subplane tower is a special balance point in the dimensional gap, and there are still world trees on the negative level to take care of it, so that the unprotected subplane tower was not torn apart by the turbulence. In this case, how should we judge the current situation of that person? Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1464, Origin Fen turned upside down and entered the negative floor. Asking the world trees should be the most clear about the changes in the subplane tower. Although their spirit separation seems to be subject to some invisible restrictions, which prevent them from leaving the negative floor. But the world trees are not pure plants. Within the scope of their perception, they have supreme authority like the masters of the domain. What Lin did did not mean to shy away from the world trees. If there is a taboo, it is impossible to allow the world tree spirits to enter the negative floor from the very beginning. Although Fen and the world trees did not meet as frequently as someone, but as a former demon king, the world trees are still no strangers. Wadwal, the youngest among them, was also years older than Finn. The world trees are even more aware of the relationship between this original lich and that person. So when he saw Fern appear, Wadwo, who had dealt with this former lich, jumped off the high seat directly with his white deer spirit, came to Fern, and said. Thousand Year King, we understand your reason for coming. We can only say that the man did not die, but he entered the void, and we can't track his whereabouts. The silent performance of the subplane tower also represents his consciousness fell into a temporary silence. Temporary silence. When will he wake up? Fern asked. However, Bela could only shake his head in response. Wherever the magician went, it was equally strange to them. Being able to confirm that the person is not dead is already the limit of their abilities. If you want to predict anything, you are really powerless. Knowing that there would be no more information, Fen waved her hand, causing all the boxes attached to her body to come out. At the same time, contact the con and the time wheel, etc., who are the anchor points and still maintain information exchanges with them. It is not difficult to communicate with con, time wheel, etc. who are located in the two-dimensional and one-dimensional worlds, but the consumption of cross-domain connections is a bit higher. Fortunately. After a period of adaptation, the boxers immediately changed their forms, allowing them to stay in the place without consuming any energy. Therefore, they can still use their own energy to sustain the consumption of communication. Also relying on the responses from these two batches of boxes, Fern quickly confirmed the coordinates where they could be used for the flashing technique. It's just that Fen K didn't want to chase after her enthusiastically. 
the first thing she had to do was to learn someone's ability to use the flash technique to capture objects. Fern's idea is very simple, instead of running into the same place as someone, it is very likely to encounter the same situation and be trapped. Then it's better to capture the opponent directly. It's just that my application of the flashing technique is not as versatile as that man who spends all day thinking about these things. So if you want to have any changes in usage, you have to spend some time to display it. But Fern didn't force himself to think like that man, and the matter was done. With the goal of saving people, the success rate and completion of casting are more important than the speed of fast casting. Such a request was easy for Fen, who had a foundation in the flash technique. After trying several times in a row, she cut off the boxes that entered the two-dimensional and one-dimensional worlds, and grabbed a few of them and brought them back to her side, which was located at the subplane tower in the dimensional gap. But she didn't bring back all those who entered the lower dimension in one go. The most important thing is to confirm the location of that person. Using the ring of fire to track backwards is one way, but Fern doesn't want to hand over the ring in his hand. Anyway, the positioning abilities of that group of rings are the same, and only the additional abilities can be distinguished. So Fen went home and brought back four of the seven rings that had not been given away, and five of the nine rings that were still there, a total of nine rings. After telling the boxers and world tree about the method of reverse tracking the one ring, everyone began to discuss the issue of saving someone. It's not entirely a method of reverse tracking through the ring, anyway, as long as it is possible and possible, everyone will try it. However, after several days of hard work, there were only disappointing facts. Although he knew that the person should still be alive, he had no idea where. Just like chasing the nether dragon before. Fen came to the 18th floor, the energy pool of the subplane tower, which is the location where the chaotic energy of the dimensional gap is absorbed and converted. There should have been high concentration energy in the form of plasma between the upper and lower poles, blooming dazzling brilliance. This kind of brilliance is not harmless, it is not only dazzling, but also accompanied by excessive radiation. These harmful substances are all confined in the tower on the 18th floor. So normally, there is no way to visit the 18th floor. Unlike now, all the secrets are exposed in Fen's eyes. The lich who came here had just one thought in his mind. If this tower is connected to that person's life, is it possible to get in touch with that person from the subplane tower? In fact, this kind of idea has been raised more than once in the past few days and even experiments have been done, all of which have failed without exception. However, no one has started to work on this energy converter, not only because this place is so critical that it cannot withstand tossing, but also because no one understands the design here, so naturally there is no way to talk about using it. Of course Fern didn't understand either, but there was nothing else to do, so he had to start here. Except for the two poles for releasing energy, the whole device is a polyhedron approaching a sphere. Each face has fine magic patterns that are so complicated that ordinary magicians feel hopeless. Relying on this magic pattern that ordinary people cannot understand, the disordered and chaotic energy is converted into orderly and usable energy. And this is not the most primitive form of this energy conversion device. Fern was also there when the subplane tower was formed, and knew what this big thing looked like in the beginning. It can be understood from this that the man was not satisfied with his long-standing achievements. He is still improving himself, on the verge of death. This time it was just bad luck, and I really got myself to the point where I was about to die. And he didn't know it yet, it was someone else who was helping him to worry about it. I won't say much about Zayaki, why did the world trees get so busy for a mere human being? The two ancients were not idle. In Fen's memory, basically as long as they don't take the initiative to provoke them, this group that is the most detached from the Lost Land, even if the Wood Elf tribe below is facing the crisis of genocide, they may not necessarily take action. And myself. The former Demon King who was in a mess, with an angry face, punched the polyhedron collector and converter. There was a sound of Kuang Dang, loud and loud. 
if it was on the main plane, this furious punch would have smashed through several walls at least. But on the subplane tower, it was just like ringing a bell, and there was no echo. Where did the sound go? Fen has no idea of saving people at all now, she just wants to vent the grievance in her chest. She roared and shouted, maybe you leave, come back to me. In the zero-dimensional world, the primordial world has not yet been opened, and everything is gone. Suddenly, a little inspiration from other places entered one place. Like a hong bell, it echoes and resonates. If the sound was a meaningless sound, it might not have any effect. But the owner of the voice is her, as if a drop of water dripped into a high-temperature but calm oil pan, it instantly made the oil pan boil. Lin's consciousness recovered because someone was thinking about him. But this situation won't last long, this weak power will eventually be used up, and he will return to his previous state. And the next time, Lin can't guarantee whether this kind of awakening will work. The most troublesome thing is that the flash technique has failed. All my abilities are gone, and I can't even do it if I want to return to the original world. So he must find a way to maintain himself within this limited time, and only then can he take the next step. Was he awakened by Fern? The glamorous but angry frown expression flashed across his consciousness in an instant. But this should not be the key. I'm so judgmental. Is this to become a by oneself, to collect the power of faith with the body of a to maintain oneself? Not to mention that it is too late to do this kind of thing now. Lin is confident that even if he becomes a god, he will not have many useful believers. It is impossible to count on forums, mathematics, and cars. These things may support him to become the of the gods. Someone who knew he had regained consciousness for a short time, looked around him. However, up, down, left, and right, it seems to be boundless, and it seems to be nothing. It's like being in a secret room without lights, except for the darkness where you can't see your fingers, you can't see anything else. And I can't move myself. It's a bit inaccurate to say that. Because I have no sense of movement and no sense of distance, the concept of so-called movement does not seem to exist. But there is something that comes with you. When you think together, you can always get a response from other places. It's a pity that I can't contact those who are deliberately left in the first dimensional, two dimensional, and lost land master planes. So is Finn. Not to mention the forum, I seem to be cut off from everything I used to have. This feeling reminded Lin of the religious knowledge in his hometown. There is a saying in Buddhism that although a person is an individual, this individual is not independent of the world. Will be influenced by other people's evaluation and even rely on external objects to exist. How to detach from it and reach the realm of emptiness is the method that Buddhism constantly conveys. This is the emptiness of dependent origination. Even if you don't care about the philosophical part, this point of view is correct from a scientific point of view. People must stand on land, breathe air, eat food, drink water, and have external objects to exist and survive. Whether it is the support of other things at the scientific level, or the cognition of cause and effect at the philosophical level, people are not truly independent individuals. There must be a he in order to support one's own existence and to prove one's own existence. But unfortunately www.mtlnovel.com this is a world with nothing. Since there is nothing, the self that exists by relying on other things, other minds, and cause and effect cannot exist. It really couldn't be more reasonable. Well, this is not the time to praise yourself for understanding your situation. Now that you know the problem, you need to solve it. The road to becoming a was denied by himself from the very beginning. Then the remaining method is to find the path that can truly exist without relying on external objects. As long as I want to know the classics of Taoism and Buddhism, all kinds of words will immediately pass through my consciousness and the words are clear. It's a pity that a certain fat house traveler is not an expert in religion. Although I have read the classics of the two religions, the number is not many, and I only read them as story books at that time. It's like looking at the Bible as Western wild history. Therefore, 
if you really want to use the methods in the classics to achieve your own body, with limited reminders, no matter how much time you give yourself, it will be too late. What's more, I don't have much time to waste now. In such a situation, Lin decided to take the risk and kill himself. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1465, Self-Beheaded Self-decapitation is not suicide, although if it goes wrong, it is no different from suicide. And the idea is that since the body is established because of he, then this body is not needed. The specific method is as mentioned in the Buddhist scriptures, this emptiness and that emptiness. In a world full of colors and forms, it is difficult to achieve emptiness. Therefore, the Buddha is constantly teaching them methods, hoping that even if people can't understand them, they can understand them by getting close to them. But in this world where there is nothing, it seems not difficult to do this. Since there is nothing, where is the dust? Right. Just yourself? In this world without hands or feet, without any image. At the last moment before my consciousness gradually became dull, I remembered a Buddhist scripture I had read through. In the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha's first answer to his disciples' questions was, You should live like this. So subdue his heart. Translated into vernacular, this is how you live. Suddenly consciousness is clear. The mind that was already in a trance seemed to have all come back. Everything that I have learned and experienced in the past flows through my mind wave after wave, and is let down wave after wave. The reason why I let it go so easily is because those things are not important in this strange world, and they don't get any support, let alone needed. This made Lin understand that he took the first step, and it seemed that he did not make a mistake. But his skills are also included in the list, and the situation has not changed much. Probably the feeling that the death penalty has become a life sentence. So the next step is to find a way to escape? Is it right to return to the plight of this world where everything is empty and many mortals yearn for? The Buddhas of others go to save the suffering, so after realizing nirvana, they are willing to return to the human world to teach the Dharma. But what's the point of going back by yourself? Just thinking about it like this made Lin feel that something was wrong all over his body. I tried everything possible to return to my hometown from Midi, maybe because Midi's shattering entertainment industry couldn't meet the needs of a certain house at all. So how can it be possible to be content in a world where there is nothing like this? After all, he is a layman. With the thought together, my feeling became richer in an instant. The first thing I noticed was the box that followed me into this zero-dimensional world. They are not as noisy as they were on the main plane, and most of their strength is used to deal with this strange environment and gradually adapt to it, using their unique methods. Upon sensing that someone's consciousness is projected towards them, scorpions can only respond with nothing. Let's just prove that I'm still alive. Outside of box cut, every feeling that triggers itself is somewhat simple, and some are extremely complicated behind it. The simple ones are like the feedback that the box cut gives itself. Just one point, one response. However, the complex ones can be said to be all-encompassing and all-encompassing. Moreover, the amount of information seemed to be so much that I spent my whole life, and I could only spy on less than one-tenth of it. Is the nether dragon among them? Thoughts together, one of these many feelings is particularly clear and prominent. It's like when the teacher rolls the roll, the students answer and call out the same feeling. Shouldn't this be the way to find it? But it didn't feel like Sakari, being in the same position as myself. And staying in this world, I don't know how to move. However same situation. Just when the thought came together, my position seemed to jump a frame, and I felt closer to the answer yes. In fact, in this place, there is no sense of distance. So strictly speaking, it is the difference between feeling lighter and stronger. And one's own movement is actually a phenomenon of transition. Because the change of feeling is not gradual, but a very obvious and abrupt change. But as long as there is a difference, it can be used for calculation. Lin did it when he thought of it. 
directly regard what you feel as something of equal intensity. Then determine the coordinate system according to the strength of the feeling, and use yourself as the origin. With the coordinates, there is the direction and distance of the transition. I thought that doing this would make things easier, but I didn't expect that when the coordinate system was fixed, the ability to jump with a thought would disappear. And this non-continuous unique coordinate system is of course impossible to move like in other places, so it is necessary to find a method that can replace the transition. There is no doubt that the flash technique is the most suitable method to use. In fact, it is quite simple up to here, the real difficulty is the use of the flashing technique. The first difficulty is that I have also severed the connection with the second plane tower, so if I want to cast the flash, I must use the normal casting method to construct a spell model belonging to the flash, and then trigger the magic effect. As for where the energy for casting spells comes from, it is not worrying. Now I feel like I have plenty of energy and can do anything. But the fact is that nothing can be done, and there is no way to do it. Therefore, those powers that should have been consumed by various actions are now stored in the most primitive form. Originally thought that after the coordinate system was determined, the normal movement method was replaced by flashing, and the distance between two points was calculated as a straight line. But in actual use, the most basic flash technique doesn't work at all. After flashing, he was still in the original position, without moving at all. The only explanation is that in the coordinate system he defined, the distance between two points is not just the distance, there are other flashing parameters that must be corrected. No way, forget it. If it doesn't count, it means being trapped here forever, and if it counts, there is still a chance to find the target and get out of this ghost place. Dimensional Gap, the 18th floor of the subplane tower. Fen, who had been busy for several days without having a good meal and took a break, was still puzzled even though she yelled just now. Just as he was about to swear a few words, he didn't expect that there was a change in the energy conversion room where he was staying. Between the sharp needles of the two poles is the plasma forming place for converting energy. It is supposed to convert the chaotic energy absorbed by the subplane tower from the dimensional gap into orderly energy, and then transmit it into the tower for application. But at the moment when the subplane tower is down, there is no energy from the outside, and of course the conversion device does not work. Then there should be nothing between the two poles. But suddenly there was a dazzling flash of light, as if the formation position of the plasma ball was ignited, a little light emerged. But this bright light didn't last long, it reversed and turned black, absorbing the original light and the emitted radiation. Sucking back the micromatter that was originally released, it seems that this black spot can't be satisfied. It actually began to shake as a conversion device for the energy pool of the subplane tower. Parts of the nearly spherical polyhedron began to collapse, and the matter that was separated from the main body was sucked into the black spots. This may lead to the collapse of the subplane tower as a whole. Before Fen could confirm what happened and come up with a solution, the situation changed again. The black dots turn white, and the change is only in an instant. There is no transition no gradient, just change the past directly. White dots behave exactly the opposite of black dots. Not only released a large amount of micromatter and heat, but also spit out a living person in a snake-shaped antler, scaled and legged beast. The living person was Lin who had been missing for several days, and the strange beast looked like the green dragon that someone once drew. Although the color is different, it is said to be a fictional dragon family from the man's hometown. Such a turn of events, even though he was well informed, the former demon king who played the game of slaughtering gods like killing chickens was also stunned to the point of being speechless. It's just that people are unconscious and dragons are paralyzed. No one responded, and Fen didn't know who to ask if she wanted to ask questions. Wake people up? If it was normal, in the outside world, Fern would have passed with a few big mouths. If you don't wake up, just sleep forever. But in the subplane tower, she really didn't dare to mess around blindly. Especially when the man in front of him is in a situation where everything is wrong. 
the first thing to do is to confirm what happened. Knowing the reason, there is a way to propose a targeted solution. Moreover, the changes in the subplane tower did not stop after vomiting someone out. Black and white dots are still appearing alternately. Inhale once, spit out once, and the dual extreme changes can make the surrounding environment quite uncomfortable. If it wasn't for standing by, the person who witnessed everything was the former Demon King and the original Lich. Fern may have to be sucked by the huge force when the suction force of the black spot is generated, and the whole person is squeezed by a bone fracture. When the white dots appeared, they were almost blown away by the massive explosion that flew outwards at that moment. It's not easy for Fen to keep herself, and the one person and one dragon who are still unconscious on the ground. Of course, she couldn't take into account the comprehensiveness of the subplane tower, and the energy conversion device was tossed to pieces early on. The 18th floor is more prone to collapse. As the exchange of black and white becomes faster and faster, the destructive power increases sharply. In addition to the 18th floor, the damage showed signs of spreading to the lower floors. Change Source App I don't know when, black and white dots appeared at the same time. Suction and blowing are chasing each other, everything sprayed out by the white dot, no matter where it is sprayed, will be sucked back by the black dot. It circled a large or small arc and submerged into the black dot. The two points of black and white are even more at a stalemate, and they start to spin around inexplicably. Although it turned faster and faster, but after reaching a certain speed, it stabilized at this speed and did not continue to accelerate. At the same time, the energy conversion device, which has been tossed beyond words, changed and reorganized automatically www.mtlnovel.com but it did not return to its original state, but changed into a new structure. The structure of the needles at the two poles was completely destroyed, and replaced by a balance ring frame similar to a gyroscope, with a total of nine layers. The rotation speed of each layer is much slower than that of the inner layer. And at the center of the ball is the black and white dot that spins crazily, the further to the outer layer, the slower the speed. The polyhedron, which is approximately spherical, also becomes a structure like an exquisite sphere, with layers wrapped around each other, covering the innermost environment completely. And this layer of exquisite seems to have the function of protecting everything inside and preventing harmful substances from radiating out. In addition to the big change in the energy device, the movement of the tower body is no smaller than the exquisite ball that is about the size of a person. Some places are broken and rebuilt. In some places, it is just turned over and over again, changing the arrangement and combination. Among these many incomprehensible changes, it is not without comfort. That is, as the new form of the subplane tower becomes more perfect, the condition of one person and one dragon who fell on the ground will be better. Dragon does not know. But the human part is more like a person, showing vitality, rather than the original appearance. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1466, Nether Dragon The first round of changes in the subplane tower is like rebuilding the entire tower, changing the entire tower so that it does not look like its original appearance at all. Finban thought that when the transformation was no longer carried out, the matter should come to an end, and the people and dragons who fell on the ground should also wake up. However, the moment of silence was just to prepare for a bigger explosion. Just when Fen wanted to get close to the sleeping man, on the one hand to confirm the signs of life, and on the other hand to really reward him with a few big mouths, the second plane tower shook suddenly. Yifen's sense of balance and physique are almost untenable. When she took a closer look, the body of the tower of the second plane seemed to be transparent, with only lines and outlines and the dense magic pattern engraved on it. Fern could even more clearly see the surprised expressions on the faces of the world tree sprites on the negative floor, as well as the Zakari sword pills left here, who were rapidly shuttling inside the tower sprinting towards the 18th floor. Come. In the next instant, the 18-story pagoda was no longer 18 floors. The space inside the tower began to expand continuously, and the number of floors increased layer by layer. 
Fern had seen such a situation before. Every time this man acquires new root knowledge, he always makes a big change to this tower. In addition to strengthening oneself, it is also necessary to engrave those magical patterns that are regarded as unique skills on it. From the initial intricate lines, it evolved into a real pattern later. Because the lines are too dense and too thin, it is difficult to clearly identify them with the naked eye. So much so that when you look at it, it's like seeing a picture. But for this change, what appeared on the added floor was really a picture. And it is obvious that it is the source of the patterns of three different systems. Fern may have learned something about someone's hometown, but the knowledge is not comprehensive after all. If someone wakes up and explains it, he can clearly explain that one of the three systems is the Buddhist mandala. The complete system of Buddha, Bodhisattva, Heaven, Vajra and Arhat is presented in it. One of the systems starts with He Tu and Luo Shu, Tai Chi, 8 diagrams, and 64 hexagrams, supplemented by Zhou Tian Sing Do Tu. Then there are four spirits, 12 zodiac signs, a hundred birds and beasts, and a hundred scales. All the mysteries are unspoken. One of the systems starts with oracle bone inscriptions, seal script, official script, and regular script. He wrote the classics of various schools of thought and Confucianism, and finally Yang Ming's theory. And in the strokes carved with a chisel and axe, there are sword intentions, sword intentions, hooks and spears, and eighteen kinds of martial arts. Many skills do not ask the gentleman, but only benevolence. These layers complement each other and complement each other. Every floor is a story and a sutra. The three systems not only check and balance each other, but also complement each other. In this way, growing to the end, the subplane tower has a total of 108 floors. However, from the outside, the height of the tower has been reduced, but the internal space has increased to an incredible level. Of course, Fern couldn't see the external situation from the inside. All she could see was how desperately they were flying, but couldn't reach the finish line no matter what. This kind of picture didn't last long, and the change of the subplane tower finally came to an end. When it was expanded to the 108th floor, there were only outlines, and the buildings on the tower body were all transparent and returned to their original shape. The subplanar towers began to function again. The energy generation method of absorbing the chaotic energy from the gap in the dimension and transforming it into the tower is still retained, but it has changed from the original one group to the current three groups. Also changed from the main energy supply mode to the secondary energy supply mode. In the layout of an equilateral triangle, it surrounds the huge and exquisite ball in the center. And the huge exquisite ball in the center is more like a seal than an energy generating device. Although the black and white dots chasing each other form a dynamic balance, they cannot withstand external force at all, so layers of protection are needed. Forming a dynamic balanced black and white dot system, in fact, there is no energy to be collected that spills out. Even the microsubstances sprayed out by the white spots will be absorbed by the black spots immediately. However, such a dynamic balance system will still generate an induction force to induce the balance ring frame and the exquisite ball wrapped around the periphery. The entire device relies on the ring frame and the exquisite ball to generate a huge and terrifying energy that is several times larger than before. However, this newly upgraded energy generating device will only maintain the operation of the subplane tower. Fern couldn't see the nearly a hundred layers of newborn patterns, most of them were dimmed and only the minimum energy for maintenance was retained. Fen had no idea what level the man's strength had been raised by such a change. Just when he wanted to shake someone's mouth for the third time and make him wake up and explain everything in front of him, Lin's body lying on the ground straightened up. Taking a deep breath through his nose, his chest swelled high. The revived man bent forward, then lifted his hands up, straightened up and leaned back slightly, stretching his waist a lot. At the same time, he gave a big yawn, and chanted in the language of his hometown, the Dao leads to the world and transforms all things, the Buddha's kindness illuminates the world to save all living beings, the Confucianism spreads the fire through the ages, 
and the three religions share the same lessons. After a big yawn, Lin sighed again in a lingua franca, if you go down the path of science, you will always end up on the path of philosophy. The predecessors have never deceived me. However, after finishing speaking, someone noticed that Fern was squinting at him with disgusting dead fish eyes. The bright red Siling Han suit has the function of self-cleaning, and even has the function of self-ironing and starching, so the clothing is flawless. But that black hair is not the same as before, it is a wig mimicked by power. If the real hair is neglected, there will always be some strands of uncombed hair falling aside. It's just that there is no sense of embarrassment in this kind of slovenliness, but it has a bit of indescribable feminine charm. Looking at such a face, even if it was a look of disgust, Lin actually felt a sense of obsession and dependence. The memory of being trapped in that world before is not missing half a point, but in a place where the physical rules are completely different, Lin has no idea how long it has passed in reality. If you use your own thinking speed and amount of thinking as a reference, I'm afraid it will take thousands of years. So being able to see the face of an acquaintance is really nostalgic. Fern certainly doesn't feel the same way, because with the way this whole thing has unfolded, it looks like this stuff will just happen naturally without her. In other words, I wasted a few days in vain, worrying about one thing that I don't need to worry about. So now she wants to slap someone's big mouth for the fourth time. Just before pumping someone, seems to have forgotten something. Fern looked down, and the dragon that was paralyzed on the ground was gone. I just wanted to turn my head to look for it. It was as if my body had been swam by a snake several times, which was very weird. But this weird behavior did not trigger his own magic protection. Fern just looked in the direction of feeling. Lin also followed the original Lich's gaze and saw the dragon of the nether. It looks like a totem of the old dragon, but its body is a glazed crystal body that refracts different colors with the light making the whole dragon look like a dreamy sculpture. But what this dragon is doing makes someone puzzled. It just took the dry pipe and pipe from Fen's body, and coiled them on Ling Long Ball. Not only is he skillfully twisting shredded tobacco and squeezing it into the smoke pot, but he is now beating the fire with a flint from nowhere. All movements are so skillful, without any jerky. The lit tobacco sent smoke along the long pipe and was sucked into the mouth of this old void dragon. It showed a satisfied expression, and exhaled a big mouthful of white smoke beautifully. Seeing this dragon, Lin was half excited and half uneasy, and asked, Is the dragon of the void in front? The old dragon took another puff of smoke, and deliberately blew on the person who was asking the question. It said, I am not a dragon of the void, I am also a dragon of the void. This kind of answer, which is no different from playing charades, made Lin feel lost. Although there was a faint guess in his heart, he still asked, what does this mean? I was infinitely possible. But from the moment you captured me, you gave me definition and transformed me into your shape. Bye, you did it on purpose. This is ambiguous, can I call you a hooligan? Someone said awkwardly. The old dragon cracked a smile, didn't respond to someone, just talked about his own affairs. So instead of asking what I am, ask yourself what you want me to be. But what I want to emphasize is that I have already been defined, so it is too late for you to change anything now. Of course, I can't go back to the original it looks like it. One person and one dragon just looked at each other in blank dismay. Lin tried hard to think about what he had thought before, which defined what was in front of him. And for doing so, it seems a bit sorry for it. Perhaps aware of the trace of guilt, the nether dragon smiled freely and said, Don't feel sorry for me, I quite like the identity you defined for me. The only pity is that I don't live long. Lin frowned and asked, What's going on? The following will be my last journey. When it is finished, I will die and return to the cycle of life. And after a thousand years, my new life will be born from my corpse to start a new cycle. I can send you back to your hometown, exactly. But there is only one chance, and only one person can be sent back. 
If you miss this time, the next time will be in a thousand years www.mtlnovel.com So, you have you decided. Are you ready? This question made Lin silent. It was supposed to be a wish in my heart, but now the opportunity to realize it is in front of me, why did I hesitate? The nether dragon seemed to have read someone's mind, and said with a cracked smile, the next train leaves in three days, so make a decision before then. You know where to find me. With a flick of his body, he got into the changes of the infinite space and left. Lin looked at the people beside him with some guilty conscience. The former demon king regained her cold expression, which was so glamorous. As if no matter what someone decides, it has nothing to do with her. But after getting along for so long, how could Lin not see that this was an expression of anger? I'm not afraid of her beating, I'm not afraid of her making trouble, I'm afraid of her not saying anything. It's like a martial arts competition in martial arts, only if you have a trick can you break it. If you don't move, how can you break it? While thinking about a way to break the ice, the Xiaokuti Jianwan who were left in the landlord plane and followed Fen into the tower of the second plane finally appeared even though they were belatedly. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1467, The Truth About Opportunity The nether dragon ran away before he could get his own answer. Since Yanming will see Zhenjiang in three days, Lin is not in a hurry to continue chasing him. A bunch of box cuts rushed to the side, breaking the gradually awkward atmosphere. What they care most about, of course, is the situation of their companions. It is very simple to recover the cons, time wheels and other boxes left in the two-dimensional and one-dimensional worlds. Lin snapped his fingers and recalled them all. As for their shapes that have adapted to the two-dimensional and one-dimensional worlds, it is not a big trouble to change them back to their original forms. Now that energy is abundant, everyone has the capital to squander. Besides, for Zayaki, such tossing and tossing is not completely useless. Every change is like a self-examination to them, and it is also a reconstruction. The more experience they have, the higher their growth rate is. As for those who follow someone into the last world, this is more troublesome. They are actually attached to the basalt robe. When Lin and the nether dragon were sprayed out by white dots, they also returned to the subplane tower in the dimensional gap. However, their changes and forms are quite different from other box cuts that enter the two-dimensional or one-dimensional world. This batch of box cuts enters a very special virtual state. Others said that the companions they saw had all kinds of appearances. Some people said that this group of illusory people returned to the tattered appearance they had when they were stored in the Holy Sword Society. Some say that this batch is a return to their prime. Of course, most of them still maintain the simple appearance of Jian Wan. No matter who says what, the same thing is that if no one pays attention to these boxes, they will disappear as if forgotten. Even under someone's environment detection magic, they are also in and out of state. This state is very similar to the fluctuating creature I defined when I was chasing the nether dragon. But looking back now, the judgment at that time was not correct, but it cannot be completely wrong. At least Lin hasn't found a wave creature in the true sense, but this batch of void boxes is indeed a bit similar to the situation of the nether dragon before. It's okay to say what the shape is, but the most troublesome thing is that it takes a lot of effort to communicate with these boxes. For this group of races who use words to prove their existence, being quiet is an extremely incredible thing. But in fact, looking back now, Lin probably guessed what the origin of the Zayaki clan was. That is actually the origin of the Nether Dragon, and it is also the same thing as the Sand of Time in the Wheel of Time. According to the established pace of development, that is called growth. But growth is not the same as evolution. To evolve, you have to change. This change may have good effects, or it may cause bad effects. But evolution, like change, is not easy. For example, Darwin's theory of evolution is a living joke when viewed from the perspective of the new era. 
because some scientists have done DNA tests on animals with different evolutionary signs due to different environments that are of the same origin mentioned by Darwin in the theory of evolution. The result is that those so-called homologous animals are actually completely different in DNA, even the logarithm of Dan is different. No matter how organisms evolve and change, DNA will not change its quantity and composition. Even if there is an accidental variation in quantity, it is only a genetic disease. Down syndrome is a practical example. So is it possible for men and women who also suffer from Down syndrome to give birth to new humans? Then such new humans completely replace the old humans? Science fiction doesn't dare to write like this. At most, there will be a considerable number of apes to replace humans and become the dominant ethnic group on the earth. In artificial plant breeding, the most difficult thing is to make a certain characteristic become the dominant characteristic of the offspring. Moreover, this feature must be able to breed naturally and be maintained for more than three generations before it can be regarded as a new breed. For example, in the flower world, the black tulip variety that countless people have been pursuing. Since the tulip mania in the 17th century, the flower species of tulip has entered the field of vision of mankind. It was not until the 21st century that indigo tulip varieties that were close to black were bred. But this is only close to black, and it is not exactly black. Having said so much, I just want to emphasize the difficulty of evolution. Even if the time is stretched to tens of thousands, millions, or even hundreds of millions of years, it still cannot explain how single-celled organisms evolved into humans. Just as the theory of evolution cannot explain the Cambrian explosion. In conclusion, Daddy's theory of evolution, even if the philosophical part is placed in the 21st century, there are still a group of loyal believers. But the science part is shit. Not one, all the evidence has been overturned, but few people dare to speak out. Since evolution is such a difficult thing, how can there be a chance for evolution in a macrocosm with a complete ecosystem and an overall balance? Even without mentioning evolution, how can unexpected changes occur? Answer, it is the power of wishing represented by the sands of time. Thought belongs to the category of metaphysics, which can escape the existing cognition, be unconstrained, and let it run wild. There is no evidence, no science, and no reason here. This kind of saying that science is almost hung on the wall behind the fireplace, listed with deer heads, lion heads, and bull heads, is simply claiming to be the heir of science. But thinking otherwise doesn't explain the conflicting evidence at all. In fact, we only need to enlarge the time to billions or tens of billions of years, and enlarge the space to the entire universe. Even if the probability is so small that it approaches zero, it will become an inevitable thing. Under such a background, the macrocosm can maintain balance, and it is conceivable how rigorous the system is operating behind it. However, as mentioned before, when the system works in a regular manner, the universe can continue to grow, but it will not evolve. That's why it needs the power of change to seek a chance for itself. For related hints, Lin should have known it as early as when he saw the galaxies in the miniature universe refined into the sands of time in the air elemental plane. Isn't the wishing power of the sands of time a proof of the universe's desire for change? Since the galaxies in the miniature universe have them, how could it be possible that the place where I live does not? So that force was encountered by someone, found, and turned into something like the dragon of the nether, who didn't know whether it existed or not. But even if it didn't exist before, it exists now. The reason why I think of the Sakari family and overthrow my original idea that the Sakari family came from a certain high-dimensional world is also because I see many irrational things in Sakari. In the past, among the theories about the origin of the Shakari family, the most accepted one was that a certain hero king asked the world tree for help in order to fight against the demons from the abyss. Also under the guidance of the world tree, let the Zayaki family enter the lost land. The king of heroes equipped himself and his army with box cuts, and defeated the demon. I will not discuss who the king of heroes is, but I am so familiar with the world trees, it is not too much to ask which one is the one that brought them over. If you know the origin of the Zayaki clan, 
you don't want to rob thousands of people and come back to strengthen your own momentum. The scene of thousands of swords coming together when they meet each other is beautiful no matter how you think about it. I don't know how to play the king's treasure of the hero King Gilgamesh in fate. It's a pity that even the ancient sun I Trazir or Fasnas only know that the box may have been brought over by a certain world tree. Which one is it? That must be a certain world tree that has been burned as firewood. As for where to pick it up, the two old men didn't know what to ask. World Tree does not have symptoms such as forgetfulness and senile dementia. They only have two things about remembering and not knowing about memory, and there is no such thing as forgetting. Therefore, the shaky clan whose history cannot be told by the two ancients has become the most unreasonable and mysterious race in Midi. But this time when he broke into that peculiar zero-dimensional world, even though the Suanwu Holy Spirit on the Suanwu robe was pretending to be dead, Syaki still had a way to give himself a reaction. As far as this ability is placed in Midi, Lin can dare to say that it is unique. Just say myself, if I hadn't heard the roar of the lion in the river east, I'm afraid I would have fallen asleep forever. Maybe the boxer who brought it to the past may awaken himself after adapting to such a world, but that is only a possibility. They have already escaped from such a world, and they will toss themselves back when they are brain dead and try to see if they can scream in the end. Although the person who yelled didn't realize it, she complained about someone wasting her time and so on. Lin didn't know how important that sound was to him. In that strange world, all reason is no reason. In short, those who followed someone to the zero-dimensional world have returned safely. Although they don't like to talk to anyone now, everyone just thinks that they are holding back their energy and planning to do something bad. And someone who returned to the dimensional gap also walked back to the expanded subplane tower in a daze. But after a few floors, I gave up. It's not because my legs are sore and my feet hurt, it's simply because I can't cope with Leifen's endless problems. Philosophy is not like mathematics and physics, where there is some evidence to say something, if it does not match the evidence, then draw a big cross. Philosophy is a set of studies that starts from human values and explores the truth. Therefore, Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism are separated because no one can convince anyone, even if it leads to the same goal in the end. As for the new subplane tower, the mysteries of the three teachings appearing on each floor are in opposition to or contrast with each other. To use these things to convince a former lich who has already formed three views and is extremely serious and stubborn. Sister www.mtlnovel.com You just read these as stories and listen to them as jokes, so what are you doing seriously? I used to do this too. Therefore, someone retreats magnificently. Before leaving, Lin Buwang went to the basement floor to say hello to the elders of the World Tree. During the period of their disappearance, they were busy with their own affairs. Even if they do those things, they can't involve much energy. But as long as you make a move, it's a personal favor. Ordinary people want to owe such a favor to the world trees, but they can't afford it, and they can't do it. By the time he returned to his home in the holy city of Estelai, it was already eight days after he heard the siren. The harvest of this trip is a dragon of the void on the surface, and there is also the strengthening of the subplane tower in private. But the parts and equipment on his body, what they looked like when they went there, and what they looked like when they came back, even the broken left palm was still box cut. But Lin couldn't explain the real gain to others. And those things cannot be described in words. This website. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1468, Public Attitude. There is a chance to go home. The news of someone, although not a bolt from the blue at home, is still a big deal. The three women who are closest to him are the calmest. That person's wish, and the motivation to work hard all the time, is only that one. So they have already been mentally prepared for this. After all, no one has ever seen any time-traveling crowd who still hums the tunes of their hometown, mutters their hometown dialect, and asks and answers themselves. Which one is not determined to forge ahead, regards himself as a dragon, lives like a dick, 
and counterattacks life. It means that a normal person may not meet a time traveler in his life. He is still a time traveler who is not afraid of death and shows his identity. Whether it's Finn, Kaya, or Halumi, they didn't say much about it. All the feelings are faint. There is no such thing as losing a man, as if suddenly losing support, the whole world is about to collapse. There is no such excitement as the man is gone and the family property will be in my hands in the future. Anyway, it's time to eat and sleep, and the day is the same as usual. However, the performance of the second generation apprentices, that is, Leonardo and the Marquis Baran, was completely different. Leonardo was the most devastated, with a look of envy on his face. He didn't dare to hate, and couldn't hate. He knows best how badly he has messed up in this heresy ridden world. If there is no teacher from the eastern country, maybe I will return soon. No, if I die in a daze, I may not be able to go to heaven or that I believe in. Hearing a chance to go back, if he said he was not envious, he would be lying. But he didn't have the face to fight for it, and he didn't know where to start. My teacher said it lightly, but in fact, he didn't understand the relevant content at all. If the same opportunity were presented to him, he might just be at a loss and miss the opportunity. What kind of bad thoughts are really going to come up? Others don't know, but the appearance of my teacher's fear of death has put a lot of protection on me. Not to mention whether there is anything Leonardo doesn't know, but what he does know, he feels that he has no way to do it. So what else to do? There was nothing he could do except sigh secretly where no one was looking. The Marquis of Baran was really indifferent. Her teacher is Fern, someone who is only the nominal owner of the family. She doesn't rely on this person, nor does she look at this person's face to live, and it's best not to even see him. There are fewer men in the world, and more peace. The attitude of the Marquis was obvious, and she didn't mean to shy away from others. Even if Lin saw it and understood it, so what? He has huge capital and an even bigger backing. Although I can stand up now, I didn't eat less from others before. As the saying goes, a cannibal's mouth is soft, and it's not that he has suffered any disadvantages now. On the contrary, he is still taking advantage of the advantages. Except for a few confidential places, the servants of the Marquis's family are almost all taking care of the trivial matters in the house, and they are not paid. Really, whether this house is the home of a certain magician or the Marquis's other residence, others really can't see it. Change source app. Anyway, there is no disadvantage, the little girl just hides when she sees people, so she doesn't care about such trivial matters. A former fat man has a big heart, and he is definitely not fat. The old black dragon Augustus also missed a few words. As a long-lived species, it was also a long-lived species that had been in human society for a period of time in a humanized form. After seeing too many friends leaving earlier than it, it has long been used to this kind of life and death. In addition to nostalgia, there is nothing more to say. Old people who are about to kick their legs are always more open than many young people. But that being said, the old black dragon looked like he was going to die a few years ago, and he will still be going to die a few years later, and it is not surprising that he will die the next day. It is estimated that this appearance can continue to be maintained for several years or decades. This reminds someone of a little knowledge before time travel, that cockroaches can survive after cutting off their heads. The reason why the cockroach died later was not because it was too seriously injured, it was starved to death because it had no head and no mouth parts, so it could not eat. In someone's eyes, a dragon is an equally magical creature. As long as he eats and drinks well, Augustus is estimated to live a long life. It's a sin to compare a dragon with a cockroach. Someone puts their hands together and rubs each other, hoping to get rid of the guilt in their hearts. The president of the technical guild, Duzof Gantia, the silver-bearded dwarf Freya who resides in the automobile R&D and manufacturing center, and the dark elf mayor, the president of the first bank, they are followers of a certain magician. Those who, of course, also know the news. 
Zuzov's mood is the most complicated. Although he stayed in the technical guild most of the time, he never forgot to care about that person's condition. After all, one of the tasks I gave myself was to monitor the former demon king and the magician who kept dying. Perhaps Wu Ziuofu did not participate in many things about that person, and he was not qualified to participate. But he will still go to inquire about it afterwards. Lin's attitude towards these matters can't be said to be confidential, anyway, he won't take the initiative to publicize it to the whole world. If someone asks, answer it. As for talking more or less, it depends on your mood. But don't think that someone knows everything about everyone, and can say everything. If three sentences can't get one understood word, Lin won't be in the mood to continue talking. The most common example is Blink. Many people asked about this magic. Lin basically just threw out three mathematical formulas. If you understand, then continue to talk, so please go back and come back after reincarnation. On the contrary, those miscellaneous experiences, although they will not be enough to drink three cups of yellow soup, they are all told like showing off. But if Wu Ziuofu asked, Lin would not deliberately hide it. So this member of the Turtle Dove Alliance, who followed the magician very early, knew a lot about someone. Knowing more, Zov knows the destructive power of a certain magician better than others. It can be said that before the man in the Karlsruhe Empire in the south destroyed the territory of a Grand Duke in one fell swoop, Zov knew that this magician had the ability to destroy the country by himself. As for whether one person can destroy the world, it's really hard to say. If you really want to say what you think in your heart, the chances are that you can do it. Ordinary people look at the future before doing things, and they pay attention to benefiting themselves at the expense of others. Although this magician claims to be greedy for life and afraid of death, he actually behaves like this, but he often does unexpected things. Sometimes in order to carry out something, I will not hesitate to put myself in it. Even if he blew himself up, he didn't seem to hesitate. It was this kind of contradictory performance that made Wu Ziuofu even more jealous of the magician he was following. When will this guy get hot, and he will blow up the world and himself to the sky no matter what? So when he revealed the news that he was leaving, Wu Zhou should be grateful. But in fact, I can't feel happy at all. Mathematics is too advanced. But whether it is technical guilds, banks, or the constitutional monarchy promoted in the South, each of these items is a real benefit to the people. To put it mildly, he has taken in so many children. Regardless of whether education is good or bad, just giving people a bite to eat is a great thing. People in the Turtle Dove Alliance are cancerous in the eyes of those in power, and they are resistance forces. But as members of the Alliance, they consider themselves vanguards against privilege and the mouthpiece of the people. It should be placed in the martial arts worldview of a certain traveler, and each of these people is a hero who dares to use martial arts to violate the ban. Uzov, who was once an idealist, never forgot his original intention even though he was beaten by reality later. Otherwise, he wouldn't have resolutely given up his foundation in his hometown and wandered around with a magician. Since he never gave up on his ideals, even though everything that the magician promoted could not reach the ideal world in his mind, it was undoubtedly a big step forward for ordinary people and ordinary people. Isn't such a person worth following? Not to mention, Zuzov is one of the very few humans who knows that this person has a high seat in the Alliance. A man who can stand on an equal footing with the world. No matter what agreement or exchange of interests they have, just the qualification of being equal makes him, an ordinary person, only look up to. I don't know when it started, I changed from a feeling of self-sacrifice to monitor the former demon king and her man, to admiration, and admiration now. Wu Ziuofu wished that the high official of the Turtle Dove Alliance he was following would stand up and raise his arms and shout. Call on all the lost people to stand up, oppose all injustice and injustice, and kill those privileged people who don't treat people as human beings. But that person is selfish after all, pursuing his own stable life. On this point, Duzov could not find fault. As long as people do not harm others, 
of course they have the right to pursue their own happiness. His idea is not so absurd that the rich should donate their property so that others can get it for nothing. Duzov also agrees with the principle that hard work is rewarded, and what he is looking for is fairness, or at least relatively fairness. Now that the one said that he was leaving, Wuzuofa couldn't have mixed feelings. I am worried that he will pull Misty to blow up together, but I also hope that he can stay and give Misty another day. But in all honesty, if this Jiang is really kept and let him help Fan Mei to change another day, in the end he should directly drag Fan Mei to blow up together. It's complicated. The silver-bearded dwarf Freya didn't think so much. Although she knew that a certain magician still had goods in his stomach, she understood the truth that she couldn't eat more than she could chew. Just in the automobile industry, I feel that I can study my whole life, so I don't need to figure out how robots work. The reason why she didn't want to go back to her hometown was not because of the magician, but because she was greedy for the vast world outside the Silver Beard Iron City. Since you can live nourishingly by staying, there is nothing to worry about. The attitude of the Dark Elf Mayor is actually the attitude of the World Trees. The ultimate goal of World Trees www.mtlnovel.com is to find a way to continue to advance. The opening of the ninth power arranged by a certain magician seems to be the only feasible path on the table. So everyone has given their full support and worked together so far. Now the steps of the original plan have been started, and even on track. The magician said he was leaving, so of course it was a farewell. There is a matchmaker who wants to enter the bridal chamber to help push the butt, and after that, do you have to guarantee the reason that the bride will give birth to a son? At least the elders of the world tree can't be ashamed and ask for such a thing. Even if he didn't succeed afterwards, the magician had done his best and fulfilled his promise. After all, they also know that what they want to do is not so easy to accomplish. The two ancients had climbed to the top in their own time, and it has been more than 100,000 years. This is a problem that cannot be solved. If a human being with a lifespan of less than a hundred years is to be fully responsible, and if he does not complete it, he will be held accountable. How can he be described as incompetent? But, it's not until the last moment, so don't rush to express your opinion. The future has not yet been realized. The elders of the world tree have far-sighted vision, which is unmatched by others. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1469, First Night The news that a certain person is going to leave, although only the people close to him are told, but when he didn't decide whether to tell it outside for a while, almost everyone in the world who cared about it knew about it. Three days is a short period of time, and most people don't have time to get in front of someone and react. But who might be able to make it in time, and the reaction is also, um, interesting? The group of fat boys and babies headed by IGO live in another building in the courtyard. It's just that the vast majority of them may not see a certain magician who sees his head and tail all year round. Whether that person was still alive, or gone, made no difference to the group of children. Anyway, as long as there is food to eat today, life can go on. They didn't have a long past experience, so they came here, and they are all used to it. A few who can meet a certain magician, such as the three Babisha brothers who come to someone's side from time to time to serve him, they have no conditions or qualifications to say anything. As for the children who came to help from that place, Lin only regarded them as people who shared the burden of his two apprentices, and he didn't pay much attention to them. It's not a big deal if you want to start a small problem, like asking someone for advice when you have a problem with your studies. But most of the time, Lin Jing couldn't answer the weird questions from the mind of a child. I still remember those friends who had occasional contact and married before someone traveled through time. They often complain that they can't understand their children's primary school homework. Then I posted those questions on the internet, and immediately stunned a group of top students who graduated from college and had no academic qualifications. Chinese is tested in mathematics. Logic is tested in Chinese, and citizenship and morality are tested in logic. It is too difficult to study in this era. 
In short, someone who is already a certain age, and his knowledge should be considered mature, is still speechless when asked by a child from time to time. It can only be said that a certain person is not made to be a teacher. Every time I see such a child, I always feel itchy. As time goes by, how can a child born on the street fail to see what a certain magician is thinking, and gradually stop disturbing him? On the one hand, what I asked was too low end, which is also true. How to cast apprentice level magic for a person who can reach the level of a great magician? This should be placed among other magician masters and apprentices. The teacher will probably say, come on, obediently go to the laboratory table, and the teacher will talk to you carefully. In any case, the movements of the group of big and small children were smaller than expected. This makes someone's heart a little bit up and down. Feeling like I should be number one, but I'm not really getting much attention. The Ruan brothers, who also invested in the automobile manufacturing and R&D center, will not say much. Leveraging on the vanity of the car, the two brothers have been doing well in recent years. Although he looks like a human being, he runs around all day. The family business is getting bigger and bigger, but it is also getting harder to see people. But the other retired grandpa seemed a little abnormal. He was just asking through his granddaughter if someone was really leaving. Lin Gui replied in a strange way, I'm thinking about it. The granddaughter ran back to pass on the message, and then there was nothing to say. Is this being cast aside, or is it because you are so sad that you don't want to come to see him? According to the speed of the old man's custom-made car, the function of brutal collision is turned on all the way and any monsters blocking the road will only have the fate of being knocked into the air without compensation. With this momentum, one day is enough for the old man to come to the holy city from his own territory. Such a short distance, did not say to see off. It might be a lifetime thing. So someone who thought he had a good relationship squatted in a corner and drew a circle. It feels like some retired old cotters. Before retiring, he was the one who called the wind and called the rain, wherever he went, there were people bowing and waiting for him. Once you retire, it's just a matter of time, and no one wants to see you. When the birds are gone, the good bow is hidden, when the cunning rabbit dies, the lackey cooks. This truth is true all over the world, and there is nothing more sad than this. Although someone is not retired, nor is he fast kicking, but the situation and mood are somewhat similar. It's just that someone doesn't think about it. If he has all the contacts in the world, he may be so busy that he, who was born in a fat house, will be disgusted. During the day, all the thoughts are taken up by those unimportant and trivial things. On the first night, two female apprentices came over hand in hand. In fact, there are really few couples who have an innocent relationship between the magician and his apprentice, and most of them are both male and female, and they are unscrupulous. Lin is certainly no exception. It's just that the relationship between Lin and the two girls is neither nor physical needs. The two girls were sold to the magician's association by their parents because of their magical talents. But their magical talents are quite low, only a little better than ordinary people with no talents. In the eyes of other magicians, such people are called apprentices, but they are actually treated as magic materials. When encountering a sacrifice or something, or a substitute death, such apprentices are always the first to go. As a great time traveler, Lin's heart is certainly not as ruthless as his counterparts in Midi. But others don't know. At that time, the two girls were worried and afraid all day long, and they couldn't do things smoothly. An extra layer of relationship is also for their peace of mind. In the future, they will know more and more things, handle things more and more thoughtfully, and confirm that their position is not a victim that can be discarded at will, and then stop those redundant exchanges. In fact, what people fear most when getting along with others is that they are not needed and may be abandoned at any time. So everyone is trying their best to show their existence and importance all the time just to confirm their position in each other's life. Especially children. After all, most children don't understand, nor do they have the courage and ability to live alone. 
but that was quite a long time ago. Lin's view on the two apprentices is also that they each have a suitable person, so they should marry off as their daughters. But there has been no news for a long time, and I am used to having them in my life, so I have come all the way. However, in the long lost close contact, someone has only one feeling, they really have grown up. It is still the most beautiful age in the twenties. Nothing to say all night, only madness. During the day on the second day, just like the first day, some inconsequential trivia took up all the time. In fact, if you really want to push those things away, and wait behind closed doors for the day when you go home, no one dares to say anything. But someone just lets these things take over their minds and avoids thinking about certain things that should be important. As for what those things were, I was too busy to say. On the second night, I thought it would be another exciting night. The original Lich who I am most familiar with, but who has actually changed his body many times before and after, and always has surprises, should be found. But after nightfall, it was quite calm. Even at lights out, when most people go to bed, someone's attic door remains closed. Fern rarely uses blink to scare people, preferring to move with her feet rather than constantly teleporting. Unless you are in a hurry, or the journey is really too long, it is too time-consuming to walk. So whenever she wanted to at night, sometimes she would knock on the door and come in to cultivate her interest, sometimes she would just knock on the door and come in, just push it. Although there is no certain routine, there will always be that door. But tonight she was quiet. And this could be someone's last night in Lost Land. Someone who wanted to sleep like this, lay on his special big bed, but couldn't fall asleep no matter what. Unconsciously, I touched the tail ring on the little finger of my right hand, which is the only ring that holds the other nineteen rings. Quite unexpectedly, Fern was not in her room. If she did fall asleep, someone wasn't planning to do a night raid or anything. But if you don't sleep. Flash twice. Once changing clothes, once teleporting to not far behind the former demon king who was admiring the moonlight. This is the cliff where the poor girl Marlene is buried, and it is the most frequent activity place of Ezio's group of big fat boys during their spare time during the day. After that incident, it was also the place where these two mages who stood at the pinnacle of the world came to watch the moon most often. In fact, the moonlight in Midi is not beautiful at all. There is even a moon that seems to be fixed in the sky because it is synchronized with the rotation of Midi. For someone who is used to the changes in the ups and downs in his hometown, this kind of night is actually a bit weird. But it cannot be denied that this eerie moonlight is helpful to the magician. The meditation ceremony with one of the eight powers, the Lord of Mysteries, was carried out under such moonlight. However, those special meditation methods are of no use to Lin, who is not talented, or a magician like Fen, who has accumulated a lot of experience. Lin was just fascinated by the sky under the dark night, and Fern, she just wanted to see what was so fascinating about the night that fascinated that man. Lin didn't deliberately hide the sound of his footsteps, he just walked up to Fen's side and looked up at the moon as well. The two of them didn't say anything. It's not so much that a certain person's mood is that there are thousands of words to say, but when he actually sees the person, his mind is blocked and he doesn't know what to say. It might be better to say that the beheading meal was over, and the presiding judge was asking himself if he had any last words. The man who was put on the execution ground just wanted to shout, I am wronged. However, it is clear that this is not the right time to call for injustice. So someone inexplicably falls into a situation where there is nothing to say. It means why he came here, Lin himself is also baffled. Fern didn't look back, she was still looking at the moon. Under this kind of moonlight www.mtlnovel.com the starlight couldn't help but dim a lot. Of course she knew about the man's presence. Just like Lin's set of protective magic for himself, Fern is a member of the White List. The protective magic she set for herself was not restricted by that man. In the past, she had never given such trust to anyone. Even for undead warriors like Stone, 
created by her, once they have self-awareness, they have to stay away from her to protect the Devil King. What really made Finti call, the Devil King, feel safe was not how many loyal guards he had around him, but how long there was empty space around him. Such a distance means how much reaction time she has and how much opponent she can destroy. Now, although she no longer maintains such a blank area, she also uses the convenience of programming language magic to set up a defense circle similar to that of someone. If someone did something inappropriate within this range, it would be a polite response to fly out, and it would happen to be beaten down directly, or even disappear from the world. But this man has no limits. So he was able to walk to his side safely, but he didn't say anything. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1470, Second Night Tell me about what you saw and heard in that world. The parts you remember. Fern spoke first. The tone has not changed much, just like the two of them discussed academic issues in the past, they are straightforward. Lynn said, as always, without reservation. This is also because there are many things he doesn't quite understand, and he wanted to ask someone to ask. Those things can't be compared with my two apprentices, their level is too low. Don't talk about discussion, whether you can understand or not is a problem. Other magicians with a high enough level do not have such a deep friendship and can exchange these things that can be called the mysteries of the world. Fern was the best and most suitable object. At least you can get some valuable feedback from this former lich, instead of paying unilaterally. Starting from flashing into the two-dimensional world, how I used the method of projection to squeeze my real body into the low-dimensional world, including mathematical formulas, explained everything in detail. Then enter the one-dimensional world and find the trace of the suspected nether dragon. Finally chased into the zero-dimensional world. How to lose yourself in the final world. But because of a call, he regained consciousness temporarily. As for the content of that roar, in fact, someone has no memory of it, and only remembers hearing Fern's voice. However, this incident also made the former Demon King show a weird expression for an instant, but he restrained himself well. Then came Lin's observation and speculation about that world, and how he found a way to move in that world, and even left with the Nether Dragon in the end. The mathematical formula given here is already complicated to the point where it is difficult for Fen to understand. However, compared with the derivation of mathematical formulas, various philosophical thinking is more useful in that world. More numbers just make that world more complicated. Specifically, it is the feeling that the Tao is one foot tall and the Devil is one foot tall. But that world is not pure idealism either. The place where what you really think is what you get is the dream realm that Lin once studied. That is the place where all kinds of messy things can be accommodated, from unreasonable to unreasonable. In that zero-dimensional world, my possibilities are infinite, but I can always encounter obstacles. That feeling is like. So if you want that kind of world to work, you can't be too mathematical. In other words, my mathematical knowledge and aptitude have limits, and I am not a real master like Goss, so I cannot really calculate the reality of that world. Then I can only find another way to crack it. The first thing that comes to mind is the various theories of Buddhism, and then the scriptures of the three religions of my hometown just surfaced in someone's eyes. However, although a certain person's memory has been modified several times, it has reached the level of a photographic memory, and can even recall this ability but he hasn't read all the classics. And those on the new subplane tower were not sorted out by someone's original knowledge. Fen had also asked about Lingia's knowledge and philosophy including religion in the past, and he was no stranger to the three religions of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. But she couldn't make out so much of the parts she had heard. Did you know that in my hometown there is an unknowable collection of information Akashic records? It contains all the information that has happened and has not happened and its connotation. Such a treasure house cannot be grasped by a human, but you can try to sneak a peek and capture some information. In order to find a way out of that world, I thought about starting from Catholicism, 
Buddhism, Buddhism, Taoism, etc. But in order to better explain these things, I also need to find the classics of Confucianism and other schools of thought. In the end, I confirmed that the first two constituted their own systems, and they were different from the three religions of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism, so I kept the latter, which I am more familiar with, and delved into its principles. If you want to thoroughly analyze the knowledge of the three teachings and apply what you have learned, then I am afraid that I will be reincarnated a hundred times, and I will not be able to do this with the cultivation skills of the reincarnation. So I took a trick. Fern turned her head for the first time, and asked curiously, A trick? What is it? Although that world is not like a dream, you can get what you want, but the general direction is determined by willpower. Basically, when you want something, the road will appear in front of your eyes. As long as you have enough wisdom to see it, and enough courage to walk up to it. It's easier said than done in real life. Well, it's an interesting place. But I'm more interested in the Akashore records you mentioned. I remember that one of the reasons why you always want to go back is that you are lost in the animations and comics you mentioned, TV, movies, stuff like that. Isn't that in that record? If it really does what you said, it contains all the known and unknown information. Doesn't it contain these, well, knowledge that you think belongs to the entertainment category? Ah! A certain person suddenly realized that his eyes were wide open, his mouth was wide open, and he was unable to say anything. Seeing this, Fen burst into a smile. It's the same. No matter where you are, you are in the treasure house without knowing it. You turn around and leave after looking at the benefits of other places. You can be regarded as sick. Ah, no, actually, how should I put it? Ah, yes. The process, the process is also very important. Just like RPG, it's not enough to just watch the plot and beat the boss to clear the level. There is also the exercise of the game during the leveling process skills, exploring easter eggs, these are also very important fun. When watching a movie, you must first carefully avoid those thunderous movie reviews, and then go to the movie theater. In the end, whether it is two hours of cool, two hours of vomiting, or two hours of sleep, after there will be more profound experience. This is not something that can be done just by looking at it. Someone who speaks in a stammering manner, constantly making excuses for their behavior. In Fern's eyes, this appearance just felt very ridiculous. But Fern hadn't heard all the words someone had used to convince himself. After laughing a few times, she turned her head without hesitation, planning to leave. Seeing this, Lin asked casually, Are you leaving? No. Before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by someone who was about to leave. Fen slightly turned his head, looked at the person sideways, and said, What kind of thoughts would I have for a person who doesn't intend to stay for me? If I can't sleep at night, I want to spend a beautiful last night, go find your two apprentices. Didn't they match up well last night? Maybe you don't want to admit it, but their attachment to you is deeper than you imagined. After speaking, Blink left. Leaving someone alone to sit on the ground, Mochizuki was speechless. Early in the morning, in the attic room, in front of the lost version of the astronomical telescope. In fact, not long after Fen left the cliff, Lin also left. But after he came back, he sat in front of the telescope again, watching the stars greedily like a starry sky that he couldn't get tired of. As if one of the stars is the sun of the solar system. But this is impossible. According to someone's rough calculation, the distance between Midi and Earth is at least 3.7 billion light years. Even if you see starlight, it belongs to the entire galaxy of the Milky Way, and it cannot be a single star like the Sun. In fact, before dawn, the servants of the Marquis woke up one after another and began to prepare for the morning. Everyone's attitude was the same as usual, and there was no special preparation. It's like a farewell party, there are no flowers and gifts in line. Such an attitude makes someone who is about to leave have mixed feelings in his heart. 
In fact, as a former fat house, I am somewhat nervous about such things. If people really take it very seriously and throw a big banquet, it might even turn someone off. But ignoring everything like this makes people once again confirm that they are a little transparent, which is also not very pleasant. There is no middle ground for this kind of thing. No matter what you do, it will make someone uncomfortable. People who consider themselves intellectuals certainly understand this mentality. But understanding is one thing, actually encountering it is another. However, the sense of presence of someone called someone is already very low. Especially not long ago, I went on a business trip to the south and didn't go home for two or three months. I didn't forget to help him prepare an extra serving for breakfast, which is already doing my best. Lin's breakfast is settled in his own room. After two days of escaping, the problem that he could no longer evade on the last day made him not have the time to think about whether he was hungry or not. So the breakfast was delivered by my own apprentice thoughtfully. The time limit agreed with the nether dragon is getting closer and closer, and many things have to be faced. Just like my current state of mind, this is not the feeling that a primary school student is so excited that he can't fall asleep the day before he has to teach outside the school. Thinking about the question of should I go back is itself a problem. I have thought about a lot of reasons for going back or not, but this is not a matter of adding and subtracting and finally getting a mathematical answer. So Lin planned to call the third party. My own fellow, Leonardo from Vinci Village in Florence. After the young apprentice finished his breakfast, he hid in his studio. Usually, apart from giving some painting and art lessons to those children, he just hides in the studio and studies some knowledge he likes. But today is very special www.mtlnovel.com Leonardo is neither sad nor happy, just in a daze. In a daze, his whole body, even the chair, was photographed into the attic room by someone using the flash technique. Old. Teacher. Leonardo was a little confused when he was suddenly teleported to another place. Although he didn't come to the attic room often, at least he recognized the person in front of him. However, his mood changed three times in a short period of time. From the original nervousness, it turned into an accident, and then a little disappointed. Lin didn't make any suspense, and asked directly, Do you want to go back? Leonardo was taken aback, not knowing how to react. In a world where magic is king, you are talented, but you are unwilling to work hard in this area. On the contrary, it is the knowledge of painting, mathematics and engineering that attracts you more. This kind of incompatible attitude makes me want to ask you such a question question. Jumping up, Leonardo finally came back to his senses and said coyly, But, teacher, you don't plan to go back. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1471, Return How could such a thing happen? Lin answered his inner thoughts without hesitation. This of course extinguished the meager hopes that Leonardo had originally raised, and the brows he raised drooped again. It could be seen that the fellow townsman's mood had changed, and Lin no longer hung his appetite, saying, Actually, I just want to make an optimized choice. You see, I have been looking for a way to go back. You are welcome. Said, everything I do is for this purpose, and it is not without results. Right. Asked casually, Leonardo subconsciously nodded in agreement. Lin said again, I can see that you also have the desire to go back, but you don't know how to implement it. That is to say, if you miss this opportunity, you may die here. But if I miss it, you will die here. Just follow the original pace, or continue to find other ways. I will always have more opportunities than you. The frustrating truth. Even if Leonardo wanted to refute, he couldn't find a suitable reason or argument. Lin continued, using the power of the nether dragon to return, I am confident that it is a foolproof method. Her source of power is at the same level as the wishing technique. Although you don't know much about magic, you should have some common sense. It is the most appropriate way for you to let the nether dragon take you back. 
it can be said that you have no second chance other than this one. But I give up this chance and let you go back. Created another opportunity. When Lin finished speaking, he pointed. Leonardo followed the direction of his fingers and moved his gaze to his own hand. It is one of the nine precepts connected with the unique precept, and its additional ability is also the limit that ordinary people can bear. Further up the seven precepts and three precepts, people with insufficient physical fitness may be killed by the additional attributes of the rings. But the most important ability of this ring is still positioned by the magician in front of him. As long as he wanted, he could teleport to the ring owner's side at any time, or grab the person to his side like just now. This made Leonardo realize something. Lin Geng said directly, I believe I don't need to say more about the relationship between the ring in your hand and the only ring. Then, after you go back with that ring, is it possible that it will become a help for me to go back? This possibility the is pretty big. So you see, having you go back with the nether dragon is the best option for both of us. And. When he heard the explanation, Leonardo, who was already in a state of excitement, didn't burst into tears, but the flushed expression was enough to show how excited he was now. Because the situation his teacher said was indeed the best way for two foreigners from a foreign land to go home. He didn't even think about whether someone would be left in lost land if his plan failed. If someone finds out about this kind of mysterious confidence, I don't know whether to cry or laugh. But the unfinished words still made the excited Leonardo feel a little puzzled, and asked, Teacher, and what? For the turning point of his mood, Lin still has a lot of emotion. While patting Leonardo on the shoulder, he said, Without you in my hometown, the color of the Renaissance will be lost by one third. But without me, the society is still harmonious and the earth is still running. Compared with dispensable for me, you are the one who cannot stay in lost land. Although there are many parts that are not clear, Leonardo can still hear the praise in the words. He didn't give in too much, and he still didn't understand why his teacher would say that. But he was in the right mood, so of course he wouldn't mess up his mood because of such a trivial matter, let alone get carried away by it. When he thought of the ring he brought back to his hometown, which might be the key to returning the magician in front of him, Leonardo couldn't help asking, Teacher, how much time might you spend to find a way to flash back? Am I right? What preparations should we make first? Regarding the question of his apprentice, Lin Yi was stunned, and then said with a wry smile, Well, I'm not afraid to tell you, in fact, the era I came in is five or six hundred years after your era. If I will appear immediately after you go back, then cry it's going to be me. How is that any different than being in the lost lands? Leonardo showed a disappointed expression. He originally wondered if he could continue to rely on a backer like the magician in front of him after he returned. However, he also understood the situation of the person in front of him better, and he also had an explanation for the feeling of incompatibility that this fellow townsman had always given him. Simply put, although two people come from the same place, they are people of different eras. But the question of his own apprentice is actually a reminder. Lin instructed, so, if you want to help me, there is indeed a very important matter. Teacher, please speak. Leonardo restrained his smile and asked seriously. That is to find a way to preserve that ring. At least let it not be damaged or lost for five or six hundred years after you. As long as the ring is there, it will be the greatest help to me. Well, this is indeed a very important question. Teacher, I will do my best to protect this ring. Leonardo said seriously with a serious face. Do your best. Lin patted Leonardo on the shoulder again, and said, Now go back and organize your things, and bring what you want. But don't think about taking all your belongings back home. What you looked like when you came here will probably be the same when you go back. At the end, Lin also joked, As long as you don't come here naked, then the most important thing to bring with you is the most important thing to bring with you. If you don't have it at home, of course you should also have something that conforms to your beliefs. If you really come here in a sneaky way, 
um then there's no way. Because before today, Leonardo was only envious, and never thought that he would have the opportunity to go back. When his teacher brought up the issue of luggage, he immediately found himself in trouble. The time he spent in Lost Land was not long, it was several years. Although it was very hard at the beginning, life was completely different after being accepted as an apprentice by the person in front of him. But just like someone's situation, in this lost land where entertainment is almost non-existent, Leonardo can live his life drunk and dreaming when he is free. But he chose to really use someone as a teacher and learn the knowledge he is interested in from him. Lin didn't have any secrets, and he didn't even care about transforming this all-round super talent who might be one of the three masters of the Renaissance into something even more against the sky. All kinds of knowledge beyond the 15th century seemed to be given away for free. As long as Leonardo was interested, Lin would teach him. In this way, of course, Leonardo has accumulated a lot of materials and works in his home in the holy city of Esteli. Including that the composition is exactly the same as Mona Lisa's smile, but the protagonist in the painting is an oil painting by Fern. These things are extremely precious to Leonardo, of course he would want to take them with him. However, just like the restrictions imposed by my teacher, it is impossible to pack all the things away. So what can be taken away is undoubtedly a rather annoying question. Seeing Leonardo walking away in distress, Lin did not forget to take a shot in the back and said, I don't have much time for you to think about it. You only have half an hour. When you are ready, come to me go ahead. I'll send you to the Nether Dragon. Since the rise of the Forum, the concept of time accurate to the second has penetrated into the habits of some people. As the initiator, Lin made pocket watches, watches, and other timers for everyone around him, and of course Leonardo also had one. So someone is not afraid that the young man in front of him will waste his time, at most he can remind him again. Moreover, the agreement with the Dragon of the Nether is not like a situation where a certain traveler catches a train or a plane. There is still some leeway. However, the young apprentice with a slumped face, he has no time to worry about time. What can be brought and what cannot be brought is a big trouble. He turned around and said, Yes, teacher. Then he continued to worry. In the end, Leonardo was not like some women who needed to make up when they went out, saying that five minutes would be enough, but they could disappear for the entire afternoon. He still appeared in the attic before the half-hour time limit. He cleverly changed into an outfit that wouldn't look too obtrusive when he went back. There are a few bags on my back, not big, at least not the level of a mountaineering backpack. Judging from the appearance, there are not many things in the bag, and it is not a big item. Lin didn't do things like check luggage. He is not a customs officer, and he can't advise Leonardo on what is suitable to bring and what is not. This trip is not an ordinary trip, not a spring outing, nor an escape from famine. Only he himself knows what he can and needs to bring back to his hometown. For Lin, who was not familiar with the social environment in the Renaissance era, he didn't know what to bring back. If he was found, he would be tied to the stake. I don't want one of the three heroes to be heroic when they go back, so I'd better not express my opinion on this kind of matter. Before the departure of the Nether Dragon, although she made a riddle about her reappearance position, Lin could easily guess that she would appear in the sky above the holy city of Esteli. The Location of the Dragon Footprint the reason why he was so arbitrary was because it was originally his own idea. Break through the closed space crack, and travel back to Earth under the guidance of the Nether Dragon. This so-called Dragon of the Nether was formed by condensing someone's willpower, so her actions should be in line with the first impression in someone's mind. Although Leonardo didn't even master the most basic apprentice-level flying skills www.mtlnovel.com, with Lin's help, it wasn't a problem for him to wait in front of the crack. When the nether dragon appeared, she didn't immediately take someone away and send him back to Earth. Instead, she kept moving back and forth in the clouds until she revealed her head and stared at someone. Without further ado, Lin asked Leonardo to move in front of him and said, Please send him back to where he came from. 
his hometown, his era. The Nether Dragon was not surprised. But she still asked for confirmation, is he leaving, magician? Lin hesitated for a moment, but finally said firmly, yes. Okay, I will take this last journey. If you can't find another way to go back, then wait for my reincarnation after a thousand years. I can send you back again. This time Lin didn't respond, just smiled. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1472, 12 years later. Year 748 of the Aram Calendar, Summer Night. A subsidiary country of the Hader Empire, the country of Silk, and a mulberry garden. For an empire straddling the north and south of the Midi Equator, the Silk Kingdom is located in a hilly area to the north. So even in summer, the climate is still relatively cool, not as hot as on flat land. And this is also the basis for the country of Silk to grow mulberry and raise silkworms. The Mulberry Garden is the place where mulberry trees were planted when the country of Silk was first established. All the processes of making silk are also concentrated in the neighboring houses. But so far, when almost all the people in the country of Silk grow mulberry, raise silkworms, and real silk, the Mulberry Garden has become a centralized processing place for weaving raw silk into cloth. A small area is occupied by other operations, including dyeing the woven cloth and tailoring it into clothes. Today, there is a closed big house in the Mulberry Garden, which is celebrating in full swing. On the side are a few huge machines that obviously don't match the style of the Chinese painting of silk, connected with arm-thick pipes, used to transport magical powers. But the machine is not working now and everyone is celebrating around a square handkerchief that has just been woven, with a pattern of flowers, birds, romance, and moon. Some of the congratulators wore hanfu and some wore kimono. In fact, the blood of the Silk Kingdom has already been integrated into the part that belongs to Midi, but in terms of tradition, there are still many people who insist on the things passed down from their ancestors. Among such a group of people whose style was very different from that of Midi, there were three people dressed as magicians standing by the wall, quietly watching other people's celebration. The appearance of the three people is not very similar, but they are indeed three brothers. The most burly one was the boss, whose muscles bulged up the already very large robe. If it weren't for the small cape used by magicians and the two silver tassels on his chest, no one would doubt that he was a berserker. Another one who is not as tall as the boss but is also a muscular figure is the second brother. He also has a magician's cape and two silver tassels, but the iron staff in his hand is not so much a magic staff, it may be used to knock people directly, and the damage will be relatively high. The youngest is the third child. Compared with the two elder brothers, this youngest brother looks more normal. The only conspicuous thing is that the magician's cape on his body is tied with gold tassel thread. That means he's officially a magician, not Silver Spike's apprentice. The common feature of the three brothers is that their skin seems to be in a state of dry water for a long time, and the degree of dryness is very severe. And there are one to three horns ranging from one to three on the head, which is an obvious abyssal feature. People with such characteristics, if one of their parents is not a demon, then they were once polluted by extremely high concentrations of abyssal breath when they were in the mother's womb, or the most important growth period of their infancy. The situation of the former, the three brothers could not confirm. Because since they were sensible, they have never seen any creatures that are suspected of being parents. As for the latter, it is quite normal for children like them who were born on the streets. In addition to the breath of the abyss brought by magic weapons, such miasma will naturally be produced in some gloomy and dirty corners, polluting the children living in it. The three are Papazia, Popolo, and Papasa brothers. They would appear here for a sum of money, an amount so large that they had never seen it before. But such money is not easy to get. At least the people from Silk Country looked at the three brothers, which could not be called friendly. The three brothers have always been dominated by the youngest Babisha. After drinking a few glasses of beiju that he could not feel other than spicy, he took his two elder brothers to the courtyard outside. 
Compared with the hot atmosphere inside the house, for the sake of secrecy, the house is quite well sealed, so people outside will not be able to notice the movement inside the house. Besides, Mitty didn't have the habit of lighting street lights, so the three brothers just walked in the dark environment like this. Babisha, who was in the lead, stopped suddenly. He looked up at the corner that was as black as thick ink, completely devoid of moonlight and starlight. Said, Ezio, it's you. Mister finally sent you to kill us. Don't hide, come out. Babisha said so, but no one came out of that dark corner, and there was no movement at all. After a while, the eldest brother Poposya said, Little brother, do you really think that the master will send Ezio to kill us? These days, you will say such a sentence almost every few days when there are few people. In fact, what do you think? Didn't find it either. Babisha breathed a sigh of relief, and said, Ezio is the one who has a way to discuss with Sister Kaya how to hide himself, and play hide and seek with Mr. Maybe you don't know, even the devil Prince Azad once taught him. No matter how important he is. No no no. Azad is not teaching me, but he is very serious about killing me. It is not easy to escape from him. It was a young man hiding in the darkness who interrupted Babisha's voice. Unlike most people's perception, he was wearing all black night clothes. Instead, he put on a striking white trousers with red lines, stepped on calfskin boots, put on a single shawl, and wore a hood that almost covered his face. But for such a big living person, no one noticed his existence before he took the initiative to show up and make a sound. Ezio put down his hood revealing the youthful one, but with a somewhat sophisticated look in his eyes, looking at the few old friends in front of him. When you named me at first, I really thought you had discovered it. If Basya hadn't said it, I wouldn't have thought that it was just a trick to deceive people. Really, I almost fell for it. Seeing the person coming, the three brothers said with a bit of sourness, Sir, did you really ask you to come and kill us? Ezio shook his head and said, the old man doesn't care about this kind of thing. Although he is very disappointed with what you have done, he is not enough to assign us to hunt and kill you. It is really interesting to do it, he must I will come by myself, not under the guise of others. Although Ezio denied the first question, Babisha still did not relax his vigilance. He is very clear about how capable this blessed boy is. Asked then you are here because. Although the old man didn't say anything, you three have to explain to us about your betrayal of the brotherhood. Ezio put his hands slightly away from his body and placed them on both sides of his thighs. He doesn't appear to be armed, but that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. Even people like Papasha and Popolo, who seem to be much stronger than Ezio, vigilantly added a full set of auxiliary magic to themselves for a moment. And from under his magic robe, he took out his crossbow and pointed it at the person coming. The hand crossbow is only the size of a palm, the length of the crossbow is about the length of a finger, and the handle occupies most of the volume. Although the short crossbow arm will not bring much lethality and long range, the magic effect added to the crossbow machine still increases the power of the crossbow to the normal level. And in order to enhance the lethality, the crossbow is quenched with poison. In Midi, in order to deal with those monsters with strong vitality, all the poisons used to quench the poison of weapons are of the blood-sealed throat level. The kind of poison that just paralyzes people is worse than pepper. Facing the hand crossbow, Ezio raised his hands exaggeratedly and took a few steps back. Say, hey bro, take it easy. You guys should know that stuff that doesn't come with tracking arrow magic doesn't work for me. How do you know we don't have it on our crossbow? Even if it's not there, can't I add it? Babisha, the only one who didn't raise the crossbow, tilted the magic wand in his hand to his chest, and said so. Isio looked at the crossbow in the hands of the two brothers, and said, If you are using special products, then I dare not say. But the things in the hands of the big guy are obviously only mass products made by the technical guild. You even if it can be modified, there is not much room for modification, 
and it is absolutely impossible to add tracking arrows. Of course, you can cast the magic of tracking arrows now, and then compare to see who moves faster. Oh, is there no room for negotiation? Babisha asked with the last chance in his heart. Go and talk to the people who hurt you when you fled. If they are willing to forgive you, then I have no problem. Oh, by the way, it seems that a few brothers and sisters died. It may be wronged for you to personally die ask them if they are willing to forgive. If there really is an afterlife. The moment the words of regret stopped, it was like a signal for war. Two big hand crossbows shot out at the same time. The flat crossbow missed without any surprise. Ezio, who disappeared from the eyes of the three brothers in an instant, jumped out from the side darkness like a ghost. The second child Popolo bears the brunt. It's just that Popolo at this time, apart from triggering the existing magic protection effect, has no time to cast other magic. Comparing the speed of fighters, most magicians will still be a beat slower, so they have to pick up close weapons to defend themselves. For Popolo, it was the iron rod in his hand. In this situation where there is no decisive difference in skill proficiency and physical fitness, the quality of weapons becomes the key to victory. The iron rod was cut off. Ezio's dagger protruding from the sleeve of his left arm, which was only slightly longer than his palm, ignored the blocking of the magic shield and pierced Popolo's neck neatly. With the hidden blade drawn out, a cloud of blood sprayed into the sky. Popolo's eyes were helpless, and he pressed his neck with one hand. The healing magic props on his body are working www.mtlnovel.com but those props cannot heal such a serious injury. Of course, it was impossible for the two brothers next to him to stand still, but they didn't try to save their brother, but instead came to encircle Igeo. Without solving the pursuit first, any rescue operation may be interrupted. Therefore, Papasha, who was the strongest, roared, threw away the empty hand crossbow, and held the flail that he had found out of nowhere in the other hand. Without much preparatory action, he threw the shackle towards Ezio's face. Babisha's reaction was equally quick. He who has reached the level of a magician is not just an academic magician who has learned the 72 kinds of apprentice-level magic in the third ring. Born in the street, he has studied in the direction of instant magic from the beginning. Although it can't reach the level of a certain magician, who can cast magic with the subplane tower as the foundation and the programming language as the means, just by thinking. But Babish's fighting routines are also quite good. In the very short time when his second brother was attacked, Babisha not only set up three more shields for himself, but also released two attack magics, one fire and one wind and chased the fireball and wind blade to kill Ezio. Go! The savage charge is displayed in the process of taking a big stride forward. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1473, Assassinate Using six spells in a short period of time, such an achievement can be quite proud even among skilled magicians who are good at fighting. But Babisha has no confidence at all just because the person he is dealing with is Ezio. A beloved child in his eyes. And the so-called being favored here, in his mind, is to have a set of valuable props and equipment that can even make people jealous. In fact, there is no. But Ezio still lived up to expectations, and flicked back vigorously. He didn't choose Papisha's muscular physique as his first target, but instead found the thinner Babisha. The thinness here is to compare Babisha with his two elder brothers. In fact, Babisha's physique is on par with Ezio's. But in terms of danger, Babisha is thousands of times more dangerous than his two older brothers. It's a pity that the magician is overwhelmed when facing more skilled fighters. Even though physical fitness can be strengthened by auxiliary magic, there is no shortcut to quickly become proficient and diverse in skills. Igeo grasped this weakness and attacked Babisha's lower three lanes with a sliding shovel. First, the hidden sword sliced through the ankle, and even broke the hamstring. At the same time, he turned over and grabbed Bobo Shawa Shang's calf of his left foot, directly pulling him to the ground. Pulling over Babisha, 
Ezio used both hands and feet to climb up all the way. At the same time, the hidden sword swiped left and right, giving a sword first to any vital points or joints, regardless of whether it gave fatal damage or not. Unsurprisingly, Ezio's hidden blade completely ignored the ability of the magic shield, breaking it instantly. With continuous attacks, Babisha didn't even have time to feel the pain, and yelled out. The whole body is like being in a high-temperature environment, extremely hot. Just before Ezio climbed to the upper body, near the neck, he used his whole body and limbs to bounce back. The roaring elder brother Papisha finally arrived to support him. With red eyes, he swung the flail past Ezio's original position, and hit his brother heavily. The head of the flail used by Papisha is an iron-spiked ball, without magic, just heavy and solid. So Babisha's broken magic shield can still play a role, and he didn't really smash his lower body. Even so, the damage caused by the flail seemed to explode in one breath just like the previous injury, which made Babisha couldn't help but scream out. As the eldest brother, Poposya also did not stop to care about his brother. Those who were born on the street knew very well that as long as the danger still exists, then the danger must be dealt with immediately, instead of crying and crying while hugging their injured brother. The latter's actions cannot save him from the crisis. The bounced Ezio disappeared into the darkness again, and Papasha couldn't pursue him immediately. The big guy even had to look around carefully trying to find Ezio's whereabouts first. Meanwhile, Papisha was not idle. With his free hand, he quickly reached into his pocket, grabbing a few bottles of medicine in small glass jars. Papisha didn't feel bad, and smashed all the potions in his hand to the ground. The cracked glass bottle quickly atomized the potion stored in it, and the magical power was integrated into it. While constructing the spell model, it aroused the supernatural effect of magic. This is one of the quick casting methods similar to the magic scroll, and it is also the result of the technical guild in recent years. Of the bottles Popsha broke open, one was of course a healing potion. This bottle can be taken orally and can be atomized. The latter has a wider range of action, but of course the effect will be attenuated. But this bottle is to help my brother. At the same time, the bottle was opened, as well as light spells, magic protection, and spider web traps. It's just that at the moment when the bright light suddenly exploded, before Papaxia's eyes were dazzled, he saw Ezio's figure flying towards him from the side, and he was already close in front of him. Although the big man is strong and strong, he is also taking a crazy magic fighting route. But just like the shortcomings of all big men, the reaction and speed are a little bit worse. Faced with Ezio's pounce, Papasha just simply parried. Ezio, who is walking wild, his skills are not quite satisfactory. Compared with the ruthless three brothers who were born on the streets, he knows how to use his flexibility better. Simply put, there are many tricks and it looks handsome. But don't think that such a show is not fatal, as long as it hits the vital point, it is enough to be fatal. However, Ezio's fighting style never pays attention to one-hit kills, but shoots randomly, constantly hitting the vital points, joints, and tendons of the hands and feet. Even if you can't kill a person, you have to abolish the person's mobility. With this blow towards Papasha, he not only slashed the hidden blade across his wrist, the inside of the elbow joint, and under his side. He went around behind Papasha and rode on it. The human skull is very hard which is to protect the brain, cerebellum, and other organs. This also shows how important the organs in the skull are, and they cannot be injured in the slightest. In contrast, the neck is much softer. But Poposya's muscles are like natural armor. With the addition of auxiliary magic, the idle sword can't leave any damage at all except for scratching the skin. But Ezio's hidden blade is nothing ordinary. Whether it's the muscles trained horizontally like fine steel, or the extremely hard skull, they can't stand a pinch. It's not enough to pierce it once, Ezio quickly withdraws his movements, and again. Three strikes. Four sticks. The movement did not stop until he was thrown forward by the huge body he was riding on the ground, 
and there was no more movement. At the same time, blood flowed everywhere. On the other side, Popolo, who was the first to fall, was still bleeding, and his life and death were uncertain. Just looking at the blood volume, if it is not treated in time, it probably won't be a matter of life or death, just by a coffin to restrain it. Babish's methods are relatively complete. He has not been attacked fatally, and he has the effect of healing potion, so he stood up with difficulty at this time, staring at the person in front of him with hatred. The uninjured Ezio stood up from Poposya's body, and walked slowly around, looking relaxed. The eyes under the hood were floating around, as if they didn't pay attention to Babisha. Babisha gritted his teeth and said, as expected of the most favored child. The hidden blade in your hand can't be a box cut. The clothes on your body are the special silk made by Mr. With a playful expression, Ezio looked at the inside of his left wrist, where the hidden blade was folded. Said, don't look at people with that look of envy that you are about to die. I have ordinary equipment on my body. Except for the old man, it is impossible to follow other people. The only thing that is valuable is this the hidden blade is gone, it was polished by the old man's teeth. I didn't take anything from the old man, I even returned the ring. So, this is why you have been dissatisfied with me all this time? Too narrow-minded all right. Old man, the old black dragon Augustus. I am still shouting that I am going to die every day but I can still eat a cow every day. Stop talking nonsense. After yelling, Babisha made a sudden move. With a push of the staff in his hand, the non-chanting magic works directly. Five consecutive flash bombs can not only blind people's eyes, but also cause impact damage, and go straight to the enemy in front of them. The trajectory of the five light bullets is also quite particular which basically blocks the possibility of the enemy rushing from the front. But Ezio seldom confronts the enemy head-on, and he doesn't like to rely on the magic-destroying attribute of the Dragon Tooth Hidden Blade to face magic head-on. He slipped his feet and jumped back into the darkness again. Some people once suspected that this is the shadow-walking ability learned from the Devil Prince Azad. But in fact, this is just a blindfold and then stepping on catwalks to move quickly and silently in the dark. Although the light source of the flash bomb made it impossible for him to hide in the dark, his burst speed was beyond the imagination of ordinary people. Before Babisha could react, Ezio had already circled to the side of the young magician and made another surprise attack. The two fought hand to hand with three or two moves. Of course, Babisha, who was dragging his wounded body, could not be Ezio's opponent. The hidden sword mercilessly pierced into the eye hole. Ezio didn't pull his hand, but dragged it in the direction of the other eye. Cut off most of the head directly. When Babisha's body knelt weakly on the lawn of the courtyard, Ezio found the figure of a young girl who was originally covered by Babisha. The girl stood not far away, it seemed that she ran out from the banquet in the house to find someone. The clothes on her body are not ordinary at all indicating that the girl should be a person of status. And the girl immediately confirmed what was going on at the scene. Three people fell on the ground. Although they couldn't see clearly in the dark, the puddles on the ground were still visible. Although I couldn't see the color, it must be blood. The frightened girl just stared at Ezio. Next, it seemed that he was about to kill someone to silence him. However, Ezio did not make those actions. Instead, he waved his hands and bowed in a gentlemanly manner, and said politely, Beautiful lady, Ezio Augustus is here to greet you. Perhaps it was the gentleman's etiquette that made the girl let down her guard a little, but she still looked at the person in front of her vigilantly. Ezio immediately took out a booklet from his pocket, and exaggeratedly said, Oh, where did this silk note come from? Really, such an important thing would appear in such a place. But it's not mine. Let's ignore the task objective. After saying that, after putting the booklet on Babisha's kneeling back, Ezio showed a charming smile, waved his hand lightly, and retreated into the dark courtyard where there was no longer any light magic. After the assassin disappeared, 
the girl ran forward www.mtlnovel.com in a panic to confirm the condition of the three brothers. More importantly, that production notebook. Is that true why did that person deliberately keep this pamphlet? In the distance, the roof. Ezio had just climbed up from the eaves, but there were already two people standing on the ridge, a man and a woman. The man was wearing a suit of armor that looked so heavy that it was about to crush the roof, and held a large shield in his hand. Women are dressed similarly to Ezio, but with a longbow and quiver on their backs. They looked helplessly at their companions who had just climbed onto the roof, and said, You really gave out that document. Aren't you afraid that your husband will blame you? If the old man really doesn't allow this kind of thing to happen, no one can take anything away from that big house. If we can take it out, it means that he acquiesced. The mistake made by the three brothers was to hurt other brothers, and some people did it because of it. Dead. Isn't it because of this reason that we came here? What's in there? One of them pointed to the room. I don't care about him. As long as the old man doesn't beg us, I don't care about him. After that, Ezio put his hands behind his head and walked into the darkness. His two companions glanced at each other and followed the darkness. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1474, Silk Country Twelve years have passed since Leonardo returned. In the end, a certain magician did not leave, and the news was treated as a farce. But he also took advantage of the trend to fade out of everyone's eyes and hide behind the stage of history. However, the inheritance left by the great magician Gabrish Tripwood repeatedly, people are not dead is still fermenting on the lost continent. Although many things have developed to the point where people have long forgotten who the original initiator was, everyone only pays attention to the matter itself. But there are exceptions to this situation. For example, this summer, in the Hader Empire, which crosses the equator line on the Midi continent, as one of the vassal states, the most important institution in the Silk Country Mulberry Garden. For a long time, silk products were the exclusive industry of the country of silk. Even though mulberry trees raised silkworms, it was known a long time ago. But the most important silkworm eggs have not flowed out, and with the Hader Empire as the backing, other places have to weigh if they want to steal this technology, whether it is worth offending an empire for this. If it was placed in an ancient time that traveled through many hometowns, other big and small countries would steal it if they stole it. The country of origin may not necessarily know about this kind of thing in the first place, and when the matter can't be covered up, it will be too big to deal with. But in Midi, even before the forum, the circulation of information was also not so convenient. But there are mainland-level multinational organizations such as the Adventurers Guild, the Mercenary Guild, and the Magician's Association. The blockage of information is not as serious as when someone's hometown was in ancient times. More importantly, Midi is a world full of personal power. In the ancient times of someone's hometown, if one wanted to travel long distances to a distant country to cause trouble, either a large army would be dispatched, and none of the ten returnees would return home, or a big country would be dragged to death by military expenses. But in Midi, it only needs to send out a few strong men to easily destroy the fixed facilities like the silkworm farm. In contrast, it is more difficult to assassinate a specific target. This kind of craftsmanship has no commercial value if it is not scaled, once it becomes a scale, it is a very eye-catching target. In the face of the special operations of the strong assault, there is almost no resistance. Over time, other countries and nobles no longer considered the issue of self-produced silk. After all, no one can accept spending a large amount of investment, and it will be wiped out before it is recovered. Even if it can be rebuilt, it is necessary to consider whether the cost of continuous reconstruction is worth investing. Compared with rebuilding, the cost of destruction is too low. And this is different from the poison that traveled through many hometowns. Although no one is in the business of losing money, and some people are in the business of beheading, the most important thing about drugs is that they are addictive. Once you get involved, you will consume them until you die. 
this can be regarded as a profitable long-term business. Although silk can be regarded as a huge profit industry, it is just a luxury. It is neither addictive nor has many alternatives. So when it comes to reality, no one really wants to keep rebuilding the silk industry that is doomed to be destroyed. The arrogance and violence of the hater empire is the biggest reliance on the kingdom of silk that can seem detached from things. Of course, behind the scenes, the protection fee that should be paid will not be small. Otherwise, with the dignity of an empire, why should it protect the vassal states below? Why not just annex it directly? However, the monopoly situation that has been maintained for a long time has been broken. In an unexpected way. In the territory of the Guana Empire, a magic silk appeared in the holy city of Estelai. This is the direction that the country of silk has been trying, but has been unable to make a breakthrough. Although the production of magic silk is not much, the clothes produced are also quite special, similar to the traditional costumes of a certain ethnic group in the country of silk. But these sets of clothes are extremely powerful magic equipment, and can even be used directly as armor to protect the body from swords. Even if the production of clothes made of magic silk is not large, the effect is too powerful. Those who are lucky enough to use it all show it off to the outside world, and then people chase after it, and things are so hot. If the producer is an ordinary person, or a skilled craftsman, then all kinds of overt and covered methods are used. If you don't enlist people, at least you have to get a few works from the other party. No matter how small the output is, there are ways to think about it. But the reality is, there is a former demon king in charge, and most people dare not make mistakes. Another key magician, strong enough to fight against the three lords of light alone, shovel out the territory of a grand duke of an empire. People who want to engage in some conspiracies and tricks really have to weigh whether their weight is enough for people to touch their little fingers. Of course, it is impossible for a silk monopoly such as the Kingdom of Silk and the Hater Empire to remain silent about someone's actions. In the game of surprise attack by the strong, they actually came several times, and then they all went and never returned, and the other party ended with no loss. This is why people from the country of Silk came to visit later hoping to use the pressure on the national level to force the magician to succumb. The members of the Holy Sword Society in their ranks, and afterward, were a series of accidents. The strong men who were secretly dispatched in the front all died to make people feel distressed. Who would want to turn against that magician? In the end, the result was still a failure, although it was infuriating at the time. But after events in the south of the Karlsruhe Empire, those angers turned into flukes. Fortunately, the magician didn't get mad, otherwise the country of silk would definitely be gone, and the Hyder Empire wouldn't feel much better. Even if you don't care about the country behind you, you must bear the brunt of it. This is the idea of those who have stood up and tried to put pressure on them. They were on the front line. However, this does not mean that the kingdom of silk and the Hyder Empire will settle down in peace, and it is even more impossible to just give up the benefits that magic silk can bring. Apart from continuing the clueless research, the easiest way is to find someone next to the magician. Threats and lures are the two eternal weapons. But you still have to be careful and insinuating, so as not to wake up the two fierce beasts and bring yourself a catastrophe. This delicate operation, the intelligence personnel of the Hater Empire can be regarded as handy. After uninterrupted efforts, the people of the Hater Empire finally found a breakthrough, and obtained the design of a complete set of silk reeling machines and jacquard machines, as well as the ratio of the use of silk threads of various magic moths. It's a pity that with the magic combination attached to the silk, they only got two or three sets of templates for outsiders to use. Not to mention the design of the basalt robe and the four spirit suit, which are comparable to artifacts. Even the clothing design used by the people around the magician, the Hyder Empire failed to succeed. And even if it is a basic foreign trade design, at this stage, they still do not have the ability to change the design. Someone never thought about popularization at the beginning, so he never thought about making the operating system foolish. 
Many design changes require directly changing the underlying code instead of simply using the menu to select everything. Therefore, in order to understand the production process of the whole set of Magic Silk, the P language that a certain magician once made public is an insurmountable hurdle. The programming language on the Magic side has actually received much attention in the past 12 years, and even cultivated a group of talents. Forum plugins and other gadgets are the results of these people. But how can something that someone uses for himself be the same thing as something that is published? I don't know how many versions of the P language have been changed internally, but the most original version has always been made public. Therefore, the secret factory established in the Mulberry Garden of the Country of Silk can only produce two or three types of magic silk at this stage. The weaving girls of the Silk Kingdom can at most make a difference in height, shortness, fatness, and thinness in tailoring but they cannot change the type of magic added. Compared with making the silk reeling machine and jacquard machine that no one can understand the principle of, another equally troublesome thing is the cultivation of silkworm eggs. The silkworm eggs that can be used to make silk threads are specific, and this silkworm egg is not a native species of midi, but was brought over by the predecessors of the silk country. I thought that as long as the silkworm eggs are well controlled, it is impossible for the silk making technology to leak out. However, someone used the most unfavorable method of scientific experiments the exhaustive method, trying to find moth species suitable for making silk from the original moth species in MIDI. And not only looking for it from ordinary moth species, but also focusing on the magic moth. In addition, Lin incorporated the idea of material science into the production of silk thread. A record of the characteristics of the silk thread produced under different moth species ratios was left. This is an idea that the weaver girls in the land of silk have never thought about before. For a long time, the silk of the country of silk has not remained unchanged. But they focused on the post-processing techniques such as weaving and embroidery, as well as the improvement of silk reeling and looms. As for the silkworm eggs, they are respected like gods and they are carefully cared for. That's why a certain person was rebellious and used the cocoons of other moth species to extract silk thread, but it made many old people in the silk country want to kill people. It's a pity that I can't beat it. So everyone is only at the stage of talking. Now I have someone's silk reeling and jacquard machine design, as well as the formula for moth silk thread. Looking at these things, would anyone be content to find any other moth species? or would they think they could get the same effect with just silk moths? In the stage of imitation, of course, every aspect must be exactly the same to be regarded as imitation. The main purpose is to confirm whether the relevant craftsmanship is in place from the degree of completion between the imitation product and the original product. Unless there is a gap in technology, and it is difficult to improve and catch up. Otherwise, the kind of people who confidently say that they want to improve, and claim that the blue is better than the blue, are either brain dead or liars. Although the people of Silk Country are a bit rigid, they at least know how to do things in a down to earth manner. Therefore, the craftsmen in the kingdom stumbled and stumbled to create the heinously delicate jacquard machine, and at the same time, they also tried their best to collect specific moth species www.mtlnovel.com from various places and cultivate them. Those ordinary moths are okay, and it's not a big problem to raise them as silkworm moths. But those magic moths are not so simple. Demonic insects with power are a big trouble for adventurers. Whenever encountered in the wild, the best way is to solve it with a fire. But to capture him alive, there should not be too much damage, and the difficulty is not only increased several times. After capturing these moth species, how to raise them is another big problem. In the materials at hand, there is no such part of parenting experience. Because the person who did it didn't think about this problem. Fortunately, most of the creatures prefixed with the word devil are meat-eating, and people in the country of silk still have this common sense. After solving the two major problems, another trial weaving was carried out and succeeded, and then there was a celebratory dinner. However, the murder of the three heroic brothers, as well as the pamphlets that were left behind, all kinds of contradictions, 
made the joyful mood of the Kingdom of Silk weakened a lot. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1475, Focus In the past 12 years, the general situation of Lost Earth has certainly not changed. Roundabout The part that attracts the most attention, attracts the most attention, and worries the most is the constitutional monarchy of the Karlsruhe Empire in the south. The emperor handed over most of the power and transferred the military and political power of a country to the nobles. This kind of unheard of thing, all the people in power on the midi continent watched the development of the situation with trepidation. If it fails, they can openly laugh at such overreaching behavior and suppress any signs that may arise. If it succeeds, then you have to carefully handle the relationship between yourself and the nobles below. Then it preaches that different systems may not be suitable for different regions. During this process, few people directly criticized the actions of the Karlsruhe Empire, or badmouthed them during the process, and cursed them for failure. Because most of them cannot withstand the blow of an empire's anger. Even if the two countries do not border each other, sending a few strong men to raid across the border and leave after being punished, few small countries can withstand such a game. So in the face of this powerful force with no solution, most people are silent. The only one who dared to laugh at the Karlsruhe Empire was of course their old rival, the Hater Empire. And then it's a tragedy. Perhaps in this era of lost land, there is no such thing as thought output. But seeing the vigorous restructuring of neighboring countries, it would be a lie to say that the nobles of the Hater Empire had no thoughts at all. The emperor election system of the Hater Empire originally allowed the nobles to have more power. Every emperor needs to have enough supporters in order to succeed. The easiest way is to exchange enough interests and power for one's own status. Now seeing that there is a way to further gain power, how could they not be moved? And the next door will take turns every few years, unlike my own family, as long as you become the emperor, you can die, and then other talents will have a chance to gain weight. Therefore, the Hater Empire was also undercurrents for a while. On the bright side, the Plain of Aunts, where the two empires meet, is bustling again. Due to the reorganization of the Karlsruhe Empire, it is inevitable that there will be some slight turmoil within the empire. The center of gravity and focus will also be slightly shifted from the original place, focusing on the establishment of the new system. In the eyes of opponents of the same level, such a flaw is not fatal, but it is still an opportunity to take advantage of. Therefore, the Hater Empire instantly stepped up its offensive. With the dispatch of the airship corps to forcefully mobilize the army, many farms and fertile land on the Ounce Plain were encroached in a short period of time. Roundabout. However, all the nobles have underestimated the role and influence of the lower council elected by civilians who do not have noble status. In the past, military merit was a very important indicator in the internal competition of the Karlsruhe Empire. So as long as you are not the kind of extreme genius whose intelligence is close to that of a monster but has no power to restrain a chicken, it is inevitable to go to the plane of ounce to obtain military achievements. Members of the lower parliament now need to be elected or elected. To be able to succeed, you need human support. So how do you get more people to support yourself, especially when there are competitors? That, of course, is to have greater strength a better reputation, and to display more intelligent wisdom. The easiest way, of course, is to obtain military merits enough to show off for a lifetime. So countless young people rushed to the battlefield, in the name of revenge and regaining the lost land, and defeated the Hyder Empire steadily. On the side of the Karlsruhe Empire, they even began to plan to capture the fortresses bordering the two countries and spread the flames of war to the large desert within the Hader Empire. So how to defend against the bombing of the airship and the supply in the desert are two major problems. Although in the past 12 years, the Karlsruhe Empire has not really sounded the horn of counterattack. But the various actions made are enough to make the Hater Empire tremble with fear. Roundabout. However, compared to the powerful aggressiveness of the Karlsruhe Empire to the outside world, 
their internal affairs are even more frightening for onlookers. The problem also lies in the nobles' perception that it is just the lower council with a knife in hand. Members of the lower council are all elected from the nobles' territories, so they should act according to the orders of the nobles. However, this reasonable part has not been written into the law. The result of this is that the nobles with poor control ability can easily run away votes from members of parliament from their territories. It was even reversed by those congressmen who were very capable, squires and local tyrants, who in turn controlled their behavior and speech. In the past empires, although the succession of virtuous sons was advocated and the capable came to power, there was a gap between nobles and commoners. As long as the nobles do not make fatal mistakes, even if the family is extinct, they will adopt sons from other noble families to continue the title. Commoners who want to become nobles still have a chance in the early days of the empire. Although it is possible now, it is more than ten times or a hundred times more difficult than in the past. However, the establishment of the lower council gave powerful and capable people among the common people an opportunity. They don't need to be nobles to do what nobles can do. There may be some twists and turns in the process, and the difficulty is certainly not low. But for capable people, such a challenge is just right. If it's too simple, they won't be able to see it. Roundabout. Look at those self-made and successful people, there are a few who can be seen as born with a golden spoon in their mouths. The counterattack from the lower council, like a storm, almost defeated more than half of the nobles in the Karlsruhe Empire making them the puppets of the upper council. Such a development is unexpected to most people at first, and of course other ideas will arise. Abolish the constitutional monarchy and restore the emperor? If it was easy to return to the previous situation, the nobles would definitely not hesitate. But the fact is that the change of the Empress Saint Allegria made the nobles dare not act rashly. That magician left, good thing. The Empress gave birth to a son, a disaster. Who is the father of the child? Everyone can guess, but no one cares. Roundabout. If the Emperor and the Empress hadn't given birth for a long time, and suddenly the Empress gave birth to a son, people might still question whether the Prince's blood belonged to the Emperor. Using this to force a queen to death, abolish a possible heir to the throne along the way, and then spread gossip about the royal family, this is something that everyone loves to hear. But when the Empress gave birth to a child, no matter who the father was, it was an unavoidable fact that the child fell from whose stomach. No one can doubt that this child has no royal blood. Perhaps it is a bit harsh to say that the father is unknown, but the husband of the Empress Prince Thomas is still alive and well, and it is just good to use him as a backstop. Even if everyone knew that anyone could be the Prince's father, it was impossible for the prince who was put under house arrest. If it is just to give birth to a son, it would be a simple matter in the court to let an underage child disappear suddenly. Although relying on the chaos in the early period of the constitutional monarchy and the reputation of the magician, the empress showed signs of turning around. But in the palace, which is as leaky as a sieve, it is not so difficult for any regrets to happen. However, Long Dao's sudden statement shattered most people's delusions. Roundabout. According to the instructions of the Dragon God, the Dragon Emperor sent the sacred objects of the Dragon Clan as a gesture of goodwill. The Crown of Thorns is the name of this holy object. It looks like a few thorns with black, pink and blue three inconspicuous flowers, woven into a round crown. But in fact, the thorns on the Crown of Thorns are not real plant thorns, but the main vein of the heart part of a tree dragon that has become extinct in lost earth. The three little flowers are the refinement of brain, heart and dragon crystal respectively. Tree dragons are like the treant race that still exists in Midi, they have the appearance of humans, but the inner parts of plants, the tree dragons have the appearance of dragons, but the inner parts of plants. Perhaps it is to make up for the difficulty of forming the tree dragon. Once the tree dragon is born, its strength is extremely powerful. But no matter how strong a race is, as long as it has difficulty in reproduction, it will withdraw from the ecosystem sooner or later. This is why the tree dragon became extinct. 
But even if it is extinct, the inheritance left by the tree dragon will inherit the power of its original owner, and it will be regarded as a sacred object by the dragon clan. To the dragon, the crown of thorns is like a ring of status symbol. But for humans, it allows the wearer to obtain the endless vitality that is equivalent to that of a tree dragon. This is almost a guarantee of immortality. Roundabout. If you don't have anything to do, you can either or steal. Although this sentence does not make sense, it still makes sense. Especially the Empress, who had been suppressed by the nobles for ten years, encountered such things in the process. In the early days, I would be deceived and fooled, but of course I learned to behave later. Therefore, the Empress of course expressed bewilderment and doubts about the Dragon Clan's overtures. The envoy of the Dragon Clan relayed the words of the Dragon God, the reason why the Empress did not have a child for so long was because the Dragon Blood in her blood appeared, which not only strengthened her body, but also devoured the man's energy. Simply put, it is impossible for a man who is too weak to impregnate the Empress. Now the child born by the Empress not only has dragon blood, but also pure abyss demon blood. This is a strong bloodline from the mother's and father's lines respectively. Although Allegria doesn't know much about what is pure demon blood. But she can understand that her own child is special. From the moment of pregnancy, Everything about this child is different from that of normal people www.mtlnovel.com Ordinary people are pregnant for 10 months, but the Empress's child could not be born until almost a year. After birth, the baby eats a lot, sleeps a lot, but has no vitality, which is very different from ordinary babies. This made the Empress quite worried. Roundabout one of the reasons why the dragon sent the crown of thorns is that this child cannot be raised as an ordinary human child, but must be raised as a baby dragon. Without sufficient nutrients and energy, the child will be stunted. The abundant energy of the Kerala of thorns is the best, milk powder. As for whether they will eat enough, or be exposed to these things because they are too young, causing adverse reactions, the royal family will not consider it at all. Ordinary people still have to worry about the problem of not being filled. This child is like a bottomless pit. Filling in more things will only make his foundation more solid. Besides, the royal family naturally has a set of methods of conditioning the body and exercising. It is only afraid that the child is too weak, not afraid that the child is too strong. Under the influence of various internal and external factors, the Empress had no reason to reject the goodwill from the Dragon God, so she accepted the Crown of Thorns. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1476, Accelerated Progress If it's just unilateral goodwill from Dragon God, maybe it's not too surprising. After all, given the relationship between Long Island and the Empire as both an enemy and a friend, it is not a big news that the high-level officials of the two sides exchange gifts. Roundabout. On the surface, they call each other brothers, but they secretly make a series of stabs in the back, or they are cooperating with each other while making sour remarks, these are the daily routines of Dragon Island and the Empire. The reason is that only those who have a deep understanding of Longdeo know the reason. There are two distinct forces on Longdeo. If one party cooperates, the other party will definitely hinder it. Or disdain for the arbitrary shifting of the Empire's position. The Dragon Emperor and the Dragon God behind him are in the same camp, and the Dragon Mother of all things is in another camp. Although the confrontation between the two sides has not erupted into a substantive conflict, various stumbling blocks and small tricks are emerging in an endless stream. Generally speaking, if the Dragon Emperor and Dragon God show their favor, the Dragon Mother of all things should jump out and sing the opposite. But this time, as soon as the gift from the Dragon God arrived, the gift from the Dragon Mother of all things followed. What was sent was a young female dragon that had been born for a period of time. The Golden Dragon Race, in terms of blood relationship, also belongs to the aristocratic class in the Dragon Race of Dragon Island. The growth curve of dragons is completely different from that of humans. If human beings are used as the standard, Medes' average lifespan is about 50 years old today, 
and 15 years old is considered an adult, dragons have an average lifespan of 500 years, wouldn't it take 150 years to be considered an adult dragon? In fact, the infancy of the dragon clan is not that long. Roundabout. Infants are weak among all creatures, so they need their parents to take care of them at all times. The longer the infancy, the longer the weak time. As the creatures at the top of the midi ecosystem, how could the dragon race have such a long period of weakness? It's not much to say that the parents of the dragon clan are super irresponsible models. In fact, this is also the normal state of oviparous animals. The responsibility of the parents probably goes as far as hatching the child from the egg. Even if it is a bird, it is time to live in separate nests after taking care of the young birds to fly. Due to various factors, the juvenile period of the dragon clan is doomed not to be too long. Because if it remains weak for too long, it is easy to be killed by other creatures. Under normal circumstances, after the giant dragon hatches from the egg, the juvenile period will last for about 20 years. Next will be adolescence of more than 100 years, adulthood of more than 200 years, and then old age of more than 100 years. If you don't take that critical step, you can enter the dragon tomb by yourself and wait to die. The dragon mother of all things sent it, nominally a female golden dragon serving as the prince's guard, who was just a baby born more than 10 years ago. In theory, she would be out of childhood at about the same time as the prince. Roundabout. Judging from Jin Long's status and her adulthood time, the feeling of everyone is that instead of sending guards, the dragon mother of all things sent a hostage and a child bride. The attitude is also the same, if the two little ones get along in the future, let them become husband and wife. If you don't get along, you can be a guard or a follower, and you don't accept returns anyway. This is no different from an alliance between the two parties. Moreover, the two camps on Long Island show favor to one side at the same time, and there is no hostility or competition between the camps, this is an unprecedented situation. Regardless of whether it is possible for the expelled magician to turn back into a sharp blade in the hands of the Empress because of the child. The attitude of Longdeo's side as the Empress backer is very obvious. Under such circumstances, because they are afraid of the possible consequences of the constitutional monarchy, the nobles who intend to overthrow everything have to consider another thing. That is, after losing the constraints of the constitutional system and regaining power, will the empress still be a vase that was a few years ago and was played by the nobles in the hands of the powerless vase? Roundabout. Compared with the harm of the lower council, the empress who regained the power of life and death, and has the support of Long Island and the magician as the backing, is not only more dangerous than that, but the harm is more likely to be immediate and fatal. On the one hand, there is a fight, and maybe there is still a chance to win, on the other hand, there is no choice but to kneel unconditionally, or to be buried. So it seems that it is not difficult to decide which way to go down. The status of the Empress is as immovable as a mountain. Now that the constitutional monarchy is being promoted smoothly, no one hopes, and no one dares to invite the emperor who has been put on the pavilion to the world again. The name of the emperor does not become a past tense, but a sleeping lion-like existence. No one dares to disturb easily. A small incident that was not taken seriously by many people. Not long after the late emperor's son, Duke Beer, died suddenly in the tower where he was under house arrest. It was declared to be a sudden illness, but in fact it was the kindness of the royal family members. Because if a member of the royal family dies, his territory and title will of course return to the emperor. Such an ending was not what the empress hoped to see. Others, however, acted wisely, thinking they had shown their loyalty. Such behavior not only made Allegria feel speechless, but also most of the nobles who knew the truth. Roundabout. It can only be said that this group of people would be deprived of the right to inherit the throne in the first place, not without reason. Doing things so recklessly and leaving no room for leeway, I don't know how to do it self-righteously with a greeting first, and then take credit for it at the end. Seeing this, the other old nobles thought that if there were such idiots in their family, 
they would have been strangled to death on the spot. To avoid adding chaos to the family and leaving handles for other families. The Empress didn't do that, she didn't even look at the clowns. Allegria is just admiring, appreciating how deep despair a group of people will fall into when they lose their power and gradually lose control. Originally, the little Duke Beer would also be one of them, and his life was even more difficult. Because he is under house arrest, no one is willing to help. Even the vassals of his territory happily became part of the perpetrators. Then people die. Another thing happened in the Karlsruhe Empire. Although its influence has not yet spread to other places, many people are paying attention to it. The Lord of Justice has changed his job. It's not right to say that it's a job change, but the Lord of Justice has an extra title of Dharma Guardian. What law to protect? Roundabout. Constitution of the Karlsruhe Empire. The Empress didn't know about this at first. Because the Lord of Justice went directly to the Grand Dukes to discuss it according to a magician's suggestion. The situation is similar to what someone predicted. The Grand Dukes held the principle that they would rather die together than let this matter go unchecked when it jumped on their heads. But if they were equals and became colleagues in the name of Dharma protectors, everyone would not be so repulsive. Some people may worry about whether it will be like boiling a frog in warm water. If the gods have an excuse to intervene in politics, then they will have other reasons to intervene step by step, and in the end they will return to the old way of theocracy over imperial power. But those who do those things have always been the church of the gods in the mortal world, and the gods themselves are still very principled. This is also a religious war more than 200 years ago. The reason why the secular regime can win is because the gods can't stand what the church is doing and let them lose. If the gods really intervened at that time, even if the secular regime had not failed, the war would probably continue to this day. Roundabout. In any case, theocracy changed from being isolated from the political arena. The upper council, that is, the aristocratic council that can form a cabinet, of course has no room for theocracy to intervene. This is also one of the reasons why the Grand Dukes agree that people with church status can run for election to the lower parliament. No matter how the power of the church expanded, the administrative power of the empire was still in the hands of the nobles. Just like congressional candidates with outstanding military achievements, people with religious backgrounds can easily gain the favor of regional voters. Especially in the case of the same belief, or at least belong to the camp of good gods. Compared with other churches of God, the Lord of Justice, one of the three holy light churches, is the most active and has the most clear direction. When other congressmen even hesitated about why they ran for election and why voters should support them, the priests of the Lord of Justice already knew how to use the slogan of ensure that the law can be implemented justly and equitably to win the majority of the voters. Consent and Support In the confusion of this era, people still can't tell the good from the bad. In other words, after each law is enacted, what direction will people develop in, maybe even the person who made the law does not know. Roundabout. But the law is not being enforced fairly, which is what happens everywhere. The Church of the Lord of Justice reached out into the political circle, and they did not create some positions by themselves and began to preach the teachings in a witch-hunt style. It seems that some law enforcers and adjudicators are brought out. The Church of the Three Holy Lights is very cautious from top to bottom, not to go beyond the legal regulations that have been established and announced. This is the great principle of cooperation between theocracy and government. However, those who have become members of the council and have the identity of the church will always stand up and communicate with the nobles and lords when encountering injustice and injustice. At first, of course, I didn't get a good response. Even those high-ranking people are not regarded by ordinary people or churches at all. But as these councillors run votes in the lower council, the lords found their influence waning. Only then did I realize that something was wrong. Who is a member of parliament from a certain territory, there is no legal requirement that they must obey the orders of the lord. Roundabout. Then it is reasonable for members of parliament to make the best and most correct choice for the voters they have elected. 
In someone's plan www.mtlnovel.com the process of depriving power from the hands of the nobles would have waited until the constitutional government was more mature and the people were more familiar with the use of power in their hands, and it would not happen naturally. Unexpectedly, with the help of the church, the whole process happened so early. The church is not without capable people. Priests and bishops who can operate in a diocese are not idiots who can easily rise to power by blood relationship. They just didn't have the opportunity to intervene in the political arena before. Now that they have the opportunity, who else knows how to buy people's hearts better than them? Not to mention that the Lord of Justice is still in touch with a certain magician. As the messenger of justice, the Pandaren Bibi often travels between the Southern Empire and the holy city of Estelai in the north of the center. If it had been in the past, a year would have passed on such a journey. Although the teleportation magic circle can be used, the expensive price cannot withstand frequent use. However, the popularization of fast airships has improved such problems. The current MIDI can be said to have skipped the railway personnel transportation and directly used the means of air transportation. This is another major change in the past 12 years. Roundabout Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1477, Bank Going Astray The situation of the Karlsruhe Empire is the focus of attention of the bewildered people, especially the noble class. But no matter how much attention is paid, its influence is only slowly spreading, let alone any substantial changes. To put it another way, the revolution stops at the stage of stacking firewood. Aristocratic lords from all over the place were moving firewood, breaking down bonfires, and carefully preventing any sparks from flying over. Everyone is not blind, knowing what this thing will look like after it is really ignited. What has really changed drastically to the overall fascination, but what everyone takes for granted and quickly gets used to is the development of banks. According to the original plan, the belief of Kayin, the goddess of gold coins, spread smoothly to every corner of the land. Even the underground world of the evil camp has been involved, and it has taken root smoothly. But once the money is gathered, it is easy to cause coveted people. The reason why the banks in the underground world can be stable is that the coins are transferred to the goddess kingdom the moment each depositor deposits money. If, like someone's hometown, they are dispatched by cash trucks, the banks in the underground world will not be trusted, and I am afraid they will be robbed every few days. As for breaking into the kingdom of God to steal money, let's not talk about being protected by the Lord of Guardians. If you want to break into Kayin's divine kingdom, you must be led by other gods. Ordinary people can only be suppressed when they enter the kingdom of God. However, the stolen coins are completely useless to the gods, and only the mortal church needs them. This feeling is like the younger brother wants to eat a lollipop, and the boss takes the lead in rushing into the other elders, and he only grabs a lollipop to satisfy the younger brother's desire. Is this possible? If it is as difficult as before to break into goddess of gold coins, and you can easily grab other things, then forget it. But as the banks spread all over the land, the power of the goddess of gold coins also increased step by step. There are gods who believe that the goddess of gold coins should be enough to enter the sequence of powerful divine power. But it is not sure which level it is in the upper, middle, and lower reaches. In short, no continues to treat Kayin as a medium or weak divine power. Because even without the protection of the guardian lord, she herself beat up a few guys who broke into her divine kingdom and planned to tie her up as a concubine. There are evil gods and demons. The coveting of the gods is easy to solve. Most of the gods are not actually coveting the money, they are just jealous of the goddess of gold coins, and her power has risen slowly in just a few decades. Some gods wanted to replace her, and some gods wanted to keep her as a pet, to extract the parts of themselves that needed her. But these actions are easily stopped by more powerful violence, whether from the guardian lord or coin himself. The coveting of money in the world is even easier to solve. A series of settings in the midi bank, as well as the elite force of the wood elves mastered by the world trees, which can be deployed anywhere in the midi at any time 
are all measures to resist mortals. From the very beginning, Lin did not design the structure of the entire bank operation on the premise that the local people would cooperate obediently. How to make the fastest response in the event of a robbery, how to deal with those who stop the bank and collect tolls, and how to prevent the Lord from imposing exorbitant taxes when he sees the people using the bank. The bank and the wood elves have a set of corresponding rules. And once the wood elves are dispatched, they can kill them but never hurt them. If you can silence your mouth, you will never show mercy. It can be said that it has completely done things. If the churches of other gods dare to act like this, it is estimated that the nobles will fight against each other, and there will be a suppression and clean up at the level of complete obsession. But when goddess of gold coins did this, no one said anything, but some people applauded. Even if some people were dissatisfied with the goddess behavior at the beginning, after receiving Kay Yin's explanation, everyone stood behind the goddess in unison to support her. Kay Yin said, It is your money that is deposited in my kingdom of God. Your money is being robbed, I want to watch it happen and then do nothing. The part of the loss is to pick a few unlucky ghosts and clear their accounts directly or share it equally among everyone and deduct a robbed fee? Or should I beat those who dare to rob to death? Killing is the best. No one considers that since the bank keeps it for others, the bank should be responsible for any loss caused by abnormal transactions. This is also because most people are not qualified to hold a goddess accountable, nor have the ability to. Since you can beat those who want to steal money to death, why not beat them? It was all their money that was robbed. If the goddess is not responsible for the loss, then the loss is theirs. So after stubbornly killing a few chickens to show the monkeys, the lost nobles and lords finally calmed down a bit, and did not dare to continue to think about the bank. No one wants to see a legion of wood elves descending from the sky like magical soldiers, directly slapping themselves by surprise and mercilessly. However, there is no way to rob it clearly which does not mean that there are no other means. So far, banks only have deposit and withdrawal services. Its function is similar to that of Fikian and Jiaozi in ancient times in my hometown, which is convenient for ordinary people to travel long distances with light clothes. It's not a real game of wearing a hundred thousand guan and riding a crane down to Yangzhou. What is the level of one hundred thousand guan? Regardless of the weight of the holder, 100,000 copper coins can be strung together to form a thick gold thread coat. It can be used as armor, and it can be regarded as a heavy tank on the battlefield. But after countless small money is gathered to form a considerable sum of money, it can do some things that could not be done before, and such a function is hard to be ignored. Such as crowdfunding, stock listing and other behaviors, the original intention is just like this. It's just that crowdfunding and the stock market need a more mature financial environment and a stable society to operate. Most people still focus on the business that the gold coin goddesses bank does not intend to operate, that is, lending. In fact, many people are puzzled by the fact that the goddess of gold coins has no intention of lending money to earn interest after taking the savings. They are jealous that such a huge amount of funds is placed there. Since there is no way to grab it, they can always borrow it. But the goddess doesn't play lending yet. For this reason, many lobbyists found the goddess to lobby, and even found a certain original voter, trying to persuade this powerful magician. It's a pity that in the bank, in front of the holy emblem of the goddess of gold coins, these lobbyists can only get mechanical canned responses. There is no good or bad and of course it is impossible to agree to or refuse anything, just meaningless nonsense being uttered again and again. Even so, the goddess was a little tempted by these people's proposals. The reason is simple. Lending money is part of their plan to help people. And those who have been helped will of course be grateful to the goddess, and the collection of power of faith has not exploded. It's just that most people's plans are immature, and the safety issues alone are not thorough making the loaned money very insecure. Coupled with the fact that when someone was a goddess's electorate, he repeatedly warned against the dangers of lending to earn interest, so Kayin has never let go of this aspect. 
the magician in the holy city of Estelai is even simpler, saying that he has lost his status as a voter and can no longer influence the goddess. No matter how much you talk to him, it's a waste of saliva. Then see off. No one really dared not leave. Because if you don't want to go out straight, you will go out sideways. Mitty doesn't have much sympathy for those who offend powerful people and suffer misfortune, and the strong will not be polite. It is true that protecting the weak is the consensus of all, but this is not a reason for the weak to bully the strong in turn. Respect is fundamental and goes both ways. But, eventually someone will come up with a plan to impress the goddess. It's as if someone had a bank-related proposal in the past, so that the goddess of gold coins, who was a weak divine power at the time, resolutely promoted this career with an unknown future. Now there is another proposal of the same level. The specific operation method is very complicated. But to put it simply, it is to upgrade the goddess of gold coins to the status of a gold reserve bank, and then put on the shell of a second-tier bank, also collect reserves, and issue banknotes. The second-tier bank opened an account in the bank of the goddess of gold coins in the name of a private bank, and deposited all the savings funds it recruited into the goddess kingdom of God. The savings solicited here will provide interest, and there are demand deposits and fixed deposits. The custodial fee deducted by the funds entering the kingdom of goddess of gold coins will be fully borne by the second-tier banks. Use this method to attract funds. And the money solicited is the reserve of the second-tier bank. While retaining reserves and meeting withdrawal needs, the second-tier banks will carry out the business of printing banknotes and lending. These actions are preparing for a credit-based structure while establishing a gold standard economic structure. On the surface, the banknotes called vouchers save people from carrying heavy money bags, and the bank's lending business also helps those who are in urgent need or needy. But in fact, what is going on behind this whole set of things can still be seen by someone who understands. As a time traveler who has been bullied by the capital, if he is not familiar with this set, it would be a waste of paying so much tuition. And the familiarity of this whole set of operations also gave a certain magician a kind of understanding, I am afraid he is a fellow again. No matter how talented you are, people have limitations. Sometimes it is limited by vision and experience, and sometimes it is limited by environment and reality. Under such a premise, any proposal that challenges the unknown future will always have some immature and risky elements in it. However, when Lin learned that someone wanted to apply for a second-tier bank and obtain specific services and business scope, he quickly made a judgment that he met his peers, that is, another cross-traveler. Because this whole set of methods is quite mature, UU reading www.uuganshu.com is also quite familiar. It's not without flaws, though. One of them is that the second-tier bank was not established by aristocratic lords or kings, but by a powerful merchant. Although the Chamber of Commerce under its jurisdiction is not at the level of a multinational group, it is also at the top level in the local area. I don't know where the root of this self-confidence comes from. Do you think that capital can simply override power? Second, this can be regarded as the old calendar. That is, the design is too complicated, and it is obvious that I don't want people to understand it. If any business is to be successfully completed, it needs very professional financial talents. What will happen if a half-baked person wants to learn this whole set of tricks? The same is playing basketball, what will happen to elementary school students playing basketball with NBA stars? Even if he just stands still and just lifts the ball to his head, elementary school students can't even think about playing with him. So this whole set of designs is clearly intended to deceive people. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1478, Midi Financial Development In the eyes of the world, what are the benefits of a set bank? Sickle Answer, you can borrow money. The loan relationship has existed since the creation of sociality of human beings. Because of its original intention, it is a form of mutual assistance and cooperation. Although borrowing money is not a rigid demand, if you have it, it will always be useful. 
In the eyes of people with capital strength, what are the advantages of a set bank besides borrowing money? Answer, you can spend money by printing numbers on paper. No one will understand an economic theory that is too advanced, or they will pretend not to understand it. Who doesn't want to be able to print and spend money desperately? Compared with opening gold, silver, and copper mines, the cost of printing numbers on paper is almost negligible. So for a while, this kind of set-up bank, which was launched after learning half of the system, sprung up all over the land like mushrooms. And it has nothing to do with the first founder, because that person put all the bank regulations he created on the forum for people to watch at will. Of course, there are many capable people who get carried away printing money and directly print banknotes at the price of waste paper. Everyone doesn't look at the zero on the banknotes at all, but like bartering, the banknotes are exchanged with people on the basis of weight. Sickle. However, this situation did not last long, and this kind of bank will of course be cast aside. Even the founders have to face the anger of depositors because they can't get their deposits back. For many where the rule of law is not yet sound, such people usually do not have a good end. Since these banknotes have no official status and have not been officially recognized by the goddess of gold coins, they are even more capable of causing trouble, printing the zero on the banknote denomination in the sky in a short period of time. So they all face the same problem, that is the problem of trust. It's just that a set of banks that can restrain their urge to print money can take advantage of being backed by the goddess of gold coins, making most people who get carried away seeing the high interest income ignore possible risks. In other words, this is a new thing in the land of confusion, and no one realizes that there is a risk in it. Just looking at the name of the goddess of gold coins, I foolishly believed it. Look at those banks that print money and print skyrocketing, they can also attract funds in the early stage, which is a proof. Although it failed to completely replace the official bank of the goddess of gold coins, all the funds of all depositors within the area of influence were moved from the goddess's bank to the private bank. But the funds gathered are also enough for these emerging bankers to do a lot of things. Lending money to the poor and helping the self-motivated to start a business is bullshit. The first move of the emerging bankers was to lend money to the local aristocratic lords. Sickle. Medes borrowing has not yet developed to the height of credit loans, everything is mortgage loans. The collateral does not have to be in kind, it can also be some rights. And the power in the hands of the lord is the key that can directly affect a region, so the emerging bankers of the non-goddess system start from this aspect, in fact, they want to reproduce the gameplay of capital controlling power. The people who can do these things are not necessarily all from the same township of a certain time traveler. It can be said that when the amount of money reaches a certain level, as long as there is no legal or artificial restraint, those who hold the money will naturally develop in this direction. If it weren't for directly using money to hire soldiers, it would be too rough to become the boss after overthrowing the lord and it would not be easy to get the approval of the superior lord to replace the old lord. These bankers did not directly become bandit leaders, but used a more civilized method to plunder. It means that if you are a bandit, you are a bandit. If a bandit talks about civilization, is he not a bandit? Not to mention those aristocratic lords who have no intention of managing the territory and only care about their own enjoyment when they have money. In fact, there are quite a few lords who are quite far-sighted. After they have sufficient funds, they start various infrastructure construction and enrichment measures such as building bridges and paving roads, thickening city walls, and raising cattle and horses. Whether it is a lord who is already struggling or a wealthy lord, who would dislike having more money in his hands and being able to do more things. Even if the money has to be repaid after all, it's not the deadline for repayment yet. Sickle. Lost in the past, of course, there are lending behavior. But the Lord's loan is usually to find his superior Lord, or to look for those seemingly wealthy colleagues with a shy face. No matter who you are looking for, there is nothing honorable about reaching out to someone for a loan. Who has ever met a money owner who came to the door by himself and used all kinds of tricks to trick people into borrowing money? 
even a lord who had no purpose and no intentions would be taken aback by the prospects depicted by various development plans. Then they borrow money that they don't need to borrow, and do things that they don't need or don't need. This must be in someone's hometown, and there is a proper term, face project or mosquito restaurant. This kind of development is certainly not the end point planned by the man who designed the casing bank. After making certain achievements, he approached the goddess of gold coins again, and proposed a goddess bank plan that spread all over the land, he also asked for the status of a voter for himself. What the man said was simple. That is, the funds he can absorb, compared with the scope of his influence, I am afraid it is only one in ten thousand. Many people have learned his method, but they have not learned it well, and many troubles have occurred. Since this is a good model that helps those in need, in order to prevent other people who are not well educated from going astray, it is the best choice for the goddess of gold coins to control everything. The question of how to operate it is of course left to him, the person he is most familiar with. Sickle. This sounds like nothing wrong. But if you put it in the society before someone crossed over, it would be the local credit cooperatives annexing the state-run banks in turn, such an incredible thing that a small shrimp swallows a big whale. Of course, the goddess did not rush to agree to this beautiful-sounding vision. She is a god, even if she doesn't cast detect evil magic, she can still feel the kindness or malice in people's arms. Unless this person's acting skills are so good that he can even fool himself but the person in front of him is obviously not a talent in this area. The hypocritical smiles, exaggerated words and undisguised malice almost came out of his head. This should be placed in a certain Wall Street that travels through many hometowns. This is called the appearance of a successful person. Shrewd, capable, sharp. Unfortunately, this is not Earth. What's even more regrettable is that what that person faced was not a fat old rich man, but a god. However, Kayin did not directly agree or refuse, and only delayed the matter on the grounds of reconsideration. Doing big things is not something that can be accomplished overnight, so that person is not too pressing. Sickle. And these news, of course, passed from the mouth of the dark elf mayor to the ears of a certain half-retired crossing crowd. In addition to the fact that mayor was already working in the banking system, it also seemed that Kayin wanted to use her word of mouth to spread the word. Since someone abandoned the identity of voters, one person and one god is like being in a state of cold war, and no one is willing to bow to the other first. No one dared to speculate on the thoughts of the goddess of gold coins, however, someone's thoughts were just unnecessary. Anyway, don't that short goddess seal her account and swallow the money in it, so she can do whatever she normally has to do. Therefore, Mayor, who stayed in the banking system, became a bridge for someone to communicate with the ancient world tree Farzinus, and at the same time became the messenger of the gold coin goddess Kayin. On the other hand, this is what Mayor wants to ask. In other words, this is what the relevant forces behind her also want to ask. Borrow money, charge interest. From the creditor's point of view, there is nothing wrong with using your idle funds to make some profits for a period of time. Especially for the savings in the treasury of several major elf kingdoms, the business atmosphere in the elf kingdom itself is not very enthusiastic, and the transaction behavior is more like the exchange of gifts between people. This also caused the kingdom's treasury to accumulate a lot of coins over the years. One of the few uses of these coins, and the largest project, is the foreign trade with the human chamber of commerce. In addition, even elves who have meritorious service as rewards will be despised. One can imagine how much money the kingdom has retained. Sickle. In the past, due to the closed nature of the elf kingdom, the attitude of communicating with the outside world was as little as possible, so those coins were really useless except for melting them occasionally to make works of art. Now seeing everyone borrowing money enthusiastically and earning interest easily, the kings of several elf kingdoms couldn't sit still. With the unification of coins as the hub and fueled by the exchange of information on the forum, business transactions in the lost world are becoming more and more frequent. Although the elf kingdom is closed, 
there are still many things that need to be imported from the outside world. The reason why the trade volume in the past was not large was that we chose partners carefully and did not dare to trust outsiders. This also reduced our choices in a disguised way, and naturally there were not many places to spend money. But with the double impact of coins and information, the Kingdom of Elves is gradually opening up, and the demand for money is more than in the past. Naturally, some ideas will arise. Lin gave only one response, wait and see. As for whether the big shots listen to him or not, it's none of his business as a digger. Everything has to be explained to others clearly, and sometimes it will lead to more doubts and distrust. Don't you see that those defrauded people in their hometown who were persuaded by outsiders all kept saying that those liars were trustworthy, that it was impossible to deceive him, and that everything was true? The so-called fans of the authorities, this kind of thing is not limited to the era when fraud was rampant in my hometown. Sickle. In fact, things like bank lending are not entirely bad, the focus is on direction and control. Once out of control, you can taste the bitter fruit of the bubble burst. And wealth will be concentrated in the hands of a few people like being attracted by a black hole. Is this avoidable? Maybe it can www.mtlnovel.com but a certain traveler who has been poisoned by capital doesn't have enough wisdom to think of a good way to avoid it. He would just bury his head like an ostrich, trying to delay things until he died and couldn't see it. In fact, the crux of the problem is that the bank in my hometown is a profit-making enterprise, not a charity enterprise. When the bank must pursue profits in order to pay interest to bank depositors and pay salaries to bank employees, it is difficult to control the bank, a financial monster, to show its fangs. In other words, banks are like elephants even if they don't show their fangs. If you step up and down inadvertently, you will trample to death some bugs or small animals that don't have a high sense of existence. Do elephants kill on purpose? No that's just where the elephant stepped, and those little things that don't have eyes don't know how to escape by themselves. But no one has realized a problem, the key to lost finance is tied to a god. Sickle. In anything, those who can see the long-term trend are geniuses, and those who can see the short-term trend are talents. In this day and age where geniuses deliberately do evil and talented people come forth in large numbers, a certain pit digger hides in a dark corner and smiles sinisterly, watching the situation change quietly. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1479, German Decree Among the people who are close to a certain time-traveling group, it is not only World Tree and the elves who are concerned about the development of the bank, a certain retired Grand Duke is also very concerned. Ever since he left the affairs of the territory to his own son, the retired old duke spent his days eating, drinking and playing with public funds, and he was very happy. Even his old friend, who is the emperor of a country, couldn't stand it anymore, so he was tossing about calling people into the imperial capital every three days. Anyway, it is so convenient to order a car, and it takes only two or three days to arrive unlike the past that took more than half a month to go. Then go to the imperial capital to meet up with old friends. Maybe goodbye, not many times. And sometimes, the status of a retired old duke is suitable for doing many things that are inconvenient for other nobles. Coupled with his relationship with the magician in the holy city, he is almost about to become the emperor's exclusive liaison officer. There is no way around this. A certain magician has done too much, even if there are think tanks who specialize in research and analysis, they may not be able to fully see through that person's true intentions. So it makes sense to ask the originator of everything from time to time. Whether you tell the truth or not, or tell it all, it is always a reference. Besides, whether it is to set up a set-up bank to earn interest on lending, or to borrow money to do business, it is quite attractive to nobles. So even if the old duke didn't speak for the emperor, he still wanted to see if the duke of Cavi was suitable for the development of these things. Even if he retires, his influence will always be there. As for the family's territory, how could one not wish for it to develop more and better? A certain magician only mentioned one sentence, 
Do you still remember that His Majesty the Emperor promised him that he would consider issuing a nationwide order according to his request? Then he showed a certain document on the screen of the water mirror skill thieves, so that the old duke could see it clearly. It is written in a rich and emotional way, feeling that the subjects of the empire are suffering from debts, and there are improper behaviors such as trafficking in wives and children, or selling land titles. From now on, stop all improper sales and repayment of debts, and allow those who are unable to repay to request cancellation of all debts. If there is any improper behavior that has been performed, you can appeal to the emperor for arbitration, return the occupied territories, wives and daughters, and deprive those who are incompetent from the title of heir. This is the beginning of virtue and will never end. Writing a decree is actually a law that approves everyone's legal repudiation, and even has a strong implication. It was seen that a retired old prince had numb scalp, flushed face and rapid heartbeat, as if he was about to have a stroke. Not to mention that those who are unable to repay the money are regarded as the gospel, and those who are able to repay the money are not pretending to be stupid. Anyway, once this law is promulgated, those who pay back the money seriously will be fools in the eyes of others. In today's lost land, except for the southern Karlsruhe Empire, which is undergoing restructuring and is moving towards a country ruled by law, other countries basically follow the leader's words. There is no need to deliberately engage in steps such as third reading, announcement and implementation. This decree was promulgated by the emperor's mouth, although it did not involve other countries, or vassals of vassals. However, government affairs will have the effect of imitation. As long as it is beneficial, without the emperor's supervision, the people below or people from other countries will of course follow suit. As for the victims, there are only those who set up the set-up banks, and then there are those who deposit their money in these fake banks. As long as the decree is promulgated, it can be said that Beozun will catch all of them, and no one will be spared. For the former, the old prince only thought of one end death. Can't think of any other kind of end. But the losses of the latter are also real. Don't they deserve sympathy? In response to the old duke's question, Lin only replied, the lesser of two evils. He did not require the emperor to must promulgate the laws he proposed, and the original agreement was only to have a direct channel to Tianting. To do or not to do it, the decision is of course in the hands of the emperor, someone does not interfere. That is to say, Lin did not explain the problem of which side is more worthy of sympathy, when there are a large number of people who cannot pay their debts, they or the people who lend money. After all, the situation of the former is only on paper and has not really manifested itself, so the old duke has some concerns about the decree. In fact, two years after this conversation, the German government decree was officially promulgated by Emperor Armin Kazarnia of the Guana Empire. And in a very short period of time, it became a general decree at the consensus level of the lost ground. Of course, with the promulgation of the decree, many vendettas caused by money disputes have emerged. There are banks for creditors who deliberately owe money and do not pay back, and there are bank joint depositors for all people, whether they are unable to repay or deliberately default. Most of the money is stored in the set bank, and in the end it is really locked up, and the people who can't get a penny back, they carry out revenge actions against the set bank personnel. These people don't want to bypass the bank and go directly to creditors who owe money and don't pay it back. Because the creditors' rights do not have a clear attribution to them, it is the bank that owes them. So of course, look for these banks with clear goals. This caused turmoil in many places, but the noble lords suppressed them ruthlessly without exception. Such a result must be seen from the lending relationship before and after the appearance of the set bank. In the old days, it was very difficult for many people, no matter they were commoners or nobles, to borrow money. Even if the interest on borrowing money is quite high, people who lend out will worry about whether they can at least recover the principal, let alone earn interest. So if you want to borrow money, you must either have a good relationship or a good reputation. People who have a good relationship know each other well, and of course they know whether the other party has the ability to pay back the money. 
make sure that the money is only for a temporary emergency, rather than a lifetime of poverty. Of course, it is impossible for a person with a good reputation to let the news that he owes money and not repay it spread to the outside world, damaging his reputation. And most of these people are capable, even if they can't get it for a while, he still has a way to borrow another one and pay back the expired one. If the reputation is really bad, then borrowing money becomes delusional. Therefore, in this land where the financial economy is still quite backward, the establishment of a loan relationship is not that simple. Even when each loan is established, the person who lends it has the psychological preparation that it cannot be recovered. More importantly, if the bankrupt is declared because the money has not been paid, the creditors usually will not choose to kill them all. Instead, the debt will be settled in other ways. Aristocrats selling their land and titles, ordinary people selling their sons and daughters or even their wives are of course normal operations. But no one will go for this goal from the very beginning. Unless both parties really have their own calculations, borrowing money is not for borrowing money, but for seeking family property. But as long as it is a normal loan relationship, no matter what the final outcome is, basically people can still live. Besides, the lost land of this era is not a society where it is difficult to move without money. With a knife, you can support yourself by hunting. With a little strength, you can open up wasteland in the wild, grow crops, and support yourself in the same way. In Midi, it is not so difficult to survive. But when the profit-chasing suitcase banks appeared, they are under pressure to pay depositors interest and employee salaries, so they have to lend out the funds they have collected, or invest in other projects that can generate benefits. In addition, this is an imperfect economic system, and there is no relevant financial regulatory system at all. In this market where the set-level banks collect deposits and lend money, it can be said that it is a night of ghosts and a group of demons dancing wildly. Let me just say the simplest example. The first people to create a set of banks obviously had advanced financial knowledge. Know to keep a certain amount in reserve for those who exchange vouchers for coins. But other people who imitate don't understand it at all. They don't know what kind of reserve fund, if they save 1000 gold coins, they dare to lend paper money worth 2000 gold coins or 3000 gold coins. Otherwise, how did the depreciation of banknotes come from? In addition to the problem of the bank's own capital utilization, they also have considerable problems in lending. In the old days, only those who really needed it and had insufficient funds at hand would consider borrowing money. But for a land where the financial environment is quite primitive, there are relatively few people who will encounter this situation. Even if you encounter it, you will ask someone close to you for help instead of looking for an unfamiliar bank. But when the set-up banks appear and there is pressure to lend money, mutual aid and poverty relief are all bullshit. Remember the main point, banks are for profit organizations, not charities. Since the purpose is to make a profit, those who really need a sum of money may be able to tide over the difficulties or they may not as long as they cannot provide collateral, they will be excluded by the bank first. From the standpoint of the bank, they have no obligation or right to take other people's money to bet on whether a person can turn over. The best lenders are the nobles and lords of various places, because these people must be able to come up with some valuable collateral. Some country gentry and landowners are also available, but most of these people are people who save money in banks, not people who need to borrow money. As for those civilians who have nothing, unless the people who opened the bank have other ideas, they will approach this direction. But these ideal lenders have no need to borrow money, so what should we do? At this time, it is up to the people in the casing bank to take the initiative to describe all kinds of beautiful visions. And this vision happens to be impossible for them to achieve with their original strength, so at this time the bank can intervene with the reason of helping people realize their dreams. In the case of noble lords, it is all kinds of infrastructure construction and business establishment, as if they can be sold smoothly after making a piece of garbage, making a big profit in the market. If any benevolent policy comes out, the citizens will work hard to have children, work hard, 
and pay taxes hard. For ordinary people www.mtlnovel.com it means starting a business and becoming a boss, turning a small workshop into a big factory, renting a house to buy a house, and upgrading a 10 square meter burrow to a 1000 square meter mansion. It was as if borrowing this money, turning myself into a landlord and old fortune every minute, and living a happy life. In short, the bank has lent out the money and earned interest, the people who borrowed the money have done their own big things, improving the quality of life and social status. The seemingly beautiful situation where both parties win, actually fails to take into account two important points. First, is the thing under the beautiful vision really necessary? Second, is the borrower really capable of repaying the money in the future? From the standpoint of the bank, with collateral and creditors' rights in hand, you can carry out various operations, and you can make money without losing money. However, people who borrow money are essentially prepaying their own future. If the future self deserves to live such an enjoyable life and is qualified to stand in that social status, then there is nothing to say. The advance payment here is just to enjoy an advance. But what if it doesn't deserve it? Is everything just a mentality of slapping a swollen face to pretend to be a fat man? Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1480, The Big Pit of Lost Finance The worst part is that Mitty is inexperienced in all this. That is to say, people can't learn a lesson until they encounter a broken head. With the emergence of set-up banks, the difficulty of borrowing money is not the same as in the past, and banks are also contributing to the pressure of performance behind the scenes. How many people really realize that the money borrowed today will be repaid tomorrow? There is no lesson learned, and there is no deterrent force, so it is inevitable to advance the future into an overdraft future. When a large number of overdrafts occur, banks start to attack the collateral and borrowers for their own profits, and the whole society will inevitably be turbulent. Many things that are considered essential are received by the bank, even the borrower person. What choices will the original power holders make at this time? Because of someone's deliberate actions, the bank is separated from those in power, and even has a vaguely antagonistic attitude. The two parties can cooperate, but it is impossible for any noble lord, even a king or emperor, to override the goddess of gold coins and order the goddess to do anything. In addition, Midi's finance is still in its infancy, and as noble lords with military responsibilities, they are usually not very rich in liquidity. Even though there is no war between countries in this era, threats from nature still exist. To guard against monsters and uncivilized homo sapiens, and to protect the continuation of civilization, some lords choose to form their own armies, while others entrust adventurer guilds or mercenary guilds. These are all paid in real money. That's why those rich merchants and country gentry who have spare money are confident that after establishing a set of banks, they can easily lend funds to the nobles and do a business that is sure to make a profit without losing money. Therefore, the establishment of a set of banks, and the main depositors are from the private sector. The nobles are too late to do things, how can they have spare money? Midi loans are all short term, one year, two years, and up to three years. When the first wave of loans expired and it was time to repay the loan, many people suddenly found that they enjoyed it and did what they needed to do, but they did not have enough income to repay the loan. You must know that the loan interest rate of MIDI is still a habit of going past. That is to borrow one and repay two, the better thing is that the interest is 60% of the principal, this kind of scary usury. However, can the investment income of supporting public construction and private investment really reach such a high level? And that's not even talking about those failed investments. So when the noble lords found themselves the target of a bunch of lowly merchants who now called themselves bankers, their own people no longer belong to them, and a large amount of assets have been transferred to the bankers. Even the citizens who belong to themselves have become the bankers. Although there is no such thing as a slave now, their identity changes are similar to those of slaves. At this time, the emperor of the Guana Empire lamented the suffering of the people and implemented a benevolent government, allowing everyone to forgive their debts. 
who would not be happy to carry out this order. And this is the biggest failure of the emerging set of banks, the separation of wealth and power. Thinking about the Chinese and foreign history of my hometown, the most famous person in China is Liu Biwei, and everyone knows the ending. The most famous foreign lending group is the European Knights Templar. Putting aside those unverifiable legends, the Knights Templar relied on the advantages of Christianity in the Crusades and quickly gained ground. In particular, religion is unique in accumulating wealth, allowing the Knights Templar to have sufficient funds to lend money, forming the original banking model in Europe. At that time, the Knights Templar not only lent money to nobles, but also to the kings of various countries. The standard was rich and powerful. With such a powerful army as the Templar Knights, coupled with the presence of the Pope, they are always in the forefront, and can even affect national policy or regional policy affairs. It stands to reason that the Knights Templar should be able to develop into a transnational trust and become the black hand behind many puppet countries. But the fact is that the Knights Templar was taken over by Philip IV, the king of the country who wanted to renege on his debts. Since then, the Knights Templar has become a legend, in every sense of the word. The continuation of the Knights Templar's lending business is Venice, Italy, which is also recognized as the historical starting point of the modern bank. The bank after that, just like the situation in my hometown, has always been the pocketbook of the powerful. When anyone is short of money, he will go for it. If it is too fat to raise, and he has doubts about shaking the country or surpassing himself, he will kill it and copy it. Like Shen Wanzhen, Hu Suiyan, and the like. Until World War II, the tragedy of the financial circle can be said to have reached its peak. One of the factors in the rise of anti-Semitism is that the behavior of Jewish billionaires is too offensive. It is true that a few people are not enough to represent an entire race, but it is also true that they have become an excuse to raise the butcher's knife. The end result was the death of millions of innocent people, and the suffering of many more. Then capital seemed to turn over, and became the behind-the-scenes hand of the world, controlling the lifeline of many countries. Maybe not all are directly controlled, but everyone has to follow the rules of the game designed by these capitals. The result is like a group of basketball club players from elementary school to university team up to face off against the NBA fantasy team. Perhaps this type is the ultimate goal that the fellow who was the first to create a casing bank wanted to achieve. And he took it seriously. But that person made a mistake that most people would make, that is, to look at a different world with his own eyes and ideas. In the hometown I have experienced, the reason why capital can run amok is because the rules of the game in the whole world are like this. Anyone who wants to break the rules of the game will have to face the lesson of the superstate controlled by capital Magdi. How strong is Magnesium Emperor? Comparing the military budgets of various countries in 2004 in the impression of a traveler, the Magnesium Empire is equal to the second country and the 32nd country, and the total military budget of the 31 countries is only about one Magnesium Emperor. Perhaps the military budget is not equal to the strength of the military force but it can be regarded as a more intuitive comparative figure. However, such a country is controlled by capital behind it. This allows the financial group to reveal a face that has never been seen in thousands of years of human history. It can be said that without the support of Emperor Mei, the tragedies of the Jews, Shen Wanzhen, Hu Suiyan, etc. will happen again and again. But is the world really a better place if these people escape their tragic fate? Or did the victim become the perpetrator? I don't mention the things that are too far away, let's just say that I met that dear friend who might be a fellow villager in Midi. He may think that he is still in a world backed by Midi, so capital can mess around unscrupulously. Unexpectedly, he was handed over by a German government order. In the history of home and abroad, such things as German government orders have only appeared in the island country next door. As a country that has actually implemented militarism since the Kamakura Shogunate, the appearance of the Toku Decree is actually not a good thing. To put it simply, some low-level warriors and people are living in poverty and need to borrow money to survive. When the debts were so heavy that they could no longer borrow, 
the people above came forward to take the lead and cancelled the debts. At this stage, the only people who seem to be losing money are businessmen and local tyrants who lend money. In fact, life has not improved, and the economic environment is also very poor. These people at the bottom still need to borrow money to live. However, after reneging on debts once, how dare those rich people lend money to those who will, or are destined to renege on their debts? The result is that I could borrow money to get by, but now I can't even borrow money, and there is only a dead end. To put it bluntly, the German government decree is just a policy of drinking poison to quench thirst in real history, and it will not end well. But the situation in Lost Land is different. Midi's loan is a special shaped product that was urged by those set up banks, and the ordinary people couldn't control themselves when they first came into contact with new things. It is true that there is something wrong with people who do not control their desires and who are too stupid to be deceived. But those guys who have been trying to deceive people from the beginning should bear greater responsibility. Fortunately, the main target of the set bank is still the noble lord. People in this class have no moral bottom line, so no matter what kind of environmental changes they face, they can quickly adapt. Therefore, from the appearance of the set bank to the bubble stage of the entire lost economy, it took only two or three years. In such a time, there is no way to transform the ordinary people of MIDI into a habit of spending ahead of time and overdrawing their own future. The only ones who are hurt are the money bags in the eyes of the powerful. It can be said that if they don't make a move today, they will reap it sooner or later. Someone once said that socialism is not suitable for the current lost ground, because there is no soil for germination. The constitutional monarchy can only be implemented in the Karlsruhe Empire, because apart from there, the common people do not have enough awareness and ambition to make progress. In an incorrect environment, it is normal to forcefully promote things that are not suitable for development, and eventually backfire on one's own body. To use an inappropriate metaphor, let's talk about the hometown of a certain traveler. If someone goes to sell pork dishes in Japan, let alone close down because of no business, they may be dragged out and beaten to death on the spot. However, having said so much, I haven't talked about the worst part yet. That is, the goddess of gold coins who was regarded as the most reliable by the fellow who founded the casing bank at the beginning. Lin guessed that in the fellow countryman's mind, the goddess of gold coins should not be bypassed, and must be accepted. So according to the news someone heard www.mtlnovel.com that fellow spared no effort to explain how much power, how much money can be earned, and how many people's beliefs can be harvested after the bank develops the lending business. However, the goddess of gold coins has not let go of her mouth leaving the set bank in a state of chaos during the Warring States period. When the complaints arose, the fellow could no longer use the excuse of gaining faith to continue to persuade the goddess. It can only continue to emphasize how much control the loaned-out money can give back, and how much money can be earned. And only the goddess can clean up the mess in front of her and stabilize the financial system of lost land. The reason has been updated, but the point of making money remains the same. When the decree comes out, the world will be different. The word virtuous government is not used casually. This is a decree that can buy a large number of people's hearts in a short period of time. Not only those who were unable to repay cheered loudly for their lords, but the vassals wept bitterly for the lord's compassionate behavior, and people did not forget to praise the goddess of gold coins loudly after receiving the blessing of the decree of virtue. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1481, The Risk of Eating Melon It is true that the gods will be affected by beliefs, but the gods will also consciously control such things, instead of completely letting the beliefs go wild and out of control, and in turn control themselves. It's like the end of the wars of religion 200 years ago, when the interests of the church were decoupled from the interests of the gods, and the church was mercilessly abandoned. Then with the beliefs gathered from lending behaviors, and the beliefs obtained after the decree was issued, will Kayin have many choices in the face of the evil thoughts and righteous thoughts hidden in them? The three gods who have the best friendship with her, Guardian, 
justice and life, will let her lean towards the evil camp? Besides, giving charcoal in the snow and icing on the cake, which kind of action can reap more gratitude? All of this became the biggest miscalculation of the fellow, the pursuit of the goddess of gold coins is inconsistent with the pursuit of capital. Unless someone can find a way to reverse the concept of the goddess of gold coins, and someone sets up a firewall for banks not to lend money, Kayin will never become the backer of lost capital. Or, set up another god. The financial and economic development of the land is lost, and someone dare not say that it is completely controlled in the palm of his hand. But as long as we set a few general directions, there is a way to prevent Midi from going down the old path of the earth. From the very beginning, excluding the act of lending from the concept of a bank in the goddess of gold coins was Lin's most persistent move. Now it seems that this move is not too bad. On the surface, it seems to block the flow of funds and hinder the prosperity and development of the economy. However, Midi's current economic volume has not yet touched the threshold of the industrial revolution in his hometown, and there is no need for a large amount of investment funds to help the economy grow. The root cause lies in the inconvenience of transportation. The magical beasts crawling on the ground and the magical birds flying in the air, these unconventional creatures make the traffic in lost land always under threat. Even if an industrial system is established, the mass-produced products cannot be transported to other places for dumping. If the local people only digest them, sooner or later the market will be saturated and there will be no one to sell. At this time, in order to maintain itself, the industrial system has to engage in vicious competition. Without good transportation and no dumping ground, vigorously developing the industrialization system is actually no different from suicide. After all, for the development of capital, the two methods of exploitation and dumping are indispensable. At best, it's done a little more secretly, and then whitewashed, in fact, it's all about grabbing money hard. For example, the automobile research and development and manufacturing center established by a certain person in conjunction with the family of the Grand Duke of Carvi, and brothers Ruan Wenzeo and Wen Yu of the Jialong Chamber of Commerce, has indeed encountered a period of development in the past 12 years. But cars are an important part of improving the traffic environment after all. Perhaps the sales volume is not as explosive as it was in the early days. While its income is offsetting the cost, it can still afford the research and development funds, forming a virtuous circle. Although the profit dividends of the three original shareholders were not much, in fact, the old Duke and the Ruan brothers focused on the convenience brought by the car itself, rather than the money earned from selling the car. So don't worry about such a change. A time traveler who is not short of money, of course, is not worried. When he knew that his desire to own a magic tower was blocked intentionally or unintentionally by the world, Lin had no desire to save money. To put it bluntly, without the backing of the hometown of a certain traveler, the global economic system, and the superpower Miidi, it is simply impossible for lost capital to grow to the height of the earth. Instead, it will only be like a pig that has fattened itself up, making people salivate. To prevent the gold coin goddess's bank from chasing profits is actually to prevent the thousand-year-old man who has eaten a lot of supplements in a state of being in a state of inadequacy, and directly compensated himself to death. What's more? Capital is not a thousand-year-old man, but a highly poisonous medicine. However, secular banks need manpower, and the Church of the Goddess also has bishops and priests. These people don't serve the Goddess while drinking the northwest wind. In other words, Kayin's bank also has the need for salary expenditure. These expenditure needs will be paid from the handling fee deducted by the bank during the deposit and withdrawal process. Moreover, there has always been an invisible point of interest in currency exchange, that is, the impurities after purifying coins. These associated metals also accumulate in considerable quantities after purification. As the only automobile research and manufacturing center in MIDI that consciously studies the direction of materials science, it is also the best outlet for these pure metals. Although a certain person has a relationship on both sides, he only serves as a bridge to connect. 
the center wants to get those pure metal ingots, of course it can't be free. Relying on these two incomes, the banks belonging to the goddess of gold coins in the mortal world can operate normally. For such a design, and the subsequent development did not deviate too much from their default goal, a certain time-traveling crowd is somewhat proud. Then when Midi's economy really grows to the point where the existing system can't bear it and needs to be changed, I probably won't be there anymore. And at that time, there should be someone who has enough wisdom to break through the predicament at that time. If you set a 10-year plan for yourself, someone thinks that it is already a super-level performance. How can it be possible to formulate an excellent system that will last forever and remain unshakable? Is it true that time travel is omnipotent? Besides, if such a thing really appears, it does not mean that the whole society is not progressing, and the atmosphere has entered a stagnant state. Only after a thousand years have passed, the environment has not changed much, and the old methods can still be used to manage it. In short, in the twelve years since I decided to stay, even if I didn't appear on the front stage, a certain time traveler feels that I have lived a fulfilling life. As if in criminal psychology, the arsonist always returns to the scene to watch his mess. Being able to witness the changes in things that I have promoted with my own eyes also satisfies someone's perverted psychology virtually. It can be regarded as adding some time-killing items to this lost place without entertainment. But eating melons is risky. It's as if those arsonists always left clues and evidence because they returned to the scene, and were caught alive by the police. A certain time traveler who stayed in the lost land was blocked by a real boss just because he was eating melons. In the entire bank operation that Lin planned, the elder who was most afraid of seeing Brutus, the Lord of Wealth. One of the eight lords of power is the that magicians can't offend the most, and it is also the object that their own anti-divine power magic can't work. The process of this big boss appearing in front of Lin was also quite dramatic. On a sunny afternoon, Lin, who woke up after taking a nice nap, was leaning on the windowsill of the attic, feeling the cool breeze blowing on his face. The lost environment is still in a natural state, without industrial pollution. My home in the holy city can be considered to be in a suburb with a good location, and the scenery and air are of course more pleasant. And this time is also the time for the three kittens to return after going out to explore. It is said that the three kittens who came to the holy city of Estelai with the grey cat Hardy have grown up enough. They are at the age of being naughty and capable of facing challenges, so they are also playing. But they will come back at this time because someone who got up will prepare three bowls of cold milk for them on the windowsill. This is afternoon tea time, but someone is drinking midi tea with only dried petals and no tea leaves, while the demon cats are drinking iced milk. But something is different today. Behind the magic cats walking on the edge of the roof, a leopard more than doubled in size followed. I don't know if the magic cats didn't notice it at all, or the leopard was brought by them. The three cats and one leopard lined up in a straight line, unexpectedly harmonious. Somebody conjured up another shallow bowl like a ghost. Pour the same milk and invite this unexpected guest. Just watching them bow their heads and lick the milk while someone drinks scented tea brewed with hot milk. This authentic way of making milk tea, instead of boiling tea with water and then adding milk, is quite popular at home. At least it makes up for the small flaws in the taste of scented tea itself. But because it's hot, the magic cats can't accept it. It was only after the three cats and one leopard drank the milk in the bowl in unison that the three demon cats realized that there was a big leopard beside them, and they were startled. Lily jumped up in fright, her front paws were on the upper edge of the window sill. Nini jumped out and climbed dangerously on the eaves of the roof, so she didn't fall down. As the only male cat, Bulet and Fang turned over in fright, and quickly struggled to stand up again. If you have a mobile phone, you can take the picture just now and upload it as a short video, it should be popular. The reason why their reaction was so great was that in the perception of the three magic cats, they did not notice the existence of this leopard at all. It wasn't until I saw it with both eyes that I suddenly realized that there was a giant squatting beside them, drinking milk from a bowl like them. 
And this is what Lin was curious about. Except for his two eyes, all his detection magic was unable to observe the leopard in front of him, that is to say, this leopard should not exist. But it did drink up the milk it poured itself. Could this be a ghost in the daytime? However, Lin also had some speculations about the identity of this person. Because it was not the first time I saw this leopard. The last time I encountered it was when the Suan robe had just been made. The basalt holy spirit from his hometown is showing off its power www.mtlnovel.com This has attracted a counterattack from the bewildered land. In addition to the leopard, there are seven other animals, representing the eight powers. The incarnations of the eight masters of power each shot a piece of power that could not be more pure into the body of the magician who did not know that he had caused trouble. The original intention was to destroy Suan Yu, a foreign in the robe but unexpectedly, such actions coincided with the number of days, and instead created the demigod body of Suan Yu who was lost in the ground. It also made someone along the way, it's just that the process was extra hard. Perhaps it was the tragic experience at that time that made someone shudder involuntarily. But since the big boss has come to him, ignoring him is not an option. So after coaxing away the three cats with the same temperament as when they were young, Lin greeted, Your Majesty Brutus? It's been a long time. It's been a long time, magician. The leopard imitated the appearance of a cat, licked its paw, and moved it to its face. At the end, he said again, I didn't expect that little magician back then to be able to grow into what he is today. With a few dry laughs, Lin said, It's a fluke, a fluke. If Your Majesties work harder, I might be gone. I can't stand here and talk today. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1482, Purpose of the Lord of Wealth The leopard body of the Lord of Wealth seemed to be familiar to him, he took a step, and jumped into the window sill lightly and deftly. The attic room where a magician is located is not small. The big bed, which is more than enough to sleep three people, takes up very little space. There are also quite a few places filled with bookshelves, desks, and the like. Although the magicians of Lost Earth have worked hard to digitize various books, in addition to better preservation, it is also easier to promote. But in the holy city of Esteli, backed by the world-famous large library, physical books are still a landscape of the city. After giving up the method of relying on the nether dragon to go home, Lin's room has a little more breath of life. It's not as clean as before, as if it was evacuated the next day, which is not surprising. The leopard jumped onto one of the small tables for guests, one of the chairs, and patted the table with its front paws. Although it is not stated clearly, it is obvious why the intention is. It seems that today will cost some saliva. How big was the conflict between the Lord of Wealth and the Goddess of Gold Coins and the Lord of Guardians? Someone doesn't know the details. Even the collision between the two parties was only known after the fact. But since they are gods walking similar paths, contact is inevitable. It is said that the gods who are lost in the land are not all the guys who live in the kingdom of God and stay at home. Perhaps because it was achieved after the Dark Ages, the new gods who are only 700 and 800 years old can be regarded as quite young and energetic. Even if they are not on the way to seek revenge, they will use various identities to smuggle into the lost land to gather folk tales. Find ways to expand your own concepts, or incorporate similar concepts into yourself. If there is already a occupying a similar concept, then find a way to accept the other party as a or concubine. In the eyes of believers, the combination of the two parties can achieve the effect that one plus one is greater than two. Of course, the one with the most advantage is still the one in the main position. It is true that gods will be influenced by the wishes of all living beings and their beliefs, and even lose themselves because of this, becoming the in everyone's mind. But the young lost new gods haven't reached that point yet. They are quite keen on taking the initiative, expanding the concept of belief, and promulgating oracles to their own churches to control their actions especially consciously control the behavior of the church instead of letting them mess around in the name of God. 
the religious wars more than 200 years ago are a lesson. Don't think it's just the defeat of the secular church, which cuts off theocracy from the political power, but it actually does harm to the gods themselves. Because the church is doing evil and killing, the reduction of their faith is the most deadly part. Although the war has also cultivated many fanatics, but this plus one minus, just look at the choices of the gods to know which side is more and which side is less. The second is that too many good or evil thoughts that are contrary to one's original intention will cause the alignment of the gods themselves to be skewed. Whether the good degenerates into an evil god, or the evil sublimates into a good god, it is a very serious injury to them. Because for primitive believers, the gods change sides is like a betrayal of the believers. How could it be possible to continue to believe in such a god? That would definitely be turning her back on her. Look at those idol stars who travel through the hometown. If the character design collapses, how much effort will it take for them to rebuild a character design or make up for the broken part? And how much loss will be incurred in this process, the reason is similar. Having said so much, I just want to emphasize how much the Lord of Wealth attaches great importance to the bank. It's not that after being beaten back once, you really stop completely and don't care. Whether it is long or short, the evolution of the bank is of course in the eyes of the Lord of Wealth. Brutus would be lying if he said that he was not envious of Kayin's change from a weak divine power that was about to be forgotten to a powerful divine power sequence that is now on the same level as her. But what about jealousy? If you miss the opportunity, even if you open a bank yourself, you will have a difference in the eyes of the believers if you fight against Xiao Kayin. It's just that this time, the self who was slower than the last one will be classified as the secondary one. This was unacceptable to Brutus. Banks are not like churches established by gods in the world. The main function of the church is to organize believers, and the bank is a means of using convenience to attract new and old believers. If the Lord of Wealth copied the rules and used all of Kay Yin's methods, he would just replace the portrait on the coins with his own. This approach will not yield much good results, it can only pick up some meat left by Kay Yin who was eaten. If you set up a separate system, even if you have the foundation of the powerful supernatural power of the old brand, you will not be able to compete with the Kian bank that has already deployed all over the place. It would be even worse if it integrated its own banking system into the bank of coin. Because the believers will not seriously distinguish the differences, they only attribute all the credit to the creator. So even if it is to be done, it is necessary to find differences in homogeneity so that believers can clearly know which they are borrowing the power of. Don't be grateful to the wrong when you are grateful, that would be embarrassing. In fact, for the Lord of Wealth, the best situation is that she has the entire Kayin system under her command. It's just that I tried it before, but was inexplicably repulsed by the Guardian Lord. Now that Kayin has grown up, if he tries again, it will really be a one-on-two situation. Brutus is not confident enough to face two powerful gods alone. However, the failure of the set bank made her see an opportunity. However, Brutus did not contact the mortal who proposed the idea of the suitcase bank rashly, but found the man who sniped the suitcase bank and made it collapse. What Lin did was not secret, not even deliberately concealed. It's just that his position is too far away from most people, so people can't see him. But as a deity who is always concerned, what a certain magician does is in the eyes of Brutus. There are many things that the Lord of Wealth wants to know, but what he wants to know most is why this man deliberately designed a sniping method against the bank. The German government decree is almost equivalent to a means of dismantling the stage, but it brings back the loan relationship of MIDI to its original shape. That is to say, People who are not close or trustworthy people who have the expectation of borrowing or not repaying, otherwise they will not be able to borrow money at all. If you don't find the reason, or find a way to counter the decree, even if you jump down to operate this bank, there is a high probability of failure. Brutus thought so. To find the reason, the most direct way is of course to find the instigator. Who is more suitable than the person who designed the decree to find a way to counter the decree of virtue? 
neither candidate could avoid the magician in front of him, so the Lord of Wealth came to him. Although Lin was unwilling to face this old man in every possible way, he was also mentally prepared. What surprised him was that the boss didn't come to ask for responsibility, nor did he come to pry the wall, but directly asked the point. Do we need to talk about the real horror of the banking industry? Will it make the elder become more excited to become another devil king? If there are gods on the earth, who would believe that there is a good standing behind finance? The kind of talents who are willing to sell their souls to demons for money are considered low-end talents. What the real financial boss does should be the kind of high-end bureau that even Satan wants to find a way to enslave. But after thinking about it, Lin decided to say that nothing is more dangerous than a half-knowledge. I still remember the movies I watched before time travel. The most disgusting part is always someone half-talking, or telling people to experience it for themselves and then forcing others to do this or that. And the reasons for coercion are quite consistent, they are all in the form of emotional blackmail, and they keep saying for your own good. Or just relying on one's age or experience, one does not give any explanations, as long as people obey his command unconditionally. Fraud syndicates also know how to make up stories. When it comes to those kind of idiots, as long as others obey orders and are stingy with giving a few excuses, someone will always do what they want to do without pretending. Since I don't understand the seriousness, it's normal to do things according to my own ideas. Then in movies, I usually play the kind of person who doesn't listen to advice, insists on acting alone in horror movies, and has a big heart in disaster movies. Then there was a small of flying heads and blood, and I could go to get my lunchbox. In short, if you don't want the big boss to surprise himself and jump out to make trouble at the most disgusting time, then communication beforehand is very important. It's hard for her to come here in person, so why don't I sit down and talk frankly? However, to what extent does this big boss know the prerequisite knowledge, I still have to ask. If you want to start from the beginning, it feels like you can't finish it in three days and three nights. Lin therefore asked, Your Majesty, do you know about inflation? The leopard put its front paws on the table, tilted its head, and stared at people with its unique cat eyes. After a while, he nodded and said, I know. It is a ten yuan commodity, and one dollar can buy one tenth of it, if this commodity becomes twenty yuan, then one dollar can only buy one twentieth of it. One. That's right. Well www.mtlnovel.com it's actually a little different, but the reasoning inside is the same. Simply put, the amount used to represent a market value has increased, but its value has remained the same. Then the money per unit amount the things that can be bought will be relatively less. Under such a premise environment, we introduce banks and lending behaviors. Someone deftly turned his hand and rubbed his five fingers together and found out a Jinkian that had been conjured from nowhere. That negligible, almost non-existent divine power hurt the Lord of Wealth in the leopard body. It's like a scumbag holding a woman's things and showing off in front of another woman. Subconsciously, the leopard wanted to slap the person in front of him down with one paw. But for the time being, I still endured it and listened to him continue. Today, I have the only gold coin on the market. I deposited it in the first bank and got a certificate of deposit for a gold coin. Then the bank lent the gold coin to a needy person and got a claims on gold coins. Then the current market has the value of two gold coins on the books. Speaking of which, do you understand? Wait, wait a minute. Why are there two? Isn't there only one gold coin? Where did the second one come from? The pair of feline eyes widened beyond belief and the Lord of Wealth asked puzzled. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1483, Cause of Inflation I have a certificate of deposit for one gold coin, and the bank has a claim for one gold coin. It goes without saying that the certificate of deposit can be exchanged for one gold coin. However, the claim of this gold coin is money owed to the person who borrowed the money, but it is also an asset to the bank. Since it is an asset, 
it can be bought, sold, and transferred to anyone. Because anyone who takes over the debt has the right to take back a gold coin lent from the borrower. Couldn't this be money? Think carefully, think seriously, there is nothing wrong with it. But Brutus fell into an inexplicable entangled state. Lin continued, the story is not over yet. Of course the person who borrowed the money has a use for it, so he spent the gold coin. And this gold coin will become a reward, or the price paid for purchasing a certain commodity, and it will be in the hands of the second person. The person deposits the gold coin in the bank again and obtains a deposit certificate for the gold coin. The bank lent the money again, claiming a gold coin. So now on the market book, there are a total of four gold coins worth. They are two certificates of deposit for one gold coin, and two claims for one gold coin. When this gold coin passes through more banks, although more people owe money, it can create more book value at the same time. But there is only one gold coin. Where does the rest of the money come from? Brutus said. The magician in front of him found out from nowhere a voucher issued by a certain bank, which was quite beautifully made. The texture is meticulous and complicated, and there are even other details hidden in the details, full of anti-counterfeiting measures for modern banknotes on the earth. Lin pinched the two ends of the banknote and pulled it symbolically. This action made the Lord of Wealth suddenly realize. Dare to say that the purpose of this piece of paper is not that it is lighter than gold coins, so it is easy to carry. There are other intentions. There is always only one gold coin. But as long as the bank recognizes the value of the voucher and the market recognizes its value, then a gold coin can theoretically generate countless book values under the operation of the bank. These book values can be used to issue vouchers. The only way to reduce this book value is to pay off the debt. When the debt is all zeroed, the actual real value will be left in the market, that is, the gold coin. Speaking of this, a certain magician took a breath looked at the leopard who was bowing his head in thought, and asked, Have you heard anything after listening so much? Brutus looked up and said, According to what you said, inflation doesn't happen just because someone prints too many vouchers, which lowers the real value that the voucher denomination can represent. In fact, in the process of bank lending, money will also increase. Yes, Your Majesty. You know my situation too. In my hometown, it is well known that printing money indiscriminately will cause inflation, so if the government with the power to print money no longer prints money, inflation will not happen. However, the fact is that regardless of whether the government is printing money indiscriminately or not, inflation still occurs every year. Why is that? Because the real point of inflation is naturally generated by banking business, it cannot be prevented, at best suppressed. No one dared to tell outsiders about this matter, but it really existed. I used to hear people say that money is the fastest way to make money. I always thought this sentence was an exaggerated and ridiculous sentence, but I never thought that this sentence is actually a big truth describing the real situation. As a who intends to start from this aspect, the Lord of Wealth certainly cannot give up his original idea based on these alarmist words. She tried to argue and said, but you didn't say it, as long as the debt can be fully paid off, the state of the market will return to its original state. Hey, your majesty, just think about it if you pay it off completely. People have misfortunes and fortunes, and investment also has profits and losses. If you encounter someone who doesn't pay, or someone who deliberately reneges on his power, what should we do? Besides, I haven't introduced the factor of interest yet. In the situation I just mentioned, for every gold coin deposited, you can get the interest of one gold coin. For every gold coin borrowed, the interest of one gold coin also needs to be paid. How would things change when this element was added? What if the banks buy and sell their claims and exchange them for cash that can be used directly? Borrowing and repaying usurious loans is a common thing in a land where the financial economy is not developed. After all, the risk of borrowing is too great, and there are not enough benefits. Who wants to lend money to others? No matter how close it is. 
that's why Brutus didn't care about whether such an example would be too exaggerated. And the knowledge of mathematics, especially the simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, is not difficult to learn with the wisdom of gods. Not to mention that in the concept of the Lord of Wealth, such knowledge can also be used to calculate how much wealth one owns. Hearing the situation told by the magician in front of him, Brutus could easily draw the result. The problem is that when the first debt is due to be repaid, there is only one gold coin in the market as the basis. Where can there be a second gold coin to pay the interest? To solve this problem, whether it is difficult or not, it is not easy to say, that is to borrow the second gold coin and pay the interest on the debt of the first gold coin. Anyway, borrowing is just paper. Then you can hang out for a while until the time comes when your second debt comes due. Well, it seems that the day when the debt in the market is fully liquidated is far away. The Lord of Fortune draws such a conclusion. But this also made Brutus think of another question, and asked, How did you solve this problem in your hometown? My hometown? Someone showed a strange expression, winked, and after struggling CAI said, before the harvested leeks regerminate, the idle sickle is of course to find a new batch of leeks. Cut it and look for it, find it, and cut it, cut it and look for it, and so on. Simply put, it is to use the dividends brought by growth to offset the debts that have grown in the market. There are mainly two ways to grow here. One is the growth of external profits. It can be trade, plunder, or war. Anyway, it is to rob other people's things to pay off their own debts. But it's just a way to pass the loss on to others, not really solve the problem. The other is population growth. Although the debt in the overall market is increasing, as long as the population increases faster than the debt increase, then these debts are spread equally to everyone, and there will not be too much pressure, and it may even feel slowed down. At this time, people will say, because people in the past suffered from such hardships, it is okay for people now to suffer the same way, maybe they are more relaxed. But if the population doesn't grow as fast as the debt increases, that means the burden spread equally to everyone is increasing. It was hard enough before, and it's even harder now. In such an environment, it is difficult not to be complained about. However, after the population increases, it can be expected that the speed of debt increase in the future will also become faster. Although the debt problem that is currently due has been suppressed for the time being, the problem in the future will be even greater. In other words, this whole system is like taking poison to satisfy your hunger when you are hungry. In the end, you can only choose one of the two, either starve to death or be poisoned to death. A certain person finished talking about his situation as if complaining, and the Lord of Wealth looked at him in surprise and said, This is not a solution. Lin spread his hands and said frankly, It's not true. But you can choose to die early or late. Then why do people in your hometown choose such an approach? Brutus asked puzzled. After thinking about it, Lin explained, Although predicting the future is a dose of poison, it is undeniable that this dose of poison can give the current self a chance to grow stronger. If a country does this, and other countries don't follow suit, they will not even have a chance, and they may be eliminated before they grow stronger. Then everyone can only hope that their physique is good enough to eat a little more poison and not die. Then, before the poisoning occurs, they continue to transfer these toxins to other countries, delaying the time of their own sudden death. Lin's explanation clearly dissatisfied the Lord of Wealth. She asked another question that she hadn't asked before, if all of this is as you said, it is full of shortcomings and traps. So what do the people who designed it all get? Financial power, military power, personal strength, all of these are for the purpose of converting into power. Control other people's lives, control other people's life and death. When the amount of money reaches a certain level, for those at the top, money is just a number. What they care about is what these numbers can bring, not the numbers themselves. As for the debt that needs to be repaid in the future, as the designer of the rules of the game, how could he not know how to avoid or pass it on? 
even though the changes in the overall social environment are constantly sliding into the abyss, but when it comes to individuals, there must be some people who suffer and others who take advantage. Since I can take all the benefits and others will swallow the bitter fruit, then how bad is this world, and these people have half a cent to do with it. Right. Hearing this, although Brutus still had a lot of doubts in his mind, he was much less inclined to take the road of banking and lending. The reason is the difference between gods and mortals. Ordinary people would want to be the group of people at the top of the pyramid in the capitalist society. However, how could the gods be satisfied with the faith that can only harvest a few people, and the curses of the vast majority of people? This is not to mention the question of how much belief a little person has. The consensus of the gods, unless they are pious people, the belief of those who have reached the top in a certain field www.mtlnovel.com will be weaker. Because they believe more in what they believe in, rather than pinning most of their feelings on a certain god. But. Someone suddenly yelled, throwing out a turning point. Leopard cooperated very well, and then asked, but. Dangling's financial and economic environment continues to develop, and sooner or later it will encounter a bottleneck. At this time, the behavior of borrowing and lending, which has the function of regulating financial funds, is inevitable. Because continuing to block will make it impossible for those with redundant funds to make full use of their advantages, and it will also make it difficult for those with the ability and creativity to suffer from not having enough funds to realize their ideas. A certain person spread his hands helplessly, but at that time, I don't know how the road should go. Perhaps His Majesty Brutus is wise enough to find a way out. My only idea is to let the creditors' rights be content with the creditors' rights, instead of being operated as assets. But what the future world will look like, and how to face it, is not my business. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1484, Crisis Lurks The chat with the Lord of Wealth is only one time. After that, a certain magician gradually faded out of the public's sight as if he had been forgotten. However, this does not mean that someone will truly enter retirement and enjoy life all day long. Because the words that the Lord of Wealth said when he left still haunted his mood. Magician, although I don't know what your ultimate goal is. But don't think that doing anything is without side effects. When you have to pay the price, maybe it will be so heavy that no one can afford it. So even though he is hidden behind the scenes, someone is not in a state of being deaf to outside affairs. Instead, they moved out the program designed by their own apprentices to collect form information from the background, and upgraded the original collection function to the monitoring level. It's just that someone doesn't know what to monitor, so let's monitor all abnormal things. For a moment, someone staying in the surveillance center had a vision of becoming Batman himself. The difference is that when a crime is seen, someone doesn't go out and fight crime like a lord and be a free vigilante. Rather than being calm, it is better to say that someone is a little cold-blooded when it comes to things against outsiders. With great power comes great responsibility has never been the motto of a certain Yuan Fat House. As long as it doesn't affect the few people in my heart, I really won't be moved even if the sky falls apart. Because sometimes, some things really have no obvious right or wrong. If you intervene rashly, and the father-in-law becomes the master of the matter, then you will feel like crying without tears. But just because someone is cold-blooded, doesn't mean that the people around him are also cold-blooded. Especially the grown-up black-haired and brown-skinned girl, although she doesn't like to laugh or talk much, but in her heart she is much more gentle and considerate than the other blonde girl. Compared with Kyana's fiery hidden attributes, Halomi can be said to be the representative of heartless natural attributes. The upgraded form monitoring system is codenamed Ting Ting. The source of the name is an important follower of Kesadigarbha Bodhisattva in someone's hometown, who can observe all good and evil in the world. Kaya is an important founder of the original form index system, and the function of listening is also open to her. Now that she saw such injustice, Kaya wanted to change something in her heart. But she didn't learn the flashing technique of her teacher, 
so she couldn't arrive at the scene in the first time to prevent things from happening. What's more, the event will be posted on the forum, which means that the event itself has already happened, or if the event is about to happen, the news on the forum is just a sign. Some of these signs are obvious and some are not. The monitoring system focuses on this part and gives early warning. Suffering from the lack of spider silk, Kaya arrived at the scene quickly and was a good neighbor and good partner. When she discovered the brotherhood formed by Ezio and his friends, the two hit it off and worked together. A certain person runs an orphanage, and his original intention is to help the Technical Association and the Automobile Research and Development and Manufacturing Center, and send some talents with modern education. But in fact, the school that took in the orphans on the street has also undergone a lot of changes in the past 12 years. The delivery of civil and military talents remains unchanged. People who don't like to fight and kill can enter the technical guild or the automobile center regardless of whether they have learned something or not. Even if you can't be a designer or craftsman, you can still sell your strength. As long as you don't covet a comfortable life and earn a little money, you can marry a big-ass woman and have two children. If you have an adventurous spirit in your bones, and you are not afraid of fighting and killing, you also have the talent in this regard. It seems that if you want to become a warrior or a magician, there are also related trainings in elementary schools. The remuneration that originally belonged to someone is that these children have to serve someone for free for 10 years in addition to the wages that these accomplished people get enough to live on unless otherwise agreed on rewards and punishments. However, the current situation is that there are many parents or related persons in technical associations and automobile centers who also want to send their children to elementary schools founded by someone, but in fact there is no one in charge of them. The enlightenment education for new knowledge is basically blank outside. Therefore, those who are successful in emerging industries, if they want their children to inherit their careers, they can only teach their children themselves. It's just that they are too busy just to make money. How can these people have time to teach the basics slowly? As soon as they knew that a magician had a similar training plan, they couldn't sit still and ask to join. This situation is like the first academy founded by someone when he was still in the southwestern peninsula of Midi. It was originally a free free school for orphans, but later a bunch of people begged to join with money. Because he had been severely betrayed once, Lin, who originally didn't want to touch these bad things again, turned his head and only felt an oops in his heart. All the people who come to the door are practitioners in related industries, not those nobles who have no limit. Besides, don't they also expect their children to develop the same skills as themselves, so that they can inherit their mantle in the future? In order to use his unscrupulous capital to cultivate leaks for subsequent fleece, Lin still agreed with these well-intentioned parents to let their children enjoy the joy of losing their normal childhood. Having said that, in fact, Lin didn't meddle too much in the affairs of the elementary school, and of course he didn't copy the education system of a certain traveler's hometown. Basically, in addition to all-round education in the first year of enrollment, children will be given special training according to their interests from the second year onwards. Anyway, I didn't intend to teach everyone to be all-rounders with complete basic knowledge. It is not good to start the cultivation of professional skills early and accumulate experience. Besides the cultivation of martial arts, the sooner the better. In addition to professional training, children can learn any subject they are interested in. As long as I have time and can handle it, I won't deliberately restrict what they are not allowed to do. Since there are many friends in the elementary school, it is inevitable that they will be divided into different factions. Especially those who were born as orphans, or those who paid tuition fees, the two sides were very different from each other at the beginning. Before thinking about how to solve this kind of situation that is not conducive to unity and is likely to cause class antagonism, this invisible antagonism in the primary school disappeared by itself. Because Ijiu and his friends expanded their enrollment. Originally, Ezio only made good friends with a few friends he was willing to get close to, and the circle was relatively closed. But since what happened to Marlene, this kid's temperament has undergone a big change, and he has become quite, 
fraternal? In short, the attributes of Ezio Kid King are brought into full play. In addition, there is the old man, the old black dragon Augustus as the backer, and he has good friendship with Halumi and Kaya. It can be said that it is quite easy for the sponsors and leaders of the elementary school. Who wouldn't be happy to have such a child king with him? Even those who didn't like Ezio at first, whether they were orphans or those who paid tuition fees, one counted as one, and in the end they were all subdued by Ezio. A and D. There is a faint tendency to open a harem. Anyway, this brat was not killed, a magician who watched coldly was quite surprised. By the way, it was also the Marlene incident. Although Lin still didn't interfere in leading the primary school affairs, he was no longer indifferent. It's just that the attitude has changed to secretly paying attention to the living conditions of these children. With Izio coming forward to do the integration, a fraternity organization with no clear name emerged with the identity of peers in the elementary school as a link. After these children graduate, there must be a way to organize them so that they can repay their debts of ten years of hard labor. Lin was very optimistic about the emergence of the Brotherhood, and even hinted that the head of the Technology Guild, Duzof Gantia, would provide some help to the president of the First Bank, the Dark Elf Mel. Of course, the organizational structure of the fraternity is different from that of a technical guild and a bank. But those two have another identity, that is, they are members of the most powerful underground organization in Lost Land the Turtle Dove Alliance. They are the best at this kind of secret organization. When a group of frat boys graduate from elementary school and embark on a 10-year journey to pay off their debts, not to mention those who go to technical guilds or auto centers to become clerical and technical workers. Those who have the status of adventurers or the qualifications of magicians who are ready to attack will become Kaya's best manpower when dealing with abnormal events discovered by the listening monitoring system. For such a use. Lin did not raise any objections. Although he asked the orphans from primary schools to serve him for ten years, in fact, the main goal was still on the group of clerical children, that is, to help the automobile center cultivate more useful talents, and the technical guild was incidental. So how to arrange for people who take the actual combat route such as adventurers and magicians, to be honest, Lin didn't think about it at the beginning. So when Kaya got started with the Listening Truth system, she asked to use the Brotherhood's staff, of course Lin would not stop it. If you really let those brats who are preparing for actual combat have nothing to do, why don't you demolish your own home? But agree to agree, Lin still drew a red line. That is, the people sent by the Brotherhood can only investigate and expose, but cannot judge. It is a good thing to act on hearing the wind and expose the truth of the matter. But the trial is a very serious matter, and it must be supported by a complete investigation and solid evidence, and then weighed from various angles before a final decision can be made. Instead of hearing that someone is bullying men and women, running to other people's homes to teach them a lesson. In doing so, it is easy to be used www.mtlnovel.com or misled by prejudice. If you make a wrong judgment because of a wrong cognition, and because of this wrong judgment, you hurt others or even kill someone. Such a reckless act is not their original intention to fight the injustice. The other consideration was not mentioned to the members of the fraternity, but only to Kaya, that is, if due to incomplete investigation by one's own side, a good person was wronged, and that person was killed by his own people. Wouldn't this cause psychological shadows for hands-on children? Besides, the investigation without hurting anyone and without being discovered is more difficult than recklessly rushing into the enemy's position and Kai Wushuan. Using such words is enough to arouse the competitive spirit of the group of young brats and make them hide themselves more carefully. Anyway, the truth listening system is a shady thing, and there is no reason for the brotherhood that cooperates with it to act in a high-profile way. If all the evidence is prepared and handed over to the lord of the criminal, or his lord, but those who have the power to judge do nothing, then expose it on the forum. There are so many good-for-nothings who are willing to enforce justice and challenge public power. From this point of view, there is really no need for brotherhood to join in the fun. Please remember the first domain name of this book.
Chapter 1485, Fraternity Although someone drew a red line for what Kaya and the Brotherhood did. But honestly, there are laws and there are broken laws. Rules are dead, but people are alive. Sometimes it is not possible to use rigid rules to restrict a person's actions in any situation. Although they are required not to kill people, there are still some exceptions that Lin can't comment on. A must-kill example would be a deserter within a fraternity, killing a fellow fraternity in the process. There have also been cases where people who have completed their studies refused to serve the ten years of hard labor and disappeared directly from the world. But there are many possible reasons behind it, and it is impossible to generalize. For example, if you risk your life outside, if you can find the body, it will be a good ending. If you encounter someone with no bones left, you have to start with the soul fragments. This is a force majeure factor. There are also those who are bribed and lured by other big bosses and want to get rid of the constraints of the brotherhood. In this kind of situation, the eldest brother usually pays the tuition fee, there is no need to tear up the face, everyone is ugly. There is also the kind of momentary dizziness, whether it is incognito, or running with women. This kind of people can be persuaded to come back, and they can be persuaded to come back. If they can't be persuaded to come back, they can discuss it separately and find a way to redeem themselves. The basic attitude of a certain magician is not to force. Despite setting such a precedent, it may have a negative imitation effect on successors. So there will still be some formal punishments to warn others. But usually this kind of people who are stunned or deceived for a while will eventually turn around and ask for forgiveness. If a person with such a weak heart is not deceived to death, he will find a way to hide in his comfort zone after being hurt. It is impossible to have the courage to make up your mind and go out alone. The Brotherhood searches for such people, and most of them settle peacefully. But if these deserters kill their brothers while fleeing, no matter how legitimate the reason is, the attitude of the Brotherhood will be to hunt them down to death. This is the real red line. As for the external, no matter how bad the situation is. Even if one's own people don't personally assassinate the target, there are still many ways to ruin the opponent's reputation, and even cause the crowd to attack. Such things don't need to be taught by someone. The people in the fraternity are like self-taught, playing all kinds of tricks. Fortunately, the requirement to verify the truth was still fulfilled. It's not the same as killing someone if you hear about it. Without such restrictions on the members of the fraternity, it is impossible for Lin to let them go to the front line to do things with confidence. After all, a group of people are just adults, or they are underage boys. How many characters will be mature and prudent? Do you really think that you have never passed the second grade? Since there are not many graduates from primary schools, and quite a few of them have entered the civil service fields such as automobile centers and technical guilds, Kaya can actually dispatch even fewer people. However, the actual combat ability of those who can be sent out is guaranteed. In terms of magic, although Lin Hefen does not give careful guidance, and only occasionally accepts questions and answers, the main person in charge of teaching is his two magic apprentices, Harumi and Kaya. But it's different from learning magic from other magicians. Although the association of magicians requires that every official magician bring in at least two official magicians in their lifetime, in fact, no one really devotes all their efforts to teaching when it comes to teaching. Although Halumi and Kaya are only apprentices and their talents are not good, they are also the most senior three-ring apprentices. If they take the knowledge of the two of them seriously to guide the younger generation, it will really get twice the result with half the effort. Therefore, many magic apprentices from primary schools have passed the official magician test and have been hung with gold tassels. Many people are envious. In fact, this should be attributed to someone who is the best at learning methods for exams, so that the group of children are always at a disadvantage. Coupled with enough actual combat training to keep them from breaking down in real blood-to-blood -blood fights, magicians from elementary schools have a high evaluation. Children who choose the warrior department have even better teachers. Basically, 
they are all led and taught by the head of the former demon king's guards. Occasionally, the white swordsman William Greco and the devil prince Azad will come to serve as guest coaches and impart their own experience. Unless it is a completely different field, there is no such thing as a situation where the gap in the realm is too big, so you can't understand it. Even if it's just a few words, or some inconspicuous little moves, if you can steal a trick or two from those who are really strong, it can be used for life. If you can get personal guidance, you will make rapid progress. It's completely different to fight against real masters only in the vegetable market. It can also be said that if there is no experience and talent in this area, such a child will usually be persuaded to leave, and find another suitable development direction. Another great advantage of finding that kind of real strong person to guide them is that it can strongly blow the self-confidence of children with poor talents and let them find another way out early. Although Harumi and Keya are also role models who are not talented but work hard the day after tomorrow. But it was also because they had no choice at the beginning and could only go one way to the dark. Now that this group of kids has a choice, unless they are really, really interested. Otherwise, when encountering those children with poor talent, they would usually be advised to find other interests instead of dying easily. Therefore, the fighters from elementary schools are either extremely talented, or at least the kind of people who dare to fight and kill. Recklessness may not be equated with courage, but those who dare to fight have a better chance of surviving than those who shrink in a crisis. The amazing thing is that Ezio is actually the most outstanding one in the warrior department. Lin was very sure that he hadn't given the big fat boy a small treatment, and even the boy would take a detour when he saw him. As for the original Lich who is best at body transformation, in fact, except for himself and the little follower who lost his body, that is, Shidong, the former head of the Imperial Guard, Fern has not transformed anyone in these years. But Ezio doesn't behave like a purely human being. Not to mention that Lin, who was on the sidelines, was curious, and so was Fern. Thinking that Ezio might have some special blood, Fern secretly took a body sample and did some tests. However, no results were obtained. This is also because there are not many examples of this bloodline variation in Fen's hands for comparison. Later, the old black dragon Augustus gave the answer. When it picked up the baby Ezio on the snowy mountain, it used its own blood to feed him. Well, I grew up drinking dragon's blood, this is too nourishing. In short, things have an explanation, but only a few people know. Lin didn't deliberately help the big fat boy to promote, and he didn't take it seriously. In fact, in the small group of the Brotherhood, Ezio is outstanding in all aspects, but many people are envious and jealous. But because of the resources in Ezio's hands, those dissatisfied people did not dare to express their emotions to the surface, and only dared to make some small moves behind their backs. However, the fraternal Ezio not only treats the opposite like this, but also treats the same quite tolerantly. His personality is soft but tough, and when getting along with him, no one can find any major faults. If there is a situation where requests are not met, it must be because the requests are too excessive. Even if you want to unite with outsiders to criticize Ezio verbally and in writing, it usually won't please you. It can be said that those who are able do more work, and it can also be said that this group of elementary school graduates who choose to be adventurers has a wandering gene in their bones. Since Kaya began to assign tasks, a group of people belonging to the military group in the Brotherhood have not returned to the Holy City several times throughout the year. Fortunately, the Brotherhood uses forums to communicate and communicate, and it doesn't matter if they don't meet each other, so Azio's influence has not declined much. In particular, he also made a few major events that were only known inside, which made his reputation even louder. Needless to say, in terms of contact and assistance, if Ezio or other people come forward, it is very likely that different results will be obtained. Relying on his good relationship, Ezio's position within the Brotherhood became more stable. But for Ezio himself, although he is quite philanthropic in dealing with people and things, he is not cautiously maintaining his reputation, 
for fear of tarnishing it in the slightest. On the contrary, Ezio is a bit stingy and even indifferent to other people's evaluation of him. Even if someone criticizes him positively, he just responds with a smile and is not angry. But that doesn't mean he can't beat his critics, it's just that he's used to it and doesn't want to argue over unnecessary trivial matters. Compared with the gradually growing brotherhood, which began to show signs of fighting openly and covertly, or helping Kaya to go to various places in the Lost Land based on information from unknown sources, Ezio prefers this kind of wandering. Adventurer Life The main reason is that those lovely and lonely ladies all over Midi are always willing to entertain him, a poor wandering young man, even with food and sleep. All right. The truth is that Ezio's fraternity is a bit too much. Compared with his previous crooked personality, after experiencing the Marlene incident, it seemed that he had gone from one extreme to another. He is very gentle and considerate to everyone, especially women, he is even more considerate. The thing about poverty is also true. Orphans who were born in elementary schools, during the ten years of free service, only the most basic living expenses can be obtained, not even a dime. But compared to the big money they can earn outside of their abilities, it is indeed similar to free www.mtlnovel.com This is why some people choose to be deserters and do not want to abide by the ten-year agreement with a certain magician. However, even if Ezio gets some money, as long as he sees someone in need during the trip, he will usually give it out without hesitation. The big fat boy who has grown up is very confident in his skills. As long as he has a knife, he will not be hungry when thrown in the wild. What's more, there are many kind-hearted young ladies who are willing to sponsor food, beds, and themselves. In short, under someone's intentional or unintentional gaze, a certain grown-up fat boy style of painting is getting more and more crooked. And it seemed to be fighting against the people who traveled through the original fat house, actually shifting towards the direction of the scumbag. It makes someone's teeth itch with hatred. Although Ezio does not travel alone every time he performs a mission, there is always a support team or deputy. But as long as it was night, his companions would definitely not be able to find this flirtatious man. Everyone is used to this phenomenon. But this time, the location where Ezio and his party went was a bit weird. Everyone in a temporary market walked like a walking dead. Even the animals used for camel goods are sick and lifeless. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1486, Aniaki There are no people coming from other places to trade, and the merchants waiting here seem to have been stationed for quite a long time. From all angles, this place does not conform to the characteristics of a market at all, and it does not even look like a place where living people gather. The location where everyone is located is the Suli Tang Empire which is the last of the five empires to appear in the northern border of the Lost Land. This is a large empire with nomads as the main body. Its territory is not small compared to the other four empires, but its population is not larger than any of the other four empires. It is characterized by vast land and sparse population. Investigating the reason, if a certain traveler were to analyze it, he would say that the entire territory of the Suli Tang Empire was located in the north of the temperate zone, and most of the land was in the frigid zone, which was not suitable for human habitation. Grassland is limited, and food cultivation is also quite difficult, all of which limit the speed of population growth. According to the Midi people, it's just too cold. Most of the time throughout the year can be counted as winter. Although the main body is nomadic, the Concord is constantly on the move. However, after hundreds of years of development, it still absorbed many other nationalities and races and brought them under the jurisdiction of the Suritang Empire. Its characteristic is that a large number of large-scale Homo sapiens gathering places were built, such as cities and villages. And these places have also started farming to supply the needs of the entire empire. However, in order to meet the trade needs of those nomads with strong mobility, there will be temporary markets like the one in front of us, which appear from time to time and from time to time. It may be that traveling caravans come here, 
and there will also be neighboring settlements or herdsmen who trade surplus things here. Bazaars usually last from three to seven days. When the trading volume drops to a certain level, the merchants who set up the market will pack up their trading items and go to the next place to open the market. However, recently on the forum, there was a rumor about a ghost market. Rumor has it that there is a market in the north where rotten or damaged items are traded. And the people who are active in the market are not living people, nor are they like the undead of the undead clan. They are a type that is even more unknown. Bazaars have also been around for a while. As long as you enter this ghost city, you will not be able to get out alive. When Ezio heard this information, he wanted to complain. If no living person came out, where did the news come from? Those guys who don't know whether they are dead or alive, posted it on the forum by themselves? For such a regional anomaly, the local adventurers guild should entrust appropriate adventurers to investigate. However, the situation of the Sulitang Empire is hard to describe. As a result, powerful adventurers are not willing to operate within the scope of the empire. Naturally, there are not enough professional and capable people to deal with the abnormalities in the ghost market. A country dominated by nomads welcomes outsiders and foreign resources, including food. However, the biggest failure of the Sulitang Empire is that there is a certain degree of contempt for race within the empire, mainly in terms of appointment and treatment. High-level official positions will not be open to non-subject ethnic groups, even if they occupy the same official position, they will enjoy different benefits due to different races. Although such a chain of contempt did not become an express law, it actually existed in every corner of the Sulitang Empire and affected the attitude of the subjects of the empire. This is to ensure that the main nation's control over the empire will not fall into the hands of different nations. Outsiders are not treated differently just because they are not subjects of the empire. They will still be somewhere in the chain of contempt because of their race. How could this be tolerated by those experienced adventurers? As long as he can overcome the difficulties of life and death again and again, such an adventurer will inevitably be a little arrogant. No matter how kind they are in normal times, it doesn't mean that anyone can look at them with contempt and disgust. Of course, there are qualified adventurers in the Suritang Empire, but the number of these people is too small and they all have their own areas where they are used to mingling. The ghost city is quite a remote countryside, with few people, and no one wants to come here. That's why it's the turn of Iju, a group of outsiders who are idle and looking for trouble. The ghost city is located in the south of the Sulitang Empire. There are hills and hills around here, not an excellent pasture. So after the empire conquered this area, it didn't pay much attention to this area and just threw some small marginal tribes here to make a living. To prove that this land belongs to the Suritang Empire. In fact, if you want to know the news about the ghost market, the leaders of these small tribes know best. But one of the downsides of the forum is that it is relatively weak in its ability to clearly point to specific people. If the person who saw the news knew that it was related to him, but he didn't show up, no one could do anything about him. There's no way to ask someone to do something across a forum unless the person making the request comes in person. What's more? According to Sister Kaya's inference, whether those small tribes are still there is a problem in itself. Ezio thought so. The two behind him were in heavy armor, and the one carrying a huge shield was Kish. The most special person in the elementary school, his mother Wana still works as a maid in that mansion. So just like Ezio, in the eyes of others, he is a member of special care. But in fact, Kish may be the most talented among those children, and he is also the hardest working one. The special care in the eyes of others is actually a manifestation of his own hard work, and it is not that someone really made a small fuss for him. For example, the heavy armor he wears weighs almost the same as that of an adult. Being able to carry an adult on his back all the time, and still be able to move freely, one can imagine how good his physical fitness is. Such a young man with a promising future is a guardian knight who is not uncommon. You must know that the title of guardian knight is not something everyone can hold. 
he must be able to recite the oath of the guardian lord and strictly abide by its precepts. Only those who have received the grace of God are qualified to call themselves guardian knights. The threshold is not low. But in Midi, the belief of the guardian lord is quite marketable. Even without the grace and title of guardian knight, there are still a large number of young people who keep their vows and move towards the goal of becoming guardian knights. Another young woman who was dressed similarly to Ezio, but with a different color tone and an extra bow was Luo Wen. When Ezio got into the crowd of kids on the street, Rowan was the head of the kids at that time. But no one knew her gender at the time, and they all treated her like a big brother. Compared with Ezio, who is nourished by dragon's blood, or Kish, who is really talented, Rowan's talents in all aspects are mediocre, and there is nothing particularly outstanding. But any ability is above average compared with other children. In the eyes of others, he is considered an all-around outstanding talent. Rowan is also good at organization and command. After all, not everyone has the ability to pull a group of children and take care of them at a young age. The Brotherhood of the Elementary School can be organized, except for the help of the seniors of the Turtle Dove Alliance, such as Wu Ziuofu and Mayer, Luo Wen is the first to contribute. And she followed Ezio, not so much because she had the idea of controlling the Brotherhood, so she wanted to control the top figure of the Brotherhood. But in fact, she is more like Ezio's nanny, who specializes in helping professional troublemakers deal with the aftermath. In any case, these three are the golden lineup and sharp knife squad that the Brotherhood can produce today. But such a sharp knife team stood in the ghost market, looking at the scene in front of them, they felt helpless. There were many people passing by, but no one looked up at them. If Ezio is currently in the stealth operation, it is of course a good thing that he has no sense of presence, and he may even say a few words about the results of his stealth. But the three of them stood loudly in front of the market, not hiding anything, and were still ignored. The people coming and going didn't even glance at him. Such an abnormal phenomenon must be said to be a bit weird. What's the situation? Ezio asked without thinking. It's just that the three of them are all young men in their twenties. Even though Luo Wen was born on the street, he has never seen such a situation. Not to mention the other two hours, at least someone was taking care of her. Although I have traveled abroad for several years, I am really not well informed. Kish, who claims to be the most talented, is useless in such a scene. In the past, his talents were all used to train himself. Although his mind is active, but if he has no experience, he is inexperienced, and he has never even thought about it. Naturally, he doesn't know how to deal with the situation in front of him. In the end, it was Ezio, a decisive and bright person who made the decision, and said, Forget it, I can't think of an answer standing here. Let's take a walk and have a look. Rowan asked, separate actions. Hearing this, Ezio immediately vetoed it. Said, no, this is not the holy city. We are familiar with the top and bottom of the holy city, and we know where to run when we have to run. If there is an accident here, it will not be said that other people are not supportive. I don't know the situation. Let's go together, maybe someone can see what others haven't noticed. The other two agreed with Ezio's opinion. And when the three of them act together, they can notice more directions, and there are colleagues and friends watching over the blind spots behind them, which is more reassuring. They headed first to the one of the vendors closest to them. On the shelf that was set up temporarily, there were some withered and rotten vegetable leaves, whose original appearance could no longer be seen. The other non perishable baskets, wooden spoons, wooden bowls, etc. are covered with a layer of dust, and no one takes care of them www.mtlnovel.com but the stall owner is standing aside, staring straight at him staring blankly into the distance. His complexion is not like the bloodless blue of a creature of the undead, but it is not like the elastic ruddy of a living person either. The two eyeballs are normal, they are not dug out, only two holes are left, but there is no emotion hidden inside, but empty. 
The reason why it can be confirmed that the other party is not an undead is because in that family, there is a genuine necromancer and a necromancer apprentice who are dealing with corpses all day long. Even the bishops of life in the Church of the Three Holy Lights gathered together to study the mysteries inside the human body. Oh, the bishops of life have erected another hill. Although still under the Church of the Three Holy Lights, they formed the Hospital Knights. An organization that heals people and kills people. Because of these people messing around, Ezio has a good idea of what a real undead creation should look like. In short, unlike these living people in front of them, they seem to be alive, but they are like empty shells without souls. Without a soul? Ezio felt as if he had caught something. Please remember the first domain name of this book. Chapter 1487, Crisis Comes Tentatively moved the things on the stall, but the stall owner still did not respond. Even when he poked his finger on the stall owner, he still looked like a dead man who didn't care. Isio deliberately threw the wooden bowl in his hand, causing some noise. Immediately, the three of them looked in three directions. They were nervous, but they also wanted to see what kind of reaction it would cause. But business as usual. Here's what's pretty abnormal. No longer focusing on the stall in front of them, Ezio and Kish turned their gazes in the same direction. Luo Wen followed the gazes of the two men. And this look also made her see something tricky. On Earth, there are still different opinions on whether there is a sixth sense, and there is no conclusion. The most important thing is that this thing cannot undergo effective scientific verification or data analysis, so Earth scientists can only say that there is no such thing. But in MIDI, this can be regarded as an obvious learning. Regardless of whether it is a warrior or a magician, if one's skills reach a high level, there will always be some connection with the external environment. If there is any abnormal change in the environment, of course it will stimulate the attention of these people. If the person involved is a believer in a certain god, it will be even simpler. One of the divine favors is danger prediction, which is a permanent additional attribute. It's just that this danger prediction is not a situation, and it will work at any time. Basically, Someone who is against the who bestowed his divine favor, or even an old enemy, will definitely react, and sometimes there will be situations where the camps are opposed. So this kind of danger prediction, it is better to say that it is because I stand in line, so when I meet my boss's opponent, the extra attention from the boss will make me feel uncomfortable all over. Not really a danger prediction. However, Ezio and Kish will react at the same time. On the one hand, it is related to their talents and backgrounds, and on the other hand, it also shows how big the crisis is. Kish took the shield on his back in his hands, and tightened the bandages around his arms. Ezio relaxed his left hand, ready to pop out the hidden blade at any time. At the same time, he pulled out the ordinary long sword at his waist and held it in his right hand. Seeing the two people beside him taking things so seriously, Luo Wen is certainly not some ignorant Xiaobai. But she just took off the hornbow she was carrying and held it in her hand. This kind of preparation is enough for her to deal with all kinds of emergencies and take a quick shot. The strange atmosphere that aroused the vigilance of the three had actually existed since they approached the ghost market. It's just that the periphery is relatively sparse, and the more you move in a certain direction, the more obvious the disgust from the bottom of your heart will be. Later, even Luo Wen felt the strong unhappiness. Even the air seemed to be filled with a stench, a smell of sulfur. Suddenly a warning message flashed through the minds of the three of them. They looked at each other, maybe that was the answer. And not far away, there was a loud noise. As the pace progressed, the sound became more pronounced. Ezio slowed down, bowed his body and walked cautiously towards the shadows between the mountain wall and the woods. The two people at the back followed suit, bowed and walked on catwalks. Especially Kish walked carefully, because he was heavily armored. Fortunately, the joints have undergone special treatment, and he has also mastered a lot of skills to be able to move silently while wearing this suit, so it didn't cause too much commotion. 
As they got closer to the top of a small hill, the three of Ezio lowered their bodies down. In the end, they simply fell to the ground and crawled forward. The time they arrived at the ghost city was close to noon, and the current season is summer. Even if the Suritang Empire is located in the north, it should be warm at noon. But the fact is, a chill from the bottom of my heart became more and more obvious as I walked forward. When they finally climbed to the highest point on the hill, they looked out and saw a horrifying and frightening scene. It was originally a hilly terrain with ups and downs, but now a large pit has been dug out. The edge is layer by layer, and the upper and lower sides are connected by scaffolding. There are also wooden lifting arms that are rotating, sending the objects supported on the platform to the upper or lower level. There are also fire pits and stoves of various strange shapes that are burning. Because there are many demons and half-orcs walking in it, forging weapons and armor. There is also a phalanx assembled by half-orcs or little devils, who are shouting and training each other's cooperation and marching. And in the center of the pit, there is a tall and independent portal. The thick gate pillars that need to be surrounded by several people, or the crossed gates, are all composed of miscellaneous and entangled human bodies. As for whether those people were sacrificed by living people, or just sculptures, Ezio didn't even think about it. Under the living doorpost, it is not possible to see the scene on the other side at a glance. Instead, there are clusters of black smoke gathered and lingering, and occasionally the smoke runs out of the range, and it will swish back and forth as if attracted. Seeing this strange scene, the three people lying on the hill knew what was going on even if they were inexperienced. After all, it involved the black history of the gentleman in the family. It is said that a certain magician was originally the tower owner of a magic tower. The problem was that he was frightened by the door to the abyss that was about to open. Not only did he return his entire fortune to the Association of Magicians, but he also left his hometown in the end. And near any portal, half-orcs, a race of per capita evil camp, and demons, a special product of the abyss, will gather. This is a door to the abyss. Moreover, it has already been opened, and the abyss has sent a large number of troops to the complete abyss gate at the end of the lost land. Ezio immediately realized what he should do in this shining crisis. Anyway, I didn't rush forward, thinking that the three of us could break through the opened door to the abyss, no matter how many people there were, it wouldn't be enough to die. It is to spread the information here, so that Mitty can prepare, and even counterattack. Based on the current situation of this door, the army has already assembled. Although I don't know how many there are, and why the opponent hasn't activated it yet. But the southern border of the Suritang Empire, which is where the Gate of the Abyss is located, will inevitably become scorched earth. But for such a big event, it's not that after running back and yelling a few times, others will believe it. There is no definite evidence, even if someone is willing to believe in him, but the matter is too serious, it is inevitable to send someone to verify. Going back and forth is just a waste of time. Or just let these demons rush out and wreak havoc. This saves me a lot of saliva, and I don't have to explain it until others believe it. Anyway, the demons are about to kill in front of their eyes, and those who can close their eyes and shout that I don't believe it, it doesn't matter if they die. But Ezio admits that he is not like that heartless magician, and he is not his own father and son. That guy can still sleep soundly despite the world falling apart outside. If he is a young man with great ambitions, he can't just sit and watch the demons unite with the half-orcs to wreak havoc on the land. As for how to obtain evidence that can be trusted by others. If it had been a few years earlier, I might have found a way to sneak into the Abyss Gate camp and steal a few items with obvious demon marks, preferably documents, followed by weapons, and the last thing was sundries with the breath of the abyss. Proof that the demonic invasion is real. Especially the paperwork. The abyss world and demons rarely use letters to communicate. Those who can resort to the abyss text, in addition to the magic power of the text itself, its content must also involve quite important secrets. But this kind of thing is inevitable. Ezio didn't think about sneaking into the camp and searching for something that didn't know if it was there. 
His idea is very simple, in the early years, the photos for the forum mall already existed. <laughs>